Welcome to the group Hardcore Iron Man series. This game mode has been anticipated for a very long time. There was a lot of uh, drama involving whether or not it would even pass and be in the game, but here we are. A quick overview of what group Iron Man mode is. You are an Iron Man to everybody in the game except for your group. You can trade with, you can boss with, you even have a shared bank with your teammates only. To everybody else, you're just like a regular Iron Man. For this series, I am teaming up with some very prolific streamers in the Old School RuneScape category. Our team leader is Foe, we've also got MMORPG, and we've got Roidy. All very talented gamers, and I'm excited to be playing alongside them. Foe, master game plan strategist and one of the original Iron Men to ever play this game. MMORPG. The master of the grind. No item is too rare for him. Roidy, hardcore Iron Man enthusiast, very talented PVMer. And Mr. Mammal. Together, we are farmers. But, like, not the insurance company, you know? So we all started off by preloading an account onto Tutorial Island, waiting for the update to come out. Except, I didn't actually finish the tutorial. I thought I was done, but I, I wasn't. Wizard, you haven't I'm, done I'm the coming. wizard?! I, t <laughs> I thought if I talked to the wizard, it would send me to Lumbridge. I thought that was how this worked. Real quick, I'd like to go over everybody's username. Uh, as we are the farmers, I decided to go with something pretty, uh, K-Kona. My username is Cattle Farmer. Paul's is Farmer Foe, Roydy's is Rotary Tiller, and then Curtis's is Losing Lives. So a little bit uh, out of the theme there, but uh, yeah, that's everybody's usernames. So my game plan to start this account was actually to follow a guide that Roydy had typed out. Now I'm going to put a link to the guide in the description. Um, if you either want to, you know, use that guide for yourself, it is great. Otherwise, I would almost recommend pulling up the guide, and then you can kind of follow along with it as I go. Because if you don't, it's going to seem like I'm all over the place. And there's the Restless Ghost. We are now level 9 Prayer. Alright, let's get our first little gift of GP. 2k, and we can flap, alright. 5,000 GP in total, and we can slap our head like a silly boy. Okay, we made it! We now have 10,000 GP. And I've got a great idea! First big boy purchase of the account. A staff of fire. Wait, should I hop worlds? Is it going to be more expensive if it's understocked? I feel like it might be. Alright. There it is. We got ourselves a staff of fire. God, do we look good, huh? I love the armor. It looks so nice. And whilst I was in the Varrock vicinity, I bought 300 bronze nails and 5 bolts of cloth. I'm gonna need the bolts of cloth and the nails for the Daddy's Home mini quest later on. And then I'll also use the nails to do some general construction training. And again, whilst in the Varrock area, I hit up my boy Aubrey and bought one of each elemental rune pack, because I'm going to need to get my magic up. At this point, I used my home teleport and started getting some stuff done around Lumbridge. I started off with the X marks the spot quest. And then furthermore, if you take all of your runes and you drop them on the floor, you can talk to the magic tutor and she will give you 30 free casts of airstrikes. So that's just free, easy magic XP right there. There it is, level 5 magic, you can now cast Water Strike, and we are moving on. We have finally made our way over to Port Sarim. so we will hand in the X Marks the Spot quest. Uh-huh, there we go, we get 200 GP off of that, and an Antique Lamp. Ooh, what do we use the Antique Lamp on? I have no idea, actually. Okay, Hetty, I've got all of your stuff. Drink from the cauldron. And there's Witch's Potion completed. That gets us to level 7 magic. You love to see it. Mr. Hobgoblin, please don't knock my head off. I beg you. 
Oh god. Un unironically, he's actually. I'm, I'm gonna die to a hobgoblin. I'm gonna. I'm gonna die to a fucking hobgoblin, bro. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna be honest. When I was a kid, I always called this guy Kakuimix. I have no idea why, but uh, I've always said Kakui. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna do druidic rituals, so I need to kill this bear real fast to grab some raw bear meat. This is the battle of the century right now, dude. Sit down! Okay, sir, let me hand in the quest, and that should give us, I think it's what level? Level 3 Herblore, indeed, which means we can now use this antique lamp on Herblore as well. And now we're level 6, okay. Trying to buy a steel axe is going to prove very challenging. They are sold out, like, legit everywhere. Got it. How easy is that? Okay. Done! Got it, baby! Let's go! And now... We... Should have the quest completed! Now, because we do plan on doing some Winter Todd, uh, we, what we are going to do is actually get a couple of pieces of the Clue Hunter gear, which, of course, you can wear for warm clothing. Uh, I believe it's by the Fishing Guild. Okay, there we go. So it looks like it's right next to the oak tree. There is the Clue Hunter boots and gloves, so there's two more warm clothing pieces. Okay, there we go. There is level 20 thieving. Now, the reason we got 20 thieving is so we can pickpocket a rusty sword from a ham follower later on. But there we go. There's that done. Okay, now we're going to start working on getting the Ardoon Cloak 1 for real. We're going to start off by knocking out the quest requirements Plague City and Biohazard. See, now, that right there is the beauty of Group Iron Man. I was about to go to the Gnome Stronghold to buy this stuff, but nope. In the group storage, we've got dwell berries and chocolate dust, and that's it. We're good to go, baby. Alright, there is the Plague City quest completed. That is a prerequisite for... Oh my gosh. Gonna be level 15 mining right off the bat. Very nice. That is a prerequisite, and we can now go do Biohazard. Quick tip for the, uh, the Biohazard quest. Uh, I don't know when they added this exactly, but you can actually take a boat... To and from Ardoon and Remington, which is a huge time save. 30 GP, boat trip, and bam, you're back in Remington. Well, I'm on this side of RuneScape again, so that I can, uh, you know, take this stuff that I need to, to, to Varrock for the biohazard quest. And I figured whilst I'm here, I should probably grab the rusty sword I'm going to need for the Ardoon Easy Diary. So wish me luck here. Hopefully I don't go mega dry on this... Rusty spoon. Okay, there's polish buttons. Sick. Polish buttons are required for animal magnetism, I believe. Oh, an extra one as well for the boys. Nice. Okay, that did not take long at all. I'm pretty sure that took me like 10 pickpockets. There is the rusty sword. Very good. Mr. King Lathis, I regret to inform you that the plague is a hoax. You silly bald man. Not that I can say much, because I am also bald, but that should be the uh, biohazard quest completed. Uh, it gives you some thieving XP, and I think with that, I, I'm pretty sure I can do the Ardoon Easies now, I think. Okay, two things I can do over here. I'm going to have Tyndall Merchant identify a rusty sword for me. I'm pretty sure there's, like, a chance that I can get a rune sword, isn't there? I swear. Got a bronze sword. How good is that? <laughs> so interesting thing about doing the uh, easy step, go out fishing on the fishing trawler. What you can do is you can join the boat by yourself. And then once you depart, all you have to do is hop worlds. You go, oopsies. I've hopped worlds. And then I should wake up on the shoreline. And the step should be completed, hopefully. Yeah, how good is that? And that's it. There is the Ardoon Easy Diaries done. Let's go claim our cape. 
Whilst I'm in the Ardun vicinity, I am going to go do the Monk's Friend quest. It gives you some law runes, and it's obviously very quick and easy. So, let's do Monk's Friend real fast. Eight law runes, 2,000 woodcutting XP. Oh my, we are gaming. Okay, uh, now I am going to go do the Tree Gnome Village quest. A little spooky. Okay, we are about, I don't know, almost five hours in. And our team is rank number one for four-man groups. There we are, the Farmers. 693 total level, beautiful. Whilst I'm banking during the Tree Gnome Village quest, that reminded me I can grab my Ardun cloak from old Two Pints. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. It's honestly a very good cape for quite a while. So, of course, during the Trino Village quest, you have to kill the Khazard Warlord, and it did not go all that well. I mean, I didn't, like, die, of course, but I ran out of Earth Runes halfway through, and I was only level 12 magic at the time. So, I'm out of Earth Runes. I have no choice but to use Air Strike, which is hitting absolutely nothing, and then luckily I got to level 13, and then we could upgrade to Fire Strike, and we finished him off. Dead? Let's go! The Khazard Warlord is dead. We can go hand the quest in. Very good. Okay, there is the Tree Gnome Village quest completed. Which means we can use Spirit Trees. And that gets us up to level 28 attack. Nice. There it is, baby. There is 30 fire making. And now we can go do the Sea Slug quest. For a whopping 7,000 fishing XP, that gets us from level 1 up to level 24 fishing. That is beautiful. I'm rich. I don't know where I got these oyster pearls from, but they buy them for 560 coins. I am actually rich. What the? Okay, these guard dogs are aggressive, so we're just going to need to do a little, uh... Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. Doo -doo -doo. Ooh, got it, okay. So, next up we are going to do the fishing contest quest. Now, I was concerned about not having a fishing rod, but it turns out you can get a fishing rod during the quest for 5 GP. So, if you don't have a fishing rod, don't fret. You can stay on this side of the game and uh, you can get one from a good old Grandpa Jack. Alright, there is the fishing contest quest completed. There's another 2.4k XP, so... You know, not as much as the other quests, but yeah, free XP is always good. Okay, so next up, I am going to be doing the Daddy's Home mini quest. And whilst I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and get my construction up a little bit higher as well. So, I found a, a spot that isn't super crowded. There's a couple of planks that spawn on Entrana. So, I'm just going to slowly but surely collect 120 planks on Entrana. What? Who did that? <laughs> Somebody dropped my heart. I didn't even notice. What the hell? Okay, there is Daddy's home completed. We are now level 8 construction. We've got our very own POH, and we get a bunch of free stuff, which is fantastic. Now, the real question is, will 341 bronze nails be enough, or will I bend them all? I'll probably bend them all, let's be real. <laughs> oh my. Look at my chat box. That's so bad. Oh my god. I bent like 10 of them in a row. Alright, this will be the last of my planks. We got up to level 21 construction, which is not bad if I do say so myself. With construction done, our next objective is to train our fishing so we can go do Temporos. Now, I'm doing some fly fishing in Lumbridge, and I just got level 30 fishing. So, I finally used that XP lamp I've been holding on to all day. And there it is. There is level 35 fishing. Members can now fight the Temporos, and that is what we are looking for. And last but not least, we did the Prince Ali rescue quest. And the reason I did that is because when you go to Temporos, you have to go in and out of the gate. And I figure if I get this done now, not only did I get 700 GP, but also it'll save me some money going in and out of the gate. So, with Prince Ali rescue completed, 
by golly, it is time for some Temporos. Hey, we just got the notification. Your cat, or your kitten, has grown into a healthy cat that can hunt for itself. There we go. There is the first fully grown cat of the group, Iron Man. Come here, civilian. I've got a puss for you. What? Get your mind out of the gutter. I have a cat that I could sell. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I will gladly take your 200 death runes. Sorry, kitty. Our, our time... Did I not accept it? Am I stupid? Oh, there we go. Okay. There's 200 death runes. And now, I will show you how I'm going to get back quickly to get another cat. Alright, so after I'm done trading the cat in, I'm going to take the spirit tree from our dune back to the grand exchange. And then I can go talk to What's-Her-Face and get a new kitten. And then we can head up. Ooh, do we go for the... F oh, surely. Yes, I'll help you with your pheasants, freaky forester. Give me the shirt. Okay, we got the shirt. Woohoo! I'm like a real farmer now. Okay, little time saving tip as well. If you're not going to use it for anything else, you can use your mini game teleport to Clan Wars. That will take you to the Ferex Enclave. And once you get here, you can drink the pool of refreshment. And that will give you full run energy. And now with that, I've got a new kitten. I'm, I've got full run energy, and I'm ready to head back to Temporos. My boy Curtis has given us an upgrade. Oh, no, wait, yeah, okay. My boy Curtis has given us an upgrade. He's training Hunter right now, and by catching some spiked kebits, he has given us a barb tail harpoon. So that uh, saves an inventory slot. Very, very nice. All right, there's a bit of a milestone. There is level 50 fishing here at the old winter Todd. I think right now I'm on uh, kill count 18. So we are cruising right along and there is 50 fishing. Okay, I think we're gonna go open up some, uh, some loot. Right now I am level 55 fishing. I've got 193 permits. I'm very excited to see what we get. I, uh, I'm, I'm done for the day. I'm not quite done with, with Temporos, but I'm done for the day. And I don't want to leave people hanging, so I'm going to go open these bad boys up. Okay, shall we begin? So a reminder, when you get a unique, you're going to heal, you're going to hear a bell jingle. So that is what we are listening for. Let's start fishing. Bro, I, I think if John... Oh! Okay. One. Two. Three. Back to back. Holy... Oh my. Four. And his name is John C. That's it. Okay. Four dinglings. Moment of truth. What did we get? Oh, tackle box. Okay. Unfortunately, that's that's not all that useful uh, <laughs> we would have we would have we would have much rather have gotten a fish barrel but look at the raw fish though 273 lobsters 963 salmon 695 tuna lots of planks I mean that's that's pretty good right there okie dokie shall we 11 caskets here we go 20 uncut sapphires okay that's good 5k. Nice. We like money. 8 ruby rings. Okay, ruby rings, not so good. They're not terrible, but... Oh, a rune med helm. Okay. You can get uh, rune full helms, so meh. 28 jades. I don't know if... J I mean, what, what the hell do you make with jades? Amulets of chemistry. Guess. Four diamond bracelets. Okay. I mean, that's elk money, I guess. Oh, ruby bracelets on a medium clue scroll. Red topaz. Seven emerald rings. Okay. Dueling rings for the boys. No oh, 91 gold bars. Good for making jewelry. And last but not least... 
three diamond necklaces. Okay, not the best caskets, I feel like. Not the best caskets. Now, whilst I work on this video, I'm going to do some wood cutting and get my fire making level up. I'm not quite done with Temporos, but once I do finish Temporos, I'm going to be doing some Winter Todd. So, uh, whilst I edit this video, may as well get some fire making done, because I'll need to get up to level 50 before I can start doing Winter Todd, but that will be tomorrow's goal. Well, I chopped and burned willows until I got level 35 fire making. At that point, I moved over to Teaks. Now, the easiest place to chop teaks at a low level is here in the Isle of Souls. Uh, it's way on the north side of the island, uh, but there's a few teak trees just chilling. It's very, very popular right now with uh, group Iron Men, so it was a little contested, but uh, a big shout out to Foe for getting us rune axes last night. Without the rune axe, this would have taken way, way longer, but there we go. There is level 50 fire making. So, at the start of next video, I can finish off Temporos, and we are also now ready for Winter Todd as well. And I think I'm going to call it a video there. This is pretty much all my progress from day one and a little bit of uh, the morning of day two. Now, I, I just want to say that I think in future videos, there's probably going to be more opportunity for uh, group content, if that makes sense. So, like, you know, these early videos, we all need to get our accounts going and, and running. Um, so we're doing a lot of things separately, but I think in the future, there's going to be a lot of opportunity for content where we're all on Discord together, you know, doing bosses. So I know this is like a group Iron Man series, and it might kind of just seem like a solo progress video. Understand that it's going to be like that for a little bit until we build our accounts up and we can actually start doing stuff together. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I hope you are looking forward to the rest of the series. Alright, so Paul has some nature runes, and he has the magic level to high alk them, so I'm actually going to give him the jewelry that I got from Temporos yesterday. He's going to high alk it for me, and then we can uh, use the money. Okay, Paul said that he uh, alked the jewelry, and he put the money back in the storage for me. I'm going to be honest, I don't remember how much money... I think it was, I think it was exactly 31k. I think this is all mine, so... Very nice. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it all. I think it's all mine from the jewelry. And I can use that to probably train magic later today. Very good. Hey, there we go. There is level 58 fishing. Now, the reason 58 fishing was my goal is with that, I can catch the second tier of barbarian fish. Now, of course, you can start below that, but this will make it a lot faster when I do want to do some barbarian fishing. Well, we're level 58 fishing now. I did one extra game. I don't really know why, but I did. So we now have 64 reward permits. Uh, that's about a third how many I used last night. Let's see if we get any uniques this time. Oh, man, I didn't get a single one. That's so sad. Maybe I got a lot of caskets. Okay. I like four caskets for that many permits is okay. It's not bad. Well, okay, here go the caskets. Ruby rings. Another rune med. A loop half of a key. An easy clue and 12 sapphire bracelets. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, let's see if I can do this easy clues goal, yeah? Okay, first step we can do. Good start, good start. Another clue. Why? The Forlorn Homestead unlocks in Hosidius. I mean, I can do that, I guess. Okay, so we're here on Zaya. We just unlocked the Forlorn Homestead song, which is what I need for the clue scroll. Whilst I'm on Zaya, though, before I do Winter Todd, I'm going to need another piece of warm clothing. You can get the Clue Hunter top here on Zaya. So I'm going to hop over there and go grab this. Ah, it would seem that Gimme Dat Bussy had the same idea as me. Is he on, is he on the right tile? He might be. No, it's like, it's like right here, maybe? Oh, how good are we? Okay, there's the clue under top. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, okay, come on. Show us the flared trousers. Well? 
Well, before we head off to Winter Todd, I'm going to use up some of these planks that I got from Temporos. The higher your construction level, the more XP I will get at Winter Todd. So there's no reason not to use these now before I go to Winter Todd. So let's build and destroy some chairs, shall we? Okay, so a bit of an update on construction. I'm going to build a workshop. Paul got himself the dig site pendant. So he wants to start doing birdhouse runs. In order to, to do birdhouses though, you need clockwork mechanisms. Luckily, I have 30 construction, which is high enough to build the table required to make the clockwork mechanism. So, for once, I'm going to hold my own weight. I'm going to contribute to the team by having a good POH. Okay, here we go. Team player. Build a clock making space. We'll build the table one. And then we'll upgrade that to the two. And now, everybody can make clockwork mechanisms for birdhouses. Well, I used up all of my regular planks, and this is the last of my oak planks right now as well. We are up to level 36 construction. That's pretty good, dude. You know, for, I mean, as, as early on as we are in the account, I feel like 36 construction ain't bad. Okay, uh, I say now it's off to Winter Todd. Let's go. This is it. This is the ideal way to do Winter Todd. You turn Entity Hider on, and then it's just you and a bunch of kitties. You're like bubbles. I'm kind of like the... God, it looks out for all the kitties in the park. That's one fucking nice kitty right there. So I want to pass on some information, something I just learned about. There is a Twitch stream called Winter Todd Scouter, and it shows all of the main Winter Todd worlds. It shows what percentage health the Winter Todd is at. Now, why that is important is because I'm in a game right now, okay? So I'm going to finish this game of Winter Todd, and then I'm going to check the Winter Todd Scouter live stream. And according to that, I can see where a game has just begun. So instead of standing around and waiting for this world, you know, to reset, I can instantly hop to the next world and get started on the next game. It's a lot better XP per hour, and I just learned about it today, and it's, it's cool as hell. Well, there is level 10 fletching. That is the requirement for the tourist trap done. Although I have not been here for very long, so I think I'm actually going to stay until I get 66 fire making. 66 fire making is the highest level required for uh, a quest. I think it's uh, my making friends with my arm. So I'll at least in until I get 66. There's another milestone. There is level 30 fletching. You can now make steel bow. Steel bows. Listen, the word bow was below the whatever. All right, and here we go. This will be level 50 wood cutting here at Winter Todd. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the reason I want 50 woodcutting is in order to be eligible to receive magic logs from Winter Todd crates, you have to be at least level 50 woodcutting. So, now that I'm eligible for magic logs, I think it's time to open up our crates. Before that, though, we got one more thing coming. I'm also about to get... Ow. I'm also about to get level 70 fire making. There we go. There is level 70 fire making. Beautiful. Okay, we got 47 supply crates. Let's get this party started. Again, we are really, really wanting to get magic logs. Magic logs would be big for the team. Oh, there we go. All right, 20... Th that inventory was great. 23k coins and the pyro top. Okay, okay. We like that inventory. And that's all she wrote, so... We got the pyro top, we got the bruma torch, we got lots of coins off of that. I think I started with about 20k, roughly, so I would say we made about 120k coins off of all these crates and lots of other good supplies, namely the herbs. The herbs are going to be nice because I do need to get a few levels right now. Well, I think now that I am level 70 fire making, I am going to finally go get my hit points up. Uh... Obviously, getting higher fire making would probably be better, but that's boring, and I like having fun. So, 
I think it's time to start doing a bit of questing. Uh, let's go do the witch's house quest. You can say spot it, but it takes some time. Oh, I guess I don't even know how. I don't even know how. Bro, attack it. I'm actually lagging. No shot. No shot. Yo, pause for a sec. What the fuck? And there we go. There is Witch's House completed. Now we are no longer at a measly 10 hit points and cannot get one banged by anything. Now that I've got 25 hit points, I'm feeling a little bit more confident. Let's go do the uh, waterfall quest as well. No. I'll save you. No, I tried. No. I tried. I, I'm sorry. No. Who the hell is this guy? What's happening? Oh, you have the full black chicken outfit? Nice, dudes. Okay, big brain time-saving move here. We, we bring the runes with, we drop them on the floor, and now we go in and do this. Also, if you don't want to die to a moss giant, have the zombie tag you before you run by, so the moss giant can hit you. And then you are... Well, I mean, the moss giant... If you get unlucky, the moss giant could get on you now. Surely a, a zombie hits me again. It tried to, but it missed. The moss giant's too slow. Uh, that moss giant's staring me down, but he can't hit me at 25, so I'm not going to worry about it. At least I don't think he can hit a 25. Oh, he's just... You're just too slow. I'm too fast. I'm Sonic, bitch. And now we pick up the runes off the floor, and we are ready to finish the quest. And that then is the waterfall quest completed. We're now 36 attack and 30 strength. Very nice. Okay, so next up, I'm going to get my agility up, as agility is required for barbarian fishing. I'm going to get my agility up by doing the tourist trap as well as the grand tree. Now, in order to do the Tourist Trap, I need to get 20 smithing first, though, so I'm gonna go do the Knight Sword quest. Moment of truth, do we have what I need in the group storage? Show me a red berry pie, come on. Yee, we have a red berry pie, and we have an iron... Well, we need two iron bars, oh no. Oh no, we only have one. Alright, there we go, there is the Knight Sword quest completed, one of the easiest big XP quests in the game. All the way up to 29 smithing with one quest. Okay, I think I know how to I think I know how to save spot him. So I I piss him off. There. And now that I've talked to him, he shouldn't move. Shouldn't. Yeah, typically if you if you talk to an NPC, but don't actually finish the dialogue, they won't move. They'll just sit there and stand next to you. Okay, so we are handing in the quest right now. Now, I'm going to, of course, select Agility for my free XP. Uh, there is, holy, level 20 Agility off of the first one, and level 26 Agility off the second. Now, that is literally perfect, because... I need to have level 25 agility for the Grand Tree, and we have it. So, there is the Tourist Trap done. 26 agility, off to go do the Grand Tree. Get the Lumber Order from the Foreman on the Southern Docks. You can either kill him or talk to him. Hmm, kill him or talk to him. Kill him or talk to him, I don't know. They both sound like viable options, I don't know. <laughs> the, the rat is literally a lifesaver. Think about that. This little tiny level 1 rat is preventing this gigantic black demon from getting to me. This little rat's like, I don't think so, pal. You stay where you are. And there we go. There is the Grand Tree quest completed. That got us to level 41 attack, as well as level 32 agility. Got some magic levels. Love it. Alright, I've slain this temple guardian. Surely King Rold will be very happy when I go talk to him. You what?! Alright, there we go. There is the Priest in Peril quest completed. That gave us, like, five prayer levels, which is nice. 
But most importantly, we can get to Canifus. Whoa! You even got a holler at me. What's what's the matter, bruh? Before Drezzel so rudely shouted at me, what I was saying was now we can continue our medium clue scroll. Uh, I need to go talk to Rover. Uh, Alright, let's see what step number three is. Northeast of Eagle's Peak. I should be able to get to that. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a hike, but I can do that. Here it is. The first medium casket of the account. Come on, baby. Oh, Amulet of Power. Yes, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Amulet of Power. Let's go. Well, now that we've quested our stats up and I completed my medium clue scroll, next up, I'm going to do some barbarian fishing. Barbarian fishing is very nice for a low-level account, because if you're unaware, you also gain strength and agility XP in addition to fishing XP. So I'm going to barbarian fish until level 65 fishing. At 65, you unlock Karambwans, and we'll see if we get some nice strength and agility levels along the way. Dunk my balls in cocoa milk. Alright, man. You do you. I respect it. Hey, there is a very nice unlock. There is level 40 agility. That means we can now go straight to the Canifus course. So before I even do any manual agility, I can start directly at Canifus, which is one of the best for Marks of Grace. So that is one of the upsides of Barbarian Fishing. So there's 40 agility, and we're actually very close to 65 fishing as well. Beautiful. There it is. There is level 65 fishing. Members can now can try catching Carambwans. That's weird. I feel like it doesn't normally word it that way, but... There's 65 fishing for Carambwans. Love to see it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a video there. Thank you all very much for watching. At the start of the next episode, we're going to get started on some questing so we can actually catch and cook those Carambwans, which are going to be very, very helpful for the team. Well, now that I can catch Carambwans, I need to do the quests associated with it. Now, the actual requirement to catch them is Tai Bo Wanai Trio. Of course, you can't go directly to Tai Bo Wanai Trio, though. Uh, to do that quest, you need to first have completed Jungle Potion. So let's go do Jungle Potion. Okay, I think with this handed in, that should be the... Jungle Potion quest completed, gives us some free Herblore XP, which we love to see. And now we can do Taibo Wanai Trio. One of the required items for Taibo Wanai Trio is an Iron Spear or better, and my group is an absolute beast. Look at that. Steel Spear just hanging out, waiting for me. Now I don't have to get one as a drop. Or cook a Karambuan for a poison Karambuan. Be aware you may fail this. Oh no. <sighs> Well, I feel very glad that I got 65 fishing before doing this quest, because if I would have burnt that, I literally would have had to stop and go get the level, because this is the only way that you could get this. Okay, that was a lot of running around all over Karamja, but that is the Tai Bo Wanai Trio quest completed. You get a whole bunch of XP, and of course now we can catch Karambwans. Although I think I'm supposed to go talk to uh, his sons, because they'll give me more XP, I think. Well, now that I can catch Karambwans, I need to unlock Fairy Rings so I can realistically get back and forth to them. Now, I don't I don't literally need Fairy Rings, but yeah, I kind of do. So, that of course is going to require the completion of Fairy Tale Part 1. Requirements for Fairy Tale Part 1 is completion of Lost City and Nature Spirit. I think I'm going to start with Nature Spirit. Okay. It is time to kill some ghasts. I'm using the Rune Spear KP that I got from Taibo Wanai Trio. May it serve me well. Oh, we just hit a 7. I'm gaming. Alright, I think we just talked to the Nature Spirit now with my amulet on. Sorry. We talked to the Nature Spirit now and that is the quest completed. Beautiful. We get some crafting XP, hit points, defense XP... Very nice. Oh, 1 to 16 crafting off that? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the next quest I need to do is the Lost City. The Lost City, however, requires level 31 crafting. I'm only 16 right now. I'm going to start off by doing Murder Mystery, as that gives some crafting XP. 
Alright, this will be the murder mystery quest wrapped up. This should give us... I think it's like 1.2k crafting XP, which is not a ton, but better than nothing. We go from level 15 up to level 19. Now, some more big crafting XP can be gained from Elemental Workshop. However, I don't quite have the mining level to do Elemental Workshop, so to get my mining up, I'm going to go do the dig site. Alright, I am an absolute idiot. I just finished the dig site quest, did my whole little speech, and I it turns out I wasn't recording, but we finished dig site. And it gave us a ton of mining and herblore XP. We are now 32 mining and 18 herblore. <laughs> I actually can't believe I forgot to record. Uh, well, with our mining up, now we can go do uh, Elemental Workshop Part 1. Love how fast Elemental Workshop Part 1 is. Part 2 takes a little bit longer, but there's Part 1 completed. That gives us 5k crafting and 5k smithing XP. And on that note, let's go ahead and do... Uh, what's it called? I Elemental Workshop Part Two. That's what we're doing next. I I literally just did Part One and I couldn't think of the name of it. Like a second later. Hello. Oh baby, there is Elemental Workshop Part Two completed. Seventy five hundred crafting and smithing XP. So we are now thirty six smithing and thirty two crafting. And of course, now that we're over 30 crafting, we can go do the Lost City quest. Sit the fuck down! Okay, let me chop my Draymond tree. I suppose we'll grab a few of them while we're at it. Just in case. I don't know how I would lose one. Actually, I think for Recipe for Disaster, you need a Draymond branch that hasn't been cut up. Like, you just leave it like that. So I'm gonna keep one. Actually, I want two of them. So, I want one of them to use to fight Koshay the Deathless in Fremnic Trials, and the other is for RFD, so I need, I need two of these, actually. Alright, I think when we enter Zanaris through the shack, that will be the Lost City quest completed. Indeed, indeed. Okay, now we can do Fairy Tale Part 1, which I'm a little afraid, because during Fairy Tale Part 1, you get this list of items you have to, to acquire, and it can be really bad. Okay, well, these wizards won't get off me, so... I'm literally... This this is the equivalent of, like... My... Like... Calling my big brother to beat them up. Yeah, that's right. What now, you... Stupid dark wizards. Yeah, that's what I thought until one spawns and hits me. I better hurry up. <laughs> oh I'm so scared. Okay, this is the guy that gives me the list of three items. This could either be okay, or it could be terrible Pair of secatures a slimy eel a bunch of grapes and an uncut ruby. Okay I don't know about a slimy eel, but the other two are easy. That's pretty good. I'm self-sufficient Yes, I have an uncut ruby right there uh, and then Paul said he put some grapes in the storage. And then the slimy eel, I guess, is in the Lumbridge Swamp. Okay, there is a fishing icon down here. You need a net. Oh, bait. Here we go. This is this has got to be it. I don't know what else it would be. Ye oh, it's a cave eel. I need a slimy eel. Surely not the same. That's the one. Oh look, I have it set up instantaneously. <laughs> now we gotta flinch it. This is gonna take a while considering I am level 1 farming, but we'll get there. Slowly but surely. And there we go, there is Fairy Tale Part 1 completed. That gets us up to level 17 farming, so nice. Uh, now, in order to actually use the Fairy Rings, I do need to start Part 2 as well. Alright, I think at this point, I have done enough of the quests that I have access to fairy uh, rings. Let's test it out by going to BJ's. Yep, we, we, we can go to BJ's island. Wait, what? It didn't work. Hold on. I hardly moved at all. Wait a minute. Wait, okay, have I not done enough of the quest? Here, I know DK's.
Okay. Yeah, that's... weird. It looks like it's working. I don't know why the BJ's one didn't work, but uh, it looks like my fairy rings are working now. So, I've got access to fairy rings, I've done Taibo one I trio, I can catch Carambuans, I'm ready to go. The problem is, I need to cook them. Right now I'm level 39 cooking, but I've got tons of fish in the bank from Temporos. Before I cook them though, I would like to unlock the Hosidious range. The Hosidious range, uh, you have a 5% less chance to burn food. The problem is you have to get 100% Hosidious favor. Luckily, it's really easy. Well, to get started on our Piscarillus favor, we need to push the plow for an indeterminate amount of time. You just gain favor randomly when you push it, so we'll see how long this takes. Okay, so we are at 5% favor now. I'm gonna miss you, Mr. Plow. Now, I need to add saltpeter to my compost. And this was the slowest part of getting Hosidia's favor done. So you buy the compost packs from uh, pretty much any farming store in the game. And then, you have to collect this saltpeter by digging it up with a spade. It's relatively AFK, but it did take a couple of hours. So now, I need to combine this compost and the saltpeter. Now... I've done this before, so I think what you're supposed to do is line them up vertically. And then with these still in your inventory, then you withdraw the next 14, then put these away. Yeah, and then they, they stay in that position. Okay, now we talk to the clerk, and she will take it directly from my bank. And that should boost my Hosidious favor. All the way up to 100%. Hell yeah. And now, we cook. I have so much raw fish from Temporos. I suppose I should start with the lowest level food. Uh, that'd be salmon, yeah? I suppose salmon. Um, I don't have cooking gauntlets, but with the boost from the clay ovens... I'm hoping I won't burn a whole lot, fingers crossed. Okay, this is the last of the food I have to cook. I got to a higher level than I expected. I am level 62 cooking right now. And, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I did burn plenty of food, but hey, 62 cooking really ain't bad. And now we have 800 tuna, 400 lobsters, some swordfish. That's all fine and dandy, of course, but the big thing is now I can catch and cook some carambons. Okay, I caught 100 carambons real quick. I just want to cook them uh, for science sake. And we'll see how many we cook out of 100. Okay, so I burned... Well, kind of a lot of them. Let me look. I caught 104 carambons and I burned 29 of them. So that's like... Uh, like 25% maybe, which I guess isn't terrible. It's kind of bad though. Well, now that I know that I can catch food and provide for the boys, I want to continue questing and getting my stats up. Right now, my lowest combat stat, well, other than range, is defense and prayer. So I'm going to do the Holy Grail quest to get both of those up. Now, of course, a prerequisite for that is Merlin's Crystal, so that'll be up first. Before taking off to do those quests, I got hooked up with some very, very nice upgrades. So first and foremost, I got 125 dragon bones. Curtis has been catching dragon implings, and because of that, he's gotten dragon bones. He got that amulet of glory over there, and then Paul had an extra rune skim to give me. So, I, I still wanted to go do those quests, but now I got 125 dragon bones to use up to get my prayer up. Alright, there's Merlin's crystal dummy. Get six quest points from that. <laughs> and we rocking the old Excalibur, beautiful. Oh, don't... Did he just go back to full health? No, I didn't kill him with the Excalibur! No! <laughs> Son of a bitch, dude. I gotta do it all over again. You're kidding. Well, with me having to kill the Black Knight Titan twice, that, uh... Took a little longer than it should have, but there's the Holy Grail completed. Up to level 30 prayer and 32 defense. So, 
since Paul gave me those dragon bones earlier, I now need to go unlock the Ecto Functus to use them. So let's go do Ghost Ahoy. I mean, hey, it is it is Halloween season, isn't it? So fun fact about this one, I know when I was a kid, I like ran all over the town talking to everybody. You can literally just go back and forth and talk to two people. Like you just need two of them. You alternate who do you talk to, and they'll give you a different answer every time. It's that simple. I always forget Ghost Ahoy is a uh, a pretty lengthy quest, pretty girthy if you will. But there it is, it completed, and that of course gives us the Ecto file, which is a pretty handy telly that gives us 2.4k prayer XP. And speaking of prayer, I am now gonna go use those dragon bones I was given on the Ecto Functus, and that should give us 43 prayer. Holy guacamole, crushing those dragon bones took forever, but it's finally done, and now we can spam these and get some Omega Prayer XP. Look at those XP drops, dude. So good. Alright, and here they go. Put the last of these bones in, and there is level 43 Prayer. We can now use all of the protection prayers. Love to see it. You know, I just realized that I did this entire quest without recording a single thing. Uh, I decided to go do the fight arena quest because it's easy peasy attack XP, and I don't know why I didn't do it before. Boom! 12k attack XP, 2k thieving XP, love to see it. Well, the reason why I got my attack up is I want my rune scimitar to be nice and accurate when I go fight Elvarg. I'd say Dragon Slayer would be a good quest to do right now. Uh, you can flinch the boss, so you don't need to, you know, have super high stats, and it would give me a bunch of defense XP, so. Dragon Slayer it is, baby. Ah, uh, this area in particular is super nostalgic for me. I just, I, I have a distinct memory of doing Melzar's Maze as a little kid. Now, of course, back then, you don't have the quest helper plug-in telling you exactly what to kill. I, I think I just killed these things for like an hour, and I was like, they won't drop the key, with not knowing you just have to kill the specific one. I had no idea. Oh baby, here comes the big bad Elvarg. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I don't know how to flinch this thing. Do I just? I think I've seen it. It's just kind of like on the east wall, right? You just like run it over to the east wall and then you flinch it or something. Okay. Oh, how easy is that? Wicked. <laughs> How easy is that? Yeah, you guys are worried about nothing. It's fun. Shit! Let's go! That's a dead Elvarg. Yeah. There goes his head. There is Dragon Slayer 2 completed. That puts us up to 39 defense and 44 strength. Very nice. I thought Dragon Slayer 2 was the one with the big blue one. It is. Wait, did I say Dragon Slayer 2? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I wish. And I think on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching it. These videos have been very fun to make so far, and I've been getting some great feedback. So, definitely going to keep them coming. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. Well, the stats are starting to look pretty solid, except for that pesky level 1 range. I think an easy way that I could get my range up would be to do the Shadow of the Storm quest. Uh, now, in order to do that, I, I think I have to do Demon Slayer, as well as Ruins of Oozer. So, little prerequisites first. Okay, there is the Demon Slayer quest completed. Next, we move on to Ruins of Oozer. Alright, there is the Golem quest completed. Nice and easy. Little thieving and crafting XP. And now we will move on to Shadow of the Storm. I'm evil. You don't look evil. You certainly don't dress evil. Bro, what do you mean? My eye patch is black. It's so close. There we go. 
Uh, yeah, okay, now this is actually why I did the quest. We are going to put our XP on range. We are starting at level 1, and that gets us to level 27. Very nice. So, Shadow of the Storm left us at level 27 range, and if I go do the Horror from the Deep quest, that'll give us some more range XP, and that should push me over level 30, which is what I need for Big Chompy Bird Hunting. So, here we are. We are doing Horror from the Deep, and I'm actually ready to fight the boss right now. So, the interesting thing about this boss is it can either use me melee or range. However, it will only use the opposite of what you pray. So, if you pray range, he's only going to melee. But if you get him stuck on here, then he just can't do anything. So, hey, level 30 magic. Yo, hold up. I'm going to try something for science sake. I want to see if you flick every tick if it breaks it. Oh my god, it does, doesn't it? It's it's just oh my, it's just like the desert treasure one. If you flick back and forth between prey melee and prey range every game tick, it breaks it. It won't do anything. It won't attack you at all. That's funny. That should do it. Okay, very nice. And this is one of those ones where as soon as you kill it. The quest is instantly completed, and that did get us exactly level 30 range. Perfect. At this point, I wanted to take a bit of a break from questing, so I decided to make some money. Now, the reason why is, last episode, I finished Dragon Slayer, which means I can wear a rune play body. So I figured it'd be a good time to make a little money and buy myself full rune. Now, I decided to do the LMS Moneymaker. If you don't know how to do that, you pretty much just play LMS and you buy rune arrows with your reward points and you sell them to shops. I'll explain it a little more later, but it's super, super good money. Okay, uh, 20 points. What does that buy me? Trade. Rune arrows. Okay, so that can buy us... Six sets of rune arrows? 1,800 of them. Let's see how much money that sells for. Now, as for what you do with the rune arrows once you have them, uh, you can do this at multiple shops, but I found the Pest Control General Store to work best. You sell five rune arrows at a time. They sell for 160 GP apiece. Now, what you can do is sell arrows, hop worlds, and repeat. That takes way longer. If you have a friend that can help you, or even if you have your own main that you can use to help yourself, what you do is, is you sell five arrows, and then a main account buys the five arrows, and then you can just keep selling because they clear the stock without you having to hop, if that makes sense. So some viewers helped me out, I just sold five arrows, they would buy it, and repeat. And, yeah, I played four games of LMS. Four. I won two of them, which is seven points apiece, and then I got four points one game, and three points the next. Four games of LMS for all those rune arrows, and I made so much money. I'm gonna end up with almost 300k. That's nuts! 275k for, like... I, I, I'm pretty sure I spent, like, half an hour at LMS. For 275k, man. That is actually insanity. Okay, let me go buy a rune plate body and plate legs, because we may as well. Okay, we'll grab a, a pair of rune plate legs while we're here. Yeah, we could buy green dehyde as well, to be fair. It's pretty cheap. Okay, off to Oziac now. Okay, Oziac, scam me for an extremely expensive rune plate body. We'll buy a green dehyde body as well. We are really coming up in the world. Before, the best melee armor I had was the default Iron Man armor, and now, look at us. Look at us, baby! Woo! -hoo. Next up in our quest for getting Adam in gloves right now, I need to complete the big chompy bird hunting quest, which is possible because I now have 30 range. So, my man Rance, let's shoot some birds. Okay, here's your seasoned Chompy, and there is the big Chompy bird hunting quest completed. We got a little fletching and a range level off that, and let's start RFD, fellas. Wait, I'm trolling. I have one more quest to do. I need to do Goblin Diplomacy. Very scary, dangerous quest. We're putting the status on the line here. 
Easiest quest ever. There is goblin diplomacy done for a whopping five quest points. Thank you very much, fellas. I got a crafting level too. We take those. It is simply a recipe for disaster. Bro, why would you put ashes in a drink? Who the hell wants a dirty blast? Alright, there is RFD started. It has begun. At the moment with my stats and quest completions, I can get up to Adamant Gloves. Now to get Rune and Dragon, of course, I'll need to also do Ceramic Vars and King Owooge, but I'll get there eventually. Uh, for now though, I may as well get started, you know. Adamant Gloves are better than a combat bracelet, so no reason not to get them right now. Now the question is, who should we start with? Uh, the first one in the list is the Dwarf, so you know what? The Dwarf it is, baby. Whoa! <laughs> Yo, why does he strike that pose? What is he doing? What the hell was that? Alright, thanks to the Dwarven Rock Cake. I don't have Ice Gloves though, so I'm just gonna telegrab it. And then I think I need to go kill an Ice Fiend to cool it down. Alright, first RFD subquest completed. Here is your Dwarven Rock Cake. Get a little bit of uh, cooking and a little bit of Slayer XP, okay. That gets me to level 9 Slayer, very nice. Okay, this is the best part of the quest. I'm totally gonna waste some time killing these crabs until I get the, uh, the crab claw. I just need the meat, but you can get the little claw that you can wield, and it is best in slot fashion scape, so I gotta get it. Oh, there it is, the fresh crab claw. I don't know what i do with it. I, don't, I may have to use a chisel on it or something, but we got it, baby. Oh my, I, I was so close to clicking on eat right there. Alright, there's the Pirate Pete mini quest completed as well. Okay, I've been told I have about a 40% chance of successfully making this crab claw. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, I'm so happy. I did it. This is one of my favorite cutscenes in the entire game right here. This cutscene is honestly amazing. <laughs> oh, poor fella. <laughs> Slop of compromise, that is some bone app the teeth. There we go, there's the goblin... Hello? The Goblin Generals completed. A, a farming level off of that, very nice. And a crafting level. And then Mahomie Rants. Oh my god. What? You're supposed to sit in the boat. What is that? My god. Look at the size of that thing. That is... <laughs> that's gotta be the biggest bird on RuneScape. Well, maybe minus Kriara, I suppose. Look at, look at, look at the size of the meat on the ground next to you. Holy Christ. Here you go, scratch ooglogwi. I've got your cooked jubbly. What is, what a sentence, man. What a sentence. Okay, we're making some serious progress. Okay, so I was gonna say that, you know, doing RFD Evil Day with a kitten would be terrible. But the Quest Helper plugin is actually cheats. I have not touched a stew yet, and it, it's telling me exactly what I need. I don't know how the hell it does that, but it knows exactly what dosage I need right now. Autom I, I don't know. I don't get it, dude. He got one! Yeah! Good job, buddy! He got back-to-back! -back. And of course, he got he got back-to-back, -back, but it's the spice that I already have enough of, of course. Is that a two? It's a- no, it's a two. I need three doses. It's a two. Oh, man, it's so close. All right, fella, here is your spicy stew, and there is Evil Dave completed. That gave us 7k cooking XP, and that did give us a, a cooking level as well. Nice. Oh my god, I don't know his name. Hopefully the list will help me decide. I, 
I think it's Ill Fiend. That was my first thought. I'm going with my gut. Fuck! Okay, now we cook the cake of guidance. And we give that to my boy, the Lumbridge Guide. And then, that is all I can do for RFD at this moment. Ceramic Vars, I'm missing a few quests. And a Wooge, I'm also missing a, a few levels. So, these two are not too far away, but I can't do them at the moment. The next sub-quest of Recipe for Disaster that I'm closest to completing is the Monkey Ambassador. Now, of course, to do that one, I have a few requirements. First of all, and most importantly, being the completion of Monkey Madness. So, let's go do Monkey Madness Part 1. Man, I remember doing this when I was a kid. This shit is, like, PTSD-inducing. This took me, like, over an hour, just sitting here trying to... I'm just... I was sweating. Monkey Madness... Chapter 2, in which our hero finds himself engaging in severe quantities of monkey business. <laughs> okay, this portion of the quest can be the biggest pain in the ass. These things love to block the doorway and then just refuse to move. And it's actually infuriating. See? Like, look at that. I can't. Oh, did I bait it? No, I didn't. I didn't. Like, why can't you walk through them, dude? I just don't... Am I stuck? I'm stuck, aren't I? I'm literally gonna have to telly out. Kill one? Yeah, let me me and my fucking 46 strength. Let me get to work, pal. Okay, so you're talking about going up this ladder over here. And then navigating upstairs. Yeah, this is probably going to work significantly better. Because when I go back down the ladder now, I should be right next to the trap door, actually. Oh, yeah. Genius. Genius! Now, because I have Protect from Mage, I mean, like... I suppose, hypothetically, I could actually just attack this thing. But, that sounds like a waste of runes, so... I'm just gonna let the- what? That thing was glitchy as hell. So what happens next is... <laughs> you probably already can tell what's gonna happen just by the time- The fact that there's a Twitch clip right now... I fucking died, man. Watch this. Okay, okay, we're gonna- we're gonna- we're gonna- we're gonna run that back in slow-mo. And I'm gonna explain to you what happened. Okay, so I'm coming back onto the main platform. Now, the reason I go across the bridge is I want to lure the boss away from the gnomes. If you leave the boss in the area of the gnomes, they can kill it, and if they kill it, then it resets. So, that's why I cross the bridge, because I want to get back on the platform to run away. Now, this is fine. This will work as long as you just run across. Now, right there, I click on attack. And that's what does me in. When I click on attack, it causes me to path one tile towards him as soon as I come off the bridge. And then we met in the middle and he fucking bonks me for a 30. His max hit is a 32. So like, I mean, it was totally my fault. It was a mistake. It's a little bit unlucky to be fair. To, to get one bang to 30 with a max hit of 32 is... It, it's, it's gonna happen less often than it's going to happen. Uh, yeah, man, I, I don't know, it is what it is. No! No way. No way. Oh my god. I would. I literally would. Uh, can I collect the items from the gravestone now? Oh, nice. Okay. I was really, really afraid I would have had to, have, like, re-gotten the sigil and stuff, so. That's, uh, that's really nice. And then I went back to fight the boss, and I just said, Fuck all this mess, I have Prey Mage, I'm just gonna stand here and kill this thing. So that's what I did. And, like, here's the thing, I- 
I, 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 going back in time, I would not have done anything differently other than not attack the boss. I've, I, the whole, as far as like crossing the bridge and stuff, I've done that literally 20 times. I have never, ever died to the jungle demon. I just, it, of course, what, you know, I'm playing a, a, a group hardcore Iron Man, you know, then I gotta make the mistake that gets me killed. But other than not attacking it, I would have, I would have done that method 100% of the time. And normally it works, but I mean, it is what it is, man. All right, there is the Monkey Madness quest completed. Uh, now, the nice thing I'm looking forward to is, uh, Gar is it Gargor's training. You get tons and tons of XP for doing literally nothing. So we'll see what uh, levels that gets us to. Ooh, 50 strength and 42 hit points. Very nice. And I think I'm going to call it an episode there. Now, I want to quickly explain, for those of you that don't know, uh, so me dying at the moment technically doesn't do anything. We are hardcore Iron Men until we lose all four of our lives. We don't each individually have a life. Well, you could say that. <laughs> what it means is we have a pool of four lives. So one, per like me, I could die four times technically, and then we would lose hardcore status, if that makes sense. So at the moment, my death means nothing. We're all still hardcore Iron Men until we lose all four of them. Uh, I'm honestly, mistakes happen. It was. I, I'm not going to give myself the cop out of saying it was unlucky. It was a little bit unlucky, but it was still a mistake. So it is what it is. You can't, you can't go back in time. You can't undo it. So the show goes on. Yeah. All right. I think we just used the Rochelia corpse on the tomb and that should be the quest completed. Some nice free little crafting XP there. The next few quests I do, I'd like to focus on getting my herb lore up. Uh, I can do the recruitment drive quest, and that'll give me a little bit of herb lore XP, so I think I'll go knock that out. Before I can do recruitment drive, though, I do have to do Black Knight's Fortress, which, luckily, that one's, uh, that one's pretty easy. The recruitment quest drive requires you to change yourself to a female. Whilst I was there, I changed my skin to purple. It matches the, uh, the spooky season very well, I'd say. Okay, this puzzle is, like, genuinely really, really simple. <laughs> but I tried to do it without a guide one time, and I failed it so many times, man. You just, you can only bring one thing across with you at a time, right? You, you got the, the fox and the, the grain and the chicken. Well, you can't leave the fox and the chicken alone together, because the fox is going to eat the chicken. But you can't leave the chicken and the grain alone together, because the chicken's going to eat the grain. And so you just take the chicken across... And then the fox across, and then you take the chicken back across with you, and you take the grain. It's very, very simple, but my brain is small. Hey, there we go. There is the recruitment drive quest completed. Oh, and he does give you a makeover voucher. Cool. So you can get turned back into a, a dude for free. There's level 20 herb lore off of that. Very nice. Okay, I think we used the serum 208 on Old Squire Shauncey. Quite the name. And that should be. The Shades of Morton mini game. Uh, that's not the mini game. That's the quest completed. We get some crafting and some herb lore XP. Gets us to 37 crafting and 23 herb lore. Okay, up next, I am going to do Zogar Flesh Eaters, as that will get me up to 25. Okay, I have 125 arrows. I pray that that is going to be enough. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, we made plenty of arrows, but, you know, better safe than sorry. Okay, here is your ogre artifact, and there is the Zogre Flesh Eaters quest completed. With that, we are now actually 26 herb lore, and that's big, because 25 herb lore is a requirement for the, uh, hero's quest. So, my big quest objective today is Hero's Quest, for starters. Now, Hero's Quest requires level 50 mining. 50 mining, pretty quick. But, I need quest points anyway, so I may as well quest as much mining XP as I can. This has got to be the quickest quest of the entire game. Hi, Doric. I want to use your anvils. Here, Doric. I've got the stuff you need. Done. 
Quest completed. Thanks, homie. That's another mining level. Actually, 41 mining, I can use my rune pickaxe now. Sick. Sigmund Big Suspic, man. He's up to no good. I'm gonna reveal his evil in the next quest. Alright, there is the Lost Tribe completed. Gives us 3k mining XP. So not quite a level, but... Yeah, it's less iron ore I gotta mine. Okay, listen. Every time I do this quest on every account ever, I do the exact same edit of Xanax shooting the crossbow. And I'm gonna do it again. Alright, there is the death to the Dorgashin quest completed as well. Got some range and some thieving XP. I'm not gonna lie, I, I totally thought that that gave mining XP as well. Did I do the wrong quest? What? I was thinking of the wrong quest. It's actually another slice of ham, which... I mean, this is a prerequisite, so that's good. Uh, before I can do the, uh, another slice of ham, I do have to do the giant dwarf, but that's perfect because the giant dwarf quest also gives mining XP. So, alright, giant dwarf it is next. You hand over the pie, Thurgo eats the pie, Thurgo pats his stomach. I can see that being precisely how it plays out. That's <laughs> vibes, Thurgo, vibes. I am currently out of breath because... God, RuneScape questing gets me worked up, baby. There is the, there is the giant dwarf quest completed. We get tons of XP in a variety of skills. We get a mining level. We get some smithing levels. We get a crafting level. We get a magic level. And for our next quest, a sentence that I would say at every single Thanksgiving, another slice of ham. I'm taking the shot. Pew. And there is another slice of ham completed. That gives us some prayer and some mining XP. Now, as far as I know... Ooh, that gave me eagle eye. Good. As far as I know, that's the last mining quest that I can really do right now. So, unfortunately, I think I'm just going to have to manually mine the rest of the way to 49. I figured the best place for me to train my mining is probably here at good old sandstone. I can deposit my sandstone in the grinder over there for free. Now, of course, it'll cost money to withdraw it someday for crafting, but if I gotta get my mining up, I may as well get some utility in the process. And there we go. There is level 49 mining. With that, we can boost up to 50, and I've got all the requirements now. Let's go do Hero's Quest. Oh, and also, I got 2,600 buckets of sand banked. That'll come in handy for crafting in the future. All right, time to start Hero's Quest. We gotta talk to, uh... Achietes, a a arch. Yep, I like I like your idea, chat. Arch titties. All right, arch titties. Give me a quest, dude. How badass of a fish do you need to be to live in lava? Like you just you just chill you just chilling in 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 a fire cape. Like hello. Moment of truth. Ah, there you go. Thank you very much, my friend. A shout out to Soda Lysium. For helping me with the Pete's candlestick. There we go. Got ourselves some ice gloves. Beautiful. I'm sorry, Firebird. You've got to get Das Boot. R.I.P., pal. I think that's it. Let's go hand this quest in. Aye, ma'am. Here is your three items and... That should be the hero's quest completed. We get a whole bunch of XP and a variety of skills. We get an attack level, a range level, a herb lore level, a smithing level. And that's all. Beautiful. Now, of course, that was some good XP, but also I can finally go and recharge my glories. Which, this will be really nice, you know. Amulets of glory have lots of useful tellies. Alright, for RFD, I still need to do underground pass and family crest. I can't do Family Crest at the moment because I'm lacking a lot of magic levels, but I can do Underground Pass. <laughs> I'm only 40 agility though, so I might fall a ton, so I guess we'll see how this goes. Okay, let's take bets now. Before I start this, at level 40 agility, how many times will I fail? I think I'm gonna fall three times. That's, that's my personal vote. I'm, I'm gonna say three. 
I don't have 50 thieving, so we can't use the shortcut. Come on, baby, please. I, I, the, the food is not looking great as it is, so just. Oh, no. Ah, jeez. Fucking shit. Come on. Dude. Why? I mean, at least you don't have to redo all of it. Until I fall right here. Fucking hell, man. Come on. Okay, here we go. First attempt. Do we fall immediately? Hey, let's go. Yeah, watch, watch me fall here now. Watch me fall this time. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I actually would. I'm so dumb. One fall and done, please. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Alright, because I am indeed level 40 agility, we kind of planned ahead, and I brought my bone crossbow so I can kill this thing with range, and then I'm going to tele-grab the amulet that I need, so that way I can avoid jumping over this and back over again. Just two less chances to fail, you know? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ah, shit, okay. We were doing pretty good for a while there. There's two more jumps. <laughs> I'm get I know, I'm excited. Oh, boy. Okay, we make that one. We make that one. That cutscene actually scared me. Oh, my God. When it grabbed my camera like that, I was like, what? There's, there's one more. Oh, we got it. Wow. Wow, not bad, dude. Not bad. There it is. There is the underground pass quest completed. Got some agility and some attack XP off of that. Uh, I know it got me at least an agility level. And I think this dialogue starts regicide. So I think with underground pass done, I'm going to work on 48 agility, which I also need for RFD. Now, I'm taking a look at what quests give Agility XP, and Troll Romance gives 8k. The problem is Troll Romance has lots of prerequisites, including Troll Stronghold, and what the hell comes before that? Death Plateau, I think, so let's go do that quest line, and we'll end up with Troll Romance. No human pass through arena without defeating Dad. As if you're literally already standing in the safe spot. You, you, you've gone and instantaneously lured yourself. Good job, bud. Okay, Dunstan, I did what you told me to do. There's the troll stronghold quest completed. So, I know I kind of hold down the space bar key and ignore the dialogue. Why do you get a law talisman from tr from troll stronghold? What? You don't, you don't even go to Entrana, which is where the altar is. Like, what the hell is the core? I don't get it. What's, what's the correlation? Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Aga finna make me act up with that, that lipstick on, man. God damn. Sheesh. Hello, Mr. Arg. I am here to kill you. Okay. Let's lure this bad boy to the entrance. Dad, if you prevent him from getting stuck, I swear to God. Okay, good. Um, I don't know if I actually need to pray range or not. I feel like I should keep it on just to be safe, because he can both range and melee. Okay, Ugg, I've killed Arg for you. Now you can go have a girlfriend. There's Troll Romance completed. 8,000 agility XP. What? I don't have room for these gems. They're going to go to waste. Ah, uh, Karen Blondes are easy to get. I'll just drop it damn. Next quest I'm going to do on the list that gives agility XP is Cold War. Uh... Cold War is pretty easy. The thing is, I don't actually have level 10 Hunter, which is required for it. But that can easily be solved. I'll go do the Varrock Museum quiz, and that'll give me some Hunter levels. Okay, unless I missed one, which I'm pretty sure I didn't. That should be completed. And that gets us up to level 9 Hunter and level 13 Slayer. Oh, wait. I need level 10 Hunter. Oh, no, I need one more level. I don't think you could do a push-up on penguin fins, bro. 
Those things, they, that's, those fins are about one pixel wide, man. There's no way you're doing a push-up on those. For the love of God, please go up the ice. You're killing me. Okay, I'm... Let's, I, just go up the ice, you're a penguin! You live in this area of the world! It should be easy! I actually CBA. Well, that was certainly an interesting quest every time I do it. Lots of fun cutscenes. Oh no. Oh god. They're making a giant penguin suit. There's the Cold War quest completed for 5k agility XP and some crafting XP as well. Very nice. Alright, I'd say I see one more relatively easy quest I could do for agility XP and that is Iklarin's Little Helper. I feel like I hate this quest. I don't know why, but let's go do it. This is why I thought I hated the quest. Like, why do this, Jagex? <laughs> why you gotta restrict my vision, man? This is not fun. Oh, and also this part, too. When you talk to the Sphinx... Yeah, kind of overpronounce it. If you talk to the Sphinx, <laughs> if you answer the questions incorrectly, it steals your cat. Like, imagine you have, like, a wily cat and it just gets yoinked. A husband and a wife have six sons, and each son has one sister. Sounds just right to me, brother. Yeah, no, I remembered correctly. I am not a massive fan of that quest. It's, it's not terrible, but it wasn't great. There's Iklarin's little helper done, though. That'll give us another a thieving level and an agility level as well. We're at 44 agility now. I think I'm probably just going to go manually train the rest of the way to 48. I mean, I need some marks of grace anyway, so... Off to the Canifus rooftops. Well, we ended up with uh, 28 marks of grace in the process, so not a bad start to the graceful grind. There is level 48 agility, which, of course, we need for RFD for the Apatol, Apatol agility course. Well, another thing I need to do for RFD, of course, is get 175 quest points. Now, I should be focusing my questing on, you know, ones that are going to give me XP and are useful, but I may as well take some freebie quest points as well, such as Ernest the Chicken. Free-to-play quest gives you four quest points. Wait, wait, wait. So I collected all of these items before I even talked to this dude? That's so busted. I literally did the entire quest before I even, like, really started the quest. He's saved, although I think I liked you better as a chicken, Mr. Ernest. You were a nice cock. Alright, there's four very easy quest points. Speaking of easy quest points, Romeo and Juliet, no idea why, gives you five quest points. <laughs> it's like the dumbest quest ever, too. Ah, yes, the congregation watching Mr. Mammal's livestream. Juliet, who, baby? Okay, there's five more quest points. Love it. Well, that was lovely and all, but I should probably get back to, you know, doing some actual beneficial quests. With these two barley malts, I'm going to go do the Forgettable Tale of a Drunken Dwarf quest. It gives you a bunch of farming XP, and I think it's pretty quick. According to the quest guide, it says the Kelda hops will take 15 to 20 minutes to grow. Okay. Surely we be opti we we be opportunistic and we go do another quest while these are growing. Golly gee, what should I do? Um. Uh, I started Pirate's Treasure. We can finish that to get rid of the yellow text. Pirate's Treasure quest completed. Couple of pr wait, didn't I just kill you, Mister Gardener? What the? You know, I'm just in the mood to do free to play quests today. I don't think my stuff has grown yet. So let's go do Vampire Slayer as well. We'll attack XP off of that. All right, let's go, motherfucker. Yo, the way Count Draenor gets up out of that, the, the core strength you would need to stick your arms straight out in the air and just stand up like that. I don't even know. Guy's a freak. Sit. There's Vampire Slayer completed, and we get an attack level off of it. And surely my stuff has grown by now. Okay, and once again, I now need to wait another 15 to 20 minutes for this Kelda brew to, you know, do its thing. So I guess we can do some more questing whilst I wait. Uh, I think I might do a Porcin of Interest, wherever that is. Uh, it gives you some Slayer XP, and I do need more Slayer XP for uh, Animal Magnetism, so Porcin of Interest while I wait. 
I have a bad feeling there's something behind me. Oh god. He's coming. Look at that hog. Oh no. Oh jeez. Okay, let's hand in the portion of interest quest real quick. That gives me a thousand slayer XP, which does get me up to level 16. No, I don't want to task spry a fuck off. Uh, and in the chat box, it says that there, perhaps I should have a look and see if my Keldus doubt has brewed. So, good timing. <laughs> and that. Dude, they did a good job with the cutscenes in the dwarf quests, man. That should be the drunken day... For... Wait, let me try that one again. Forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf completed. 5,000 farming XP gets us up to 28 farming. Love to see it. Speaking of farming, I should go do Garden of Tranquility. But of course, that has a prerequisite. Why wouldn't it? Creature of Fankenstrain. Another very weird way to end a quest. You pickpocket him. And that is all she wrote. This creature of Fankenstrain. Now we can get on with Garden of Tranquility. You know, I almost only planted one set of onions, and thank god I planted two, because these ones actually grew. Ooh. Bro, why do I get to just steal this statue? Like, <laughs> ain't somebody in the city of Lumbridge gonna be like, Hey, don't steal that. I, ju I just get to yoink it and it's fine. Meanwhile, Billy, a new recruit of the Falador Guard, has just started his first shift. So, what are you doing this weekend? This weekend? <laughs> you haven't been here long, I take it. What do you mean? Do you know the life expectancy of a Falador guard? No. About 30 seconds, I reckon. 30 seconds? They didn't tell me that when I signed up. Any second now, someone's gonna try to kill us for no apparent reason, completely unprovoked. But why, Bob? What have we ever done to them? I don't know, Billy. But I'm not wasting my final seconds worrying about it. Uh-oh. Somebody's coming. It's PK Master, oh no. Well, that surely is one of the worst quests in old school RuneScape. But there is Garden of Tranquility completed for a nice, cool 5,000 farming XP. We're now level 32. We can grow Renars. Sick. And I think on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. So much questing done and yet so much questing yet to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There will be another one very, very soon. I have lots of footage stocked up right now. So I'm pretty much trying to pump these videos out every other day. And we'll keep doing that as long as I'm able. So feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you all soon. Dude, Solus Delagar, such a bad bitch. You literally got like 20 dudes. And you just... <laughs> My man just ice barraged like a thousand damage. Just sit. Wait, wait, wait. He ice barrages them a 70, and he's like, okay, the protagonist of the quest? Yeah, I think I'll whack him with my fucking stick. Thunk. Yeah, alright, okay. Mr. Sir Amic Vars, I would like to hand in the wanted quest. That's some five, oh, 5,000 Slayer XP. That's actually way more than I thought. On that note, now that I have the Slayer requirement, I think I'm going to do anim... I would, I would burp in the middle of my recording. Animal magnetism. Animal magnetism completed. We get a variety of XP. But of course, the biggest thing is uh, Ava's attractor. Which, of course, we'll need to upgrade at some point. I think we should get some nice big boy uh, quest points now. I'm gonna do sheep herder. I'm gonna hate every second of it, but I'm gonna do sheep herder. Okay, sheep, be a good boy. Go on. Bah. No! Oh, you bastard. Stop. And so it has begun. Okay. This way. Listen, warrior woman. Okay. All right. All right. This way. Okay, get it at a nice angle. Hit it on the crossbar. No, 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 no. Too far, too far, too far, too far.
Get in there. Let's go! Easy peasy four quest points. Speaking of big quest points, I'm going to go do the Watchtower quest, because that also gives four. You know, I'm actually pretty excited to finish this one up. I forgot that this quest gives you a ton of magic XP, which is great. I've been meaning to level up my magic anyway, so... You get 15,000 magic XP, and that puts us up to level 41. I should probably get back to doing some actually useful quests again. I am going to do Bone Voyage. Now that, of course, unlocks... What in the f*** is this guy wearing? Anyway, uh, I'm going to do Bone Voyage because that unlocks Fossil Island and then subsequently Birdhouses. Oh. Oh. That was fast. I'm not even through one inventory of cleaning finds and I got the clean necklace. Okay, well, that'll come in handy in the future. And there is the Bone Voyage quest completed. Now, I better get started on these birdhouses ASAP. The problem is, <laughs> at my current hunter level, I can only make regular log birdhouses, but, I mean, it, it's worth, like, it, it's worth starting right away. Well, I'm supposed to tell the professor what I observed in the sky... I hope there's an option to say stars, cause uh, that's that's all the, that's all I saw, man. And there's the observatory quest completed. We get some crafting XP for that, which gets us to level 40 crafting. Actually, nice. Decided to send the uh, Tower of Life quest real fast. This is another pretty quick and easy one. You're welcome for freeing you, you gigantic sperm. No levels off that quest, unfortunate. Alright, decided to hit up the Feud quest. This is going to be some massive thieving XP right here. I think it's 15k, which is going to be nice because I need to get more thieving levels for uh, Desert Treasure anyway. So, uh, no, I'm really too busy, fam. There we go, 35 to 40 thieving. We love saving some time. I'm going to start today by killing some Twisted Banshees. Now, I need to get my magic up, like, a lot for both Desert Treasure and for Family Crest. And Twisted Banshees are not a bad option. They drop Cosmic Runes, which I need. They drop some rune items. They drop, uh, pretty good herbs. So, we're gonna spend a little time with Twisted Banshees today, train some magic, and see if we can get some good drops. Oh, baby, look at that. We haven't got any Cosmic Runes yet, but we take a rune full helm. Very nice. There is 45 magic, a level I should have got a long time ago, because we can now teleport to Camelot. That's going to be so nice. Oh, baby, look at it. This is so good. I still haven't gotten any cosmic roots somehow, but another rune full helm. So, I had my fun. I cast about 2,000 fire strikes, got me up to 47 magic. It's probably time I'd be a bit more efficient and speed up. I'm going to try to train some magic now through the Archaeus Library. You get magic XP when you hand in uh, books to people that need them. I don't know how much XP per hour it is, but let's find out. Okay, fella, uh, here's your book. He gives me a book of arcane knowledge, and that gives me 517 XP for one book. That's, that's pretty good, man. Okay, the inventory is getting pretty full. It's time. I'm going to use all, like, 19 of these books. This is going to be... Oh, the... The dopamine incoming is just... Here we go. We just we just hold down the one key and we click them. I don't know how fast I can click them. About that fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I'm rock hard. Oh, jeez. Woohoo! <laughs> that was a lot of XP right there. Like, that, that's gotta go in a video, bro. I, like, I just don't get... Jagex is like inappropriate username thingy. Must be non-existent. Mommy come slut. It, 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 how would it, how would it, like, like, oh, yep, that's fine. All right, I'm going to use up the last of these books of arcane knowledge. I'm going to see if I get close enough, because I just remembered I can do the Eyes of the Glow Free quest for 12k magic XP. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm very close. So I'll do, like, one more book, and then we can go do that quest and finish it off. So, I need to get a mud rune for the Eyes of Glow Free quest, and I didn't even realize this, but you can buy combination runes as a reward from MTA. Luckily, you only need one, well, pretty much the equivalent of one point in each room, so we'll do a little MTA real fast, then we can get our mud rune that way. Alright, how easy is that? I'll take, wait, where do I buy? Oh, I feel like that's not very intuitive. The buy button's in the corner, okay, anyway. There's our mud rune. Let's go do the quest. Alright, I think this will be the 
Eyes of Glow free quest completed gives you a whole bunch of magic XP. And that gets us up to level 56. Now that's important because with a Wizard Mind Bomb we can boost to 59, which is Fire Blast. Oh, and also, minor detail, uh, it took me from level 1 to 22 rune crafting. Easy. The last quest requirement I needed to get done before I could do Desert Treasure was Temple of Ikov. Temple of Ikov requires level 40 range, and you also need 20 Limpwort Roots, so I figured, two birds with one stone, let's go train range at Hill Giants. Oh my. That is... Okay, just give me the Limpwort Roots, okay? I don't, I don't need a giant key right now, but thanks anyway. Initially, I really had no interest in going to kill Obor, but then I looked at his drop table, and he has a chance to drop 20 noted Limpor Roots. So I was like, well, if I get that, that's literally all that I need. Just done. Instantly. So I decided to go ahead and do it, and I'm not gonna lie, he's, he's a little bit scary at lower levels. Like, not like he's gonna one-hit me like a jungle demon will, but, you know, he, he definitely did a considerable amount of damage to me, given my stats. Come on, baby. 20 Limport Roots, I beg. I beg. That'd be so good. Ugh. I mean, okay. Gems are nice, anyway. Gems are fine. There we go. There's level 40 range, which is the requirement for Temple of Ikov. We can now wear this beautiful green DI. Hey, it matches my hair. Um, so we're ready now for Temple of Ikov stats-wise, but I still need four more Limport Roots, and I need to get a U Crossbow. I think Roydy's... Crossbow? Hello? I think Roydy said he put the U Shortbow in the shared chest, though, so I'll take a look at that in a sec. You will not pass! Okay. That's not even the line. Goddamn budget Gandalf. That's like the... We have Gandalf at home. And then this guy is Gandalf at home. Alright, wrapping up the uh, Temple of Ikov quest. We're going to get some big boy range XP out of this one, which is good. Give me uh, a head start on my inevitable range grind so I can go kill shamans. Okay, level 40 range. Up to level 42. Nice. Oh, and a bunch of fletching XP as well. Nice. The last requirement I have for Desert Treasure is level 53, thieving, unfortunately. Now, I did fruit stalls until 45. At that point, I switched over to blackjacking. Blackjacking, I feel like, is one of those things everybody says is god-awful, and I just don't think it's that bad. Don't get me wrong, it's that's not fun. But I don't think blackjacking is all that terrible, especially at lower levels, because the levels go by so quickly. Oh, there it is, baby. There it is, level 53 thieving. Now that I have developed RSI, we can now go do Desert Treasure. Well, stats-wise. A few items I gotta get, but uh, it's DT time, baby. Alright, up first is definitely the easiest diamond, and that is the Smoke Diamond. I think with Ice Gloves, you literally don't have to do anything. You just... You just pray melee and kill them with water spells. And that's the fight. Without Ice Gloves, then you gotta run around and kite him, which is also still easy, just annoying. Uh, am I lagging? So, as you can see here, I disconnected. And all I'm gonna say is, I am extremely lucky that this is the boss that I disconnected on. Because as I just said, all you gotta do is stand there and pray melee and kill him. If I had DC'd... On literally any other boss, I guarantee I'd be dead, so I am very lucky. When I log back in, I immediately just spam clicked my cloak and I teleported out, and as you can see, I got the smoke diamond. That's one nice thing about these guys, is when you kill them, you don't have to pick the diamond up, it just goes straight in your inventory. So, I guess it kind of worked out. Well, luckily we didn't die whilst obtaining the smoke diamond. Next up, we're going to do the shadow diamond, who... I mean, Domus is a little scary. All you gotta do is get him safe spotted, though, so if you do that, you're fine. Come on, baby. <laughs> One and done, please. Out, oh, dude, how good would that be? Come on. Alright, there goes that dream. Ay, ay, ay. Last try. Alright, back to the bank we go. Oh, no. 
Okay, this time around, I ain't messing around. I brought a bunch of noted lock picks and a bunch of noted food because there's a guy over there that can unnote. So, I'm ready to I'm ready to stay here, man. Let's get this done. Yeah, Jagex, this is toxic as hell, man. Come on. Why is the fail rate so high? Oh my god. This is it. This is the one. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, I keep fa- I, I've, I've literally gotten to the third part like so many times. I just keep fucking it. Let's go! Jeez, I use I, I reckon I used about 50 lock picks, but there we go. Okay, that rat in the hallway is like big important. Stay rat, stay. Okay, the so he's stuck on the rat, but come here, rat. There, that's it. Got it. There. Okay, now the okay, that's it. Yep. Now the rat is trapped in the hallway and he can't move, so we're good. That's it. See, sometimes you just gotta. You just gotta wait for things to line up. There there might be an easier way to, like, actually forcibly do it, but... That works, too. Alright, there we go. There's Domus dead and the Shadow Diamond acquired. Alright, this is my... Probably my favorite Desert Treasure boss fight, just because I love the fact that the Prey Flicking method works on this. It's just... Insanity. I've explained it in previous videos before, but you literally just go back and forth between Prey Range and Prey Melee every game tick, and it breaks the boss. He does not know what to attack with, so he, well, he just doesn't attack. He just walks around and does nothing. And there's, okay, well, there's there's not the Blood Diamond, not yet. I gotta go, I gotta go back and talk to the vampire fellow. Thank you. Okay, one diamond left. The Ice Diamond to go. By far the scariest one. I remember doing the Ice Diamond as a kid, and I literally was shaking. Just visibly shaking with, with fright. Alright, so this is probably the most annoying part, I would say, about this uh, about this part of RFD. Is you have to kill these five Ice Trolls. Now, I did decide to use Ivan's Blast for it, which should make this significantly faster, so... Yeah, that's I, I thought he would teleport to me, but maybe maybe he teleports to you if you're praying magic. There we go. Cool, there is the worst uh, desert treasure boss dead. We're home free for now. Well, home free combat wise, the, the temple thingy is still annoying as hell. Now, I don't think anybody knows exactly how this temple works. Uh, I just know that if you click on the mini-map, it will path you directly where you need to go and you will avoid traps. But, you can still fall. Like, like it's completely out of your hands. You will just randomly fall through the floor. Now, I was given a tip by Roydy, and he said, of course, he can't confirm this, but he was told that if you keep your run energy above 80, you don't fall, which that very well could be it. You know, I, 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 a lot of people will say you're better off running the entire thing than walking. So, uh, what I tried to do is I used the strange fruit that I got from the fruit stalls, and I didn't stay above 80 at all times, but I did try to stay above 70 at all times, and I actually first tried it. I won and I didn't fall a singular time. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's some truth to keeping your run super high. So close. First try. Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. First try. Come on. Okay, Azandra. Give me my magic XP. 20,000 magic XP. Beautiful. That gets us up to level 57 and actually pretty close to 58 to be honest. 1025 total. Desert treasure done. Love it. And with desert treasure completed, the last quest requirement I had to get my Barrow's Gloves was the Family Crest quest. Now, that was why I had to get 56 magic earlier in the video. The final boss, Chronozone, before he can be defeated, you need to cast each of the blast spells on him, so... I got 56 magic, and then I used a Wizard Mind Bomb to boost up to 59 for Fire Blast, and then that is Chronozone dead. Okay, you gotta hand in the Family Crest to... Dim... 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 Dim...
And there is the family crest quest completed. And the question is, do I turn these into cooking gauntlets or goldsmithing gauntlets? Or we throw them for a curveball and make chaos gauntlets, I don't know. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. I am very excited. At the start of next episode, we are going to go ahead and knock out those Barrows Gloves. I've got a couple of sub-quests left to do, and then we take on the Culinaromancer boss fights, and I can't wait. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. So at the end of last episode, I completed Desert Treasure and Family Crest, and with that, I have all of the quest requirements done for Recipe for Disaster, and ultimately, my Barrow's Gloves. However, I do still have to do the King Awowoge and the Ceramic Vars uh, RFD subquests. Now, the requirements I'm missing for that are, first and foremost, 70 cooking. Now, I got my cooking up quite a bit by cooking the fish that I got from Temporos. And to finish it off, I spent level 65 to 70 at the Mess Hall in Hosidius. Uh, this is, I would say, kind of an underknown method, but uh, it's over 200k cooking XP per hour if you are, you know, relatively efficient at it. And it's really simple. Pretty much you just grab all the ingredients, you make pineapple pizzas, you hand it in, and boom, you get some free XP. And this should be the last deposit, and there we go. There is level 70 cooking. That I think is the last stat requirement I have for RFD, so. Okay, so to do the King of Wowoge part of RFD, I need to get some Gree Grees. Uh, I should actually save these Ibans casts, I think, for the big boys, because they're going to be a pain in the ass, so. This water blast is terrible. Uh, telegrab the monkey bones. You might be able to grab them without telegrabbing, but... Uh, now, up next, I need to get a Gorilla uh, Gree Gree. Luckily, these things only heal if you're in melee distance, so I can just far cast this bad boy, and he won't heal. Nothing to worry about. And then last but not least, you need the Zombie Monkey Bones. All three Gree Grees play a very important part in the subquest. Uh, the Archer's one you need for the Agility Course. The Gorilla one you need to harvest some bananas. And the Zombie one you need to actually access the area to cook the snake. Okay, here we go. These stuffed snakes are notorious for burning. <laughs> I'm very nervous. I made two of them just in case. I'm nervous I'm going to burn both of them. Okay, moment of truth. Ah, nice. Well, out of curiosity's sake, do we cook them both? How good am I, man? Fucking little Gordon Ramsay zombie monkey over here. Okay, here you go, King of Wo Gay. Maybe you should wear your amulet of monkey speak. Well, maybe I should, game, okay. 10k cooking, 10k agility XP, not bad. Not bad. Okay, so up first in the Ceramic Vars mini quest, you have to kill the evil chicken. Which, I mean, you just gotta pray mage, but at my stats, <laughs> it might take a little bit. Okay, it's dead. Now we grab the evil chicken's egg, and <laughs> speaking of things taking forever, uh, I am going to try to bone crossbow a black dragon at level 42 range. This is gonna be so shit, dude. This is gonna be bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run a timer. Actually, I'm curious. All right, I ran a timer. It took eight minutes and 42 seconds. That's actually less time than I expected. Let's uh, honestly. 8.42. I actually love this guy. I don't know where he would come from, but if this guy could be a pet, I would be all for it. Okay, and last but not least, we use the Brulee Supreme on Ceramic Vars. And that is all of the sub-quests completed. Now, we just have to do the boss fights. Before we can go fight these bad boys, I need to imbue my Ivan staff as it is all out of charges, so... I can upgrade it to hold 2,500 charges, uh, that'll cost you 200,000 coins. Here's 200,000 coins, please upgrade the staff. Now the question is, does it recharge it for me as well? It does! Oh, thank you, bro, you're the best. And the first of the RFD boss fights is definitely the most difficult. You've got Agrith 
non I don't, I don't know, man. Names are hard. You got the banana, dude, okay? You'd think he'd be right up my alley, but he is tough. So, not only is... Well, the thing is, you're supposed to melee him, right? But at my stats, meleeing him is really just not an option. So, instead, you use Ivan's Blast, and it's really inaccurate. The thing is, though, accuracy doesn't affect your max hit, of course. So, you can still hit 25s with the Ivan's, which is what you're banking on happening. Because... Uh, the, he smacks you. Like, he does a lot of damage to you, and you splash a lot. So, uh, he was the most difficult one. I had to actually leave, I think, twice, maybe three times. Uh, but eventually, we, we did get him. It's so close, man. The Ring of Recoil legit killed it. Whew. Thank God. Ring of Recoil got it. Clutch. Boss number two is extremely easy. You have Flam Bead. He's like a giant cake fella. For this one, all you really have to do is wear ice gloves and run around the room and kite him. So, it's kind of like Sarah God Wars, except there, Zillianna's got the cake, and here, this guy is the cake. Well, that one was substantially easier. And next up we have Caramel. Now, this one is also relatively easy, but I would describe it as pretty annoying. It's modeled after the Ice Diamond boss from Desert Treasure, uh, so it uses both melee and magic. Oh, interesting fun fact. Its melee animation is literally the Carol's crossbow shot without holding a Carol's crossbow. Why that is the melee animation, I have no idea. But I, I noticed that, and I just, it's always stuck with me. Um, for this one, you just have to pretty much stand in melee distance. Hope that it melees you a lot. Because when it mages you, it yells, Semolina, go. Uh, it drains your stats, so you have to use restore potions for that. So you pretty much just stand in melee distance and hope it melees you a lot. <clears throat> Ma'am, you are supposed to be dead. Okay, next up we have Dessert. I feel like I'm supposed to wear armor for this one. You do indeed wear armor for this one because he has no mage defense whatsoever, and you can tell. I absolutely cooked this guy. I, I mean, if you can tell a common theme here, Ivan's Blast is very good for the pretty much all of the RFD bosses, except for one. And yeah, <laughs> this guy doesn't have a whole lot of HP, and you I just gave him the work. And then we have the Gelatin Mother. Definitely the scariest of all the RFD bosses. Not the most difficult. I want to clarify, not the most difficult, but definitely the most scary as a hardcore. The reason why, when the, gel when the Gelatinin Mother attacks you, she hits you twice. And each individual hit has a max hit of 20. Meaning that if you got unlucky, you could, you could be dealt 40 damage in one game tick. Now, this is why you bring combo food. As you can see, I don't have all carom wands. I have both, I have swordfish and carom wands. Well, that's because, you know, if you do get stacked for a 20-20, okay, I'm, I'm 49 hit points, so I, it literally can't one at me. But if you were to eat too slowly, and it, you know, back, to, heaven forbid, it back to back hits you a ton of damage, you could die. So, you pretty much gotta be ready to combo eat ASAP. Other than that, though, I only used magic, I didn't bring a range or a melee switch, and you just hit the boss once and walk under, and pray to god that it doesn't hit you big. See bro, she's scary man. She can do so much damage. Okay, that's it then. We'll just grab Ivan's for calling Anomancer and we're golden. Oh, there it is. There is recipe for disaster completed on the group hardcore Iron Man. We didn't die, thank goodness. Whew. 176 quest points now. Uh, what level do you need to use this antique lamp? 50! Oh, please tell me I can bank this, please. Okay, now, here is the current predicament that I'm in. 
I've got 15k to my name. Barrow's gloves are 130k. Now, if I look in the group storage, there is enough money there, but barely. And I still need to buy a D skim eventually, so... I don't know, I should probably try to make some money. Okay, I'll pay it back. I, I, I'll, I'll pay it back with interest. I'll put 130k in and a big old smooch, okay? <laughs> I'll pay it back. Buy items, Barrow's gloves. Whew, there they are, baby. Yeah, wow. Let's show them off, Jordan. Yeah, nice, nice camera angle, you donkey. There they are. Beautiful. The farmers grow. So, now that I've completed Barrow's Gloves, I need to start training up my melee stats, namely 60 attack for a dragon skim. Before I do that, though, I'm gonna do the Haunted Mine quest for some strength XP. Dead, maybe? Nice. Cool. Got it. And there's the Haunted Mine done. That took that takes about 15 minutes for 22k strength XP. Easy peasy. Now, the other reason I wanted to do the Haunted Mine quest was I'm gonna use this Salve amulet to train here at the Twisted Banshees. Twisted Banshees with the Salve are pretty decent XP, and they have very good loot. They drop good herbs... They can drop rune full helms for alchables. They can drop, like, cosmic runes. So, I'm gonna spend a few hours here and, uh, we'll see what kind of loot we get. Nice, okay. It's no rune full helm, but it's... It's it's about half of one. Quite literally. That's like a, a 11k alk. Not bad. <laughs> R.I.P. Wait, what's the drop rate on those? Oh, no. <laughs> if I had to make a, a guess, those are probably pretty damn rare. Mystic Gloves Dark. And they only high out for 6k, that's unfortunate. Well, I just disconnected very briefly, but I, I had a bit of lag there, and I don't want to risk it, so... I'm gonna stop killing Twisted Banshees there. Um, I am currently level 55 attack, so we got 5 attack levels. And I got 249k in loot. 7 Rs, uh, some air battle stabs. So, you know, for my level, really not bad loot at all and some pretty decent XP. Hey, and when I deposit the money from this trip, we're over 100k. So we can even afford a D-skim now. Nice, that makes me happy. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. At long last, there we go. There is level 60 attack. Uh, it is 5.11 in the morning right now. I started at 40, or sorry, I started at 50 attack at about midnight, so... Uh, between the Banshees and then now killing the Ammonite Crabs. Took about five hours, but there we go. There is level 60 attack. Let's go buy that D-Skim. You know, I just got here and I don't have my Monkey Speak amulet. I hope I'm able to trade without it. I, I feel like I prop. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. Alright, 100,000 coins down the drain, but there is a very big upgrade from our Rune Skim. You're now the proud owner of a dragon scimitar. Alright, I think I'm gonna go do a relatively iconic quest that I just haven't gotten around to doing yet, and that is the Fremnic Trials. Main reason being is it's a prerequisite for Olaf's quest. Olaf's quest gives you, like, I don't know, a bunch of defense XP, so... Let's, uh, let's do the Fremnic Trials. Okay, now that we're down here, let's cheat. You can bring a Draymond branch with you uncut, and then craft it into a Draymond staff. It's not, like, a lot better than punching, but it is an upgrade. Oh, yeah, let me use Prey Melee Zone. Wait, what? You can use Prayer down here? What the fuck? What the fuck? I thought you couldn't pray! What? <laughs> what? Alright, then we just talked to my homie Brunt the Chieftain, and that will be the Fremnic Trials quest completed. You get a bunch of XP in a shitload of skills. I don't know if that gave me levels or anything. It did. 42 crafting, 38 fletching. Right, I'm gonna go do Olaf's quest now, and hopefully I don't fall on those stupid barrels a million times.
Watch me, watch me first try this. <laughs> what? It takes you all the way back here? That is toxic as hell. Oh my god. Only 49 kilograms, that surely won't be a problem. <laughs> I, t I, t I didn't even, like, start. What? I, I, I didn't even, like, fucking put a foot on there. Okay, listen, I banked all my armor, alright? I brought boots of lightness. Apparently, your weight doesn't even matter, but you know what? It's, it's gonna help, I promise. I guarantee it. Fuck! Spam click gate. Yeah, good advice, motherfucker. Well, okay, listen, this is as far as we've ever made it. You home free, buddy. Surely they don't let you fall this far in. Okay. That would just be so cruel. Olaf's quest completed for 20,000 coins and a free defense level. We take those. Well, now that I've got a dragon scimitar, I've done a bit more questing and some barrows for fun today. It is time to get my stats up. My next big objective should definitely be a dragon defender. I need to get 65 attack and 65 strength. Now, I'm going to do that through Slayer. Earlier today, Papa Foe spooned four black masks. He got black masks for the whole team. So, training through Slayer is going to be a lot quicker now. Thanks, Dad. Alright, I can get a task from Shaldar and Zanaris, but I guarantee she's going to sign me baloney. So, we'll just go with Vanica because he should be kinder to me. But what the hell is that? Ahem. <clears throat> there is the otherworldly being's task completed. We went from 27 to 31 Slayer. Got a strength level, almost another one. The loot was... I mean, 40 nature runes, 8 laws. Like, yeah, that could, could have been worse. 109 trolls. Not a bad task XP-wise. They're annoying because they're not 4 tick, but... That's a little better XP-wise, anyway. Okay, there's a 109 troll task completed. We're now up to 59 strength, almost 60, and 36 slayer. Very good. There's a bit of a milestone coming in. Just got level 60 strength, so we are 60 attack and strength. Five more levels in each before we can get to the big dragon defender. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. We are now 60 attack and strength. We've got a D skim. Things are looking up combat-wise. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. Well, all right then, are we ready? I am ready. Brothers, we are ready. Farmers, we've gathered here today to take on our first of many combat challenges. The items we'll be rolling in tonight will be bathing in the riches, and the runes shall be plentiful. Farmers, let us assemble. Farmers! Take on these brothers. Get that thumbnail, Mammal. Do we have any any predictions on the first item? I think Carol's crossbow. Please, that's the only one I could use right now. Yeah, that'd oh, be definitely Torek hammer. Oh, okay, okay. Now, oh, Guthin's body. Ooh, the beer belly. All right, whatever okay, Curtis says. Dennis, I'm ready. I'm three, two, one. I'm one. On yeah. one. Okay, three, two, one. Go! Ah, nothing. Nothing. Runes. Nothing. Damn! Ah, we'll get him next time. <laughs> Hate to hear it. So as far as me actually doing Barrows, of course, the Melee Brothers and Carol were fine, because Ivan's Blast is super good for what it is. Aram, however, was a bit of a struggle, I would say. I mean, I didn't have high enough range to range him, so my only option was to use Melee, which kind of worked, but with my Melee stats, it was... It was less than ideal, is how I would describe it. I don't know if you boys are grabbing the uh, strange fruit from the shared chest, but they're really handy right now. I'm uh -huh. just taking a few power run. I put 100 in there earlier if you want to use them. Good shout, my man. I think I'll leave them there, because otherwise I'll, I'll go too crazy with the use just to optimize. Yeah, I'm using three power trip, so they're going to go fast. I'll leave them for you since you farmed them all. All right. I've got 100 more passing on so it's all good. <laughs>
I farmed 200. I went from uh, 46 to 57 feet in the fruit stores today. So. 57. Oof. Damn. Yeah, because that was a requirement for the uh, the grubby keys. Oh Found yeah, some yeah. Fat feeding requirement on there. I was like, no. Yeah, I suppose. I'm glad to inform you guys that I will be yoinking whatever the first tank gear is. We all knew it would happen. <laughs> Since I can wear it. <laughs> but I will return. You good? Okay. I'm good. Alright, right, boys. One, two, three. We got it. Oh. Who got it? Oh. Who got the iron? Paul got yeah, somebody it. called for me earlier. Paul got we it. We got it, boys. Yo, congrats. The best item as well. Of course. The best item. And as you just heard us say, Paul did indeed get the first item for the group. He got a Varax Flail, which is not a super good item, at least not initially. But, you know, I'm sure somebody will have a use for a full Varax eventually, so. And you know what, sometimes you just gotta get that first drop, and then the luck rolls in after that. I think we know which of us four has the, the luck seed. <laughs> I have the seed. We're gonna send you on. I'll get it to all of you if you guys want. Please give me, my, give me the seed. Oh, oh no! Don't die, dude. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, he is with a leaf bladed battle axe, dragon gloves, and a vernic defender. That is, I am perplexed, and he almost died, man. What the heck was that? Break out the room, play body. Yeah, it's the move. Bro, I literally called my first item. Did you? Govan's body? Oh. Not, like, not like that, Jess, but I called what it would Dude, be. Dude, nice. <laughs> Nicely That's good. done. Tank body. That looks sick, man. I was calling that belly all day, forecasting the Guthans. That's a nice belly there. That's that's a brotherly belly. I, I that's That's a belly fit for a farmer. Goes well with my character's haircut, too. Oh yeah, I've seen that. That kind of belly can only be obtained drinking Budweiser on the tractor. Two out of four. Oh, congrats, my man. That's four. actually kind of nice, you know? That is, that that could be God Wars a boy, you it, never know. It could be, it could. Nice, dude. Here's a back-to-back -back chest attempt. Let's just get our spin in. Three weapons. Okay, hang on. Collection log? There it is. There's the collection log call. What did we get? Oh, baby! Mr. Mammal. Would you look at this, please, sir? That is so good, dude. Actually, like, the best item you can get. No way. We're speedrunning barrows, man. We're speedrunning barrows. <laughs> That's amazing. Your RNG is popping off today, man. So as you saw, Paul's RNG was absolutely insane. He got the Varax Flail, the Guthans Spear, the Carol's Crossbow, and the Carol's Top. All the meanwhile, I was also doing Barrows, and I got absolutely nothing. Now at this point, I was the last farmer standing. After the Carol's Top, Paul got off of the night, and Curtis and Roydy had already gotten off prior to that, so I was the last farmer standing, and I was not going to leave Barrows until I got an item. Alright, I'm officially going to call this the last one. I better stop wasting prayer pots. Chest number 30. Oh, <laughs> uh, and we get a dupe. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so sad, bro. That's so sad, honestly. Uh, That's literally the first item we saw as a team. Paul got that, like, right away. That is That is so unfortunate. The thing is, though, right, the the silver lining is that dupes at Barrows in Group Iron Man, they're not all bad, right? Because if we all want to get, you know, full Barrows sets, technically you can get up to four of every item, and it's not a waste, because it, it, it can just go to somebody else, you know what I mean? So, dupes are fine up until, you know, you get four of them, of course. Well, that was going to be my last one, but obviously you have to go for the back-to-back, -back, so... Chest 31, any back-to-backs? Nope. It was a fluke. 
And that was it for the inaugural Barrows session for the Farmers. A pretty good haul, if I do say so myself. Two out of four Guthans pieces and two out of four Carol's pieces is not bad at all. That Carol's crossbow, I think, is going to come in handy. We can probably share it to get, like, fire capes and stuff later on, so... Uh, now, with the Barrows completed, of course, it was time to get back to work. I want to continue getting my combat stats up so that I can get a Dragon Defender. So, first things first, gotta get 65 attack and strength. Alright, there we go. We just got level 65 strength, which is half of the requirements to get into the Warrior's Guild. So, now we will swap it over to attack training and get that to 65 as well. Okay, I'm gonna be a yoinker here. Um, I have not been getting any good money-making Slayer tasks, but there's a bunch of money in the group storage. And we've kind of established that if there's money sitting in the group storage, it's free for the taking. Like, if you need it, take it. So, I've been doing all my Slayer tasks thus far without being strength-potted at all. Like, in any way, shape, or form. Which is pretty bad. So, um, I am gonna yoink a little money. I'm gonna go buy a Dragon Battle Axe so we can boost our strength. Because that'll be a lot better for Slayer. Alright, this thing is an absolute scam. 200,000 coins for a Dragon Battle Axe. And now I have 86 coins to my name. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab my first task from Konar real fast. Please don't be shit. That's not a bad task. Yeah, that's alright. Oh, how exciting is that? There's the first brimstone key of the account. I don't know what we want as a team. Like, what would be the best item to get from that? But I guess we'll find out what we get. First two keys of the account. What do we get? 106 dragon arrow tips. Not useful right now. <gasps> what? You're ki- You're fucking kidding me. I would- I would get a Dusk Mystic piece on my second can. What? That's that, dude. I don't think we have a Mystic bottom. Let me go look. I know we have a Mystic top in the share, but I don't even know if we have a bottom. So, like, that actually could be useful. There it is. Your attack level is now 65. And with that, between both my attack and strength level, I've got a combined 130, and we can enter the Warriors Guild. Now, here's hoping I don't go really dry on these defenders. I've heard about a lot of streamers uh, going very dry on this defender grind, so good luck me. Now, I kind of overlooked this fact, but in order to wear a dragon defender, you do indeed need 60 defense. I am only level 52 right now, so uh, all the training I do here, I will be training defense. If I end up going really dry, you know... The silver lining will be that hopefully I can get to 60 defense. And if I get lucky, we'll just have to train and not be able to wear it at first, but... Okay, we are getting started with 1,225 Warrior Guild tokens. Level 53 defense. Let's see how we get on. How spooned am I, bro? How, how spooned am I? We are 20 Cyclops in, baby. 20 Cyclops in Bronze Defender. Let's go. Oh! Oh, that could be good. I mean, I don't... Well, you'd mostly need to get it for the the Fairy Tale Part 1, but still. There's a Nature Talisman off the rare drop table. You never know. Somebody might need that. Okay, baby. Now the, uh... I, I, don't, I don't know why I didn't have the Bronze and highlighted, but... Now the highlight is kicking in. There is the Iron Defender. We're at... 63 kill count right now. Oh, we're cruising, baby. We are cruising. 75 kill count now. Steel Defender. Jesus. This is crazy. I can't be stopped, bro. I'm I'm on I'm on a roll, man. I'm on a roll. You can't stop me. 92 kill count. There's the black defender. Okay, well that's bait. I saw highlighted and I got very excited for a moment, but that's I mean, I could... Okay, listen. Hear me out. I could totally wield that as a defender. Yo, let us let us turn the longbow into a defender. That thing would look cool as fuck. That's it. Come on, Jagex. Hire me. Okay, that is not a longbow. <laughs> There's the Mithril Defender. 119 KC. Dude, we are just... I'm gonna hit a dry streak soon here. I can feel it. This is... 
This has got to come to an end soon, because if not, I am spooning like crazy. Boys, I... I don't know. We, we, we might be over the hill. We, we might just be spooned throughout this whole process. There's an adamant defender at 162 KC. <laughs> Man, I have used 700 tokens. I still have over 500 left. This is... Hey, maybe I've jinxed it. Now maybe Ruin's gonna take me five hours. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, that's it. We're spoon, boys. That's... <laughs> we're spo we're spooned the whole way. That's it, bro. 180 kill count. There is the Rune Defender. You know, if I am if I am gonna go dry on anything, I do hope it's the Dragon. Because the fellas that drop the Dragon Defender, they drop have... They have better regular loot as well, but... Damn. <laughs> 180 KC for the Rune Defender... So that, that, the drop rate for a defender is 1 out of 50, so that is very lucky. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh my god. 192k, I can't even wear it. I'm still 57 defense, bro. I, I, I literally can't even wear it. Oh my god. 192 KC to go all the way from bronze to dragon defender. That is exemplary. So after the dragon defender was done, I had to do a little bit of team playing. Now, in the long con, we all want to get rune crossbows. Now, Iron Men frequently get their rune crossbows by killing the crazy archaeologists in the wilderness. But given that we're hardcores, we don't really want to do that. So instead, we got the idea, well, why don't we just fletch them? Now, this is one of the beautiful things about Group Iron Man is you can, we can all crowdsource, give supplies to one person so they can level up that much faster. So that is precisely what we're doing. So me, Paul, and Curtis all made a bunch of steel dart tips, and then we gave them to Roidy. Roidy made them all into steel darts, and that is to get his fletching up to make a rune crossbow. At least that's the idea. So I gotta start off by making steel bars. So I'm buying iron ore and coal from Ordan in the blast furnace. And then I'll turn it into steel bars. Okay, this should be the last inventory I need. I totally forgot, but uh, using the blast furnace halves the amount of coal you need. So we only need 900 coal and 900 iron ore. And now we gotta make them into steel bars, which... Without any stamina potions, this will not be ideal, but we gotta do it for the boys. Okay, this will be the last inventory of steel bars that went by, uh, actually pretty quick. I only had to walk for the last, like, 200 of them, so could have been a lot worse. And we now have over 900 steel bars. Let me grab this money out of the coffer, because it is literally wasting as we talk. Okay, now I need to go turn these 900 steel bars into dart tips. Alright, and we are using up the last of our steel bars. I think I started making the dart tips at like... God, I want to say... Well, it should be in the chat. I think I started at 42 smithing. And we are all the way up to level 48 smithing now. So that's not bad. You know, I mean, obviously the, the dart tips will be helpful for him to make the rune crossbows. But I got a bunch of smithing levels off of it. So we all win. Right, so I reckon we'll just chuck these in the group storage. Is there any more in here right now? I don't think so, but I'll uh, I'll put all of them in here. Wait. Oh, yeah, there they are. Look at that. We got 18,000 steel dart tips, and they're ready to go. And I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a video there. Thank you all very much for watching. We got our Dragon Defender on this video, and I had a lot of fun doing Barrows with the team. I hope you guys enjoyed some of that team content. I know a lot of you have been asking for more, like, actual, you know, voice chat interaction, so... I will continue to try to, you know, put that in videos wherever I possibly can. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. On the last group Hardcore Iron Man episode, we got our Dragon Defender, and we also did some Barrows as a team. And to start this video off, we're going to be doing some more group PVMing. Now, we figured if we all have Dragon Scimitars, Ivan's Blast, and Rune Crossbows... There's a boss that we could do quite easily with some very good upgrades. And that, of course, is Dagonoth Kings. Well, once I decant, I think I'll have, like, probably eight or nine super antis for each of us. Four dose. Uh, Jordan, I'm putting in an MSB and 277 Runeris for you. Thank you. Um, do we have... I've, I'm still rocking green DI. Do we have extra red or anything? 
Me as well. I am only on green. Um, Should we go do some eclectics? Right, let me I see. Will, I, I'll, I'll just... Uh, I have a red top. I'm like 38k uh, away from black, so I can't get there. I have yet. a red dead body and a blue chaps going into the storage. I'll, I'll put my blue chaps in the storage there. as well. I'll, I'll just use my tank legs. Or take out. Yeah, I'll grab out these banos chaps and swap out the black well. ones. You could all use tank legs, I think. I can toss some of the myth bolts in there as well. Mammal, I assume you have no bolts to your name. Uh, correct. I'm using the MSB for now, though. <laughs> Check your Ivan charges. Oh, you do not have 61. Ivan's is no, I'm I'm still 60 right now, but I think we want to get going. So. Okay, well I think MSB is probably better DPS anyway. Yeah, it'll work. 769 on the Ivans. I mean, if we if we all brought like a DDS, we could absolutely decimate Supreme. I'm bringing a DDS. Yeah. I got to get Lunars done so we can start potion sharing shit. Yeah, DDS and D Defender with no pots would potentially be better. With four of us. I mean, Supreme's going to drop so easy anyways. Yeah. Yeah, the, the kills per dose is not worth to bring offensive potions. Is it All right, adventure? let's let's face the cave for the picture as we enter our demise. <laughs> okay, two of us go left, two, us go, two go center. Actually, I guess Curtis has Rune Throne Axes with him, doesn't he? I do, yes. I'm going to, because uh, I need to drop right. for a space in him. All cool kids go left. Any walkers? And... Yeah, <laughs> we're walking <laughs> the same. I am, I am ready whenever. How much run energy do you have? Oh, oh, are we chilling? No. Oh, I'm man. trying to dance with you. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm too excited. I can't hold back. Oh, that is the tango right there. Look at that. I'm just saying, man, this is the content I've been looking for. Yeah, this, this is what it's all about right here. This is what it's all this about. This is the beginning. This is the beginning, though. We've got God Wars and still Rays to go as well. Oh, that's gonna be this the best. The start. Wait, we got a fifth? We got a fifth member? <laughs> He's got the moves. That could have been our stamina to run the rest of the way. Damn it. I know. <laughs> I mean, when he goes Mr. Hyde, he does some good damage, so it's not bad. So, if you've done Dagonoth Kings before, you know that the intro is the hardest part. You'll often have all three Dagonoth Kings on you, and you can only pray Mage because of Prime. Now, you can pray Flick between Prime and Supreme, uh, which I probably should have done because Supreme kind of cooked me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, I got a little, got a little low HP, but, you know, from there, you know, once you kill the initial Dagonoth Supreme, you're pretty much in the clear. Because you kill Supreme, then you kill Rex, then you kill Prime, and then you just kill one at a time and you're golden. So what do we want to do with these bones? I mean, it's probably just worth to just bury them, huh? Yeah, right. Yeah, so. Maybe like near the end of the trip we'll start banking them or something. Yeah, I think we've got like a perfect rotation now, so... Yeah. Shouldn't get stashed by any of them. Well. Rex just gets destroyed, man. <laughs> Deleted. I feel like Rex will maybe spawn another one eventually because of how fast we're killing them, but... What do you guys think the first drop is going to be? Mudbat stuff. I feel think... like we're going to get the circle first. Oh, okay. Mud battle staff right here. I'm loving that rune sim there going in. It's just comical. Well, when your mom says to bring your brother along to the party. <laughs> 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 you scared me. I am always aware of the danger. <laughs> hey, oh, there it is. is. <laughs> Let's go. The there first is. drop. Let's go. Oh, gimme, gimme. <laughs> nice. Who needs winter Todd dragon axes? So, as the team level 59 woodcutter, I regret to inform you that I'm going to be needing that. Oh, well, don't you worry, I am 37 woodcutting, it's all good. Right, this might be the last one, actually. We could all bail here. Yeah, that sounds good. I think we could do Prime without you. Come <laughs> on! Yep, we'll finish this. Good luck, guys! Ah, damn! No war Unlucky. Grab the ones to, ones to eat me. You guys can face the same way. Okay. Uh, Simon says, eat a shark caramel one. I'll take the loss, fam. Nope. 
<laughs> but I haven't got a shark anymore. Uh, take a bow. Ah. Curtis, you're out. <laughs> Simon says, take one step back. Two steps forward. Simon says, take two steps forward. Simon says, take two steps back. Yeah, there's a wall in the way. Oh, that's true. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, we can scratch that one. Simon says the first person to step on Curtis wins. Oh, oh they're same time. <laughs> the first person to step. Oh, that was good. I thought I, I thought I had you guys there. Uh, Simon says attack that giant crab. Oh, that was me. That was me all day. Nice. <laughs> nice. Now I'm not. Now it's not on me anymore. Oh, there you go. I'm freed. There you go. Nice. I actually might want to take that. What level do you need for that? I got a green DI body. I don't know. I'll leave it on the ground. A fan favorite. Number nice. two. Nice. Hey. Number two. Beautiful. Nice, nice. Rats ball. Now I have a question. Did we did we come to the conclusion that, you know, with my outstanding performance in Simon Says, that is my Dragon Axe? I believe that's right. We take those. Mr. Cattle Farmer, that's on the ground for you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Ah, yes. The double splash. Let us go. I called and that. No way. Yes, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> the man will be right. <laughs> I may not get many kills, but I get the ones that count, I, I guess. To keep it. <laughs> Woo, baby. That's awesome. <laughs> Holy I actually Jesus. called it Holy out loud. I'm so happy. <laughs> That's amazing. Three Rex Casey. So Hell yes, dude. That's Hell so yes. Good. That makes the whole night a success, man. Definitely. You know what, Big oh. Tyler? You're so hot. Oh. Uh, I've got Rex. You, you uh, want to get telly? back over there? He's on me. Okay. I had to tell him. Yep. Should okay. we all just come back in? Hmm, should we try and flick these? Oh, that was actually a pretty big chance there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> was it I dropped right as they ticked on me. Oh yeah, because we're all talking at different times right now. Uh -oh. They are flickable right now. It was probably a chance within maybe a 20 HP margin. We could also just like camp Rex while, like until you get here if you wanted. That would work, yeah. Yeah, I can all hustle back. You guys want to do that? You want to try to send all? I would say. Only thing is, we do that. We're gonna have uh, Supreme and Prime once again, aren't we? Unless we just kill Prime next, I guess. We could do just Prime and Rex for now. Yeah, that would work. I think we can handle both. Yes. Dude, yes. let's yes, go. Yes, baby. <laughs> nice. That's so good. That's two in like less than 50 kills, man. Two out of four, baby. Two out of four. All right, I'm coming. All right, I am in the world, ready to enter whenever, and I can divvy a little bit of food. Yeah, so let's wait until we get Prime down, and then we'll get you in on Supreme. I keep him on hand, though, for if Supreme is sniffing. Yeah, that's true. Are we holding, holding, holding? Oh, oh that's my bad. Zero for me. <gasps> okay. What? Oh, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your account okay. is so good. Okay. What the hell? Three rings. No okay. way. <laughs> doing pretty good here. No way. I'm glad I fucked up. <laughs> Three out of four, man. The beer ring's on the ground for you. Don't let it disappear. What? Yo, you know that trick we were talking I about before? What? It's happening. <laughs> no way. Hey. Hi, hey. Nice. 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 And that was it for the very first session of Dagonoth Kings for the Farmers.
I would say we did very, very well. We got two Dragon Axes, one Mud Battle Staff, and three Berserker Rings. Legit, we only need one more, and we all have Berserker Rings already, which you can't really ask for much more than that, so... We got pretty lucky, but, uh, you know, I just gotta say, if this is, if this is a sample of what's to come, as far as, like, doing actual group PVM, I, I'm so excited. Alright, here we go! There is level 61 range, and with that, we can now equip the... What do you mean I can't reach it? Go up the ladder! We can now equip the beautiful rune crossbow. So, now that I have a rune crossbow and I can wield it, I think probably my biggest objective should be to get 55 Slayer. At 55 Slayer, you can use broad bolts, which is going to be good for a long time before I, you know, get diamond ease and stuff. So, there's the rune crossbow, and now we just need better ammunition for it. There it is, baby. There is level 60 defense. So, when this task is done, I will grab my dragon defender. No more, no more rune kite shield slayer. So I took a look at my bank, and I've got three clue scrolls, big chill, and a beginner, an easy, and a medium. Uh, let's start with the beginner. Okay, so I have the beginner and the easy casket. The medium clue scroll needs me to get a bone dagger, a mithril play body, and an adamant square shield. Now, if you're an Iron Man, you probably know the adamant square shield is kind of a task. It's not very easy to get. I did some research, though, and the best way to get an adamant square shield for me, I reckon is the Cyclops in the basement. The ones that drop the Dragon Defender, they drop Adamant Square Shield at a 1 out of 100 rate, which is really not that bad, and they're pretty good XP to train on anyway, and I need XP, so let's go kill some Dragon Defender Cyclops, except I don't want a Defender, I want an Adamant Square Shield. Oh, listen, I'm usually, I don't, you know, normally I don't judge, but a level 89 wearing a fucking Spectral... Bandos, Obsidi- Oh no. <laughs> you know, it was all fine except for the Spectral, man. Holy shit, dude. That is substantially more rare than an Adamant Square Shield. And is in fact not an Adamant Square Shield. Hello? Hey, there it is. Nice. I kind of didn't think I was going to actually get it, but I've got 65 tokens left, so just in time. There's the Addy Square Shield. Fuck yeah. I'll finish this thing off, but nice. Okay, we've got our caskets. Here we go. We'll uh, start off with the beginner, of course. Okay. Off to a bad start. Uh, easy casket. Alright, medium. You're gonna have to do the heavy lifting here, pal. You know, 12k cash is kind of nice right about now. That's fair. Alright, key number three. <laughs> this is so funny. I remember we all needed magic logs for desert treasure. And they went pretty out of their way to grind them out. And then, <laughs> now I have 126 of them. Alright, two more keys to open. 94k. I'm pretty poor right now, so that's that's nice. Oh my. Eight? That's gotta be one of the most expensive rewards you can get. Holy shit. I mean, I, nobody can use them right now, but someday. My god. I'm gonna buy my first uh, Slayer reward now. I've got 214 points, and the first thing you should buy with Slayer points, no doubt about it, is bigger and better. Which, that can give you superior creatures. Uh, speaking of which, can you give me a task where I can use that? No, but okay. Alright, just got level 70 strength here at the Ammonite Crabs. I'm going to switch over to uh, training attack now, as I typically do. I usually do that. I go, I go 5 strength levels, and then I'll go 5 attack levels, and so on and so forth. So, next up is 70 attack. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I got a lot of very good feedback on the last episode with the Barrows content. So I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed this DK's content even more. And like I said, you know, if that DK's content was indicative of, of what is to come, I am very excited to keep this series going because I had an absolute blast. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like and I will see you all soon.
Would you look at that? Hard clue scroll brimstone key in the same kill? That is juicy. Ah. Talk to Monis Baroguar in Need Is Not. You know, I've been wanting to do the Fremnic Isles quest anyway. And I think that just might be the excuse I need. Let's, let's go do the Fremnic Isles. What the hell? So, a couple of requirements here. Uh, I need to get level 56 woodcutting and 46 crafting for the Fremnic Isles. Now, here's what's interesting. Because of this dragon axe, I actually only need to get 53 woodcutting, because I can use the spec to boost. And then, well, crafting will just have to do that, and that's fair. Question, did anybody save their extra, um, like, yak armor and Fremnik shields? Yeah, I got it. I haven't done the quest yet myself. Okay, uh, well, I guess, Paul, if you don't mind when you're done with your game, then... Yep, no worries, I'll do that. Thank you. Well, alright then. Who the fuck needs to level up your stats? This is the beauty of Group Iron Man, this is what it's all about. Save myself some time, we just... we just get it from a buddy. Talk again, okay. He's a simple man, and then he cla- Oh yeah. He talked to the puppet, oh. But three in a row! Come on, pick something different. You are you are easily amused like me. No way he goes for four talks in a row. Jesus. You actual ape. Pie in your face. See, now we're talking! That's some good old-fashioned fun for the whole family. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So when I took off the Jester outfit, now he gave me the next clue scroll step. So, confirmed. You don't actually have to do the quest to do this clue scroll step. Obviously, I'm going to do the quest anyway because I'm already here, but, you know. This is the wildest part of the quest by far. You tax people for having facial hair, including mustaches. That was so much easier of a boss fight than I remember. Like, why do I remember this guy hitting, like, 20 pluses? Oh, my prayer ran out! No! Like, why do I remember this dude actually doing a lot of damage? I mean, I guess I am relatively high level, but... And most importantly, with the completion of the quest, we get the Helm of Need Is Not... Along with, I think it was some crafting and some woodcutting XP. And a little bit of construction XP as well. 43 crafting, 40 construction. And let's put on that beautiful Helm of Need Is Not. Jordan, quick question. Fast. How many months have 29 days? Um, all, all but 11 of them. <laughs> all but one. 30 days is 2 September, April, June, and November, and all else are 31, except for February. So what's the answer, Rory? Sometimes one. <laughs> Sometimes one, one month? What? Sometimes one month has 29 days. Well, I think the real debate here is, are you implying at least 29 days, or, you know? That's yes. The... Okay, well, all right then. <laughs> all right. Time is a social construct. The way that you worded that, you implied that you were going to do the full 1,000, sir. No, I was I'm going to advise against up, it. Up to the point that I can do medium diary. I see, I see. But we can trade these arrows so I can, or rather, brutal arrows so I can hand them off when I'm done. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Uh, while you're at it, like, what are you going to do with the ca that cash tag over there, man? Are you going to buy enough feathers for 99 fishing? Yeah, actually. That was the next thing on the agenda. Why are you wearing ice gloves? Are you at Blast Furnace right now? <laughs> I feel like somebody just asked some such question not five minutes ago, but I forgot what it was. I'm just a Twitch chatter, man. I hate when my dads fight. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Hey, there's a big milestone level. There is level 55 Slayer. I think level 55 Slayer is a requirement to wield and use broad bolts. So that'll be a very nice upgrade to use with my rune crossbow. And there is level 70 attack. So we are now 70 attack and strength. I reckon I should probably swap over to defense now and get that caught up because... Right now, we are sitting at a measly 60 defense, so... 10 defense levels inbound now. Now, at the start of the video, I mentioned I wanted to imbue my Berserker Ring in a way that wasn't through Nightmare Zone, and that, of course, is through Soul Wars. I don't know when the update was exactly, but at some point, they made it so everything you can imbue through Nightmare Zone, you can also imbue at Soul Wars. Now, for my Soul Wars games, I use the Zeal Gain CC, and I would recommend using them as well. It's by far the fastest way to get uh, Soul Wars games. Um, if you are interested in doing it on, let's say, your group Iron Man, a quick TLDR of how to do it. You spawn in, take some potions and bandages, get eight Soul Fragments by killing ghosts, hand in the Soul Fragments in the middle when uh, your team has control of it, then go over and kill the opponent's boss four times. Then come back to the middle and take turns taking control of the middle. And then the game will win with the red team winning at about the four minute mark. If you do that every single time, you will get max zeal and the games go by really quick. For reference, imbuing a Berserker Ring took me about an hour and a half. So really not bad at all. All right, we can go ahead and purchase our first imbue here. Oh god, where are you, Nomad? <laughs> He's hiding from it. There he is. All right, trade a Nomad, imbue Berserker Ring for 260. Zeal. Very nice. Eight strength bonus now. Well, I'm a little bit late to the party because I'm a very bad Iron Man, but here we go. The very first birdhouse run on the group Iron Man. I'm, I'm sure we're gonna... Oh, yeah. We're gonna get a hunter level and then some for every single one we harvest. That's beautiful. I forgot my children. I would. That I and I forgot the seeds too. Fuck it, a. I would. And also, while we're at it, we're gonna start farming some giant seaweed as well. Although I'm gonna guess at 32 farming, my yield will not be all that good. Hey, 21 farming XP a pop. This is better than nothing. Oh no, stop! Don't run out already, please. Let's see what kind of Hunter XP drops we get. We've upgraded to the Oak Birdhouses now. What have I clicked on? Hello? 420 XP! Oh my god. <laughs> Birdhouses are so ridiculous, man. I, I got three levels in one go. There's two more levels. What in God's green earth? You know, when I fought the Khazard Warlord, I thought I had it bad when I had to airstrike it. Davy Crockett over there is chopping this thing down with a steel axe. <laughs> oh my god, that's rough, bro. Doing Dagonoth King's last episode was a ton of fun, and we figured, well, we still need another Berserker Ring, and it would be good to get Archer's Rings as well, so let's go back to DK's. My gear le legit looks like I'm going to a gay pride event today or something. Not a good. <laughs> I thought that was earlier today. I feel like the older brother showing my younger brother's runescape. Especially in my gear. Okay, Dad, which one do I attack now? Well, well, look, little B Billy, you just uh, you just smacked this little cow over here for the next 14 days. Then if you okay. do good, you can train my rune crafting for me. <laughs> They're too strong now with that leaf bladed sword. Supreme won't last five seconds. That's true. You won't last five seconds playing this game. Oh my god. If you're laughing, shame on you. Shame on you. Hey, uh, nice. one. First drop of the day. Number two. Good. Our first catch of the day. Oh, wow. Too easy, Another man. one, wow. Get all that mud. She's gonna have a whole one for the team soon. If I remember right, we didn't get any rings on our first trip last time either, so... Clearly, they gotta, we gotta warm it up a little bit, you know? 
I just got a combat test completed to kill Rex when he's immobilized. Oh yeah, I froze him on the last hit. Oh. What a gamer. I saw him standing out in the middle of nowhere earlier and I was like, hello? <laughs> what is happening? That makes sense now. It's because I got mud room dropping off like, oh, why not? <laughs> I like it. Watch for the two months. Curtis, how you on praise? Are you out on that? Uh, one prey, one food right now. Okay. I'm at uh, I'm at half a prey right now. Shit. And no anti, but I'm not poison right now. Same. Also no anti, but not poison. So, so we might need to do like one more rotation or something. Sounds like a plan. We can also leave Supreme low health this time if we want. We should do that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll, we'll kill leave. Prime, leave Supreme low health. We can go over to the other side and take out Rex and then Tele out. Yeah, good idea. Although I might tell you so I've got no food. Yeah, no worries. I dropped a carom one over here for you. But it's gonna take a while. Tell you if you need to, don't risk. Have you gotten any rings other than Berserker? Uh no. Yeah, I'm gonna tell it. You ain't to my prey pot then tell you that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Come on. laughs> oh, these look awful with snakeskin boots. <laughs> Absolutely awful. Looking like Torvesta and skinny jeans over there. I was gonna say, that's exactly what it looks like. I dropped my last shirt. I'll try to stay on uh, heels. What? Oh, what? What in the A demon. hell? <laughs> what? I'm wearing this thing for good luck. That's funny. I'm, wear I'm wearing this bad boy. We're getting a drop now, <laughs> I guarantee funny. it. <laughs> no way. Um, Curtis, I'll drop you a, a summer pie right here on the safe spot. My, 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 my. And that was the end of our second trip. Unfortunately, we did not get anything. So our first Dagonoth King session, we got three Berserker rings. And our second session, we got no rings at all. We got a couple of Mud Battle staffs, which is, you know, of course better than nothing, but uh, not quite as successful as last time. Well, following up on our second session of DKs, I'm going to use up some of my Dagonoth King Bones. I've got like 30, I think, something in the bank. Maybe not quite, but I'm going to use these Dagonoth Bones on the Ecto Fundus because they give tons of XP. Oh, yeah. 500 XP a pop, baby. There's 45 prayer. And there's level 47 prey. Not bad. Well, I had to come to Arceus for my medium clue school, and I figured whilst I'm in the vicinity, I'm going to pay this guy to unlock the uh, fairy ring. I've got a little bit of extra funds right now from Slayer with really nothing else I plan on buying right now, so... We'll go ahead and unlock the fairy ring, and let us open up the medium clue school, shall we? That is so much green, and so little ranger boots. Hey, there's a bit of a milestone. There is level 70 hit points, and just a few minutes before that, I also got 65 defense, which I didn't record, but you know, if we're recording 70 hit points, I may as well mention it. Not good. Not good. Not good. Bro, teleport me. Speak with me again in Varrock? What the fuck are you talking about? What? Bro. I'm, I'm actually, I'm flabbergasted. Speak with me again in Varrock. I did. I literally did. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. I literally did talk to him. That's the thing. I can't believe that. I literally... Check the VOD. Literally, check the VOD. Tell me I didn't fucking talk to him. So, a little backstory on what just happened there. I was headed to the Abyss for a hard clue scroll, and I thought I had completed the mini quest to unlock the Abyss, but apparently I didn't finish the dialogue, so I wasn't able to teleport away, and then I got TB'd, and a PKer got on me, so that... Oh, that would have been a terrible way to die. I'm so glad I made it out.
And there we go. There is level 70 defense. We're here at the old sand crabs because ammonite crabs, I think, are the single most busy thing in the entire game. It's actually gross. I checked like 50 worlds of ammonite crabs and I'm like, you know what? F this. I'm going to sand crabs. Uh, but there is 70 defense, so we are all 70 in our melees now. Uh, I think next I'll probably work on 75 attack, I suppose. Well, now that I'm 70 in all my combat stats, I'm gonna take a quick little break and do some questing. I'm gonna start off by doing one small favor. Now, I know you won't possess you to take a break from having fun doing Slayer to do the worst quest in the game. Well, Herblore. Well, that was one simple, so humble, small favor completed. Only took me a few minutes as it was indeed a small favor. Now, like I said, the reason why I wanted to do one small favor is for Herblore. It gives you a couple of XP lamps that give you 10k a piece. So, 20,000 Herblore XP is massive. We're going to start at level 33. And we end up with level 40. Nice. And on the topic of Herblore, with that completed, I am now going to go do the Edgar's Ruse quest. Okay. Will I make it through without messing up? That is the question. There probably is like an efficient route to do this. I don't know what it is, though. There's a troll right there. Wait, is he coming for me? Ah! <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can do this in one singular click if you time it perfectly, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got me a gout weed, baby. Now, I need to get, like, three of them while I'm here. Unfortunately, I'm not even done. There. Yeah, so there's one for this quest, one for Dragon Slayer 2, and one for Dream Mentor. Okay, here comes some big boy XP. We'll hand in the Edgar's Ruse quest, and there it is. 11,000 Herblore XP. Very good. And next up, I'm going to do My Arms Big Adventure. Because that gives Herblore and Farming XP. Ooh, that's actually pretty good XP. Oh, give me the, give me the Brudu Mask. Go on. Hey! Fashion Scape, baby! Stupid dog, you made me look bad. Ooh, 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 ooh. Welcome, punch! Why is there a player on the boat with me? What is happening? I... It's not an instance? Yeah, but where are they? Where are they standing right now? How is this happening? What? I, I want to know where this person is standing in game that they are somehow on this boat with me right now. That is the weirdest thing. So, I believe what you're meant to do, because the thing about this guy is he knocks you backwards. You just stand right here so you don't actually get moved by him. Then you just... Ivan's blast away. Hope for the best. There. There's the actual big bird dead. Here. Have a spade so you can harvest your gout wheat, humble my arm. And there is my arms, big adventure completed, a massive XP quest for Iron Man. You get 10k Herblore XP and 5k farming XP. That gets me to 36 farming as well as 44 Herblore. And that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I am certainly loving making these videos still. Group Iron Man has been an absolute blast. If you did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like. And I will see you all soon. This is probably one of my least favorite Konar tasks. Well, while this task may suck, that is a nice drop right there. Uh, the Fremnic Shield is required for the Fremnic Exiles someday. So, that's a nice drop, I guess. Hey, there we go. Just got level 60 Slayer. Of all places, here at the Mutated Zygomites. <laughs> Everybody's favorite task. Uh, there's level 60 Slayer, though. What can I kill at level 60? What did I just unlock? God, I've played this game for too long not to know. It is 19, and I will take my Ranger Boots. 
Bro, what do you mean? What is that? Well, cast some fire strike, I guess. Brother Tranquility on Mostly Harmless or Harmony Island. Boy, I don't think I've done the quest required for this, but I might be able to. Let me look it up. I think we can finesse this. I really do. So the first requirement is Rum Deal. Now, I have all the requirements for Rum Deal except for 40 farming, which I'm level 39, so we can get that real fast. After Rum Deal, then I have to do Cabin Fever. Now, Cabin Fever requires 45 crafting and 50 smithing. I'm only two levels off of each of those, so again, I think we can manage. Wait, bro, what is that? Oh my god. That thing's having, like, a fucking Groudon just cast Fissure on that thing. I guarantee you right now, this thing is going... And there is the Rum Deal quest completed. You get a bunch of XP, actually. Holy cow. Uh, that gets me uh, level 48 prayer and level 41 farming and 1250 total. So, to get my smithing level, I'm going to make some gold bars here at the Blast Furnace. Okay, there's 49 smithing, and I'll use a beer to boost up to 50. And then I'm going to use those gold bars I just made to make some jewelry for crafting XP. And there's 45 crafting. Let's go do Cabin Fever. Bro, no. I'm <laughs> no shot I'm just stood here like this. <laughs> there's... Th oh, wow. Okay, I actually, I actually fit quite nicely. Yeah, no, there's no way. <laughs> no shot I'm just chilling right here. Could, could you honestly imagine fighting the dude to my left? My man has a peg leg and a pirate's hook. Like, bro, I just, I just, I just feel bad, man. Like, come on. Okay, now somebody line up. Shit! Oh, get fucked! And there is the cabin fever quest completed. We got some smithing, crafting, and agility XP. Which you do get a crafting level off of now. Uh, Brother Tranquility, he's over here, isn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I have, obviously I'm not planning on doing the Great Brain Robbery right now, but I'm hoping it'll let me do the clue scroll, I pray. Yeah, okay. All of the questing was, wor well, yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop the sentence right there. We're gonna open it first. Okay, now, was doing all the questing for the hard clue worth it? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Like I mentioned before, I got all my melee stats up to 70, and that's pretty good, but my gear is lacking a little bit, especially in the cape department. The Ardune Cloak 1 has served me well, but I think it's time to go for a fire cape. Now, of course, I'm planning on ranging my fire cape, so I've been doing a little bit of range slayer, uh, but mostly I've just been AFKing at Sand Crabs off stream to get my range up. Alright, been uh, AFKing at Sand Crabs all day today, and there is level 70 range. Beautiful. We can now upgrade to that black dehyde, and ultimately, I think now that I'm 70 range, I should be good to go for my fire cape. Now, I am going to try to get a Jad task beforehand, because, well, if I can, it'd be a nice little bonus. So, of course, to get a Jad task, I need to first unlock the ability, so we're going to buy the hot stuff. Uh, what do you, what do you call that? I don't know. We're just gonna we're gonna unlock hot stuff, and that gives you the ability to be assigned to Jad, and then we're just gonna get it on our first try, right? How nice would that be? Ooh, one thirty four greater demons. Oh man, we're supposed to, oh boy, we're supposed to do Zami tomorrow. God, I think I'm gonna keep that. I I think we're I think I'm gonna keep that. I'm just gonna have to. Just do jab without it. I don't need to be on task, but yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Well, since I can't get a Jad Slayer task, it'll definitely be helpful to get my prayer a little bit higher, so I'm going to use up these worm bones. Uh, people have been doing worm tasks and putting them in the group storage in an effort to get all the 60 prayer ASAP. So um, I think if I use all the worm bones I've got right now, I should get to like level 53. And there we go, there is level 52 prayer, we can now smite Jad, we are ready. Alright, this is the gear setup I've decided I'm gonna go with. Um, I do have the, uh, the black dehyde chaps. I think that 
wearing the chaps for the extra accuracy on the 360 mages will be worth it. And then when I have waves where I need to pray mage but also tank a ranger, I'm gonna bring the uh, the tank swap, which I think will will save me more HP probably than like two extra pizzas would. So. Now, the interesting thing about the fight caves on a group hardcore Iron Man is it is actually an unsafe death. In case you didn't know, group hardcore Iron Man does not have the same rules as regular hardcore Iron Man. So stuff like the fight caves in the Inferno are unsafe deaths. So if I die to Jad or at any point in this cave, I am going to lose a life. So there's a little extra pressure compared to a normal fire cave run. So, waves like this is ultimately why I decided to go for the rune crossbow. So, you know, once the majors are spawned, you have to pray mage all the time. And then, you gotta fight this ranger guy. Now, if you're just wearing, you know, black dehyde chaps and your little Carol's crossbow with no shield, that ranger's gonna eat your ass, okay? So, having the, uh, the, the you know, the Guthan skirt and the rune kite shield to swap to, it helped medi mitigate damage a good bit. Now, of course, my defense is kinda low, so I still took some damage, but... Uh, and then ultimately, the worst part of the fight caves, like, you know, I, obviously I've played on Iron Mammal for a long time, you know, you got blow pipes and twisted bows and rigor, going back to a level 70 range rune crossbow bot, oh my, killing these level 360 majors was like, I, I could have filed my taxes, I mean, it was just holy. One more hit. Cool. No pet, unfortunately, but uh, one hour and 33 minutes. By God, that is gross. When you get used to the, the twisted bow and the, and the blow pipe, that is, uh, <laughs> that's not very fun, but there's the fire cape on the, uh, the group Iron Man. Last person on the team to get it, so there we go. We're all, we're all fire caped up now, baby. Well, now that I have my fire cape, the next thing I need to do to prep for Zami is actually make an arc light. Now, unfortunately, through all of my Slayer, I have only obtained one ancient shard. To make the arc light, you need at least three of them. So, I'm gonna grind some moss giants and, uh, well, I guess we'll see if we can get some ancient shards. We got one. Yes! We got one! Okay. Two out of three, baby. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that's, that is absolutely positively not an ancient shard. Okay, just a nice casual giant champion scroll, we take those, thanks buddy. Oh baby, oh baby, there it is, ancient shards, and that is uh, three, so I'm gonna go, real quick, grab my dark light, and I, I don't know if you have to bring it down to this altar in the middle, I think you might. Okay, do we just use the dark light on the altar, perhaps? Yeah. There it is. It's got a thousand charges. We'll see how long that lasts, but... By God, we have our arc light. We're on a greater demon task. We are ready for Zami. I had a question. Uh, Mr. Mammal, is your mouth okay? Fo mentioned your mouth, your, your jaw was getting done in. <laughs> um, yes. My, uh, it is, it is just fine. I just had a, a dental cleaning. Good to go. I just wanted to make sure, man. I appreciate you looking out. Oh, did you guys need the zombie boots? No, no, just one person needs to have them. Yeah, we were just making sure oh. somebody was using them. I, uh... Oh, yeah, I was using them. I think I should use them, because I have to bring a Zami monk switch right now. My inventory space is minimal as is. Yeah, no worries. I can trade you over the Bandos dehyde boots, though. And the Guthics are still in the chest. And you are in possession of our only blessed dehyde chaps, are you not? Uh, yes, I have Bandos. I think I've got black in the bank that I can switch to. Or oh, I think someone else might have black right now. Yeah, because I need to get the mage defense from the blessed dehyde instead of the regular black. Yeah, I'll slap in the uh, boots and the chaps. 
I'm wondering if I want to bring a second item to get kill count with. 40 KC with arc light swings each time is going to add up when we're limited shards. I'm I am going to bring a D skin yeah, for that. Yeah, for sure. I think that's also the right for play. the minions as well. Yeah, definitely the right play. I will. Uh, after each kill, I'll Guthin's Sanin because I am the only one off task of us three meleers, and you guys handle the ranger and the major. Okay. Um, five kills in. There's the uh, imp champion scroll. We take those. It's too easy. Uh, it's <laughs> too easy. Did you get a giant one the other day? Yes, I got a giant one last <laughs> night. That's my second no one way. now. Okay. Oh, there goes the orange. Yep, we're, we're, we're screwed now. No drops. So, spec coordination. If kills are in two and a half minute intervals, we could dump one every time. But I think one, one per is a good way to start. One from each per? Uh, yeah, each one of us specs one time per kill. Yeah, for a max of 30% reduction, which would be like one D Warhammer. That sounds good to me. So I will enter first, and I'll call that out, get a tag off, then I'll wiggle underneath him for a little bit, and then we'll just proceed from there and try to game as well as we can. So for our first Zami trip, both Paul and I had a greater demon task, which that obviously makes a really big difference. Gives you the 15% accuracy and damage against the boss. And then Paul, Roydy, and I all had arc lights, and Curtis was using range with, I think, Dragonstone Bolts E. Zami's one of those bosses that is very much so a glass cannon. He's got, you know, very, very little defense, especially if you're using an arc light, but he does do a lot of damage. Luckily with the four of us, though, he goes down really quick. This is actually going well. So far, so good. Yeah, pretty smooth, actually. Until one slam comes in, then it's going to change everything. <laughs> All downhill from there. Yeah, it's actually really scary, like, not knowing, like, hey, is he going to switch to me or not? You've got to constantly look at, like, which minion is switching on you as well. Did not happen. How's everyone's food doing? I'm pretty much topped off. Yeah, I have to I'm full HP, full, yeah. full food. Oh, so we can just this feed Roydy then. But... Yeah, for sure. Food drop should theoretically at least match our consumption there at this rate, but we haven't been slammed yet, really. True. Ah! He, for some reason, did not uh, bite. Run, Curtis! Run, Curtis, run. Okay, that's also not ideal, given that I'm in... Uh, tank. There. I am poisoned. I will give you a sip if need after this. Oh boy. Yeah, I think that was my bad. I attacked way too early. How many kills do we have so far? I guess we can tally when we tally away, but we're doing good. Uh, you got most of them. I have Except five right now. You I have and one. me, baby, ain't nothing but mail. I got one so as well. Let's do it like There's no stop in the farmer. Channel. Are you on task, Paul? I am on task. You're smashing okay, me. Okay, that makes... I'm 71 strength. This makes no sense. <laughs> You're making me feel bad, man. <laughs> it's all RNG. What can you do? All right, we're banking up now. I'm on 49 HP. Yeah, that's probably a good call. Yeah, it's been lucky with the food drops there. Not bad though, man. Alright, what's the kill counts? Um one. Six. I've got seven. I got three. So and seventeen. Already, yep. 17? You got one? Seventeen? That's not bad. Oh no, sorry, I have seven. So uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Alright, Jordan, it's your turn to give him the sip. Okay. Wait, what am I giving the sip of? Uh ho ho. <laughs> Rito gets a pure set sip. Oh, I got you. Do those two first. That's no pure set. Well, you only have two inventory spaces open. What do you want me to do? No, just just the pure aspect. Did you not play in 2006, man? Pure set is super attack, super strength. Oh, guys, yeah. Pure something you super you gotta, you gotta adapt to my IQ here. <laughs> Keep things simple. Oh, 
Okay. That's okay. Not what I wanted. <laughs> All right. All right, game. All right, Jagex. Yeah, there was a time it. years ago when I had to, I had to hide Skiddler's tweets because half of the things coming out of him was, was like him naked, his ass, like something like that. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I'm like scrolling through Twitter with my family. <laughs> Like British Twitter anyone can look over my shoulder. Really up Australian Twitter, I will say that. It all stems from Australian Twitter. I feel like, like sometimes I feel like I've seen Skiddler's dick more than my own. <laughs> but I think we have now concluded with a high enough sample size, which is the most dangerous type of the four demons, being lesser, greater, black, and jungle. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> that's. Come I deserve on, that. Man. That's fair. <laughs> I, I had to do it's it. Out of it's out of Very good. Don't worry, I'll tank. You don't have the gumption. I, what, I, I can't say I'm familiar with this word. Gumption. It's like chutzpah. What the hell is that? Bro, go to school. Gazelle? Good man, Curtis, good man. Let the sim live. Easy eating gear. Ooh, that's a fast kill as well. Yay! Yeah, there we go. Finally. It's something. That's the one I need. Mean. It's, it's something, man. I like it. I'm so dry of that motherfucker on my main. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, sorry. <laughs> one out of three, boys. Imagine one from a minion as well now. Now it just starts rolling. Yes, we broke the dry streak, and here come the other drops now. Hey! Yes! Yo! That's it, baby. Go, That's baby. it, baby. Oh my god, <laughs> yes! 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 yes. <laughs> yes. Baby. Let's go! It's so Put worth it! Baby on. Oh, I'm very happy. Oh. Oh. Actually, oh, I, got, I got good. 64 Slayer off that kill, too. Oh, Nicely what a great dude. Woo, yes. Baby. That's oh, number one. You can go. One down. Oh, I love rooms. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Token with it as well. The disrespect. Mammal got first death and first spear. Man of all occasions. Yo, chill. I gotta, I gotta make up for it now. <laughs> gotta bring the luck. It's working. It's working. <laughs> All right, out of food and one prey point and no altar. I think this one does it for me. Sounds it was a good, good session. That was a hell of a great success. Session. Better than I expected, honestly. Farmers come out winners. I actually, yeah, I, I may have a little. I think we might be able to do one more. You can toss some stuff your way. Satch. Not a bad trip though, man. We got the Z spear. Should Did we, we get a, the full hundred? Should we do a tally have, of boss uh, kills? Seven. All right, let's get let's hit the tally. We're already at 7? I'm at 12. 28. 57. 104 kills. Easy. Okay, nice. This is a victory. This is a victory for the farmers. And that was it for the farmers' very first session of Zami. We did a little bit over 100 boss kills in total. We got the God Sword Shard 2 and the Zamoraki and Spear, which is huge. Now, at some point, I think when, you know, somebody wants to use it, they'll pay the money to turn it into a Zamoraki and Hasta, and we'll probably just pass it around and use it as needed until we get more of them. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I was really excited to put this one together because I knew the Zami content was really exciting. So, uh, if you guys did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like. And I will see you all soon. I feel for this guy right now. You already know this black that black demon task is gonna take him the next like seven years of his life. His he he, he could he could have a kid and 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 the kid could kill the black demons for him. They wouldn't be it would, that that task still ain't done. Oh, that's that's mint. That's a mint task. All right, we are coming up on a juicy Slayer level. There is level 65 Slayer, which means that we unlocked Dust Devils. Probably the first, like, good, like, really good Elk Money Slayer task. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, yes. Doing a little Sand Crabs, and there is level 75 Strength, as well as 1275 total. 
Very nice. Now, I'm going to continue training strength probably at least until 80 before I touch my defense. But yeah, there's 75. So I got a hard clue scroll requiring me to dig in the Piscatorus fishing colony. Now, there's no better way to get inspired to get quests done than through a clue scroll in my opinion. So I think I'm going to take a little sidestep here and do the swan song quest so I can access the Piscatorus fishing colony. So for Swan Song, you need 10 Mist Runes and 10 Lava Runes. Now, I think Roydy might have some, but I'm going to make a few extras just in case, because I think uh, Paul said he hasn't done Swan Song either. So I'm going to make some uh, some Lava Runes there. Oh, we got a Rune Crafting level. Okay. And Roydy did indeed have the Mist Runes, so don't need to waste my Water or Air Talisman for that. And now let's go do Swan Song. This is my favorite quest in the entire game, just because of the mini- or the, uh, the cutscenes. The cutscenes of the wise old man are 10 out of 10. He just one kicked the cow fight queen? My god. What an animal. Oh, dearie me. So... The first YouTube video I ever uploaded on RuneScape, this was back in, now mind you, this was back in the year like 2008 or something. It was a video of me doing this part of the quest, fighting the sea trolls, and I made it in Windows Movie Maker, and I put the rainbow color effect over the screen, and that was the video. It was me fighting these with the rainbow effect on the screen, <laughs> and that's it. Now we have the recolored Cave Kraken boss. Well, this thing definitely came out first, though, so. Oi! Stop draining my prayer. There are so many of these old boss fights that I remember doing as a kid. And I just recall them being so much more difficult and scary. <laughs> and then now I do them and you just take, like, literally no damage. I don't know. Maybe I was a lower level back in the day. That's probably what it is. Okay, right. there, there he goes. I like how as soon as you kill it, the Piscatorus fishing colony is no longer an instance, which is neat. And there is the Swan Song quest completed, probably my favorite quest in the entire game. 15k magic, 10k prayer, and 10k fishing. We do get a prayer level, very nice. Okay, and it paid off. Completing Swan Song helped us get the hard casket. Please let the reward be good. Well, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> so one of our group's big objectives is to get everybody to 60 prayer to have chivalry before anybody grinds out 70 prayer for piety. Now, I took a look, and in the group storage, we did have quite a few bones. Uh, we have some dragon bones and some worm bones, and I took those out, and I'm going to use those in a little bit. But before I do, there's a couple of quests I can do for prayer XP as well, and those are Spirits of the Elid and the Great Brain Robbery. Bro, what? You, you <laughs> I wasn't what? even looking at my screen. You what now? Oh my god, look at the chat box. I'm sorry, something, did, did something hot drops from the body of your vanquished foe. Well, you... What is this? You, you guys in your luck lately. It's like... I don't, I don't need this. I've, I've never had a D-chain in my life. I've worked for 15 years trying to get a dusty D-chain. And I get this sack of shit. <laughs> Does this mean I rubbed off on the farmers? I think you did. I think you're washed up, actually. I think we took it all. You're like a you're like you're like a wash rag. It's all it's all wrung out. Wait, that's the end of the quest? <laughs> Yo, why did I think this quest was way longer? Okay. Uh there's spirits of the Elid done. We got 54 prayer off of that, and we got a oh 64 magic and these very pretty robes.
So I'm doing a caress task. Do you have any interest in gilded altering big bones? Because they drop them noted, so I'm just wondering if I should pick them up for you or not. No. So I'm doing right, the great rain so. robbery. Um, and then by the time I use the heads and, uh, you know, the, the bones that were in the group, I think I only need to get like 60 more dragon bones. So, okay. yeah, it'll be no problem. I right, know worse. I still haven't put my stuff in for you. You'll have it banked for sure. Excellent. I think literally all I got to... Yeah, this is literally all I have to do. You just, you just use the church pews to save spot them and like basically every other boss quest or quest boss in the game, Ivan's Blast is highly effective. So, and just Ivan's Blast him a few times and he's dead. And there we go. There is the Great Brain Robbery completed. We get 6k prayer XP from that. And of course we do get the Barrel Chest Anchor. It costs like... 200k to fix so i'm a i am I do not know i don't have that much money we'll just hang on to it and we'll fix it someday okay well that's pretty much all of the prayer xp questing i can do right now i'm level 54 about halfway to 55 now i looked in the group storage and the farmers have stocked up quite a few bones for me so that will definitely go a long way um, I've also got some ensouled heads that I can use. Now, I wish I could use the high-level ones, but my magic level just isn't high enough right now. So, I'll use the low-level ones, though. Um, and I guess we'll see where we're at, then. Ooh, and they've got some more ensouled heads for me, as well. 25 giant heads, 31 horror heads. That will definitely help, as well. Alright, this is the last of my ensouled heads that I can use. I always forget, these things give so much prayer XP. If you look in the chat box, I went from 54 to 57 prayer off these things, so... Uh, with that, I'm now going to use Paul's POH for his Gilded Altar and uh, use up those bones. Now, I tell you what, after playing a regular Iron Man for so long, this was a very, very nice feeling. So, I was using Paul's Gilded Altar, and because he needed to hold the house open for me anyway... He was like, well, I may as well run the bones to you. So I legit just got to sit still at the altar, and, and he just gave me the bones to use, like, like a main. The XP per hour is just unreal. You know, honestly, this is so great that I can just run bones for you. Yeah, this is, this is really cool. This is so much faster. Okay, I might be dumb. If we are not in Remington, well, where are you getting these bones from? I'm going to Edgeville Bank. Oh, okay, why do you leave your house then? Are you not leaving before you tell me? No. What? No, I just tell you out. Why would I why would I leave my house first? I don't know. This is bait. Jor Jordan, what are you thinking? Look look you oh, watch oh. me tell you out. Zoom out. <laughs> I got you. Okay. I'm what, so what do you think I'm doing? I I thought you were like running to the portal and leaving, and I'm like, what? I'm like, wait, what is he doing? Oh no, no, I'm just using. No, I, I, I decided to use my glory telly that time because it was going to be a shorter inventory, so I, I needed to get back quicker. Yeah, I got you. You're, you're running to the Mount of Glory. All yeah, good. you're too zoomed in. You're too zoomed in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just around the corner. Guys, that means Manuel doesn't have the squad stream open. I, at this at the moment I don't there is six, there is 60 prayer there it is Exp wait you're 60 already I am wait is there a lot left Holy crap no uh, we have a good amount of bones left I think yeah good Just give give them to Curtis that was so fast yeah that's clutch that man. was amazing well with level 60 prayer that means I can use chivalry after I unlock it so let's go do the king's ransom quest and then we can unlock it you know, I feel like this would make a good, like, loading screen. You know you know how it, some loading screens have, like, little things in the corner that sit there and spin? Why don't we have this guy? Oh, yeah, bro. This, this literally could be happening for an hour straight on a video titled Lo-Fi Chill Hip-Hop Beats to Chill Relax To. Okay, talk to King Arthur, and that will be the quest completed. We get 33,000 defense XP, my gosh. Now, of course, the important part is not King's Ransom. The important part is the Knight's Training Ground. Okay, this next fella is weak to crush attacks only. And for the content... We're busting out the Varax Flail. A Dragon Battle Axe would totally be better, but it wouldn't be as cool... 
No. No, I would not. It's flail time. See a big hit right here gone. Oh, let's go! Give me another one. Oh, it's crazy! Down goes Sir Lancelot momentarily, and that will be the uh, Camelot training room completed as well. Come on, just die. Don't, don't do me like this. There we go. Oh, just come on. That's it, that'll do it. And with that completed, we get 20,000 XP in all of our melee stats as well as hit points. I am 130 XP off of a hit points level. And most importantly, now we can use Chivalry. Well, before we do more Zami, I'm going to need more charges in my Arc Light, and I've been having terrible luck getting Ancient Shard drops, but luckily, I do have some Dark Totems, and Scotizo always drops some Ancient Shards, so I'm gonna go do the very first Scotizo kills of the account. You know, I actually used way more food than I thought I was going to. That was, uh... <laughs> that was a little sketch. Holy shit. Uh, what do we get? We get one singular ancient shard. That's unfortunate. You can get anywhere from, like, one to five. So, more than one would have been ideal. Well, I had to drop the first hard clue due to a deep wilderness step. So, we're back for Scotizo kill number two. Oh... Oh, a dark claw. Okay, kind of useless, but, you know. Uh, unfortunately, only one ancient shard again. You're really boning me here, Scotizo. And we do get the hard casket, actually, from this one. What do we get? Eh, that's elk money. And Scotizo kill number three. Maybe we'll get some extra shards on this one. Maybe. And... Yeah, we did. Hey, let's go. We got an extra one. Thank you. And we got more. Dude, what? Did we had back-to-back -back dark claws. Uh, yeah, I, I we were trying to figure out what the fair way to choose who gets piety is. So we were okay. talking about flipping a coin. Okay, I, I'm sure you've already heard about this from the chat. But uh, heads, I do the seventy prey first. Tails, Rory does the seventy prey first. And if it lands on edge, then you go for seventy prey first. <laughs> Okay, that sounds more than fair to me. Sounds more than fair. That's it. Yes! 124 Greater Demons. You are so clutch, Neve. I love you. And with that Greater Demon task, the farmers are headed back to Zami. Now, we did our first Zami trip last video. Zoe, do you mind? <laughs> we did our first Zami trip last video, and we did get a Zamorakian Spear, so we're hoping to have more of the same. One we had, sadly. Oh, it's a but that's something. Yeah. That's the first minion drop. It's the same one I've been hunting Zami for in my main hardcore for like a month. <laughs> wow. As blue is that about on the floor? Grats, though. We're getting started early. This is good. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, give me, give me. Grats, Curtis. Nice. Grats to our. Uh, Resident glass blower or glass maker. Yeah, that's me. I'll take yeah, that. True. That's good for the spell. Also, again, ready. I need that toma fire, man. <laughs> I keep blowing glass without it. Wait, does the I, steam work? I, the steam's fire. I thought you had enough fire runes from uh, day one of the mode. No, no, no. I used all those. Steam is water and fire. I need to stop sniping this melee kill. I've taken like four of them. Just off the heal damage. Steam's water fire, okay. I guess that doesn't really help us out much, does it? No, that helps. That's exactly it, right? No. Uh, you need smoke no, battle it's... staff for... Uh... Oh, I need smoke. Oh, it's air fire. Air it's fire, air fire, yeah. okay. Yeah, so air staff and uh, and the toma fire is what I need. Yeah. I'm going to be getting that done soon, Roido, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snipe that from you pretty soon. I said the, the comms are breaking up. Uh, Tome of Fire, mine. Temporarily. 
You're mining? I thought we had enough sandstone. I can't hear you. Uh, no, we're going to need all of you guys to get 60 mining for Lunars on sandstone as well. So we can get Curtis some big Zenite stuff. Oh, yeah. Guthans with the infinite healing once I'm full HP, as usual. <laughs> Naturally, my dude. That's how it works. Like you said, it can tell. It knows. Uh, new video tomorrow. I'll get it finished up tonight. After all, who has a better story than Guthan the Infested? Except maybe for Bran the Broken. This is a much better trip. Much bigger trip than we had yesterday, or two days ago. Yeah, we've been here for a while. Good. You guys got a loot trucker on real open. Yes. Uh, yeah, but it adds up to my last kills. I think I have about 16 kills this trip. I just looked I and I have, I have 14 this trip. I have 6 this trip. So we're almost at a 40 kill trip then. Yeah, by far our best. Our best before was like 30 maybe? That scared the shit out of me, come on man. Come on, man. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. I can grab a prayer as well. I got two doses. Okay, I'll give you one next. Yeah, I can give you one too. Thank you. I'll give you one. No, I I think I'll give him one. But I'm going to beat you to it. Can I have three? You can have them all. <laughs> Roto, did you have uh, two kills? Yeah, I got two. So that was a 51 kill trip, if my math is right. That's huge. That is super That's such huge. a huge step from Monday. It's like a solo Tebow trip. So today I'm going to uh, unlock the Task Saber thing. So uh, it's like a thousand points and then you spend 50 to recall a task. So it'll be a little bit easier to get these like organized. Yeah, that'll be... That might actually be the one scenario where that's worth it on group. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. And really, don't even need everyone with it. Like, one or two guys with it. You know, once the third guy gets his task, then we can recall to it. Could be clutch. I need heals. Oh. Very clever. Mammal, no! Oh my god. Set, hey, he's down for blood. Brain. Here you go. I'm fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I said I'm sorry. I'm eating a yogurt. Just don't eat a donut. And unfortunately, we did that entire second trip, and we got absolutely nothing at all. So that was a, a bit of a letdown, but, I mean, you know, you're not always going to be lucky. Sometimes you're just going to not get a damn thing. That was, uh, got an hour and a half in the login timer. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Both long trips, though. Do you want to tally the kills again? Yeah, let's do it. I think I just got the one, maybe two. I had 18. I also had 18. I got uh, seven that trip. So that's like a 45er. Yeah, little, little worse, but nice. not bad. Yeah, we, we stretched that one an extra 10, 15 kills, yeah. man. Yeah, definitely. Um, So you guys, what, what's your what's your actual kill count at Krill? 68. 13. So assuming Curtis has about 20, that puts us just under 200. About 190 to 200, somewhere in there. One spear, bit unlucky. Yeah. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. We got ourselves chivalry in this video. And the farmers, of course, did some more. Zami, we got a steam battle staff. So, no Zamoraki and spears on this one, but hey, a steam battle staff is definitely better than nothing. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. Well, as we just discussed, I really need to get my magic up. So, I think I'm going to bite the bullet, and I'm going to unlock Bones to Peaches, and I can make some uh, tabs for the team. Firstly, though, I do need to get a bunch of runes to actually do Mage Training Arena, so... You must have complete- What? Okay, hold up. 
And there we go, there is the hand of the sand quest completed. We get some crafting XP out of that, but most importantly, I can access the Wizard's Guild Rune Shop. So we have 700 Cosmics, 1200 Nats, and 450 Law Runes. To my knowledge, that should be enough for Bones to Peaches, so time to go do everybody's favorite minigame. Okay, as soon as I go through the dialogue, I should be getting my first magic level of MTA. There is level 65. We can wield Third Age Wand and the Nightmare Staff. Wow, I've got both of those, coincidentally. And here it is. Slide into place, Mr. Maze Guardian. With this, we now have over 200 telekinetic points. So that is the worst room done. It's literally all uphill from here. How much XP do we get for 10k coins? Oh, 20k XP. That's so good. It's a shame MTA isn't more fun because that XP is so nice. All right, and this is my last 5,000 coins. With that, we now have 300 alchemy points. So that is done. And with telekinetic and alchemy out of the way, those are the slow ones done. We just got, uh, oh, I suppose we'll probably do uh, the graveyard one next. Well, this will be the last inventory of the uh, the graveyard room. I'm glad I was able to get some use out of the uh, the mud battle staff we got at DK's. Made it so I only had to use gnats and nothing else. Okay, there is 200 graveyard points as well. Okay, we are finishing up the enchantment room as well. Now, I decided to do the, in the dragon stone method, which is a little bit slower, but... It used way, way less cosmic runes, so I'd do it again. And with that, we should now have enough pizzazz points. Let's go buy Bones to Peaches. Uh, I think I got like three magic levels off that, and I'm less than 1k XP off of a fourth. So, you know, MTA kind of sucks, but I got like four magic levels and I got a useful spell. Not bad, man. That's not bad at all. I think one of my next big questing goals should probably be to complete the Lunar Diplomacy quest. Of course, I've got the Ancient Spellbook, so I should get the Lunar Spellbook as well. Now, Lunar Diplomacy does have some pretty high requirements, one of them being 61 crafting. However, I gave Paul a bunch of buckets of sand the other day and my giant seaweed. Alright, Paul, I put in 2,600 buckets of sand and some giant seaweed as well. Thank you, sir. I will take advantage of those, and uh, I will return you some good molten glass for the 61 craft grind. And he did the glass make spell and made a whole bunch of molten glass, so um, I am going to take this molten glass, and I am going to blow it, and that should get me 61 crafting. I just skipped over it like a silly head, but we just got level 55 crafting right there, which is a big level because we can now create a Slayer Helm. At some point here, I should have enough Slayer points to buy the ability, so uh, yeah, when we can get around to making our Slayer Helm, we have the crafting level to do so. So I am now level 60 crafting and very close to 61, but I am all out of molten glass. Now luckily I've got 3200 lantern lenses to my name. Whatever I'm going to do with those. Uh, but I think to get the rest of the crafting, I'll just make some uh, some gold bracelets. Some jewelry. Here, pal. Oh, that's steep. That's, okay. I mean, yeah, that's starting pretty hot. That's that's level okay. one? That, well, I, I don't know if one is the highest or, or nine is the highest. So I'm just going to go from one to nine. Okay, okay. Okay, number two. For Pete's sake. All right, all right. And number three. Well, now wait a minute. <laughs> Number four is, if I had a nickel for every time, <laughs> are, are these kind of on point so far? So far, I'd say, yeah. I mean, you know, I'd say, listen here, pal, we're getting pretty serious. You know, I, you're, you're ready oh. to talk some serious business here. Uh, what about for heaven's sake? For heaven's sake? Yeah, you're, you're pretty exasperated at that point, you know. Jeez Louise. Yep, same. That's like, are you kidding me? Hold your horses. Okay, now I say that one a lot. <laughs> Uh, there's just a, I, I, I don't know if this is serious or not. It's just, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I mean, it maybe depends on the inflection of the woes. Maybe that's what they're getting at, you know? Okay, okay. And then there's Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. I, you know, I, the only, like, variant of that I used to hear was cheese and rice. I hear, I hear huh. a lot of cheese and rice. <laughs> cheese and rice. Yep. 
No, no. G so, so that's backwards then. And the listen here, pal, is the serious one. I think so. Yeah. I, you know, when you say listen here, pal, I, I imagine we've had a serious disagreement about the, the Vikings and the Packers and we've had a few Miller lights, you know, I mean, like things some are hands on hips. <laughs> oh yeah. Right there. Yeah. Maybe a finger point in the whole nine. All right. And there is level 61 crafting. I don't think you need to make a split bark helm for the quest, so I don't know what 61 has to do with it, but there's the crafting requirement for lunar diplomacy. Hmm. Coordinate clue northeast of Berg D. Rot. I think to enter Berg D. Rot, you've got to do the Meyer Q quests, which are relatively fast. Yeah, I mean, if I'm going to get motivated to get quests done, I, I guess I may as well for a clue scroll. Okay, that quest was, like, significantly faster than I remember, but there's, uh, In Search of the Meyer Q. By the way, how do you guys say that? M Meyer Q? I've heard, like, Meyer Key, Myreek. I don't know, bro. Bro, why this pale-ass bottle of milk-looking ass walking around with this big old hammer? What you doing with that thing, man? Okay, that one definitely takes a little bit longer than in Search of the Meyer Cube, but uh, there is in Aid completed as well. And with that, let's get on with our hard clue scroll. It paid off, we did the quest, and now we have a hard casket. Is it any good? Ooh, another heraldic shield. I don't know how many heraldic shields we're up to now, but I just got another one. That is four. That makes four, yeah. Sweet. One for That's each awesome. Of us. That is good. Oh, I got one! Nice. Okay, so there is a master clue, albeit it's in the wilderness, but, you know, someday when we're not hardcores, we're going to do all of our clue scrolls, right? So, someday we're going to get a master clue that requires a brine saber, and I'm going to go, I've got it, boys. Another upside of the brine saber is I can use it to kill lobstrosities for seaweed spores, which that's good, too. Okay, this medium casket took me a long-ass time. I really hope I get something decent. Oh, a master scroll book and a blessing. I've been running around with no blessing, so I'm going to keep that for myself. And the master scroll book is good, too. The, the first one is nice. Don't do it, please. Don't main hand the halberd, please. No. I can't watch. I can't, I can't watch. I can't. No. Oh, baby, there it is. 50th Slayer task gives us 270 bonus points for a total of 600. So, let's go make a Slayer Helm. Okay, rewards, and we want Malevolent Masquerade for 400 points. Well, that's not bad. I still have 200 points left over if I really needed to skip something. At least I'm not, you know, SOL now. And then I need a nose peg, a spiny helmet, earmuffs, a face mask... And we combine all of that together. And we ha Why do you need reinforced goggles? That's so dumb. Okay, that should be everything now. <laughs> and there is the Slayer Helm done. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna miss the green dreadlocks. I, I, I really am. Kind of makes me sad, but, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Well, I should continue working on getting my requirements done for Lunar Diplomacy. Uh, I am currently 49 mining, and I need to get all the way up to 60, unfortunately. Although I might be able to boost a little bit, so I'll look into that. In the past, I've done stuff like 3-tick fishing and 3-tick hunter to try to speed things up, but I've never tried 3-tick mining before. I would say it's generally considered one of the harder tick manipulation skills, but I wanted to get it done. So for the sake of saving time, I learned how to 3-tick mine. I'm not really good at it, but I don't know, I kind of thought it was enjoyable in a weird way. It was more engaging, if you will. I found a crash star. I was mining sand, and I literally saw, like, a little shadow start floating this way, and I was like, Daddy? Well, here we go. It's about 3 in the morning, and I have been mining my ass off. I can't even 3-tick anymore, as you can see, I'm falling apart. And we are about to get 60 mining. It'll be done. Oh, there it is. There's level 60 mining. We can now enter the world-famous mining guild. Wow, I've never seen that dialogue before. But most importantly, of course, that's a requirement for Lunar Diplomacy. Now, here's a cool thing. Um, I deposited 
11,000 buckets of sand worth. That's pretty dope. And one last requirement for Lunar Diplomacy is level 55 woodcutting. Now, luckily, I'm already 54, so we'll just chop a few teak trees. There we go. There's 55 woodcutting. Let's go do Lunar Diplomacy. Alright, let's race, bitch. Let's go. Easy. Easy. <clears throat> One fail. You take those. Lucky. Oh no. Oh no. No! Come on, he's getting away! He's getting away! Come on. Oh, here we go. It's time for the redemption arc. Come on. No! How many times can you fail and still win? Do I have to wear this lunar gear, or can I put a D skim on? I don't want to like unequip the staff of fear that like tellies me out. We're gonna try it. Nope, won't let me. You can't take your clothes off in a dream. Sorry. What? Okay, you already know Mod Ash wrote that dialogue. He knew what he was doing. All right, there is Lunar Diplomacy completed. We now have access to the Lunar Spellbook. We get. 29 room crafting off of that. Now, the thing about Lunar Diplomacy is I can get on the spell book, but a bunch of the quests are still locked behind completion of Dream Mentor. So guess what? We're going to do Dream Mentor right away too. Best part of the quest right here, man. Yeah, it, It's so weird, okay? This dude, he, he can wear a dragon chain body and like Torag's plate legs, you know? He wants an Aram's top and bottom and a D-Med to go with his whip. It... I don't know, dude. Makes the makes the weirdest choices, but you do you, fam. Dude, actually is loaded, though. Like, whole, if you were an Iron Man, bro, look at all those prayer pots. Like, sheesh. I couldn't ask for a better setup. Fam, I, I think you could, but okay. So, really, the only challenging part of the Dream Mentor boss fights is the inadequacy. Now, I think when I did it on my previous accounts, I also used Ivan's Blast, but I wore Mystic, and that was a mistake. This fella has absolutely zero mage defense, so I just wore full tank armor, and it was really, really effective. So, uh, if any guy tells you, I, I don't know why I wore Mystic before, but you can wear full tank and you'll be A-OK. -okay. He's a cakewalk. And there is the Dream Mentor quest completed. A Dreamy Lamp. Okay, we get 78 hit points out of that. Uh, you rub the lantern and a little voice squeaks. Oh, God. I'm sure it gives you XP in, like, specific skills. Okay, yeah, of course. You know, truth be told, I kind of want to put it on magic. Yeah, fuck it. Neat. There is level... 80 strength, that's a bit of a milestone there. We're feeling awfully strong. I think I'll probably just continue to train strength, to be honest. I could get my defense up a little bit, but... You know, whenever I have to use the Zamoraki and Hasta for something, I just put that on defensive anyway, so... I'll just keep using strength on the D-skim. So, today I'm going to get 100% Shazy in favor, get the Shazy in armor, and then at some point... Whenever I start my uh, Lizard Man Shaman grind, I'll be prepped. So first things first, we're finishing up the Client of Korend quest. That is uh, step number one. There we go. We get a Korend favor certificate, which I'm going to use on Piscarilius. Because the first 20% of Piscarilius favor is god-awful. 
Uh, next up, we are going to do the Tale of the Righteous. How would you like to kill him? Brutally or softly? Obviously, uh, obviously softly. You, you realize you can't really kill someone softly. You brutally murder him instead. Okay. Oh, and whilst I'm down here in the Warrens, I think once I'm done trading this guy, that should be the Core End Easy Diaries completed. Indeed. Nice. And there is the Queen of Thieves quest completed as well. That gives us... I... It said a favor certificate, but my inventory is full, so did she not give it to me? There it is. Thank you. Free 10% favor. We get a hammer, and then we're like, all right, fuck. Fuck off, man. We'll go, go get another one now. <laughs> We're gonna I go mean, play over here, but you go you go play as shamans. <laughs> it would be good. I mean, it would be good to have more than one, but uh, one hammer and multiple BGSs sounds good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it it's actually better to have some BGSs in some scenarios. So that would be lethal if you D War hammered down Grardor and then smacked him with a BGS. Well, the nice thing about a hammer at Grardor is we can, you know, each person is going to do two specs. You do two specs, and then the next kill you trade to someone else, and they do two specs, and then just continue. That's nice. Ah, there it is. We're about 170 lizard men into the grind, and there is the Xerix Talisman Inert. I've been wanting to get one of these for quite a while anyway, just because, I, I mean, to get around Zay, I just have to walk around right now, so. There's a Xerix Talisman at long last. Ah, yes, and then once you get the first one, they just keep on coming. They don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. Okay, hello? That's like five kills later, bro. What the hell? What the hell, dude? This is awesome. My talisman's gonna have so many charges, man. That is four. Four Xerix talismans and about eh, 240 KC, man. What in the shit? This is awesome. I'm, I, I get to tell you everywhere. Where you want to go, we'll go there. All right, with this lizard man dead, we now have 30% Shazy in favor. And from here, I'm going to go do the Tale of the Righteous quest. All right, there is the Tale of the Righteous quest completed. I will read the Shazy in certificate. That'll give us another 10%. That puts us up to 40%, and now we can fight off the gangs. Fighting organized crime is definitely the best way to get your Shazy in favor up once you're able to do it. So you kill the gang members, you get the intelligence, and that's what you hand in to get your favor up. But they also drop a whole bunch of planks, so it's really quick and it actually has like useful drops on top of that. Oh, I just found something cool. My fire cape is literally invisible right now. The carpet in this room is the exact same shade of the back of the fire cape, like, to a T. Look at that. When I turn the camera, it disappears. That's crazy. <laughs> and with this soldier dead, there is full tier 5 Shazian armor. And 100% Shazian favor done as well. So we are now ready for shamans. You guys look like you know what you're doing. Is there is there a trick to multi shamans or something? I have no idea. We're supposed to stand over here. Well, I think the just idea don't was let him jump. just so he doesn't jump. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring prayer. Prayer pots would have been a good idea. No. I'll go get some. Just gonna make him jump one more time. Uh, yeah, my MSB is imbued, yeah. Oh my good god. There's so many purples. <laughs> Western wall. <laughs> this is... The only bad thing about multi is there's just so many little Barneys. I will say, my DPS is dismal. What's the range level 70? Yeah. Like if it's if it's just me on a shaman, it takes like two minutes. Yeah. I'm thinking the MSBI uh, is better, but I it think is it is better uh, with rune arrows by like five or six percent. Yeah. Over broads. I'll grab it the next time we bang. I think Paul lowered it to troll with the uh, the rune warhammers. Ah. 
Yeah, the the added bonus of, of the of the crossbow is you can wear the prayer book, which is nice. And this is a low level, it'd actually be pretty sick at a higher level, like higher range level. Like imagine we were all Curtis's range level. We can tear through these. With the cannons might actually be worth. Yeah, cannons would be crazy good. Well, we do have steel bars from Konar chest. True. But you would run through them so quickly. It would be difficult to upkeep, yeah. yeah. But just think of the kills per hour, though. Four dudes, four cannons, be like a thousand kills an hour. Uh, I made that one jump, my bad. Are we making money at least, boys? Almost definitely. Oh, we got a hammer, let's Yo. go! Oh, we did it! <laughs> you know some chatters got baited by that one. Definitely. Somebody the just switched their reaction. tab. I, I may have kitchen. changed the loot value of the notification about five minutes ago. I I literally just went, why the hell are we seeing rune chain bodies? So, <laughs> yep, that makes sense. Yeah, I got a rune warhammer drop like ten minutes ago. I was like, oh shit, this is a good idea. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. And then the chain body screwed it. Why would you come all the way over here just so you could explode on you? Alright guys, I've, I've got some information to share. Uh, Anne has guessed what these things are called, and I kind of agree with her, and I think we should petition Jagex to change it. She called these lizard kangaroos. That's... I mean... That's pretty fair, to be honest. Not wrong. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty fair. It's not wrong. They're big lizards. They jump real high. I mean, yeah. They do jump high. I forgot about that. It, tr it tracks, yeah. Yeah. It's good, it's good call. They do spit. They do, actually. Their, their two mechanics are to jump and to spit. And they have little younglings that they could put in a pouch. Yeah, they're little ruse. Okay, she she also thinks they're part llamas because they they spit. Okay. We we may we may be reaching. We're, we're getting there. A bit, bit of a reach, whoa, but... You know. <laughs> Alright, that's it. My chat has compiled it. They are lizard llama ruse. Lizard Llama Roos. You and me, okay. baby, ain't nothing but mammals, we'll so let's petition. do it like We're wearing hats. She wants channel. to make sure that everyone knows that they have hats on, not yes. helmets. Lizard Llama Roo, parentheses, hat. Well, there's Shama Llamas. <laughs> Ooh, that's even better. Shama Llamas. I mean, I used to call them Lizard Wizards, but Shama Llama works. <laughs> And unfortunately, we did not get a Dragon Warhammer, which I am personally appalled by. I cannot believe we did not get a Dragon Warhammer in one trip of Shamans. Honestly, it's despicable, but uh, it was a lot of fun anyway. Uh, and I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a video there. Thank you all very, very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. Now, before I get into my recorded footage for this progress video, I have to show you a clip from Roydy. He got a drop, probably one of the best drops you could get on a group Iron Man. I got it. That is the first imbued heart I have had in 50 million Slayer XP on my characters. If you don't know what the Imbued Heart does, it boosts your magic by 1 plus 10% of your magic level. So let's say you're level 80 magic. It's going to give you a plus 9 magic boost, which is really, really good. Now, you, you might think of it for, oh, I don't know, you could cast Ice Barrage early. But there's so many utilities with the magic spellbook. So let's say Enchanting Zenite Jewelry. Enchanting Zenite Jewelry requires 93 magic. But with an Imbued Heart, now we can enchant Zenites at... Well, math is hard, but, you know, like, nine less levels. Like, it's it, it's such a massively useful drop, it can't be understated. Now, we also wanted to put it to use by its defensive properties. Of course, your magic defense is partially calculated by your magic level, so we figured a good place to put it to the test would be to go do some Zami God Wars. So I started off by trying to get a greater demon task. Well, okay, here's the thing. I have 48 points. I can skip once more, but then I can't skip again, so... Listen, next man, one's gonna be that's the water it's, it's, it's for content. It's for content. Okay. We're Either way, it's content. We're sending it. Here we go. Let's go, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 
Oh no. Oh, oh, we no. Get out. oh no. We hate Suquaz. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right, How someone buy this mana cannon now. Someone buy this mana cannon and get some cannonballs. <laughs> Jordan, I got steel bars. It was it was worth it. It was for the chance of content. I'd do it again. I respect the balls. I take Team no fair. blame. <laughs> So, because I was unable to get a Greater Demon task, logically, that means I should be the tank. Both Paul and Roydy had Slayer tasks, so, because I'd be doing the least DPS, I may as well tank. Roydy has tanked all of our previous Sammy trips, so he was giving me some pointers. What I do, instead of, like, instead of doing, like, solo melee Zammy, I kind of just try to linger under him for longer so the team can do more DPS and we less smashy-smashy. Yeah, that makes sense. So long as you don't wait too long and get aggro swap. So tanking Zami is more or less like soloing Zami. The difference is it dies way, way faster. So ideally, we kill it fast enough that I just don't get specced very often. And even at that, you know, soloing Zami is extra dangerous because you're getting hit by every single minion every single time. Well, with this, you're only tanking the boss and sometimes the minions, so it's really not all that dangerous, but because my hit points level's kind of low, I was still staying full health, like, the whole time. Oh my. What? What oh is that? My. If. As if. <laughs> okay, 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 game. <laughs> Yo, I just okay, got 60 game. defense. Can I wear it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh yeah. Today is the day of obscure loots. Shoot. What is that? Yo, real talk, like, there's no negative range now because of the changes. That's uh, it. Off melee, because I need some heals. Oh, my bad. Oh, I totally forgot we got to pass this uh, imbued heart around. I didn't even use it. I won't need it because I only pray mage. That's another really great thing about the imbued heart for group content is because of the cooldown, we can literally use the imbued heart and then trade it to one another and then do it all over again every seven minutes. It's so good. Yeah, oh my baby. Oh my. Look at that bad boy. It's not even orange text. That shit's worth 2.2 .2 mil. <laughs> oh my God. There's the hill. Nice. Big congrats. Funny enough, that's what I need on my main hardcore. Sad scam game. That is just the way it goes. Not bad, dude. Not bad. It's actually the first boss drop that's been in my name. Today is your day. Definitely. It is your day. Yoink. Does anyone need food or should I juggle them? I juggle have them full. I can hold some, but I think okay, mammals I will leave them on the floor then. That works. Southwest nah, corner. Trade, trade, trade to Jordan. He needs them. I can grab them, doesn't matter. My man has three food saying, oh, you know, well, we're okay, but... Well, I mean, that's enough for a kill. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I got though, loads. You, you, get, you get bad kills sometimes. Yeah, true. There you go. Okay, I got protect the cattle farmer. It is, it is hard time as well. Okay. Steam for the right Oh my out. god. Baited the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Roydy is having himself a day. You love to see it. Yo, we're going for the Lord of the Zombie yeah, this, is, this is his day, man. Jordan, make sure you get off on the, that guy a little bit early. Uh, yeah, just for, for our, our blood heals. See you guys later. I'm going to go play my main hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that shot soon, huh? I think we should just do half as much loot. Let Rody get all the kills today, man. He's the loot bomb today. No kidding. Uh, Mr. Rody, you got the uh, seeds? Dear God. Yeah, I'm seed guy. All right, I'm going to give you my seed. All things related to farming or herb lore, I will take. Doesn't matter when, ring me up, 4 a.m., I'm there. I just feel bad that I gave you wine earlier, like a lot of wine earlier, and now I've given you my seeds. At EP plus plus arrows. Yep, that was the drop back in the day that uh, ruined your loot share potential. You did not want to see that one. Oh, there we are. Yes. One well, look at Roydy, man. Dude, it I is your day. Unstoppable tonight, dude. It's all in my inventory. 
That's awesome. If anybody awesome. has any questions as to what we've gotten, just look. Shit. So just need a shard three now. Nice. And someone with and 70, like 70 smithing. smithing levels. Okay, yeah, that's a... But, I mean, we, all we, need can, we, can, song we can afford the gold ore, and I probably have a lot of gold ore from uh, Garros anyways. Yeah, we, we could find oh my somebody. Oh smithing. I want to make Adi bolts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, whoever wants to do it, I'll fund it. Paul with the executive black card. He's got <laughs> it. Hey, uh, hey, Curtis, I got a question for you. There's a car brand in the UK, and uh, it sounds like Pidgeotto, like, <laughs> like the, the Pokemon. What's it called? Persia. Persia. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a... Oh, I know. Persia? Apparently, it's, yeah. it's spelled like Puego or something. It's not, it's, yeah, it's like Puego. Like, yeah, but it's yeah, yeah, pronounced yeah, yeah, Persia. Yeah. Yeah. Fancy. Okay, okay, thanks, man. We're gonna not? <laughs> You and me, baby, ain't no Another oh, one? Yes, that's what? the second one of the trip. Nice. <laughs> How? <laughs> what? <laughs> and who else would it go to, of course. And that then was the end of our Zami trip. I'd say a pretty successful trip overall. I mean, first and foremost, I tanked and I didn't die. So, you know, that was a win for me. And then as a team, we got the, uh, the Zami hilt and another steam battle staff. And after the Zami trip was done, the farmers wanted to do some Barrows together. Now, Barrows has gotten a lot more convenient because Paul has made some pretty big upgrades to his POH. He's got the Rejuvenation Pool that gives you run energy. He's got an Altar for your prayer. And he's also got the Barrows Telly, which is huge for saving time. I tell you what, I was like 9 or 10 years old or something, and I did Barrows with full Varax and a Sarah Sword. And this was at the time where the Ooh. items kept on death was, it was weird. It was based on the Alk value or something. It was weird. And uh, yeah. I DC'd and I died and I protected my Varax pieces and I lost my Sarah Sword. And that was the first time RuneScape made me cry real tears. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. heartbroken. One time I protected a one GP stack over a red party hat. What? Lost it. Oh, Red Party bro. was only 2.3 uh, mil at the time. The Rangers Guild to the Archers, man. They got me, dude. Ooh. Zami Rub Time, Zami Rub Bottom, and one coin. Can't believe the it. The only time I remember crying over RuneScape was I woke up early some morning to merch, and I was selling a Varric set. And I, I played myself. I just, like, I typed, like, selling Varric's, like, 2.3 mil. It was worth, like, 4 mil. And I just, I was just spacing out, thinking it was Torex or something, and sold it for, like, half price. Oh, no. Oof. But the real, waiting for the real corpses was in World 2 Falador, waiting for someone to get stung down by a swarm over the course oh, of yes. five minutes, <laughs> with 700 people gathered around. Drunken dwarf, poison, you know, the, the poison and uh, strange fruit thing. Oh, it's so great. Hold on, let's have to go on, actually. Run away at 2 HP. I think I was incredibly toxic. I want to say one time I picked up somebody's, like, rune axe head, and I, I, I wouldn't give it to him, I w but I would sell it to him. <laughs> I wouldn't just give it to him. That's nice just awesome. business. Yeah. In RuneScape Classic, I employed a guy to mine me coal for three GP each. <laughs> oh no. Had Wasn't a whole business, cousin? man. No, no, my cousin, that's a different story. Uh, one time I was over at my cousin's house and uh, I had him fish lobsters on my account and I told him I'd pay him a dollar if he would. And I went to sleep and he fished lobsters all night. I woke up at 6 a.m. and he was still going. So I went and searched through his couch cushions, and I found four quarters, and I paid him with his own money. <laughs> <laughs> that's galaxy brain. Classic. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my uncle used to play RuneScape, and in RuneScape Classic, he would sell uh, magical color-changing capes in Varrock, and he'd just have, like, six different colored capes in his inventory, just, so, like, change them one at a time, until someone traded him, and he'd put up one random color cape. Then they'd be like, it's not trading, it's not changing. He'd be like, yo, it only works when, you know, when you're out of the trade screen. And they'd decline and he'd start clicking them again. Then it, they'd trade them again and heap up a different color. Holy. Good times, man. You learn from the best, apparently. My God. I, I, I got a fucked up family, That's I guess. crazy. <laughs> Other than our banter, we did actually get a bunch of very useful drops. So to start things off, Paul got a Varax plate skirt. Now that is really good, because our previous only pair of like melee legs was a Guthan skirt. Which I think a Guthan skirt is like the same as a dragon plate skirt, so 
Uh, the Varax skirt was really good. And then on the very next chest, he followed that up with a back-to-back. -back. He got another very useful drop, the Carol's Leather Skirt. So we now have both the Carol's top and bottom, which is going to be really good for tanking Zami with. And then Roydy also bagged a very useful drop as well. He got a pair of Torag's plate legs. So in one little Barrow session, we went from only having Guthan's skirts to use to having both Varak's skirt and Torag's legs, which is really, really good. Something that's been on my to-do list pretty much since I created this account is to get a rune pouch. Now, you can either get your rune pouch through LMS or through Slayer. If you're pretty decent at PKing, it's way faster to get it through LMS. Now, I'm not saying I'm a great PKer, but, you know, on average, I, I do win here and there. Uh, so I did some LMS today to get myself a rune pouch, and I would say it went pretty well. The Darox? Ah! <laughs> Let's go! All oh, through the prayer! Sit the fuck down! Oh, let's go. That's perfect. That is the perfect way to end. Through the fucking prayer. That's so perfect. <laughs> That's so good. Alright, there it is, baby. With that win, we have... <laughs> 76 points in total. Justine, I will... One moment, please. Okay, uh, now, with my 75 points, we will buy ourselves a rune pouch. Very nice. No way! I can't believe I got a- Okay! We have an elite casket, folks! Holy cow! Okay, the very first elite clues goal of this account. What do we get? Oh, we get <laughs> absolute garbage because elite clues suck dick. But we do get a master, which... I surely will not be able to do. South of Port Tyrus. Okay. Um, I have not done Regicide. However, this could be a good motivator for me to get Regicide done. So I will hang on to this for a sec. I'm sure I'll have to drop it anyway, but I, I may as well go do Regicide, you know. And I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a video there. Thank you all very much for watching. Some great group content on this one. We got some more awesome loot at Zami and some good Barrows items as well. Next video, I'm actually really, really excited for. I've got some super unique content on the next video that I... Well, I won't spoil it, but I've actually never done it on any of my Iron Man ever. Like, it's a totally new thing to me and it was really fun to do. So, I hope you're all looking forward to that. If you did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. Now, to start off this video, we've got some pretty big things planned. I'll let Paul explain. So, I'm going to have 80 Slayer in probably two days. Okay. Uh, unless I get clutched with tasks tomorrow. So, um, I'm looking at maybe trying to get you some grapes or something like that to get your cooking higher to 80, so we could bake pie for wild pies. Ooh, yeah, that'd be so that way we can boost for whips. Yeah, that's a good shout, actually. Okay, so I'm going to start off by cooking the raw food that I've got. I'll, sell, I'll save the wines for last, I suppose. Save the the big XP for last. But yeah, we've got, we got quite a bit of raw food sitting here, so I'll uh, start by cooking that. So I'm trying to think about this whole plus five cooking boost thing. So I obviously could do spicy stews. But I was also thinking a long-term play could be... If we can get our hands on eight Chef's Delights, we could put the unlimited barrel in your house. We can, but it takes two to three days to brew it, I think. Well, yeah, you can be, get them from Gourmets. Impact, yeah. Gourmet implings do mm, give them. That might be like two hours of hunting to get eight of them, though. <sighs> yeah, probably not worth, I At guess. At that point, you may as well just do the cooking and 12 second it. Well, if we have multiple yeah. of us going for it, it could be content. I mean, it, yeah, like, it, it might not be worth it time-wise. So well, all, all we gotta do is put five gifted reward on the Chef's Delights. Huh. Whoever gets the Chef's Delight gets five gifted. Umpty From guy, Humble Viewer. Works. Any eclectics that just happen to fly by that gourmet trap for a free wild pie? I'd do it. True. True. Chef's Delights are plus five at level 80, yeah? Yes, it is. 
I'll, I'll, I'll go for that with you, man. I, I'll go for the chefs. Okay, sounds good. I guess we can we can give that a try maybe later. I'm catching you some raw crumbwine right now. I'll probably do three or four inventories. Should probably be like 50k XP. Okay, thank you. So like we mentioned before, our game plan for getting me a plus five cooking boost is to make a chef's delight barrel in a POH. Now in order to do that, you need to get eight chef's delights. Uh, gourmet Imblings drop them at a 1 out of 100 rate. So we figure if the three of us hit up Puro Puro and just farm it out, it shouldn't take too terribly long. The cool thing about the Chef's Delight Barrel is you can get unlimited Chef's Delights from it. The downside is you can't leave the POH with it, but that'll be okay. I already, I don't know. Yeah, there's there's a very important message in, in one of the Twitch chats right now. Says, Rudy, I lost my virginity today. Can I get a shout out? Uh, <laughs> we'll hit it with a tactical ignore. Uh, oh, man. Where you are, guy, I'm proud of you. You should be ashamed of yourself, sir. <laughs> was he at least cute? Which cousin was it? Bro, just catch the impling, you donkey! Chef's delight number two. Nice. Okay, that one counts, Rito. Uh, I actually had a bugged gourmet there, so I couldn't even compete. It was a no contest. <laughs> Five gifted. The dark lure, he he wouldn't even he wouldn't even come to me. He would just stay like two tiles away. He's not supposed to come. It's November. Rainbow fish. Uh, the spell I'm using is called Dark Lure. It requires level 50 magic and a kingdom divided. And then it's on the Archaeus spell book. I just got one. I just got a Chef's Delight. Sweat. So it's at three. Three out of eight. Moving quick. Even Robin could not get us the Chef's Delights. We are doomed. Sorry. Tell her I'm disappointed in her. Robin, Paul says he is disappointed in you. Well, let him be disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed for not winning that that dead man mode he said he was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what about me? I didn't win either. Yeah, but we knew you were going to win. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Ooh, she did wake so? up and choose violence. Is that so? Okay, I see how it is. Does she know that we lagged? It was only because we lagged. Yeah, well, yeah. she would she wouldn't get it. She wouldn't get it. That's fine. Good boy. All over. I got number two. I literally just said my ch to my chat, mammals getting a chef's delight in less than two minutes time, not thirty seconds ago. And I thought it, so pretty much just as good. Yeah, it counts. So what do we add? Six out of eight then? Six out of eight. Alright, I have a question that I need to ask to both, uh, Roydy and Foe's chats as well. We are having a discussion in my stream about, uh, Cool Whip. One of my viewers asked me what Cool Whip was, as he's from the UK. Cool Whip. So I, I said it, it's a brand of whipped cream. And he said, oh, okay, so squirty cream then. So I am now following up. Do you call whipped cream squirty cream in the UK? Because there's no shot. Well, I mean, it depends. Like, even I call it squirty cream. It just, uh, it depends on what month it is, for one. We can't call it squirty cream this month. And, uh, two, it matters if it's in a tub or if, if it's in a uh, squirty bottle. Wait, wait, wait. So, so, like, if it was in a spray bottle, you would call it squirty cream? Do you not? Alright, I'm getting baited. <laughs> 100%. This is this has to you be You Midwesterners. <laughs> this has to be baited. What about what's the what's the name for the the cheese squirty squeezy cheese uh That's squirty really. cheese <laughs> yeah because you don't really squirt it you kind of just like i don't know Foam doesn't it. seem like the right word oh Good. buddy we are done all right what uh what 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 con level is it to make this thing it's like 48 yeah it's pretty low i got an extra so <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I just got another one. All right, for all of that. 50 gifted for the drink now. 
So I got four of them in 429 gourmets. Okay, we're back on the drop rate. All right, and there we go. There is level 45 construction. Now I need to go grab my crystal saw, and that will boost me up to 48. Okay, here we go. Let us build the Chef's Delight barrel. That is probably the first time I have ever made a barrel of beer on any of my accounts ever. There's always a first for something, right? And whilst we're at it, we're also going to build some oak shelves. From that, we can grab empty beer glasses. And then, after a long, hard day of construction, I'm going to enjoy myself a nice Chef's Delight. Tasty. And now that I've got a permanent way to get a plus 5 cooking boost, I need to actually get 80 cooking. Uh, so of course I've got some raw food in the bank that I started on earlier. I'm going to finish that up. And then from there, I'm going to mostly do wines if I can. Alright, and that is all of the raw food that I've got right now. We've got 900 carambuans, which that'll be great. I can uh, share with the team of that. Next on, I should make these grapes into jugs of, uh, well... Yeah, jugs of wine. The way I'm getting my grapes to make wines is by buying them at the RFD chest. Now, this is a kind of popular method. So if you go in the middle of the day, they are sold out pretty frequently. But I went at like 2 in the morning and almost every world was fully stocked. Okay, so I'm not finding any more grapes. Looks like I uh, have cleared all of the worlds. We're at a total of 2750 grapes right now, which is pretty good. So next up, I need to get jugs of water. To do that, I'm going to buy empty jug packs, and then I will humidify to fill them. Okay, I'm gonna need to get the timing on this to see when, like, how quickly can I bank after the animation. Oh, wow, pretty quick. Okay. Wow, there's really not much of a delay there. Holy shit, this is gonna be way faster than manually filling. This is nuts. Okay, here we go. The last six grapes... And then, we get to see how big of an XP drop we have. How, how many unfermented wines is it? 2,748 wines worth. I am pause champing. It should be a pretty nice one. 549k. Holy shit. 75 to 79 cooking. Nice. There it is. There it is, there is level 80 cooking. Oh, we can cook our sharks now. I think I might go do that, nice. So, at level 80 cooking, the minimum level for sharks. No, I jinxed it. Oh, and then, oh, now he just, <laughs> two in a row. That's so good though, dude. For the base cooking requirement, only burning two, that's great. Man, I forgot, there's like a million steps to making pies. So, of course, you know, first you got the, the pot of flour and the bucket of water. You gotta make that into pastry dough. And now I'm combining the pastry dough with the pie dishes. And I'm finally done with that. Now, I'm gonna go into the group storage, which... Shout out to Paul for collecting all these supplies for me. He got the, uh... The raw chompy, the raw rabbit, and the bear meat that you need for wild pies. Now, I gotta combine all this together in... Whatever order it tells me to. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go to my POH to to even put them together. Oh fuck, dude. Oh, this is gonna take so long. Okay, it's time to make the wild pies. Here's how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna go into our POH, grab a beer glass, and grab a Chef's Delight. I drink the Chef's Delight, puts me at 85, and then I piece together the pies. Okay, and with the pies put together, I now use the Bake Pie spell on the Lunar Spellbook, which has a 100% cooking rate, so I will never burn one. And then, I will call my butler over. I will have him bank my five wild pies. Then, I go back out of my house, go over to this guy, unnote five pie ingredients, and repeat. This is not ideal, but it's gonna work. Mammal, your POH is like a college apartment. Sparse as fuck, but you have a giant keg of beer. Huh. That's fair, I guess. Oh, here it is. 
the last inventory of pies. Uh, I didn't time it, but I think making 200 pies this way probably took me about an hour, roughly. And there they are, 204 wild pies for the Abyssal Demons tomorrow. And whilst we're at it, we'll go ahead and uh, feed the homies. I'll grab three... That's 30. I'll grab 300 sharks. And we can do like... Eh, let's go with 700 carambuans. Put them in the group storage. And now the boys have all kinds of food to eat. Uh, uh, at least we're getting decent age. No, fuck it. We're going to get whips, dude. See? Fuck it, we're gonna get whips, dude. See? So, 130 KC for his very first Abyssal Whip. And, uh, hey, that's pretty good, right? Well, guess what? It gets better. Morning, Beast. Good morning, my man. Would it be happy if I managed to only get two whips today? Yeah, because we have, a uh, we have a... <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the farmers keep on plowing. I'm on, just, I'm on the first inventory, dude. It just never stops. The other boys Look, are gonna log on and be like, what happened? <laughs> luckily, we made 200. So that is two abyssal whips and 148 kills. How good is that? Maybe after, uh... Never mind. I was gonna say, maybe after... Goddamn, 1,800 kills for the last one, dudes. Mr. Mammal, 1,800 kills for the last one. Like, total. Oh, there it is. Beautiful, dude. Congrats. This was my last inventory that I was going to spend here because I need to do D-boots. Hell holy, yeah. Holy crap, man. So you got what three happened? whips and you got extra pies for boots, too. Yeah. What, what, what happened? <laughs> that is, that'll be your keeper. That's the chosen whip. Yeah. At least okay, we got it, okay. man. Yo. What what KC for the first two? Uh, 150 and 180. And wow. 1800 for the third. Wow. Yeah. They made you work they, for that last one. They got one. us, man. They got us, dude. That's awesome. Well done, fella. So there it is. It took him a lot of kills to get that third one. But my wild pies were put to good use. There is three Abyssal Whips. Now, of course, there's four of us, but at the moment, Curtis is just focusing on range. So, for the time being, we really only need the three. So, you know, that felt really good. I may have not gotten the Whips directly, but I made the wild pies that help make it possible. So, you know, it, it felt good to see him get the Whips for us, and I, you know, felt like I contributed in a way. Upgrading from a Dragon Scimitar to an Abyssal Whip is a massive increase in DPS, but there's one more big upgrade I can make right now to my combat abilities, and that is to get 70 Prayer and get the Piety Prayer. Now, for a long time, we've had the bones for 70 Prayer banked, but we couldn't decide who of us should get 70 Prayer first. So, we did a game of marbles. Now, I, for the life of me, I, I didn't record it and I cannot find the footage. But, you know, being the seasoned marbles veteran that I am, obviously I won the race handily. So, I want you to use your imagination. Just imagine a big, strong, buff marble. And then that one's Paul. And then he got second place. And then I got first. <laughs> Basically, it was completely luck. I won the marble race, and that means I get to get 70 prayer and piety first. So I think today is the day we finally grind out 70 prayer. I'm going to start off by using all of these ensouled heads in my bank. Uh, my group mates have given me some of their, you know, in extra heads they got during Slayer. And according to the banked XP plugin, I've got level 65 prayer banked just from the ensouled heads, which is crazy. And I was initially going to do my ensouled heads first, but then Paul said that he had to get off pretty soon. So we figured we'd go ahead and uh, offer the bones up first. Now, he's the only person on our team that's got a gilded altar in their POH. So, you know, when we want to train prayer, we kind of have to make sure that our schedule lines up with Paul's. So uh, I sent the dragon and the worm bones to begin with. And according to my advanced mathematical skills, if I got up to 660k prayer XP, I would have the rest of it banked through the ensouled heads. 
So once we hit 660k, I stop there, and then we could save the rest of the bones for my other teammates to get 70 prayer later on. There it is. There it is. Oh, she's beautiful. There is level 70 prayer, which, oh my god. We unlock a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, the important thing, of course, is that we can now use Piety, which is such a nice upgrade. What actually is the difference? Defense 20, Strength 18, Attack 15. This is Defense 25, Strength 23, and Attack 20. So it's, it's everything plus 5. Wow. Talk about big upgrades in one video. From the start of the video to the end of it, we went from Dragon, Scimitar, and Chivalry to an Abyssal Whip and Piety. I tell you what, I'm really excited to do some Slayer, because with these upgrades, I'm going to fly through some Slayer XP. Uh, but I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I really, really liked making those wild pies. You know, when I was, when I was taking out five ingredients at a time and making it all in my POH... I felt like an, like an ultimate Iron Man. Like, it was just, it was something I'd never done before, and it was super fun. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. And so it begins. I am genuinely really, really excited for this. We're going to be doing Slayer, not only with an Abyssal Whip now, but also with Piety. So, between the Whip and Piety, I think I should see a pretty big increase in my Slayer XP an hour. Level 69 Slayer. Nice. Alright, there is our first milestone level with the Abyssal Whip. There is level 75 Defense. So I can now wield a Dragonfire Shield. If I get one, which I probably won't. But I think we'll swap over to Attack now. Probably work on getting 80 Attack. And to take a break from some regular Slayer, we decided to head off to Zami Gob Wars once again. A great place to try out my Piety. Now, I was going to tank once again, except this time we've got some upgrades. First of all, we have the Carol Skirt, and also I'm going to be using an Amulet of the Damned. Now, the Amulet of the Damned is really nice for full Guthans. The Amulet of the Damned, if you're wearing full Guthans, will allow you to overheal your max hit points by 10. Which, considering my hit points level isn't super high, that extra 10 HP is super useful. Time. Curtis is gonna get so many kills today. Oh man. yeah, oh. on task at oh, range. He finally gets to do it on task. Hell yeah. <laughs> so that Max. keeps it two on task every single time we've done this. Should be awesome. So good. Man, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to skip for it now. And then you bring it back. Oh, I have like diamonds rocking like sixties on him. Should I should I try to skip? I've got like twelve hundred points. I'll be keeping this task as well because I'm not doing slow the most. So I'm about to keep I this for like the next session as well. Sick. I say three skips, Max. Yeah. Okay, I'll go try real real quick, real quick. So a few tries. Don't want to suka yourself like mammal. <laughs> yeah. I got that done yesterday, regrettably. I didn't like it. So if we pull some good loot today, like say a Staff of the Dead and two Spears, do we switch it up and go to DKs? I reckon so, yeah. Yeah, I'll be able to do this for a few hours. We could bleed into some Barrows like the other day. That was fun. Oh, actually, yeah. Barrows yeah, is a good show. Barrows yeah, is kind of Archer's Ring for Curtis sounds good. That would be nice. I'm not really going to use it though. He's got his recoils for Zola. Yeah, I don't really need it, Archers. Your character looks so badass now, Jordan. Holy shit. Oh, Carol's is someone else in it. I know, dude. I'm, this is going to be Love good. That. So tanky. I'm just admiring you right now. Oh. <laughs> so we need the shard three today, yeah? Yep. Yeah, and I'm going to get semi fast yeah. in the next probably week. So better nice. get the good one. Hell yeah. Never heals you when you need. Ah, never mind. I spoke too soon. No. Clutch. All you gotta do is complain, man. Yep, pretty much. Feeling the minion spear today, man? Ooh, that'd be sick. With all the really obscure drops we've been getting recently, I reckon so. Oh, okay. Hey. Oh my God. Okay, we have oh, three. Actually. I mean, yeah, okay. that is actually good, to be fair. No, no, don't justify that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. It's big All I want is a Zami great. Unique, man. All I want is a Zami Unique, and I've got a D-Med and a left half so far. <laughs> is that all of our left halves are now from you, I believe? Yeah, all I three of them. I think we're only wearing a wealth from, like, one of them. 
Uh, two of them, because I was bursting uh, blood belts. Yard me as he died. Number two. Uh, Nova. Yeah. Number oh, two. Man. Both in oh, your name. Man. Yeah. The Hell Collector. Again, the one thing I need in my hardcore from here. Gives us twice the attempts at Big Muta, I guess. Twice the freeze on Zilliana. How long has it been now since that first spear? Uh, it was on about 50 KC, I think. And uh, we probably have about 300 KC total. Scam game. Yeah, big scam. What's with oh, the sapphire? No, we're <laughs> third summer. Three today. Three That's so today. unlucky, man. At least it's the least unlucky of the unluckiness. Can we stack them? Truly outrageous. I'm disappointed in this trip, man. As good as it's been, like the loot is just like farmers. Farmers are not pulling things off right now. Loot underwhelming, but a very good. It's a dry season. Otherwise. Yeah, spins. Am I under person trip? All in all, we did about a three-hour trip at Zami, and we just got the hilt. Now, of course, I don't want to complain about getting a hilt because they are quite rare. But as Paul mentioned in an earlier clip. We have not gotten a Zamorakian Spear in about 300 to 350 kills, so we got lucky on that first Spear, but they have been MIA ever since. So, I'm doing an Elite Clue Scroll that I got... You know, I oh, I got this from Barrows, yeah. Elite Clue Scroll from Barrows requires you to equip a Legends Cape. I still have not gotten around to doing the Legends Quest, so... That this is as good as a time as any, so let's go do the Legends quest. Alright, it is time for the first fight with the Nezik Chened. One of like 30. Not a d -d 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 demon. It's fine, he's not green, we're okay. We only have issues with green demons. Dude, do I have to kill him? Ah. <sighs> He's already dead! Look at it! He's already dead! <laughs> Whenever Nezik Chened spawns, he drains your prayer down to one. You know, and back in the day, that was probably quite bothersome. And then now we have one tick prey flicking. <laughs> so it doesn't even matter anyway. That's kind of sad when you think about it. Jagex was like, oh, we'll get him with this. Okay, now, if you're watching this as a hardcore Iron Man, this is really important. Before you place the totem, turn your protect from melee on. Because once you place the totem down, you get locked in this animation. And so if you're a lower level, and you're not praying melee, this dude gets three free hits in on you, and you could easily die. Is it four? It's four! That's just, that's just evil, Jagex. My god. Could you imagine dying that way? Oh yes, I forget. You get some uh, some free combat XP. Um. Oh, you can use it on a skill. Oh gosh, what should I use it on? Oh, Herb Lord. Oh, I, I didn't realize Herb Lord was an option. Duh. Seven point six k Herb Lord XP. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Oh, I can do more. Oh, I can do more. Oh, keep it coming, pal. Herblore again. There's another agility level. Not quite a level there, but very, very close. And that is the Legends quest completed. I sure do feel like a legend, I tell you what. Okay, uh, for the Elite Clue, let's buy that Legends cape. Okay, next step on the Elite Clue. That's not ideal. Yeah, un unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to drop that. As much as I'd like to do it, 32 fletching levels for what will probably be a shit reward anyway. Yeah, I think I'll just go give that to Sherlock. After completing Legends Quest for an Elite Clue Scroll, I also looked in the bank and saw that I had a Master Clue Scroll that required me to complete Regicide. So, why not? Let's go do Regicide as well. Honestly. I'm pretty sure I'm now certified to operate a nuclear power plant. Boom! Get fucked, Tyrus Camp. My man, King Lathis, I have done your dirty work.
And that'll be the Regicide quest completed. We get a bunch of agility XP for that. Very, very nice. Uh, now, the reason I wanted to do Regicide mostly was for my Master Clue. But whilst I'm at it, with Regicide done, I can also do Roving Elves for my Crystal Shield. So let's do that as well. Islowin, I have done the thing that you have asked me to do. That's about a five-second quest. Very, very quick and easy one. I am going to take the Crystal Shield. Thank you very much, my friend. And that is the Roving Elves quest completed. Beautiful. Look at that tanky. I'm going to pause it right here. This is an image. This is a still frame moments before disaster. I'm going to play a clip of what I did next, and then I'll explain it if you don't follow. How do you start morning's end part one? Oh. You talk to this guy. No, wh <gasps> what? What did I just do? Oh my god, I just bought a sheep. What? Well, look. No. What the fuck is this? So I want to start morning's end part one while I'm at it. The left click option is trade instead of talk. And then I hit the space bar because I thought I was going to be talking to him and it bought a fucking shield. Oh my god. I'm oh my that's the biggest troll ever. What? <gasps> what is that? Oh my fucking god. I'm going to talk Fuck yeah, I'm gonna talk to you, alright? Yeah. Gonna... You know, maybe menu entry swapper has its downsides, I guess. Jesus. Okay, we completed Regicide, just so we could do the first step of that master clue. What's step number two? Can you do this without having Making History done? And there is the Making History quest completed. With that, we can now ask good old Joral for a, uh, a hot, cold thing. Wait, yes, I- Please don't go through the dialogue, I beg you. Please. Just give me the doohickey. Okay, another quest completed to complete this clue step. Can we do number three? Okay, we, we can get to Ledia. This is good. Another step completed. Here's step number four. Okay, that's achievable. So, the woodcutting guild, I want to say, requires 60 woodcutting. Uh, I don't know if it says. I can't currently get in there, but the requirement is totally reachable. Alright, there it is. There's level 57 woodcutting. We can now get a plus 3 boost from the dragon axe and enter the woodcutting guild. Off we go. Alright. Now that we're in the Woodcutting Guild, we're on step number five. Um, so, the top one is obviously quite spooky. It's not out of the question as, like, something I couldn't do off-stream, because it's not that deep in the wilderness. I'm gonna hang on to it. Maybe I'll do it off-stream. It's not... It's Again, it's, it's not out of the question. Oh my... The f the fashion scape has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> My head? Yo, do you guys remember in elementary school when the gym teacher would bring out that giant tarp and you'd flap it in the... <laughs> Bro, that's what my head is right now. <laughs> So I've been meaning to do the Ardune Medium Diaries for quite some time now. The main reason being is the Ardune Medium Cloak gives you a teleport directly to the Ardune Farming Patch, whereas the first cloak does not. Now, I almost have the Medium Diaries done. I need to grapple over Yanil's South Wall, so I need to get a, a grapple for that. And then otherwise, I need to do the Enlightened Journey quest for the Hot Air Balloons. Okay, listen. There- I brought- okay. What did I bring this guy? Three papaya. What did you construct this out of? I brought you very minimal supplies and you make this gargant- Like, oh, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I can drive a hot air balloon. 
I somehow think that's the wrong terminology. I, I kind of doubt you f you drive a hot air balloon, but yeah. Okay, there's an enlightened journey completed. Uh, that gives us some very nice fashionscape. Well, I just unlocked the Castle Wars route, and I totally did it on my first try. Didn't mess up even once. Eh. Yeah, that's copium. Yeah, I, I, I definitely messed it up. Okay, um, with that, I just need Roydy to get me a Mithril Grapple, as he can make them, and that'll be the Ardoon Mediums. Hey, bud. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. That was so dumb. I, I couldn't believe it, honestly. <sighs> Sometimes menu entry swapper is a bad thing. You won best clip of the day, though. That was <laughs> hilarious, dude. All right, so Roydy hooked me up with a, uh, a mithril grapple when I logged in today. God bless him for that. So we can do this last step on the Ardune medium diaries. Well, that's not a awkward animation at all, is it? <laughs> Hop down off the wall, and then that should be the Ardune Mediums done. Beautiful. Hello, Two Pints. May I please have my Ardune Cloak too? Oh, and of course my uh, Antique Lamp. Little free Herblore XP is always nice. Actually, that gives us uh, 51 Herblore. Very nice. Now, the Ardune Cloak too. Again, the big thing is I can now teleport to the Ardune farm with that, which is so good. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a video there. We got some big quests done on this one, and we got another Zami hilt from Zami. Surely at some point, you will get a second Zamorakian spear, you would think. Uh, all I'm going to say, next video, there is big things coming, man. Next video is so hype, you don't even know. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. Wait, 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 wait. Rum in me, Raggy. Oh my fucking god, dude. Stop. Now, if you recall a couple episodes back, I made a bunch of wild pies so Paul could boost up and get us Abyssal Whips. Well, whilst he was at it, he used some more of those wild pies to also get us dragon boots. So that's a little, I mean, not like a massive upgrade, but hey, extra strength bonus is extra strength bonus. Rotary Tiller says mine. I think that pairs for Jordan, man. I'll get it to you after this trip, brother. Oh, I sat down and saw that. What a sight. Very nice. Uh, about, about five kills in today. It's going to even out, man. There you go. So we're going to go ahead and put those new dragon boots to use right away. Uh, whilst I was claiming my Ardune cloak, this is actually a clip from last video, but whilst I was claiming my Ardune cloak, the farmers were scheming. Curtis was gone that day, and we were thinking about content that we could do together as a trio, and we thought, let's try Bandos. I'm very interested in trying one. Maybe we'll have to get some Bruno yeah, Peaches I tabs made in the house. Yeah, I can do that. I I don't think it's gonna go like super well, but like I think we'll do okay. What's your mage level at, uh, Mammal? Seventy. I'm 70. eighty-five, so I'd imagine I would tank. So you could imbued hard boost for thralls if you've done AKD, like a little bit. I assume you have Which not done that. I of yet. course have not. It's not that long of a quest. Have you done all of the? I could try to hurry up and do it. It's a two-hour quest. Is it? With quest guides, you can like do it like an hour ten, probably, if you were just Yeah, it's a lot of dialogue, is it? Yeah. Well, I'll make some bones of peaches tabs right now. If nothing um... Else. Or at least get the clay for it. You know? Yeah, get the clay, because I think I'll have to make the altar in my house. Oh, yeah, sure. But that's no problem, it takes two seconds. Yeah. Well, I think we should send a Bandos trip first before DK's, because DK's is, is going to go long. I don't think Bandos will go too long. I think we should send one trip. Well, I'm glad a few episodes back I grinded out Bones to Peaches. I am still the only person on the team with Bones to Peaches unlocked, so for now I am the resident Bones to Peaches tab maker. Well, I believe we're good to go. So how are we going to do this? So off tank, uh, great range, obviously. Yep. yep. Hit him and then he dies. That's basically it. I'd say send... Uh, two Halley Specs on this first kill. Really no okay. reason to not send those on cooldown, I guess. 
you guys can do what you want with that. Yep. Uh, just remember the thralls, I guess. And uh, I'll probably opt for uh, just a simple two-hit step under, rather than trying to stay under as long as possible, just to keep DPSI since it's only three of us. Hard enough. I have aggro. Nothing from my two Hallies. My first one hit a bit. I also didn't throw all this kill. Almost. Almost. Go on. Of course. Of course. See, this is where the thralls come in. Alright, there we go. Okay. So we're in a bit of a catch-22 scenario here, where Paul has the highest combat stats out of all of us. And so logically, it kind of makes sense that he should tank, because he has the highest defense, he has the highest mage level. But then again, at the same time, he also has the highest attack and strength, so then it would make sense for him to be a DPS, so... Uh, we went with him tanking, and I would say it went pretty well overall. Now for this next clip, unfortunately, I had my microphone muted. I was talking to Robin a little bit before this, and I muted my microphone. Well, I thought for sure that I, I clicked the button to unmute it, but apparently I didn't. But at the very least, I do have my teammate's reaction. Yeah, baby! Oh my God. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! For Mammal Let's as well. Go. It's always for Mammal, dude. This guy. Oh, you. You beautiful person, Jordan. You beautiful person. Let's fucking go, Where man. Are you guys going to BA? <laughs> Torso skip, baby. I could use a small heal. Yo, Chuck, I was Ch muted. Chuck that plate to the tank. I got two sharks for him. We go again. Oh, I had my mic muted the whole time. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, boys. Tell me out. Yeah, I think so. I'm, uh... That is a successful run, man. <laughs> Definitely. Do we oh, go again or do, do we leave well enough alone for now? Um, we, uh, it's up to you guys. we can do DKs or Bandos. It's up to you guys. If we go to DKs, we get Curtis a B ring, and we get you know more opportunity to do this as a four man team. Yeah, DKs probably, and get Let's Mammal we'll move on with his Slayer. Yeah, that's like, fair. I, yeah, I know I everyone's gonna want to see more, but let's let's. I, I also want to make sure Curtis can you know get the chance to get in on some of this. You know. Yeah, definitely. I still win. Oh, oh, you're talking about Ilfi, and I see. I don't know if she does what I need her to do, though, at my stage in questing. You want to recharge it, huh? Well, if I revert this, then I can make a new crystal bow. Uh, she's to the north, I think. Um, I feel like she's somewhere up here that I'm looking at on my map. And that's if, um, if they didn't move her. No, I'm talking to her right now. Oh, okay. Okay, no, she does. She says, if I supply the seed. Okay, so let me revert this. Yeah, supply the seed to her, man. I will do. Before she was uh, remodeled, this was probably the bustiest NPC in game. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> I was so close to asking. <laughs> you guys go to the north one now. Fuck me. There's a Walla Walla Waskies here. I didn't realize that this was all Walla Walla Waskies. Damn. Could you repeat that one more time? That dude hit. Uh, you guys go to the normal door now. Mike Wazowski. Oh. Yeah, I. Yeah, I but... the, the Walla Walla Waskies, they, they messed me up there, man. I would say Dagonoth Kings are getting really easy for us at this point. Even in a trio, we kill them really, really fast. We've also started bringing uh, Blood Burst for Dagonoth Rex, so that means we don't really have any issues with food, so pretty much the limiting factor is Prayer and Anti-Poison. So, uh, Also, uh, Roydy and Paul bought Crystal Bows, so that speeds up Prime a little bit. 
I should have bought a crystal bow and not uh, two crystal shields, but here we are. Um, you know, obviously we have lots of Bando sub coming. We still need a... Hey, that's a cool place to get a Slayer level. We just got level 70 Slayer here at the Dagonoth Kings. What the heck do I unlock at 70 Slayer? Is it like Karasks or something? I can't remember. Okay. Well, that was, uh... That Brave. Was, oops. <laughs> I thought it was Danced. dead. <laughs> yep, surely. Oopsies. And gets a BCP, thinks he's invincible. There you go. Yay, that's the fourth, I think, right? Uh, is it four already? I yeah, that's four. Three. That's four. S sweet, okay, well, we're all... We're all covered then. We can get so covered in mud. <laughs> Bernie, not this month, man! How does that... Yeah, what uh -huh. <laughs> the best time of the day. <laughs> what feelings does that elicit? You don't want to know, sir. So, so what, what's this rather suspicious, uh... I'll, I'll call it a... M Mary F fuck K kill teammates. Can I just fuck all of them? Mr. Roido. Monkey. Mary fuck feet. kill teammates. Can I just fuck all of well, them? Okay, let me, let me rephrase. I, in it, to get you to understand it, I will say F F F instead of M F K. Foot fetish February. <laughs> I, I I got sent this this clip of a uh, Mary fuck kill question. Oh yeah, what about it? I'm just curious. Um, are you available? Hey, all I did was ask the guy if that's what I could do. I didn't say I would. You got to know all your options. I like to make informed decisions. Oh yeah, yeah. What's this? What's this foot fetish February thing that I'm hearing about? Oh, my chat was just discussing what comes after NNN. No, you you got it right. That's what comes after. I think it's destroy Dick December. Brody, my mom watches this stream. Have you heard of the 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 Fibonacci February? No, I haven't heard that's of that an, one. That's an intriguing one right there. Could you explain? Well, basically, it's you just do it every day to the to the Fibonacci sequence, which I forget what number you end up at by the end of the month, but it's not small. Well, you're, it might be small after all that, but you know. I'm pretty sure that's how people die. Yeah, I you it yeah. The mathematicians in my chat have confirmed that on the 28th of February, you have to do it 600,000 plus times, so. I guess I get skilled, Mac. There it is, baby. Hey, nice. There it is, baby. Finally, right. finally first something one. to talk about. All right. Yeah, Curtis is Curtis like, is like oh, I'll be taking Let's go. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Yeah. Archer drink, man. That's awesome. Good stuff, dude. And that was all the drops we got on that Dagonoth Kings trip. We got a fourth mod battle staff and finally got a first Archer's Ring, which we will, of course, be giving to Curtis because he has by far the highest range level. So, a very good day for the farmers. A BCP and an Archer's Ring. Hey, there's a bit of a milestone. After the DK's trip, I'm just finishing up my task here, and we just got level 80 hit points. Very healthy. Ooh. That actually could maybe have some relevance with Gob Wars. That maybe actually could be used. We take a Zami Coif. Nice. That we could probably use for something in Gob Wars. So yesterday, Roydy got the Amulet of the Dams, and in the process, he got some fine cloth. So he was able to make me a split bark body for my clue, so that's very clutch. And we have the Rune Heraldic Helm as well. So I just need to go get a, uh, a granite shield now. Oh, how good is that? 
Dude, I've literally been here for all of about four minutes. Not, I, I think I've been here for about 30 seconds, maybe. All right, there's a granite shield. Uh, let's go see if we can carry on with this elite clue scroll. Okay, elite clue step finished. What's the next one? Kill a basilisk, no problem. Okay, so my next elite clue step requires me to wear a proselyte plate body. I believe to buy proselyte armor, you have to do... I want to say it's the slug menace? I think, yeah. Which I have not done yet. Um, oh, 30. Ooh. Oh, I'm, I'm level 29. We only need one runecrafting level. I, I can manage that. Now, I'm obviously not going to train runecrafting to get my runecrafting level because that's disgusting. Instead, I am going to do the Tears of Guthix quest at long last, which I think I have the requirements for? Yeah, I do. Bro, this shit's crazy. You think I'm gonna trust some weird, like, glowing orb thingy to carry me across this endless black pit chasm? Yeah, no thank you. Legit the fastest quest of all time, man. Honestly, that took me about 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna actually do the Tears of Guthix minigame now. Runecrafting is my lowest stat, yeah? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, let's let's rock and roll, Juna. Okay, we got 158 tiers. Let's see how much XP we get for this. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. That's a lot of runecrafting XP, man. 29 to 34. That's so good. Jesus. That thing is just... That thing is just unpleasant to look at. Oh yeah, and the slug prince too. Oh! And there is the slug menace completed. Get some XP in crafting, runecrafting, and thieving. But above all that, we can purchase proselyte equipment, so... I'll grab the, uh, the body for our elite clue. And on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video. I wasn't quite able to get on with that elite clue scroll, as we don't have rune boots right now. But I think next episode, hopefully, I can, uh, bother Paul to go grab some rune boots from, uh, Necreal. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was a massive one for us. That Bandos chest plate is so cool. Like, this is the crazy thing about Group Iron Man, is we're just... We still haven't even been playing that long, and we already have some bandos armor it is sick i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did feel free to leave a like and i will see you all soon so i think a really good goal for the account moving forward is to do the a kingdom divided quest with a kingdom divided completed i can access all of the archaic spellbook namely thralls thralls are going to be super helpful for a lot of content especially stuff like bandos so, in order to do a Kingdom Divided, I need to do all of the Zaya quests and get 100% in all of the uh, houses. So, I think I'm going to start off by getting 100% Piscarillius Favor. And, of course, do that by collecting Sandworms. I need a spade, don't I? Shit. I always forget this whole collecting Sandworms thing is fast as hell. I think I should have 100% here when I hand this in. Nice. Okay, all we have left to do now is Lovakenj. Oh, there we go. We are just over 20% Lovakenge. Man, I forgot. This mining sulfur stuff is terrible. Just a measly 20% favor took forever. Uh, from here, I can do a quest, and that'll get me up to 30%. And there is the Depths of Despair completed. Now, unfortunately, the Hosidius Favor Certificate is not going to do anything for me. Because I'm already 100% favor, but, uh, thanks anyway. You, uh, you, you good, fam? I'm not really quite sure what's happening there. I, I, I just know it ain't right. It looks like he's doing a CrossFit pull-up. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's pretty accurate, yeah. Mr. Lord Trobin Arceus, I see you have stopped convulsing. I have saved you. There is the Ascent of Archaeus completed. Once again, I am already 100% favor, but thanks anyway. After showing off my incredible math skills, let us hand in the Forsaken Tower quest. And that right there should be the last quest requirement for a Kingdom Divided. 
Now, all I have left otherwise is I do need to get 100% favor in the Lova Kenj house, but I think I should be ready to make some dynamite. Okay, the Juniper Charcoal should be done, I believe. We've got 3,000, which is... Oh, well, actually 6,000, which is way, way more than I need, but better safe than sorry. Okay, we've got pots, saltpeter, volcanic sulfur, juniper charcoal, and balls of wool. Let's get it going. Okay, this will be the last inventory, and that'll be all of our dynamite made. That should put me at... 84% favor, which is more than I need, truthfully. Because I can finish up 100% by, I think it's, all you gotta do is, like, turn on the, uh, the minecart system. Okay, so we just give this scroll to the guy and we get 5% favor. How good is that? Oh my god. So I had no idea, but apparently Architectural Alliance is actually a mini quest. I thought it was just, like, you know, getting 100% favor in all houses and you were done, but you have to actually talk to everybody Gather them all together, and then we do something to this statue. What? Are they throwing rocks at it? What? Okay, listen, listen to me. I'm no doctor, but there's... I, I don't think you can make that by throwing rocks at a pillar. What the fuck? What? Bro, what? What the fuck just hit me? Are you telling me I didn't run through that because you're f***ing wrong? What? Bro, what? How we do it? Huh? How did that just damage me? Are we looking at the same thing here? I hate it. I I hate it, bro. What is why uh god I hate this? <laughs> Stop telling me away. I want to be done with this already. Please. God damn it. How do I get to it without taking damage? <gasps> why is that hitting me? I'm literally going through the gap. What do you want from me? I don't get it. And then you think everything is all good to go. There's a new king in, in Zaya. You've settled all of the political drama. There will be peace in the continent. All is good. Dun dun dun. Oh, baby, what a cliffhanger. This honestly was such a good quest. It's... It's one of those ones where you, you owe it to yourself to take the time to read the dialogue because the story is really nice. And that is a kingdom divided, completed. With that, we now have full access to the Archaeus spellbook. So, you know, we can now use stuff like thralls and the... What the heck's the one where you grapple the, the implings? Oh, I can't think of it. The point is, a Kingdom Divided is done, so that's all of the Zaya related content unlocked. Yeah, so we could possibly go for more Zanny Spears today. On a, on a trio. Yeah. You I'm are down. so juice one right now. Yeah, we really are. We haven't had a Zanny Spear in forever. Uh, Paul, you have a, a Greater Demon Task stored, right? I have a, a stored one and a current one. Oh my. Yeah, I've got like 290 craters available. <laughs> Damn. Okay, yeah, I have a current one, so... So, like we just mentioned, both Paul and I had a greater demon task, and this time Roidy did not have a task. So, I've been tanking Zami lately, but naturally, the person who isn't on a task should be the tank, so I'm just a plain old attacker this time. There he is. Oh, the man, we got reinforcements. Let's go. So this is our first uh, three on task. Oh, Curtis is on task as well. Oh, this, this is huge. Is, this is going to be filthy. Now, he did say he'd be in and out. He might just he'd be here for quick fiber. Oh, he can be in and out as much as he wants. Huh? 
I won't lie, there is a tremendous amount for me to keep track of with the number of switches I have and the ward timer and the spawn timer and the poison and the prayer and the heart. If you die, we'll type F. It's cool. This is why we pay you the big bucks. Don't worry. We are all done. Sorry, I just had the worst series of clicks of all time. Oh, that's all right. No, it didn't hurt or anything. <laughs> Double spec'd. Unlucky. I'm going to hold tank. Just keep going. Actually, I might swap here on accident. Yeah, I swapped on accident. Sorry, Jordan. No, you're good. I, it's, I bring a, I bring an anti just in case for that reason. Your, uh, your food that you gave me earlier saved me. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I was ready on time. I just right click examined like four times in a row. Ah, we call those faux clicks. They happen at the worst of times. Yo, why are you guys home telling, man? Oh, wait. Curtis came back with like a full inventory of supplies, I bet. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be so fed. I'm told to Curtis had a game. very important business call to attend to, and definitely didn't just pull the prank a little too far. <laughs> wait, did he not mean to tell y'all? No, he had a call, like I just said. Very important. Oh, of course, of course. He was on the line with Mr. President. 160 ping telly? Oh you no. Me, baby. <laughs> That's I'm actually so channel, funny. So let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. I think he accidentally home tellied. You know, I've been I've been feeling really, really self-conscious about my hairline. Paul, do you know of anywhere I could buy a really like nice hat with a cool logo on the front? I know where you can you buy a toupee. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but let's do it like they do on the Trust Discovery me, I've got experience channel. on that one. Wait, what? My, my, my man, I try to hook you up with the plug, and this dude just... Boom! <laughs> I'm not hating on you, I'm hating on myself on this one, man. Oh, I just turned around and showed the back of my bald head <laughs> to show your shirt. Oh, man. My man, I, I've got the hat hook up for you, dude. Oh, you just wait. Okay. That's what I like to hear. I will say, man, this shirt is extremely comfortable, dude. Yeah, I like, me and Curtis have the same merch fella, and we, then we just got like a different seller, like fulfiller person, and yeah, the shirt quality yeah, is nice. Yeah, very, very good quality shirt, man. I am impressed. Would recommend 10 out of 10. If you guys all don't buy it right now, I'm not friends with you anymore. How much longer on this trip do you think? Uh, Roydy has one dose of super anti. Roydo heals mammal. Such I do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> he follows like him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I always do it. I like zone out, look at my chat, look back, and then Roydy's poking away. I'm like, no. <laughs> at this point, I'm expecting the minion spear more than I am the krill spear. Yeah, I kind of feel you, man. I'm just surprised we're not even getting spoon the godsword shards, man. Like, I feel like we're pretty, pretty dry on those. About 430 KC total so far. Not a, not a steam battle staff, just nothing. Okay, let's not wish for that. We've we got enough of those. Okay, yeah, but you give you, you give a point. So f <laughs> with, with the current sample size, it seems Bandos yeah. will be our yeah. our lucky boss. Oh, we're gonna spoon at Bandos, man. It's all good. I'd rather we go always, dry hair and spoon Bandos. We always come out of the gate strong, but the finish is the another story. Yeah, it's fair. Re reoccurring issues. Yeah, yeah, brings back bad memories. Now, if this is not the most me thing I've ever done, I record the entirety of our God Wars boss trips. So I recorded literally for like two and a half hours straight, and then I paused when this happened. Me? Oh, baby. Yeah! Oh, baby. Yes! Oh, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, oh baby. Oh, that's Something so had to good. Give. I've broken Something my God Wars give. dry streak. That's so good. And I'm really glad we got that Staff of the Dead because that was the only drop we ended up getting in our, like, literal four hours Ami trip. 
I don't know if Curtis did accidentally tell you or not, but when he came back, he brought a bunch of supplies. So we did like a four hour long Zami trip. So seeing that Staff of the Dead was really, really relieving. Uh, I also can't believe I didn't record it. Literally, it was a three hour recording. And I think what happened was, is my muscle memory kicked in where when I get a drop, I normally turn the recorder on. Well, it was already on, so I think what I did is I, I, I went to go turn it on, and then I paused it instead, which... I... Uh, I would. Now, over the course of this series, we've progressed to more and more difficult bosses. We started off with Daganoth Kings, then we moved to Zami Gabors, then we started doing Bandos as well. The next logical step is going to be Sarah Dome and Gabors, which I'm really excited for. Here's the problem. I need to get 70 agility. I hate agility, but gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, bit of an update on my agility running. Agi agility lap running. I don't know, whatever. Okay, I'm at 54 agility right now, and there is Mark of Grace number 100. Oh, there it is. Mark of Grace number 115. So I will finish up this lap, and then I'm going to go buy my first Graceful pieces, finally. Okay, Grace. We'll buy the Graceful top and the Graceful legs. Beautiful. See, it's, you know, it's only two pieces down, but it's the most expensive pieces by far, and that makes me feel good. Dude, I... Sir, I will have you know that I completed Desert Treasure, like, a month ago. This is so- like, he won't attack me, but he's- he's, like, targeting me. That's so weird. Okay, so I just got level 57 agility, and I think at this point I am going to take full advantage of, uh, Group Iron Man's features, and that we can share supplies. So, Curtis got a bunch of Summer Pies from, uh, Dragon Implings. So, I am going to hit up the Sears Village Agility course a little bit early by boosting and using Summer Pies. The thing is, at level 57 Agility, I should be cruising through these last three levels, so I don't anticipate I'll actually use that many Summer Pies anyway. Alright guys, give me a sec, uh, the, the plumber dude is here. Oh, not you guys, just my stream. I'll clean your pipes, don't worry, you can, you can send him away. Oh. Hey, there's a milestone. There is level 60 agility. I think I used like 13 summer pies getting to 60, so that's not bad at all. And now I don't need to boost anymore. And on that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Another successful harvest for the farmers. We got the Staff of Dead. Hey, get out of my shot. That's right, you run by. We got a Staff of the Dead from Zami, which is fantastic. And we made some pretty good progress. Getting started on the agility grind. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's using an Elder Maul to train Slayer. Oh my god. And you know what? He's having way more fun than all of us. Every time that dude hits like a 40, he gets a big old smile on his face, guaranteed. And there is level 80 attack, as well as a total level of 1425. Neat. Uh, I, I suppose I should probably go back to training strength, but I don't, I don't want to put the whip away. It's so good, but there's 80 attack regardless. Oh, hey, I just noticed as well with level 80 attack, we are now 100 combat level, meaning that we can use Duradel. Oh, that's so good. The problem is I don't have Karamja Gloves 3 yet, so... It's gonna take me a long ass time to get there, but that's exciting. Okay, here we go. The very first Duradel task of the account. Let's get off to a good start, my friend, please. Oh my, I love, that's exactly what I wanted. I love you, dude. Fuck Neve. Duradel's my homie. So as far as group bossing goes, we are planning on doing some bandos today, but I am tired of running to the Gabor's dungeon from Birthorp. It's just, it's just really inefficient. So I'm finally doing some uh, Nightmare Zone today so I can buy scrolls of redirection. Nightmare Zone is a dangerous death for hardcore Iron Men, well, group hardcore Iron Men. So it's a little bit spooky. So I'm just doing the like melee strength training boss setup. So as long as I pray melee, I am 100% safe anyway. 
Jordan, are you are you done getting your your nightmare zone points? Absolutely. I am just running some laps. See, I told you he'd let us spend all day here and not uh, say that's thing. that's exactly <laughs> what it is. He's he's been done. He's running agility right now. I am running laps as we speak. <laughs> I'm tellying out. I can't. He's trying to stall so we get the D war hammer. <laughs> I would never. I would. I would never. All right, I'm, I'll be right back. I'm gonna take my dogs out. Then I'm gonna gear up for uh, for Bandos. All right, sounds good to me. Apart from using thralls, we were also hoping to get some better Bandos kills by using the Bone Dagger. The Bone Dagger is a super underknown weapon, but what it does is its special attack drains the monster's defense by whatever you hit. You might be thinking, well, it's a Bone Dagger. Doesn't it, like, hit a bunch of zeros? That's the other thing about its special attack. If you are not the last person to deal damage to the boss, it has 100% accuracy. So, if you're in a solo, you can use it as the very first hit, or in a team, it'll work all the time. So basically, it's like a little guaranteed damage mini BGS. We're just about, between the three of us, say we have a theoretical max of like 28, so on average about a 14, that's 42 defense per time that we get to do it, which is like a mid-tier BGS spec every time. What do you think, like two out of three kills because 75%? Pretty much, yeah. I should we stagger them or just go all in? I would just go all in. It's not like the kills will be that different if they don't hit. Yeah. Uh, I got played on this one. I got kited under him. You're tanking. What a tank he is. Look at that flawless transition to the tank roll. Can we get some gifted subs for Mr. Mammal? That's very kind of you, thank you. I try my best. Maybe we should start using the mage thralls, because they're not green. That's, uh, that's fair, yeah. Wait, what do you have against green people? <laughs> a lot, actually. I'm, he's a hand member in disguise. I knew it. Sigmund with the mustache. There oh it is, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Another <laughs> one, baby. I had my <laughs> finger hovered over my push to talk because I fucking knew we were getting something. <laughs> no way. We're actually skipping Tulsa's. Let's go, man. The farmers. Let's go. Yo, this looks clean under the thrall. Wow. Two VCPs and what? Probably like 40 boss kills a team. He's maybe? handsome. Roughly. Wow. Torso skip is actually happening. Look at these dudes. It's looking less and less like I'm taking my younger brother PvP and or PVMing. <laughs> They're go they grow up so fast. I'm the younger brother still. I feel like an Armado. Oh yeah. Oh, we'll get you some Armado, man. Oh, we'll do it. This is uh, good getting a second BCP because now the team still has one to use when Jordan goes to sleep. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm so sorry. It was the craziest. So like I, I fell asleep at Sand Crabs, right? And I woke up this morning, you know, somewhat early for my standards. So I had some errands to run. And I, I, I was, saw you up at 8.30 my time. I couldn't believe it. I was. Yeah, I know. I was. I'm, I'm, I'm in the bathroom, butt ass naked. And I went. Oh my god, I have the BCP. And I ran and grabbed my phone and logged on and put it in the shirt. I had a panic moment. That's a teammate right there. <laughs> Thinks about his homies even when he's naked. Of course. Whoa, can you guys see that message? I got a champion score off that. Oh my god. Did you really? Uh, yes. Wow. That's hilarious. <laughs> yes. The collector. Is that your second champion scroll during the God Wars grind? Yes, I got an imp one and now this. Oh, no way. And I got, got one. Uh, one uh, yeah? What did I get like uh, two weeks ago? Uh, from Oh, did you get one two weeks ago? Yeah, I got one from like Giant, maybe? Yeah, it was a giant, yes. I have three now. What the hell? Wow. Good for the cake. I guess. Oh, yeah, I got a giant. I'm a fire giant. That's my only one so far. I've also got a giant one. 
We then had a massive scare. Probably the closest call we've had since, well, my literal death to the jungle demon. Roydy's internet disconnected. Now, this means that even though he's not the tank, he's still in danger. Because when Bandos does his range attack, it hits everybody in the room. I'm DCing. Oh dear. Protect the Roida. My network is still up, but my character is not. Okay. I don't know if there's anything I can do about this. I've okay. got minions on you. Oh, uh, you're, you're, you're dead. I just I just got yeeted out. Okay. okay. Um, well, well, you're not praying range, so we'll just try to kill this thing fast, I guess? Yeah, no. Yes. I am repotting. Foe, yeah, stay under so he doesn't hit as often. Okay. True, true, way less. Come on, it's so close to dead. Good time. Come on. It's dead, it's dead, it's dead. Clutch. Minions are not on you. Oh my god, you have Ooh. like fucking 5 HP. Oh! Uh, you really do. <laughs> I don't have shit. a Zami item on, so I can't log in. Oh. Okay. Um, fuck. Oh. I got very oh. real. Okay, you're, you're out. You're okay, out, you're out, out, out. But it's not over because you don't have a Zami okay, item so on. Okay, so do we hop out uh, and, like, well, tag all What we're the gonna have to do is we're gonna have to- we're gonna have to figure out exactly- boys. Exactly where you log in. I think it's right outside the door, right? Don't worry, we're gonna get all of the fucking boys here. Okay, everyone, listen, we're, we're gonna tell you out here. We're gonna get all the fucking boys here. And they're gonna grab aggro and everything. That's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and uh, away as well. Yeah, let's let's loot up and let's telly. We're gonna get the whole fucking squad here. I've got four thousand people ready to go, man. We can just teleport outside the room, can't we? Right, yeah. right now and start killing stuff. Um. Well, well, we don't need to kill stuff yet. He's not gonna log in yet. But I'm gonna telly out. Make sure you have your Zami item on. I dropped mine, but I should be okay. There's only a blood vault here anyway outside. Yeah, He's gonna appear belt, outside the room, right? He's gonna get licked though. <laughs> Sorry, I've got the blood vault on me right now. Yeah, you'll be fine. Nothing else will get on you. Am I good? I, 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 now. I don't yeah. see no, why no, you. No, 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 no. 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 Uh, the well, look, 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 Yeah, yeah, he's got look, 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 Okay, right, yeah, okay, we can, we can okay, go, go. kill both of these We're simultaneously. Now. Okay, go, 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 go. Spam, click Telly. Yeah, you should be good. There's no Zami. You should be fine. Make sure you're in the right world, though. Click it! Oh, easy. 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 Nice. Easy. Right, ready to go. Oh, that, that was, was seven intense. HP you got. <laughs> seven HP. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> he Come ranged on. every time I stepped out. <laughs> Come on, bro. He yeah, had three he been 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 yeah, he ranged like yeah, every range chance he could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was spooky. Oh, <laughs> that was like a spear on the edge of the sea. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. <sighs> but I do appreciate how it was totally safe. And Paul was still saying no, just so he could see everybody pool up to the, uh, <laughs> the Grador area. You know, I, I, I started thinking in my head that you didn't have a Bandos item. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that would have been problem. Safe. I thought we were gonna have to get like the whole fucking squad. So like my entire stream, I had people that hadn't logged in in a month that were on their way, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're about to roll in hard. We were about to have like 400 people in there. And that was definitely enough bandos for us for the day. We uh, we called it quits there. So we got a second bandos chest plate. So that's really really nice. Now at least two of us can wear a BCP while doing Slayer moving forward. So the farmer's gear just keeps on growing. Ah, uh, yes. 73 magic. Members can now cast Enfeeble. What the hell does Enfeeble mean? I'm googling it. Make weak or feeble. Wow, I couldn't have guessed that one. Thanks, Google. Alright, I just got level 63 agility, which is insignificant, but I reckon this is a good place to take a quick break and go buy some more graceful pieces. Right now I've got 70 marks of grace. And with those 70 marks of grace, I'm going to buy the gloves and the cape. So all we've got left now is the boots and the hood. Two pieces to go. Bit of a milestone, there's level 65 agility. <laughs> this guy's killing me, bro. I'm watching the I'm watching the the, the look at it video, the you know, the guy in the car. I can't 65 agility, man. Just look at it! Yeah, well... What the heck is that?! <laughs> uh, 
Hey, Paul, do you think this store... What was that? I, I asked, uh, do you think this store... Nothing One more time. Man. Do you think this store? What does that mean? Do you think this store has any lemonade? <laughs> Is he not getting it? Is he not getting it? <laughs> but up, but um, bum, bum, Did you bum. get it finally? <laughs> but up, but up. <laughs> Oh, I had to. I, I can't pissed. believe <laughs> you just graped me. I did. I did. Oh, what a classic. You know, since you graped me, you should look up the grapefruit method. Oh my. Okay. Unironically, back oh, in I know. like... <laughs> oh, I know. But by all means, please tell the streams. Okay. In like 2015, somebody sent me the grapefruit video. And me just being the silly little lad I was, I played it and I showed it on stream. I got a very angrily worded email from Twitch. <laughs> Pretty much just saying, don't show anything like that ever again. Oh, yeah, that was a poor idea looking back on it. One time I made AQPW emotes on Twitch. They got removed in 13 hours and Hassan emailed me saying, if I ever upload emotes like that again... They're going to take away all my emotes and never allow me to upload any emotes again as a partner. What? For AQPW? That's not even that bad. Yep, that's it. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, I had one that got removed this week. It was Mammal Donut. It was just me licking a donut. What? Yeah, I'm serious. I Apparently, they didn't like it. I don't know. Oh, dude. make Remake it. Just make it a blood belt licking a donut. Yeah, there you go. Surely they won't get offended by that. Okay, here we go. The very first ancient magic task of the account. We do have bracelets of slaughter on, so I'm hoping to kill an absolute shitload of dust devils. What? Bro, this is why I wore my ring of wealth. <laughs> this is why I wore the ring of wealth, man. A dragon spear. Okay. Um, I don't think that's our first dragon spear, but surely we don't have very many, so the more the merrier for the clue scroll requirement. Oh, my chat is suggesting that might be our fourth spear. If so, one for each of us. That's huge. Oh my. The task is done. 231 Dust Devils, 30k Slayer XP, and I think I got about 80k Magic XP. That is... Mwah. There is level 72 Slayer, which means we can now kill Skeletal Wyverns. One of my favorite Slayer tasks. They've got some juicy loot. Another one? Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> I did Dust Devils and got a Dragon Spear last night. Now I get another one from Bloodvelds. You know, it's this Ring of Wealth, dude. It, I, unironically, this Ring of Wealth must be working. That's crazy. Another one. Well, since I've got a few Slayer points stacked up, I am going to purchase Reptile Got Ripped. I'm going to give myself the ability to be assigned... Lizardmen. Alright, couple more casts, and we should be getting the big level 75 magic. Now, that's pretty big, because that means from here on out, whenever I, well, both, whenever I train strength, and whenever I do uh, ancient spells, I can then use the Staff of Light. And of course, now that I've said all that, I'm not going to get the level. <laughs> okay, there it is. There now is level 75 magic, a very big milestone. That is right, you did hear me correctly in that clip, I said a Staff of Light. Last episode, we got the Staff of the Dead, and a few days later, my other teammates already have 70 agility, so they were like, let's try out some Zillyana, and that's why I've been training so much agility myself. Ooh, hello, hello. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, sardom and light coming in, boys. 
So the Ceridoman's Light is obviously not the best item to get, but it allows us to turn our Staff of the Dead into a Staff of Light. The Staff of Light is the exact same thing as the Staff of the Dead, it looks a little different, and the big thing is, for Gob Wars, the Staff of Light counts as both a Sera and a Zami item, so it's a nice little upgrade, it's, it's not like it's a bad thing to get. And on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video, thank you all very much for watching, some more very big upgrades for the farmers, we're now up to two Bandos chest plates, and I must say that Staff of Light is going to be pretty stylish for both strength and magic training. If you guys did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like. Uh, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving today. And if you don't, I hope you have a great Thursday anyway. I'll see you guys soon. I have got a beginner, an easy, and a medium casket. Let's do it. Every time I do a beginner clue, I regret it. Every time. Easy is not any better. Ranger boots, please. <laughs> do your clue scrolls, folks. Do your clue scrolls. Come on, baby. Show us the shamans. No way! You actually assigned me lizard men. Holy shit. At the end of last episode, I purchased the ability to be assigned lizard men, and there's a couple of reasons I did that. And first and foremost, the main reason is I have to. I, I didn't really talk about it the way that I should have, uh, but back when I died, um, we set up a forfeit. Before Group Iron Man even started, we said the very first death has to grind out a Dragon Warhammer for the team. Now, that was obviously supposed to be a forfeit. It was supposed to deter you from dying, and... Well, I died anyway, so, um, this has kind of been a long time coming. I've known ever since I died, you know, a month and a half ago or whatever, I, I need to grind out the Dragon Warhammer. So, I kind of figured now will be a good time to start killing some shamans. I'm not gonna like it, but I gotta do what I gotta do. You're- I, This is my third Dragon Spear in two days. This Ring of Wealth is actually cracked. I- This thing is working overtime. I- I- I'm appalled. That is my third Dragon Spear from Slayer in two days. What in the hell? What? Dude. Dude! This is my, f literally my first trip of Shamans. I have a Dragon Spear and now a Shield left half. Man, I t <laughs> Man, come on. That's good, actually, to be fair. I, I think we only have, like, one or two shield left halves, and we're gonna need four of them in total, so... I mean, it's it's good for the Yardoon Hard Diaries. You're not gonna complain. <laughs> well, there's the end of the first trip. I killed 56 Lizard Man Shamans. I got 244k in Alks. Sorry, make that 256k. A shield left half and a Dragon Spear. Let's go. And there is the first range level of the Shaman Grind. Level 73 range. Alright. That is that is the first troll so far. That is the first thing that has given me a loot beam that, that got me a little bit. <laughs> Longbow number one. Okay, now this is the last kill of the task. Uh, no dragon warhammer, but we got a, a shield left half and a dragon spear. Which is pretty cool. And I also got a range level and a half, which is... You know, shit, that's nice. We'll take some range XP. Alright, we have, we have officially upgraded. We are no longer training Strength of the D skim. We are training with a Staff of Light. It's about the same accuracy as a D skim, uh, but it's got like six more strength bonus, so... Not a big upgrade, but hey, better is better. My man is out here named Gay Ass Tits. What? You guys know that meme of the security guard who, like, pats the guy down and he just, like, swipes his hands on their side, you know? That's Jag- that's Jagex's name thing. Just... Jesus Christ. Well, Paul did a Necreal task today and he got some rune boots so I can attempt my elite clue scroll now. Okay, that step is completed. Let's see what the next one is. Need is not. Oh, okay. I'm I'm already here. Okay. 
And here we go. I believe this is the second elite casket of the account. 73 oak planks? I'm happy. <laughs> So one thing I've neglected, I would say, on this account so far is Achievement Diaries. Well, I looked at the requirements, and I can do the Mauritania Hard Diaries today. Which is good for not only Barrows, but also you get the Bone Crusher. So I'm going to send the Mauritania Diaries today. Okay, here's a, here's a two for one right here. So there's an easy task to pray at the altar, but there's a hard task to pray at the altar with Piety Activated. Two for one, baby! How good is that? And with that ghoul dead, there is the Karamja. Karamja? Hello? Mori Tanya Easy's done. Bro, why are you standing like that? Are you good? I don't think he's good. I, I don't know what's going on there. And now, for the greatest diary step of all time. Complete a game of Trouble Brewing. A.K.A. stand still for 20 minutes because you don't know how to play the minigame. Man, I forgot about this. The last time I played Trouble Brewing, I saw it too. Gad Zooks. The game was a draw. My god. Now, I did actually participate a little bit. I got 100 pieces of 8. Now, I did that so I can buy the stuff. The stuff can be used to make uh, Greenman's Ale mature for uh, a Master Clue someday. The last major thing I had to do for the Mauritania Diaries was complete Tarn's Lair. Now, I could have spent 75 Slayer points to buy a singular Slayer ring, but it's a lot easier than it used to be because, well, chances are if you play this game, you probably use Runelight and you probably use the Quest Helper plugin. Well, the Quest Helper plugin has mini game plugins now, too. So you can turn on the Tarn Resort lore, and it literally just draws a path on the ground. You just follow it to a T and take like zero damage. It's kind of. It makes me feel kind of cheap sometimes. I don't know, man. This Quest Helper plugin is gross. Ooh, a nice 5,000 Slayer XP drop right there. And we also have Tarn's Diary. Oh god, what are we doing? Oh no, we're releasing all the Terror Dogs. We can grab Tarn's Diary, which that allows you to imbue your uh, Salve Amulets. So the only level requirement I'm still missing to do the Mauritania Hards now is a few construction levels. Now I was going to do it manually, but my chat reminded me that I can hand in long bones to Barlack for a bunch of XP. He will get... He didn't... He's not going to give me money, right? He's just... He... 27,000 construction XP to be exact. <laughs> and that does give me the levels I need. I think he gives me XP and money, I believe. Okay, building mode on. Uh, the reason I needed to get a few construction levels is I need to build a portal chamber. Wait, you actually need the level. Crystal saw doesn't work. Well, that's dumb. Okay, we build the centerpiece. And now... At long last, we can direct the portal to... Where is it at? Canifus. Oh my god, I'm blind. Carol is what it's called. Right? Is that correct? And then, that's the step? Woo! We did it! And here it is. The very last step. I need to chop and burn a mahogany log on Mostly Harmless. Knowing me, it'll probably take me about half an hour to chop this mahogany log. There it is. <laughs> And there we go. There is the Mori Tanya Hard Diaries done. Let's go claim our reward, shall we? Hello, Le Sabre. Whoa. How do you say that? Le Sabre. I don't know, dude. I don't know. There we go, though. So we got the Mori Tanya legs. You're all gonna pretend I just said legs in a totally normal way. We get the Mauritania Legs 3, which does have a Berg D-Rod Teleport. We can get the Bone Crusher. We get bonus runes from Barrows. And above all that, we've got some uh, lamps that we can use on Herblore, which should get me a level. It'll give me one level. How about two? Oh, almost. Very nearly two levels. All right, Mr. Ghost Disciple. There's, okay, there's some ex e Ecto Tokens, but I would like a Bone Crusher, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you, my friend. It's got 46,975 charges. That should last us a while.
Well, I tell you what, that's been a lot of personal gains for the account for this episode. I think we better hit up some team bossing. Uh, the farmer's headed off to Bandos. Now, we, so far, have two Bandos chest plates, but big on our wish list is the Bandos tilt. The BGS is a super good spec weapon for us, so we're going to keep on doing some Bandos in hopes for that Bandos hilt. Jordan, are you still the keeper of the heart, or is your mage level a little higher? I will... I will be the keeper of the heart. Okay. I'm uh, I'm I'm 75, which is nice because I I don't have any downtime where I can't summon them, but I do still need to pop it to summon them. You gotcha, know? gotcha. Yes, oh, baby. yes. Let's go. Oh, yes, dude. Oh, oh where's this fucking said the shard, skill before, man. I was like, where's this? Was, yeah, bandos hill, and there it was. Where's this I'm, I'm fucking shard? Up, we dude. need the <laughs> shard now. Oh, that is so big, dude. Just wait until we start spectrating that thing, man. Oh, that's awesome. That's so good. Oh, the hunt for the shard begins. Yeah, we really got to get is, that thing. This is fantastic, man. This is fantastic. So we got the Bandos hilt. The problem is we still don't have the required shards to make a God Sword blade. Out of all the God Wars we've done, we still have not obtained a God Sword shard three. So that's the main objective. We gotta get that shard three. Let's get this back to back, baby. <laughs> Man, that drop just pumps you up, doesn't it? Yeah, that's the big one for sure. That's the game changer. The best drop we can get here. Oh, holy shit. Oh, is that it? Oh, oh, that's yeah, not that's, it. That we need it. a three. It's good, though. It's good. Oh. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's that's two shard ones, two shard twos now. Oh, I forgot which one we needed. <laughs> I thought that was it. Oh man. That's the first shard we've seen in a long time, though. I'm happy about that. That is good. The floodgates are open eventually, surely. Yeah, roydy has got some good luck. Holy. Surely we're not done this trip. We gotta get some tassets so uh, at least one person can slay in, like, absolute beast gear. Full Chad. Yes. And that then was the end of the Bandos trip. We got the Bandos hilt and the God Sword Shard 1. You know, I mean, technically, until we have, like, a ton of blades... Really, every God Sword shard is good. Like, it's, it's not like it's a bad thing, but that Bandos hilt is huge. I thought we needed the shard one, too. Yeah, that's why I got excited. Oh, look at this guy. Look, oh, look at the wolf. Oh, he's, he actually looks sweet, unironically. That, that wolf mask is... What a fucking gamer. I love him. What a gamer. After that Bandos trip, the rest of the farmers got off for the day, but I needed to go finish off level 70 agility. They had planned on doing some Sarah Gob Wars the next day to see if they'd get lucky on the God Sword Shard 3, and I was going to be damned if I did not join in on that Sarah trip tomorrow. So, it is time to hit up the Sears rooftop until we are done. Ah, uh, yes, there it is. Mark of Grace number 75. So, I'm going to grab that. And the 75 Marcus of Grace should be enough to buy the hood and the boots. So we finally... You know what? I'm, I'm going to save the word for when I put it on. All right. Now I'll say the words. We officially have full graceful on the group Iron Man. Beautiful. Well, I'll tell you what. If I could not run any laps on the Sears rooftop course for quite a while, I would be okay with that. Uh, there is level 70 agility which means we can now access sarah doman god wars and of course i think everybody knows you can uh crawl through the pipe in the taverly dungeon which is also cool oh yes i should go do the ropes real fast that's a good idea oh my god i am so behind i have so much to do oh jordan hurry 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 jordan i'll wear monk robes bottoms Quickly, quickly now. I forgot. Bro, I said I was going to come here to put the ropes down. I didn't bring the ropes. What am I doing? <laughs> That's because I'm flustered. I'm trying. I'm, I'm hurrying too much. If no one's using the Staff of Light, that's a really good KC weapon slash minion killer. That's a shot, actually, yeah. Does anybody have it? I have it. I'll put it in. I could bring in, I suppose. 
I just want to say, I don't know if anybody was wanting the BCP earlier and couldn't find it, but I... It was in my potion tab somehow for some reason. I didn't I had, think I had it. I the other one in my bank overnight anyway. Don't feel too bad. Okay. I didn't see it in my gear tab, so I didn't think I had it. I definitely had the Carol's top all weekend. Sorry if you guys knew that. Sounds like we're all somewhat guilty. It's all good. <laughs> yep. It's all good. Oh shit, you're gonna try the uh, the Varax ball? I'm fucking trying it, man. It will work if we, if we do the uh, aggro method for sure. I, I just think, um, you know, with four people, I've got a better chance of living through this, you know? Yeah, uh, definitely. I also have a very good chance of dying, I think. <laughs> nah, nah, just pray major people. Well, my trip's off to a bad All right, Jordan, so last time, the general idea of what we're doing is basically when Zilly's um, on you, you just don't attack it, because then it focuses someone else. And then we just run to basically each corner. I guess we'll take a corner each this time, right? Because it's four of us. Yeah, and thralls do fuck it a little bit, so don't yeah. always trust the method. Just play it by yeah. feel. Just, just run should, until she changes. should die in about 25 seconds on average. Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, it's a little bit more head to this boss. A lot better with four people, it seems. And the so minions much do, better. Minions do all target one dude with this as well. So we'll go Starlight first, because he's a pain in the ass. And then just get on whichever one that they're targeting, whatever they decide next. Arrogant-ass Guthen set. My star! Oh, hey, humble you. Guthen set. Just not to complain. Yep, that's how it works. <laughs> I literally just edited a clip today where you, like, Paul said that exact thing to me. He said, you just have to complain. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> That's perfect. Deja vu. <laughs> oh, got one for the next video. <laughs> That's true. Oh, boy. That's Yikes. not ideal. Do uh, you want to get a total KC count here? Oh, my bad. I'm pretty sure I'm still on nine total. I am at eight. Thank you. I'm at 20. Curtis, I, I got 13. So that's 50 total. That's like 650 total with three shards. Uh, 65. Say what? We're at 65 KC total. No, I meant all of God Wars. Yeah, yeah. Pretty insanely bad on the shard luck, sadly. I don't really know where the original inspiration... Oh, I'm unmuted. You know, I'm finishing yeah. it. I don't know where the inspiration for the team name Farmers was, truthfully. Do we do we have an origin story for that? We just did it. Uh, I think Rorty is the one that said that it would be interesting to have it all, you know, based on the same thing, like, you know, farming or something like that. Yeah. I mean, I like it. It's funny. I, I, I'm a fan. Does there really have to be a reason to be a farmer? Hell no, brother. Pokemon does have some great music. I got a cat on the desk at Zillyana. I'm not liking this. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Let me tell you a thing or two. You want to get that cat down? Rito, did I hear that you obtained a second pair of Ranger boots over the weekend? No, but now that you mention it, I'm pretty sure I had a dream that I did last night. <laughs> ah. Were, were we I, I feel like multiple people told me that earlier today. I think we just had the same dream. Huh. And that was the first trip of all four of us doing Sarah together, and we got absolutely nothing. No drops at all, but it was pretty fun. Sarah's a little bit more hectic, I guess. Other God Wars bosses, you have a dedicated tank, whereas with Sarah, you kind of have to constantly be aware that the boss could get on you, so... It's kind of fun, actually. It's a little more, uh, a little more engaging. But no luck at Zillyana. Fill me in. What, what did I miss? Uh, I don't think you missed anything of importance. I'll tell you what you missed. You missed me finally coming clean. Roydy, I have three nipples. Where's the third one? Now that one, you have to pay to find out. And that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. The Bandos Hilt is a massive addition, so now we really got to try to get that God Sword Shard 3. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. 
207 Lister, man. That's a nice task, right? That'd be some good XP. All right, off we go. So I did my first Shaman task in the Slayer-only area, and I think I'm going to start killing him in the Temple instead. The Temple is, I don't know, preferable in my opinion, because the little purple guys that explode, they have a smaller blast radius. Now, this, of course, is to go with the fact that the room is smaller, uh, but, I don't know, overall, the smaller blast radius, I think, makes them a lot more relaxed. I will say, though, the Temple is very, very busy, and so that does come with a downside. The name Mr. Mammal isn't entirely in it. Don't you wanna retaliate? You fucking idiot! You god, people are so dumb. Every they all do it, bro. They all they all walk in the room. Let me have my all retaliate on. Pfft. Oh, oops! I shot your shaman. Sorry. Son of a bitch. Hey, there we go. Just got a milestone range level. There is level seventy-five range. With that, of course, we can now equip a Toxic Blowpipe, and Curtis has been doing some Zolra, so you never know. It might not be that long until we have some Blowpipes to actually use, but yeah, there's a 75 range. Is that the- no, no, that's the second. Okay, I, I want to I keep track of these, because they're notorious for dropping a lot of them. There's Longbone number two of the Shaman Grind. Well, there is yet another Lizard Man Shaman task completed. We killed 207 of them, and, uh, no Warhammer. I didn't have my Ring of Wealth on for this one either, so, uh, no Dragon Spears or left halves either. As I've been doing more and more Slayer, I think it would be a good idea to do the Karam Jahar Diaries. Now, the reason why is at the moment, to get to Duradel, I've got to go through Ardune, take a boat to Brimhaven, then take the card to Shiloh Village. It's not exactly ideal. But if I do the Karam Jahar Diaries, I can use the gloves, teleport to Shallow Village, and that's going to save a lot of time in the long run. Requirements-wise, all I need to do is get level 40 for runecrafting, and then I'm good to go. Roidy, my chat has informed me that you are talking smack about North Dakota, allegedly. <gasps> I would never. <gasps> I mean, I would, so. <laughs> I all I did was say that it's the kind of place where you can attend a funeral and a barbecue in the same day and not change outfits. <laughs> Why is that the most accurate thing I've ever heard? What the hell? <laughs> a flannel and a nice pair of jeans will get you to every event ever. Well, we headed over to ZMI to finish it off, and there is level 44 rune crafting. We can now craft nature runes. So, let's go do the Karamja Diaries. So, here's a little trick. You have to pick up five seaweed on the coast of Karamja. You don't actually need to go pick up individual ones. You just pick up the same one and drop it over and over again. <laughs> Easy game. And the very last step of the Karamja Hard Diaries is to kill a metal dragon. So, I'll just go ahead and get my Draconic Visage and we can be done. Please? Unironically? Okay, curry, you know, same, same difference. Alright, let's go claim our reward. I then pirate Jackie the fruit. I have a question about my achievement diary. Okay, there's the reward from the mediums. And the reward from the hards as well. Now, I don't really know what all of the benefits of the hard diaries are. But the reason I wanted to get them done is so I can now use the Karamja Gloves 3 to get back to Duradel. In a more timely manner. Uh, now, of course, I do also have some XP lamps to use, so I'm gonna chuck those on Herblor. That gave me a level right there. Another 5k and 10k. Beautiful. Beautiful. There is level 85 strength. Don't mind my current gear setup. I'm looking a little, <laughs> I'm looking a little scuffed with the room point legs, but there is level 85 strength. Excuse the dogs in the background. I think at this point I'm probably going to get my defense up to 80, I'd say. I mean, I don't know. I probably should keep doing strength, but yeah, I don't know. I just want to get 80 defense, so we'll work on that next. Oh, guys, do we have anything planned for today? I was uh, under the assumption it would be either Zilly or Grador or both. I'm down for whatever, dude. Same. I'm down for whatever. I asked the chat which they think would be more entertaining, and the answers were split. But I feel like the chaos of Zilly would probably be more fun. Well, fuck it. Do them both. Yeah, why don't, we do, why don't we do both? 
Do we have Curtis available today? I know he's he's probably off stream by now. I believe he said he would come back. I think he's listening right now. Hi, Curtis. Cookies, we need him more than you do. We, we need him, Denise. <laughs> Logically, if we just spoon an ACB, we give that to Curtis, and then he destroys Bandos. And exactly. We, win. we already destroy Bandos, but that would be well, that, that's quite true. nice. Yeah, that's true. Anything could be better for Zilly. Or, alternatively, we pull the BGS, and then a person who Zilly is not aggressed to smacks her twice. That's true as well. True. The point is, we can't lose. No matter what, we're good to go. Ultimately, we decided to go to Bandos. Now, I... <laughs> I goofed up, so I started recording our group content through OBS. Now, I, I usually make my, my videos with Camtasia Studio, but I figured out that if I record with OBS, I can separate all of the extra sounds, so I, I can capture my teammates' voices without having music in the background, without having my, my sub alerts. It's awesome, right? It's the best way to do it. Here's the problem. I accidentally left my screen blocker turned on. I recorded our entire Bandos trip, and you can't see a thing. <laughs> now, I have a little bit of audio that I can use, but I'm just going to have to use some, some clips from my stream, because the recorded footage is obviously not there. Okay, somebody in my chat just suggested this, and I'm going to pitch it to everybody, because I feel like this is a sweet idea. We were discussing how there isn't more bones to whatever spells. Ashes to papayas. Who votes no to that? That'd be pretty OP. They give energy too, papayas. Do they? Yeah, they give five, five. I like that. How about ashes to anglers? Now, now we're talking. Say less. Where do I sign? Or we could just scale up whatever bone it is to like some different type of peach, like a dragon bone. It's just like an inconveniently large peach. Dragon peaches? Well, how is meatloaf the worst food on the planet? If you like hamburgers, how could you hate meatloaf? It's literally a hamburger in, in fucking loaf form. It's the same thing. See, a lot of people just do, like, ketchup on their meatloaf. My mom... D there it is. Yes. I just, there yes, it I is, it. Dude. Yes! Yes! I'm we have out. a BGS, baby. Holy. Let's go make this shit. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Curtis is online. He is? That's huge, yeah. That's why we need to get out now, because Curtis is up. Sweet. This is huge, man. This is so huge, dude. Oh, I'm giddy. This is... It's like Christmas, we just unlocked a new toy. Do we... Roidy! I saw that! How could yeah, you? he snarls at your kitten if you walk by with one. He deserves it. <laughs> That's it. That's the stuff. I am a neutral ground, as I, I have both dogs and cats. I'm in the middle. There he is, the man. Oh, baby. Does someone have all three for him? Or were they I think she took them out. Sure. I put it in storage for him. Okay. I mean, you're really supposed to use the East Anvil for your first God Sword Blade, but it's okay. Oh, he's got to get the boost. Oh, he got the boost! Let's go! Did he just first try a plus four? If he did, that's insane. He, oh, he's, he's, he needs plus three now. He's 77. Insane. I will pass this to the, to the keeper of the god sword. You get the honors. You got most of it. What? Uh, <laughs> no! Oh no! I no. Oh no! No! He logged off. He's ending his stream. <laughs> no!
Put it on. Yes! Beautiful! There it is! Oh, that's gonna be so good. Alright, go smack a guard. Let's see it. Unlucky oh. for you, guard. Thank you. Dude. Wait, can Curtis wear it? <laughs> I, <laughs> Curtis, I Curtis, can he wear it? <laughs> let's, let's see. <laughs> Can't wear? Alright. Let's get a let's get a let's get a thumbnail. So, we went back to Bandos with the BGS. Unfortunately, we didn't get any drops, but I wanted to show you the way that we're using the BGS at the moment. So, what we do is we each take turns double-specking the boss. So, like right now, I've got the BGS, I use both of my specs. Next kill, I'm gonna trade it off to Paul, he's gonna use both of his specs. The kill after that, Roidy will use both of his specs, so on and so forth. That way, we are constantly making as much use out of it as possible. So, this is awesome, man. Like, when the BGS hits, the kills are so much faster. Okay, I just finished up my Konar task of warped jellies here in the catacombs. And I am 11k off of a magic level, so you know what? I'm gonna run over here. And I'm gonna burst some Dust Devils off task. Let's get this magic level. Okay, I think this cast should do it. There is level 76 magic. Now, the reason I wanted to get 76 magic so bad is that is the level that is required to summon Thralls on the Archaea spellbook. So up until now, when we use Embossing, I've had to use the uh, Imbued Heart to boost my magic to cast them. But now I can just cast them all the time, so that's gonna be really nice. Ah, yes. Number two of the Shaman Grind. <laughs> so we've had one Dragon Spear, and there is two Shield Left Halves now. We are wearing the Ring of Wealth, so... Not really surprising, I guess. Okay, that's odd. So I got a Hard Clue Scroll and a Rune Spear, which is Rare Drop Tail, on the same drop. Now that... you don't like to see so much. <laughs> So, I just gotta sign some Greater Demons, and Scotizo does count as a Greater Demon. So, we're gonna do this for some, uh, some Slayer XP. 618 Slayer XP, nice. Let's see the pet. Do it. Do it. Well, that's not a pet. Onyx Bolt Tips, though. Nice, and of course, the Hard Clue Scroll. Yep, and your hard clue. Well, that looks like no pet. And just the standard drop. Two twenty 20 rune bar, that's a good one. That's a very good drop. It's alchemals, you know, no such thing as a bad hard clue, really. We are coming up on a very big Slayer level. There is level 75 Slayer. That is a massive level because we can now slay Gargalons, which are very good for Alk money. That's it, my dude. That's it, thank you. 138 lizard men. Maybe today is the hammer day? Maybe? Why are you wearing a void melee helm? No, 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 hold on. He- Why are you wearing a void melee helm? What is that? Bro, what- <laughs> What even is shamans? The shit you see walk through the door, man, I swear to you. <laughs> what? Well, there is yet another Shaman's task completed. Killed another 138 of them. I did get a range level, so I'm up to level 77 now, but alas, no Dragon Warhammer. I think with the completion of that task, we should be over 1,000 kill count, I think. Let me look. Yeah, 1,002 Lizard Man Shamans. A fifth of the way to the drop rate. Bro, what, what the hell do, do random events in this game think? Like... Sandwich lady, you don't think I look a little preoccupied right now? You're gonna yell at me about your sandwiches? Look at this thing standing next to you! Are you kidding me? Oh, that baited me. That baited me so hard. 
Okay, got a hard casket. Heck if I remember what from, but... Oh, yes. Hey, more God Dehyde is always a good thing. I don't know how many pairs of God Dehyde chaps we have. I don't feel like we have four sets, though, so the more the merrier. And I've even got the top to go with it. Oh, baby. That's beautiful. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. I am extremely excited. We have our very first God Sword. And it just felt really, really good to wield it, man. And of course, the BGS is super useful for PVM. So the farmers are booming, to say the least. Uh, the next video is almost ready as well, so that should be out in a couple of days. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. Now, of course, the farmers wanted to put that Bandos God Sword to use, so we headed off to Zamorak God Wars. Now, I just want to say, uh, there is a lot of clips of us just talking. I feel like we had, uh, some very good conversation during this Zami trip, which I think a lot of you guys seem to enjoy, you know, the, 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 the clips of us just kind of talking anyway, but I just thought I'd forewarn you if you're not into that. Curtis, I just want to say, I, I'm, a, I'm very late to the party, but last night... I watched that clip of you and Denise getting pizza for the first time, and I was cackling. Absolutely oh. dying, bro. <laughs> yeah, that, so one was, that one was going. <laughs> that one was a good one. <laughs> Show him again. Show him the pizza. What the hell is this? Looks like you just dropped it in a bush. I'm not even kidding. You've just dropped it in a field. Unfortunately, we threw it herbal oil. I thought a bit of snake grass on there. <laughs> So let's talk. Uh, let's talk BGS Rito. What do you think is the best here? All right. So Zami has, I think, two seventy defense. So a successful arc light lowers by twenty seven. Um, oh, the phone boys! We got a five month three sub coming in from. Just have one person keep the BGS and do one. Prof. Two people doing two. Switch and Mord. I was thinking about that myself earlier. I'm not sure there is really a best answer. I mean, what either one could be better than the other. Well, if you want, I can keep BGS because I'm 92 strength, and we can attempt that for a while, and just go one BGS spec and two arc lights. I think maybe if if Mammal always sends the arc light spec, that lowers him by what the 27 you said. 27, the yeah, could be better. Yeah, I'd say we just keep it in the normal rotation. Just use it instead of the arc light. See how it goes. Just go double? Uh, maybe just single, I think, because you'll probably run out of spec. Oh, no, you're, you're saying just me hold on to it for one spec at a yeah, time? Instead of specking with the arc light like normal, just okay. use BGS instead. Okay. She is thin. Hello, hello. Is, dude. Hello. Well, that's something. Do we have four already? It's, it's something. It's something. How many are we up to? three, I believe. Must be, uh, I know we've got at least three. That's bad. That is three now. Cool. Almost one for everybody. Oh, the big whack. Oh, he's butter. <laughs> he is <laughs> wrecked. That's oh, great, man. Dude. That is great. You know, does. does... Kree's big range attack, all of Kree's attacks apart from the melee are like not AoE, but they target everybody, right? Yeah, correct. What if we started a kill, nobody praying, everybody venging, and he hits 70 on everybody and just dies immediately? No. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> nice strat. I'm down. Let's give it a go. Yeah, yeah, baby! Love to see it! I caught it! I caught it! Yes! Go! Oh, me farming the loot continues. So happy to Number see that. Two. I think we earned that one, dude. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Denise blessed that one, by the way. That was all a... Uh... Ah, oh, thanks for the blessing. Thanks, Denise. I bless her next pizza choice. <laughs> Sorry, Jordan declined my offer for a 
for wines, so I thought you were the keeper. And then I saw him in his inventory. I am most certainly the keeper. I just uh, clicked off a little prematurely. Never take wine from strange men. <laughs> Jordan's not strange. He says he knows my dad. I do indeed. Now get in the van. Sorry, Twitch. Are kidnapping jokes okay for Twitch? No, I was gonna say, you know what? I'm sorry, Twitch. That was <laughs> that was a bit out of. <laughs> Maybe we should. Uh... So, uh, so what's going on today? Anyone, anyone have any pizza lately? Uh, Weather, yes, actually. Weather's Snake getting a little cool pizza. here. <laughs> I just had pizza two days ago. I had that calzone from uh, from Little Caesars. Things good, man. I've never had Little Caesars in my life. It's like, it, it tastes like poverty, but it's still good, you know? That I've heard it's good bachelor pizza for if you don't care about your girlfriend. Yeah, so yeah, it's, Actually, my uh, my wife likes it. I think she's, she's not your it. girlfriend, though. Oh, that's true. <laughs> my girlfriend does not like it. <laughs> I think the thing about any food is... is you have to consider the price when you consider how good it is. And I, I think the the how good it is to price ratio of Little Caesars is decent. It's not bad. I remember back in college, I would bust out the math when it came to pizza, trying to figure out what was exactly the best deal based on, like, the circumference of the pizza and all that. <laughs> I hate to admit, but I think I've done that exact thing, like, a month ago. Because Domino's does really the two that mediums. Degree to work. Domino's does the two mediums, and I'm like, okay, now is that a better deal than just getting a large? Or... Yeah, definitely not a better deal. Is it really not? I'm pretty sure a large is more pizza. Than two mediums? I think so. That's fair. That's well, how two mediums you, would be more crust, and that's the only reason you're going to Domino's to begin with. That's Ooh, that's, that's fair. I do love me some crust. You know what? While we're on the topic, I'm just going to say it. Of the big pizza chains, I think Domino's just might be the worst. There, I said it. You know, I think I like Pizza Hut and Domino's more than Papa John's. Oh, see, I think I'd put Papa John's at number one, truthfully. See, I, maybe I would have used to, but, like, way back in the day, I had that, like, treat stream thing or whatever, where, like, you could, you know, like, viewers could buy food for you, right? Oh. And I had Papa John's. It's, like, the only thing on there. And I li literally had, like, three to four Papa John's pizzas sent to me a week, and, like, the Papa <laughs> John's dudes knew me. Right? They're like, oh, you again. Like, I was literally giving away pizzas at the time because <laughs> I had too many. I would give fair. my two cents, but I feel like I've thought about this topic far more than most people, and I'd sound like a crazy person. Let's but hear Papa it. John's is on my shit list. Oh! Because <laughs> they're no contact delivery. They still need to confirm you're there and then give you the pizza. Yep, it's they won't, really like, annoying. Leave it at your door. Yep. I had a pizza del delivery driver do that and leave because I did not respond because I figured they'd just leave it there. Oh, wow. And Domino's, I always say their slogan should be, it's not pizza, it's Domino's. <laughs> doesn't sit in your stomach like pizza, doesn't really taste like pizza, it's just Domino's. I think I would take a DiGiorno over most main pizza joints. There are some surprisingly good frozen pizzas for the price. Again, and Red Baron's on point, and oh, it's yeah. like three ninety nine or something. Yep, exactly. When, when we get back on that that price to taste scale, Red Baron is ten out of ten. All right, I need some Christmas present ideas for myself. Like, what do you guys want for Christmas? This is not like me like trying to guess what you guys want with like by making you tell me so I can get. You. I'm not getting you guys shit, but. Uh, it's just like, and ask me for some Christmas ideas. Like, I have no fucking idea what I want. I need some help. Um, I asked for black bow ties for my truck. So does the F-150 need any accessories? I'm sorry, bow ties? Yeah, you heard me. Like, like for the grill? Yeah. Wait, are you... Okay, is, is this a judging Chevy thing or what, what's happening? No, no, I, I don't know what this is. The, the, okay, so the Chevy logo is called a bow tie. That's what, that's what oh, it's called. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I, thought was, I thought it was like truck nuts, but for the front. Uh, no, that was no, like no. a plus sign, man. I mean, I, I could see that, though. That's fair. That's a plus sign. Gotta make, yeah. I mean, I don't, hey, I, I don't know why they call it that, but they do. So that's my starting point. Accessories for the F-150. 
fair. You know what? I think we should, uh, one of these days, really plan, like, a morning bossing sesh for Curtis. If we, we can find a we, time we? where we're all available. We're always on in the morning, Jordan. Okay. <clears throat> well, what I'm saying, when we make a plan, then I will also get on in the morning. <laughs> Jordan, I go live at like 3 a.m., 5 a.m. your time, maybe? <laughs> I know, you're a, you're a freak, I know. <laughs> you know, my schedule has shifted so far to the left that I get, like, exhausted by, like, 7 p.m. right now. <laughs> you are full-blown like, I'm in bed dad. by 7.45. I don't know what happened, dude. Full-blown dad mode. This is the best round of supplies of all time, right as we leave. Of course. Every time. Anybody got a superstore I could snag? He chose me! I traded first. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, he, no. he tried to give Wait, me no, too many. Here you go. No! Oh, no, you canceled too! Oh, my... Wait, there's potions on the ground. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And that was the end of our Zami trip, so we did get Zamoraki in Spear number two, and we had a lot of good conversations, so that was a very fun Zami trip. And later that evening, after our Zami trip, I headed over to Lizardman Shamans. Over the past few videos, I've been killing Lizardman Shamans, because I need to get that Dragon Warhammer as a forfeit for my death. Uh, as of right now, I'm just over a thousand Shaman kill counts, so a fifth of the way to the drop rate. No way! Yes! 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 Oh my god, I got one. Woo! They're gonna be so happy when they get on tomorrow, man. Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Yes, dude! The forfeit is complete, baby. I am free from my binds. The forfeit is complete. <laughs> oh shit what's the kill count man let's see it what's the kill count 1095 okay well i mean that's obviously still very very lucky way way below the drop rates oh baby that's so good <laughs> right now let's uh get a back-to-back -back, yeah they're gonna wait, dude, they're literally, none of them know. They're literally gonna get on tomorrow and be like, there's a hammer in the shared. What the fuck? I love that none of them are on right now. That's so good. Keep it a secret? Well, I may as well put it in the shared because like people are gonna send them clips this, you know, they're gonna see the clip, but. That would be hilarious. I say nothing. I just spec bandos with it. Just You'd be like, Jordan, what was that? I'm like, huh? What do you mean? No, nothing. With the Dragon Warhammer completed, I'm gonna move on to my next big goal for the account, and it is actually a quest. I want to do Monkey Madness too. My teammates have already collected a couple of Zenite shards, and I would like to help contribute to that. So, I want to do Monkey Madness too, so I can kill demonic gorillas. So, now that I'm done with level 70 agility, my next big skilling goals are going to be based on me doing Monkey Madness too. Now, in order to do Monkey Madness 2, I need to get level 70 crafting, as well as level 60 hunter. So, to start off with crafting, of course, I'll be doing molten glass, so... I'm going to withdraw my sand that I mined a few episodes back. Uh, this is going to be a little bit expensive, but I will claim... I actually don't know how much I have, but... Oh, 11k buckets of sand, so that was like 600k GP, roughly. So my magic level is a little bit too low, but luckily I can use the imbued heart to boost up. So we'll imbued heart, and then we can start using the super glass make spell. Let's get to it. Getting as much glass making in before my uh, my boost runs out. I should still have quite a bit of time. Oh, I have tons of time. God, this imbued heart is good. So good. Alright, last couple of inventories here, and that'll be all of my giant seaweed used up. So the final Molten Glass count is looking to be about 7,900. Um, I can do the math on that, but that is surely way more than I need, so... 
I'll use that up, and then I will just throw the excess in the group for everybody else. And there we go. A few thousand molten glass blown later. There is level 70 crafting. We can now make diamond amulets and crystal helms. But of course, the big thing is that is a requirement for Monkey Madness 2 checked off. Now, there is one more stat requirement I need, and that is level 60 Hunter. I'm level 47 right now, which, you know, I should be higher if I did more birdhouses, but, you know, that's, that's my own fault. So, uh, we got 13 Hunter levels to get, so I'm probably just going to start off by doing some orange salamanders, I guess. Okay, got a big hunter level coming here. There is level 57. With that, we can now catch Dark Kebits, which I'm hoping this will now be a lot better XP per hour. Okay, that wasn't that much more XP. It was only like 30 more, but whatever. Okay, grab that one. Run here. Catch that one off the spawn. Run back this way. Catch that one off the spawn. Come back here. Grab that one off the spawn. I mean, it's just easy game. Okay, here it is. Trusty old birdhouses finishing off the level. There we go. There is level 60. Hunter, which of course is a requirement for Monkey Madness 2 completed. So I think I've only got one requirement left. Let me find it real fast. It's a very, very minor one. Uh, 55 thieving. I'm level 53 right now, so that should take like five minutes. All right, just grab on level 55 thieving here real fast. You know, I must say, everybody talks about how much they hate blackjacking, and I just don't think it's all that bad. I don't know. Except for when this happens, just knock him out. Alright, thank you. And there we go. There is level 55 thieving, and that is all of the skill requirements. Let's kill some... Well, hey, let's kill some monkeys, yeah. And on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video there. Thank you all very much for watching. I am really excited we got that Dragonmore hammer nice and early. I was afraid I was going to go super dry on it, so that's a bit of a relief to uh, get it out of the way. And like you just saw, we now have all the requirements from Monkey Madness 2, so that is how we are going to start next video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. Well, all the requirements are done. Today is a big day. It is time to do Monkey Madness 2. Although, if I died during Monkey Madness 1, I don't like the look of this. So, up until the final boss fight, I would not describe Monkey Madness 2 as a particularly difficult quest. The word I would use instead is annoying. Uh, between the... Well, first and foremost, you have this very, very long, essentially agility course you have to make it through. And more times than not, if you fall, you have to go all the way back to your checkpoint which can be a huge waste of time, and it's uh, frustrating. Damn it! Fuck. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, we're not done yet! There's still more! What?! I didn't even go anywhere! I didn't even click- okay. And then once you finally make it through, you have to fight Kruk. And Kruk is actually terrifying if there wasn't a safe spot. Like, he uses both melee and range, and he kind of claps cheeks, but there's a, a bunch of little corners. You can get him stuck on, and then you just flinch him. Now, when people think of Monkey Madness 2, they probably think of this part of the quest, and that is the platform. The thing is, the platform isn't nearly as difficult as people say it is, as long as you can do the run through the monkey method. Now, literally, all you gotta do is find like a pivot point you know where they go around a corner you can run through them and they won't detect you and like the the margin of error is massive there, there's like so many tiles that will work when you run through it that they're, they're not even remotely picky so i feel like this isn't as bad as people say it is just just run through them bro does he come all the way here <sighs> shit i jumped the gun I, I, I thought he was going to come all the way over there. Well, at least I didn't lose the satchels. Okay, this part of the quest is pretty wicked. You climb on a gorilla. Yeehaw! Well, it's almost time to do the final boss fight. Uh, in preparation for that, I am going to buy a crystal bow. Wait, am I doing this right? 
I'm, I'm gonna be very careful this time around. Uh, how much is the bow? As this is the first item I've made for you, it will be 900,000 coins. I'll take it. And of course, let me go ahead and buy a second bow while we... <laughs> Uh, is that a brand new one, like full charges? It is. Wicked. Alright, let's go kill a gnome fella. Now there's kind of a pre-fight and then the actual boss fight. And the first part is you have to fight demonic gorillas. Now this is probably the hardest part for me because I kind of goofed up. First you fight two tortured gorillas, then two demonic gorillas. The thing is though, the demonic gorillas won't spawn until you kill one of the tortured gorillas, if that makes sense. So what you're going to want to do is get both of the tortured gorillas, like, really low, and then you're going to kill one of them, and then you're going to deal with one demonic gorilla whilst that other tortured gorilla is still alive. Because if you don't do that, you get both demonic gorillas at once, and I was, I was sweating a little bit. Now, as for the actual boss of the quest itself, Glow, or I think it's pronounced Gluff, maybe, I don't know, whatever. He's an absolute cakewalk. Literally, you can safe spot the first two phases. All you need is a 10-tile range weapon. So examples of that would be, like, a crystal bow, a magic longbow, uh, I think an armadillo crossbow, and then, like, a twisted bow. But, I mean, if you're doing, if you're doing Monkey Madness 2 with a twisted bow, just put the mom's credit card away, but... <laughs> Legit, the first two phases, you just gotta long range them. And then the last phase, you do have to take a bit of damage. But here's what you do. You, you, you gotta stand at a specific tile that's one right outside of his aggro range. You attack him, right, and he's gonna drag you in. But, but because of that, you're gonna auto-retaliate a second shot. And then you're gonna run back outside of his range and repeat. So literally, every time you attack him, you get two hits off. He only hits you once. It's just, it's just so easy. He dead as fuck. I think. Yeah, sit. There we go. There is Monkey Madness 2 completed. We get a bunch of XP in a bunch of different skills. That Royal Seed Pod is great. Now, my chat just reminded me. Sorry if you can hear the dog chain. Uh, My chat just reminded me I can go claim some free combat XP. Okay, Mr. Duke, what kind of XP you got for me? Oh, baby. Uh... I don't... Uh... <laughs> uh... I don't know, dude. I feel like I should use it on magic. My magic is kind of slacking. I'm doing magic, fuck it. There we go. There is level 77 magic. What? We didn't unlock anything? That's so lame. Well, now that Monkey Madness 2 is completed, I am going to unblock Black Demons. I didn't want to do them before, but now, of course, I do want them very badly, so. We'll unblock Black Demons, and we'll see if we can do some demonic soon. Alright, just finished my Fire Giants task. This is my first new task post-Monkey Madness 2. Obviously, we get Black Demons. Or we go back to Shamans, okay... Okay, hello. There's a uh, a dragon med helm. We're kind of completing the the rare drop table trifecta. So from shamans, I've had two left halves, one spear, and now a D med. Why not? Uh, we are back at shamans, by the way. I feel like some of you are gonna be really confused. Like, man, why the hell are you killing shamans if you already got a hammer? Well, the thing is, we're gonna need more than one hammer, and this is a great way for me to get my range up without really trying, you know? If you look in the chat box, I just got a Slayer level and a range level as task, so... I don't know, I think I'm gonna keep on doing Shamans whenever I get them, because maybe I'll get lucky and get a second hammer. Hey, there's shield left half number three from Shamans! See, now that I've had one hammer, I don't even care anymore. Like, it's whatever. I've already had one hammer, I'm, I'm chillin'. Well, there is the shaman task completed. I can't believe I didn't get a second hammer. I am very disappointed. We got a shield left half, though, and a D-Med. Hey, there's a big milestone level coming in. There is level 80 defense. So, we are now both 80 attack and defense. I would say at this point, probably full steam ahead on strength until I get up to level 90. So, that's gonna be a while. Oh, I'm already excited. This is the last Greater Demon on task number 100. This point boost is going to be thick. Oh, 
450 points, giving me a total of 931. That is beautiful. Well, now that I've got a ton of Slayer points, I'm going to spend some of them. I think the most logical thing to do right now is probably to do some extensions. Uh, now that I can kill Dust Devils, that is one of my favorite tasks because I can burst them. So I am going to extend Dust Devils. And I'm also going to extend Blood Velds because they give very good Slayer XP as well. And speaking of milestone levels, there is yet another one. There is level 85 hit points. Nice. And it's that time of the video. Time for our group bossing session. Today we're going to be doing some bandos. We've kind of been alternating, it seems like. We'll, we'll do like a one day at Zami. Then the next day we'll do bandos, which, you know, it, it's nice. Keeps it fresh. Now, of course, last episode we got a Zamoraki and Spear. So hopefully we can snag something juicy from bandos today. All right, next death grinds four Basilisk Jaws off task. Oh, God, off task? Oh, shit. We might even be able to skip the Basilisk Jaws in, in lieu of the, uh, the Torva that's coming out. That. Oh, nice. That. that. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Ninety nine mining banked. Who's risking their life for the dragon pickaxe? I think KBD is your content, man. I was actually tempted to go KBD. I might do it. The only lives at risk if the farmers went for a D pick would be the PKers. That's <laughs> true. Now that we got the dragon knives as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, my BGS finally hit. Let's go. Oh, I hit big! Finally. I've been waiting for an actual good BGS kill for me. Those specs smacked on that one, man. Oh, yeah. Finally. First good set of specs for me. <gasps> Yo! Oh, I mean, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I, I jumped okay, the gun that, a little bit. That's not that exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm wearing, wearing these things. That. I'm wearing them for tanking. Honestly. Yeah, probably, probably the move. Yeah, why not? So that's, I got that's cool. today's that's Guardian though. boots right there. Who's getting them? Yeah, there you go. I got a little prematurely excited. Tell the word bandos and just jump the gun. That's yeah, still cool though. I like it. I don't think I've ever heard of anyone that excited for bandos boots. <laughs> hey, I was excited for bandos boots. That was my last time on God Wars back in the day. Ever. I am. I'm gonna check with the difference in range defenses. Oh, 15 more range defense. That's big. Oh, that's huge. That is huge. Damn. The range defense bonus with this setup right now is 420. Huh. Nice. Oh. If you're a guy uh, dressed like this got the flag in Castle Wars back in the day, it was all over. Nothing you yeah. could do with your main hand granite mall. <laughs> 66 strength. <laughs> you had no shot. What do you think, if you account for, like, changes in economy and if inflation, an ice barrage in Castle Wars back in, like, 06 would probably be, like, 40k a spell these days. You're spending, like, 2.5k back in that economy to do one ice barrage. I mean, just look at all prices as well. The God Swords were, like, hundreds of mils. AGS, like, 135, I think. Yeah, I remember buying my first AGS for 120 mil. Didn't even PK. Just really wanted one. You look at it now, it's not even that good. No, <laughs> no. Hits big numbers. Yep, that's all that mattered. It's because uh, you had so solid 2k doing those max hit videos. And if you watched that when you were younger, oh, that's it. You wanted the big items. Not again. Uh, both for you. <laughs> that is a damn shame. Uh, Not bad. Damn. Ooh. Could be worse. Yeah, I mean, better than getting nothing. When these shard threes finally roll in, we're going to have all of the god swords. I was just banking.
Memo, I didn't know you spoke Spanish. Si. Por que no las dos? <laughs> I think I actually remember a little bit from school. Here we go. <clears throat> Estudié español por dos semestres a la universidad. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I say that right, but just with no accent, obviously. I think a Spaniard would have thrown up in their mouth, but I think that was pretty good. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Oh, uh, what? I didn't stand under any longer than I normally do. What the hell? I saw him turn and saw I was on 60 HP and got ready just in time. <laughs> Easy for Roido. Tupac is on the moon confirmed. <laughs> is he? No way. Damn it! I did it again! Might be my favorite part of a group stream. <laughs> What's Jordan gonna say today? Uh, I am lagging very badly right now. I can't move actually right now. Get that Tell range minion, please. I can't do anything. Tell you if you can. Yeah, I'm spamming it. Yeah, I just fully DC'd. We're fine, we oh, got over fuck. a minute. We're Grodo. Oh boy. Well, at least it waited until the boss was dead, I guess. And I'm yeah, back. Yeah, you're, you're far enough away that we can grab Agar off of Grodo if you're still in. Okay, so I'm logged in, but I can't do anything still. Uh, that's even worse. Yep. Yeah, that's really bad. Uh, I X maybe Xlog your client right now. Xlog your client right now. No, he's back. Oh, Telly, Telly. Okay, he's you're, good. Out. you're out. Okay, cool. I tell you that X-Logged. <laughs> well, after my DC scare at Bandos, we probably figured that was a good place to call it a day. Uh, so we did get those Bandos boots and a God Sword Shard 1. Not the greatest items, but hey, I mean, the boots are unique. I did see several uh, people say that they DC'd kind of at the same time that you did. Yeah, I don't know. Could have been one of those weird selective a, server things. Regional routing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's... That, we got lucky that you weren't like mid tank on that when it happened. Yeah, it was yeah, it was HP weird. It was made. yeah, like right after um, right after the boss was dead, I you know it, it it let me move, but I couldn't change my prayers, and then it just fully DC'd. Just got level fifty four farming now. I wouldn't be recording that, and it does seem like a random level, but it's not. I actually can now plant. The second tier of fruit in the Tithe Farm, Bolagano fruit. Now, that's important because I've been meaning to do Tithe Farm anyway. I really need to get my herb sack, so I think now that I'm 54 farming, I should probably go do some Tithe Farm. Now, truth be told, I think Tithe Farm is one of those things that's not god-awful, but you definitely don't like it either. It's like moderately click-intensive, and it's like okay farming xp it's just it's just it's just okay all right this is my first set of 100 bolagano fruits i'm curious to see exactly how much xp i'm gonna get for this Ooh, 21k not bad does get me a farming level wait i was like yeah yeah just like one and a half levels not bad i will not have them here or there i do not want them anywhere I do not want them, Sam I am. I do not want green eggs and ham. Nor on a train, nor on a plane, nor in a boat, nor with a goat. That's the only one I know, man. It's because Dr. Seuss is cancelled. <gasps> oh, baby. After many hours of toiling in the fields, working with my hands like a true brother, we finally have 300 Tithe Farm points. Now, I feel a little scam because I am a bit short of 65 farming, but I don't care. That I can just do like a tree run and I'll be sorted. So, Mr. Farmer Gricoler, I would like to buy the... Oh, I can't buy the herb sack because I need 58 herb lore. Luckily, I'm only 2k away. One second. <clears throat> Sorry about the slight detour. There's 58 herb lore. 
<clears throat> I'm back, Farmer Grickhaller. Now sell me a damn herb sack. Thank you. And we'll also buy auto weed so I never have to rake again. And on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. We got Monkey Madness 2 completed. I'm hoping to do some Demonic Gorillas soon. And we also got some Bandos boots, which is not the greatest drop. But, you know, considering I'll be mostly using them as a tank, I'm, I'm kind of happy with them. So, if you guys did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like. And I will see you all soon. Hey, there we go. This is my uh, my very first Gargoyles task, and we got the Brittle Key. So in the future, if I want to kill Grotesque Guardians, which might I add, I don't want to do, because Grotesque Guardians suck, but if I want to, now I can. Okay, we are looking for Greater Demons. We want to do some Zami today, so pull through, Duradel. I'm going to skip that. I'll, I'll give her a couple of skips, I think. Yes, 132 greater demons, perfect. <laughs> I'm doing a medium clue right now. It needs me to play the song Cave of Beasts, which is unlocked during Mountain Daughter. So I guess we're going to go do Mountain Daughter. All right, folks, it's time for a burial. Well... I would, uh, I would not say that's a particularly good clue reward, but at least the quest is done for future clues now. So as you guys have seen in previous clips, like when he got us all Abyssal Whips, Paul is currently our Slayer guy. He's got by far the highest Slayer out of all of us, and he came in clutch with another big drop. Sire's very slow kills per hour. Oh, no way. Ooh. One in 32k. I had my bank open. I wasn't even looking at the chat. <laughs> That means... So between that and my smoldering stone, holy cow. We're winners. We stay winning. Items of equal significance. Now, the Abyssal Dagger isn't like, oh my god, the best drop ever, but I personally am planning on using it when I train strength. The Abyssal Dagger is kind of like an Abyssal Whip. I think it has, I want to say, seven less strength bonus. Uh, but of course, the big thing is, is that it can train strength, which a whip cannot. So, you know, previously I was using the Staff of Light to train strength, and this is a nice little upgrade, you know? Better is better. Paul had himself an absolute day. After getting that Abyssal Dagger, he finished off level 87 Slayer and did his very first Kraken task as well. Done, baby. Oh. Done, baby. Let's go. Holy, that was fast. Let's go, boys. There's number one. I've got 191 left on task. What's, I have what's killed the kill count? Four. <laughs> I didn't beat my hardcore's record. I got it on my hardcore in three. Now, where the Abyssal Dagger isn't that massive of a deal, Tridents are a huge deal. That's going to be one of the last pieces we really need before we can start doing raids. And it was also really cool to be logged in and, like, see the drop in the chat box as he got it. That was sweet. But there's uh, Trident number one. Of course, we're going to need four, but that's a huge upgrade. Right, so I just finished up a Blue Dragon task, and I got a hard clue scroll that requires me to complete Fairy Tale Part 2. You have to talk to the Fairy Queen, but she isn't actually, like, you can't talk to her until you finish the quest. And now that I actually have the stats to do it, that seems like a good time. Let's go do Fairy Tale Part 2. See, this is another one of those cases. I think I did this a few videos back with uh, the guy on, on, on uh, Need Is Not. You can do the clue scroll step even when you are mid-quest. Interesting. Well, let's, let's finish the quest up for... You actually... Okay, here. Let me drop the stupid clue scroll stuff. And now let me finish the quest, please. There we go. There's Fairy Tale Part 2 completed. Now let's pick the clue scroll back up and let's do it. Oh! Okay! I mean, that's kind of useless, but that's the one we needed. So, I mean, Paul got the Dust Battle Staff earlier today. Now I get the Mist Battle Staff and we're covered. I, I really honestly don't think there's any use for the Mist Battle Staff. Not that I know of. But a unique is a unique, I guess. Dude, 
If that don't make your dick hard, I don't know why. 307 blood belts, 63,000 Slayer XP. I got a magic level and a half. I mean, holy shit, dude. What a Slayer task. That's just insane. Well, that that's that's pretty useless. <laughs> Tazar Ket Ohm Ornament Kit. I don't think I will ever use that, but that is neat, I guess. What in the hell are those? <laughs> what are those? They look like... They look like volume sliders on like a friggin'... Like a, a, a mixer board. Uh, dual Psy. Old Donatello look... At, wait, no, no, no. Raphael, right? Was Raphael the one with the little... Yeah, I think so. Oh my dear god. Oh my, look at him! Holy, the dragon claws, man, what a gamer. Jesus. The arc light, and then you two can have the heavy hitting spec weapons. To drop his defense 10% to make those hit better, that's smart. Yeah. I'll we... probably miss most of the time, but you guys will probably hit most of the time with yours. This is big. So should we just have, like, one of us uses each permanently? If the D Warhammer does connect, or both connect, or all three, he's just gonna melt in five seconds. Very true. Yeah. So, would we just have, like, one of us keeps the hammer, one of us keeps the BGS for the whole yeah. trip? Sounds like a plan, then. This thing is, there's gonna be so many kills. If we gonna... really wanna try hard, we can have the D Warhammer open a tick earlier, but I don't really think it matters much. Unless I'm wrong, I would dare say BGS first. To make the mm. hammer more accurate would make sense, but I don't know. Well, but the then it's only drains off of whatever his current defense is for yeah. 30%. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah. It's a good point. And then the BGS gets a nice meaty target for a fat max hit. Makes so sense. I just got 40 KC. For some reason, now, I... So main rim is wicked fast. For some reason, I thought it was, uh... Yep, yeah, so we just need more staffs of the dead men. Or some other blessings. I thought it was 30%... Staves of the dead or of staff of the dead? Base. Uh, technically, staves of the dead. <laughs> staff of these dead. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Actually, staff of the dead could be the plural of staff of the dead. I go to Abby's sire earlier, and Verito's like, Paul, no, you're lagging. And then we're like, God first dungeon? Oh, don't worry, Paul, you'll be okay. <laughs> it's just God first dungeon. <laughs> 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 That was like one night I was lagging, and I, I think I lagged out fully, and uh, I was planning on doing shamans, and I was like, oh, don't worry, I won't do shamans now, and then like two hours later, I was like, fuck it, I'll do it, and Roy and joins it, my stream, just disapproved heavily. <laughs> I do enjoy how when you come here every few days, we're just a little bit stronger across the board. Yep, yep. it's pretty great. Every trip just gets easier and easier. I think I've only, like, gained an attack level, though, since the last trip. Maybe one strength. But BGS and D Warhammer. This, these are big upgrades here. Yeah. When we have a kill where all three hit? Oh, God. Dude. Gonna be nasty. I don't know if that was the whole kill, but I think you had some D Warhammer bonking yes. going on. Yes! There! Yo, Beautiful! huge! <laughs> We are getting the trip off to a good event. start. Already a W today. So Curtis we can make a ZGS now, yeah? Hammer. We yes, can we make can. a ZGS. If you're unaware, the God Sword Shard 3 is the only God Sword Shard that we are missing. We have a bunch of Shard 1 and 2. So pretty much every time we get a Shard 3, that means we can make a new blade. Now, we made a Bandos God Sword a couple episodes back, and with that Shard 3 I just got, now we can make a Zami God Sword as well. Two ZGSs for Zillianna. That is going to be awesome. The next time we're all together, we got to try that. Curtis is back tomorrow. Oh, baby. Oh, 66 hammer. Going to melt this kill. That was sick. A 66 hammer, 45 BGS. <laughs> Jeez. I love whacking with the ancient staff. I wonder if whacking with the hammer would be better DPS. This is some Pokemon tier hoarding here. Well, we haven't needed this food for 20 kills, but surely in the future. 
I know, right? <laughs> That's like me beating the the Elite Four with like ten elixirs. Like, well, guess I didn't. You need never them. know when you're gonna need them later, man. Yep. You know what I miss? Twitch plays Pokemon, like the OG run. That was such like a cool concept at the time. Like that was nuts. I was only tangentially aware of that going on at the time on the internet, because back then I was like, why would you watch someone play video games? <laughs> <laughs> How the turntables. How the turntables. A little hasty, are we? Oh, did I jump the gun on that? Oh yeah, he wasn't even dead. He was 5 HP. I could have died. Well, do some damage! Do some damage, he yells at the tank. Hey, Who's I gave path? you my liquid. Does this mean I get double the presents at Christmas? <laughs> no, you get half, but from two households. We'll take it. <laughs> it just means you spend a lot of time in the backseat of the car trying to play your Game Boy as the streetlights go by. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Did you did you not have one of those uh like angler fish light plugins? Those are the best. Uh, uh, we didn't have money like that, man. I got one eventually. But oh, jeez. Like... Okay, sorry. And don't you dare turn that light on in the back of the car. <laughs> That's right. I'm gonna crash. Yes. Let's go, baby. There it is, dude. Let's go, baby. The farmers eat today. We yes. eat. Trip of trips. So we get a, a finish blade Let's and spear go. number three. Hell yeah. No complaining from the farmers. I can feel it. 254 KC for the Z spear for me. That took some time. Yeah, we, we definitely were due for that. Like, in the long term. Yeah, we're over 600 now for sure. Don't let Twitter hear you say that. What do you mean, do? I've crunched the numbers on all your team's drops. I've been 300 dry before. Oh, look at that. It's half health already, just after the specs. It's like any time you mention, you know, the NFL, someone somewhere is going to go, try being a Lions fan. I take it that comes from uh, you talking about being a Texans fan this year. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Yeah, I'm a... You know the, the shitty part about being a Patriots fan? That Anytime... no one actually believes you're a Patriots fan? Well, that I am from Maine, so it's true in my case, but... Right, right, right. If we put up any L's whatsoever, it feels like a lost cause the whole season. We ah. still cling to that near-perfect season. Right, like every year you have to be 16 and 0. Yeah, I, I don't know what a near-perfect season is. I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. I'm used to winning the AFC South with seven wins over the whole season somehow. <laughs> so one more spear and we get all four of ours for the whole team. Man. Which is awesome. Now That's a hosta for each brother at uh, Chambers. Yeah, true. Long term, I guess we're going to need eight for uh, a spear and a lance, I guess. But Long term, yeah. That should be that's... very easy, though. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a while. Hostas as well. Little Ashihama in there. That's number okay. four. We're oh, done with sweet. Steam. So one for each of us. Cool. One for each of us. Wait, what is this? I'm actually getting drops at God Wars Dungeon today? This doesn't usually happen. We love to see it. Damn, what a trip. We're doing great. This is, this is our best trip so far. Definitely. Let's go. Okay. Okay, now we have extra. We're just pulling. We're just pulling all the purples today, man. Yeah, this is a great trip. Holy, wait, did I even start another prediction? If I did, the believers are literally feasting today. Bet five k, got fourteen k back. Nice. You what? <laughs> just left it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> we got four already, man. <laughs> it goes to Alk now. Alkin? I don't think they're coming here. Oh. Why not? Are they busy? 
And that was it for our Zami trip. What a fruitful Zami trip, man. We got one God Sword Shard 3, which of course finished the God Sword Blade. We got a Zamoraki and Spear, and we got two Steam Battle Staffs, which means that we have a, a Steam Battle Staff for each of us now, so no need to share anymore. That was uh, definitely the most loot we've had in one God Wars trip. And there it is. So I, I skipped over the message, I got a little... Farming just gets me excited. There is level 65 farming, which is huge because now we can access the other, sorry, the, the medium tier of the farming guild, which has Hespori, it's got a herb patch, and we can get medium contracts, so big, big farming milestone. And that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. Definitely had a very successful Zami trip at the end there. And we're getting some very nice loot through Paul, the hard carry. That uh, Abyssal Dagger will be nice for training strength. And, uh, well, there's one out of four Tridents done. And the, the content that is coming because of Tridents is going to be so good. If you guys did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like. And I will see you all soon. So as you saw in the intro, we did get that God Sword Shard 3, which means we have two God Sword Blades. Right now we've got one Mandos Hilt and two Zamorak Hilts. The Zamorak Hilts are surprisingly useful. We'll, we'll find a way to use them. But we really would like to get another Bandos Hilt because the more BGSs we have, the better. So we are off to Bandos. The gang's all here. Ah, oh, yes. Chip, Penny, and use tissue. Napkin. Oh, so close. Yeah, I guess used tissue would be a bit too suggestive, wouldn't it? It's a tissue, not a sock. <laughs> well, I mean, there was that one episode where he was watching really? the coral on TV. Kill number 100 for me. Beautiful. Hey, oh, we're off to a good start. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Just need another three now. First kill in. Well, first rotation, that's awesome. Let's go, man. Because it's better than bringing nothing at all, we did have somebody bring the Zamorak God Sword with, and I gotta say, it made my life as a tank super easy. Uh, I think the ZGS spec is really accurate, and every time it connected, it was the freest tank of my life. Because, you know, normally when you tank Bandos, part of the issue is he wants to walk around, but then with the ZGS spec, he's just stuck. That'll do. I, That'll do. You know what? I, I didn't jump the gun this time. <laughs> I was ready to yeah. holler, but I didn't do it. <laughs> well, that's that's something. You know, what's funny about this one is I'm sitting here going, okay, I'm not going to get debated by this because I think I'm going to get the immobilized achievement on this kill. So I know there's going to be a pop-up, so I'm not going to get fooled. <laughs> I didn't get the achievement, but I got the pop-up for the stupid item. <laughs> Also, I would really appreciate some heals if I'm in Guthans, by the way. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, oh, wasn't even looking. Yeah, same. I was distracted by the loot here. You can have some bones if you want. Shit is crazy. Thank y'all so much for the ridiculous support. That's a big BGS. Man, this is so nice with those uh, big defense lowering capabilities. Dude. Like, oh my god, look <laughs> at this kill. <laughs> that was just silly. Oh, dude, 13 seconds. Like, it's too easy. That's nuts. Couldn't fucking find Steel Wilder. Yep, I know. Same. I've got him tagged and I still couldn't find him. Oh, hey. let's go. Take that. Not bad. That's number four, right? Yes. Only 12 to go. Those are wins. <laughs> When we finally do get these shard threes, we're just going to have blades ready to go, which will be nice. At least it's no longer a question as to whether we have one in the bank or not. We were discussing uh, the possibility of all of the farmers having just a mustache. Uh, would Anne kill me if I convinced you to shave your beard, Paul? Oh, no, you can't even convince me to shave my beard, man. All beard's right. too strong, dude. <laughs> Fair yeah, enough. See, you got you to think about it, man, but so much of my authority is derived from my beard. It's true. The the beard yeah, garners no, I, respect. Um, I 
I mean, so I, I started growing my my beard initially at your wedding, if you remember, like right. I, I shaved right yeah. before the wedding. Yeah. And then I, I grew it up for like three months, and then I shaved the whole thing off, and it was like big regret, man. Like yeah. big regret. Never again. Uh, I don't need that pain right now, man. So maybe in the future. <laughs> I can't enough. get behind the the mustache, uh, you know, vibe. The it wave. Just, just like, yeah, it just, it doesn't work for me. I look like a you know kind of a male Freddie trend Mercury. Right <laughs> it's a male trend to have a mustache right now, and girls just have to deal with it. Yeah, mustaches and mullets are in right now. Yeah, it's crazy. Because we're going to look back at this shit in like, you know, five, ten years and be like, what the fuck were we thinking? I feel like mustaches have kind of always been a thing, though. Like, like everybody my dad's no. age, they all had mustaches, No, they, no, they have not. Well, I mean, I... as long as you're not rocking it with like a jean jacket, I think it's okay. <laughs> You got a problem with the Canadian tuxedo? I just look like a scuffed Freddie Mercury, man. (laughs) I I think the the beard is probably more your vibe. That's fair. The beard works for me. The mustache does not. (laughs) See, when I grow a beard, I am very much so a neck beard, and it's it's not a great look. You just shave that part of it, Jordan. Well, that's true. I I found out, because I did a... uh, a charity forfeit where I grew my facial hair, like, no shaving at all for six months. So, I guess that isn't the most fair judge, because, like, six months of nothing will look pretty gross on anybody, probably. Yeah, it, it looks better if you taper the sides. Right. Let the neck grow out and just let the chest do the same and then have them meet halfway. Oh, that'd be sexy. Oh, my. Portuguese And then you style. braid it the whole way down. Oh. Hey, Ooh. okay. Okay. We're just, I mean, I'm telling you, once we start getting these shard threes, we're just gonna... Jeez. Alright, since you pulled up the photo of you with the with your mustache, I found the photo of me with a six-month beard. Let's see it. I, I look like my name should be like Ezekiel. Like Jebediah. <laughs> 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 Very Amish. It's like a mugshot. I actually do, man. Damn. <laughs> the farmer. Who, who looks the most like an actual farmer? Like IRL? Yeah, I, I think it's got to be Jordan. I mean, Roydy always wears the flannel. Second, that, that's true. He does wear flannel. Right I think I'm the it's most actually K Kona out of all of us. I would be, but I'm from southern Maine, not northern Maine. They're very different places. I really don't know anything about Maine, except for lobsters. That's all I know. It is the safest state in the country. Lowest crime in almost all categories. Everyone's huh. just nice. Intriguing. I know that. And New England itself just has these deep puritanical roots that you can't really detect, but they're definitely still there in the culture. Everyone hangs lanterns and shit. And burn witches, yeah. So you're saying if I go to Northern Maine, everybody looks like the guy off of the Quaker Oats package? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Maybe if you go a little east from where you are, you find that. But That's fair. Northern Maine is very... Northern Maine would give some southern folk a run for their money in terms of K-Kona. Oh, my. Southern folk. Ask, uh, ask border Canadians how they feel about Northern Mainers. They tend to hate them. I can't speak French. You know, from what I understand, French Canadians just hate everybody. They even hate the rest of Canada. This is true. You know, what's interesting is there's very different versions of K-Kona. Northern and Southern K-Kona are very, very different. To me, Northern K-Kona is like, I unironically work on a farm, drive a truck, etc. Southern K-Kona is real like, yee yee. You know, it's a very different brand. It's, it's, it's a different vibe. Well, so you're you're talking about southeastern K Kona though, not southern K. Well, yeah, I, that's I mean that's fair. Roll tie. <laughs> right. The most K Kona people we have in southern Maine are like K Kona larpers that are from well-to-do suburban families, but want to act like they're from the country. Like, like Dallas K Kona. My mom puts it this way: those are the cowboys that have pretty nails. <laughs> Polished boots. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 
Oh there my it is. god. Hey, we did it, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. That was less of a reaction than the boots. I literally just said to my chat too, my BGS pick hit big. And then I was like, oh, I did like no damage. It could have been my kill maybe, but I guess I did enough. Get my that Sammy hold off there. Oh yeah. That's right. Let's go let me, two let me give BGSs, you man. That is big, big, man. That's so Imagine good. How crazy that is. So I'm at uh, 120 Grador right now. That was number 52 for me. 110. What a trip, dude. These two, the last two God Wars trips for us are just wild with, with drops, man. Yeah, Zammy yesterday was great. Throwing us a bone. Listen, man. Okay, I say we finish up this trip and we go try one corp kill today. I am down for that. That could be content. And so that then was the end of our Bandos trip. We got one pair of boots, a hilt, and a godsword shard one and two. So a very, very good haul from that Bandos trip. And like Paul mentioned, we're going to go ahead and give Corp a try. The fact that we have two BGSs will make it a lot quicker to set up. Now, And, and if you don't know, I'll give you a quick TLDR of the way you do Corp, at least in a solo method. And we're going to follow the same ideology. So the idea is you drain Corp stats down to zero so you can kill it with ease. You do that by doing three Dragon Warhammer specs to drain its defense. You then move on and do 20 Arclight specs because it drains the monster's attack, strength, and defense. If you do 20 Arclights by then, Corp's attack, strength, and defense are all down to zero. At this point, this is where the Bandos Godsword comes in. The Bandos Godsword special attacks drain the monster's magic because, and only because, his attack, strength, and defense are already zero and can't be drained anymore. You do 200 damage with the Bandos Godsword specs, and at this point, you now have a corp with zero attack, strength, defense, and magic, and it is effectively a 2,000 hit points chicken. Um, do we all just want to like home telly out and then meet back at my house? Can you, you said you can restore spec at my house with the lowest you pool? Can restore spec at any pool. Okay. That would probably be the move then. So it's definitely less than ideal, but I haven't gotten around to building my very own POH pool yet to restore my spec. So I'm going to have to use Paul's house. This is really inefficient. I have to teleport outside of my house, wait for Paul to get in, type in his name and then go in. But, if we're just doing a few kills today, it'll be alright. So, Curtis was an absolute homie. He wasn't able to wield a Bandos Godsword, nor do we have a Dragon Warhammer for him to use. So, instead of, you know, just dipping, what he did is he lured a Corp to the door and constantly kept it there. That's one of the more annoying things about soloing Corp is he loves to just run away from the door as far as he can for some reason. Uh, but if you have somebody aggro him and then leave the room, he'll just stand right next to the door. So shout out to Curtis on that one. Uh, but basically at that point, then we just use the uh, special attack counter plugin on Runelight. You can see it above my uh, inventory. It pretty much just keeps track of how many specs you do. So we would just kind of communicate to one another. I apologize, I don't have any you know audio clips of us actually talking on this one, which I know a lot of you guys like, but they're just, I don't know. We were, we were kind of quiet on this one, but um, we just kept track of our, our arc light specs and... Once we had all done a combined 20, then Roydy and Paul moved on to using the BGSs. Uh, unfortunately, nothing else can be used to drain the magic, so without a third BGS to use, I just had to stand there and be a cheerleader. So, uh, once they did enough BGSs though, it was time to start the kill. Come on, baby. One Corp kill, kill count, one, Ellie. Baby. The uh, Mystic yes. Earth stuff. I got time for one more if you want to do one more. Sure. Let's do it. <laughs> Straight to Curtis. Sorry, Curtis. It's our course like, oh, oh I remember this guy. Day. Soul runes. Well, that was fun. That was fun. That. It was 
a lot easier than I thought. Get too. that uh, that big pool. We can optimize pretty well. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was surprisingly easy. The very next morning, after we completed our corporeal beast kills, Curtis was working on achievement diaries. He was working on the core end hard diaries, and one of the tasks to do that is to kill a lizard man shaman. We'll see what happens. 1k dry before Zora unique. I'm not even killing Zora right now, man. Come on, bro. I can't believe you've done this. <gasps> what? Bro! Oh my god! I balanced it out! Oh! What the? Bro! Bro! I, I knew it! Bro! Oh! I killed one Rob! Bro! You can't make that shit up, man. He goes to the Lizard Man Temple and kills one singular shaman and gets a hammer. Just unreal. And with that hammer, we now have two Dragon War Hammers and two Bandos God Swords. That means that each one of us can simultaneously use a special attack weapon to drain a boss's defense. These bosses better watch out, man. The farmers are coming and we're looking strong. A few episodes back, you might remember Paul got 87 Slayer and got our very first Trident of the Seas. Well, since then, he's continued to do Slayer, mostly Turiel skipping to try to get nothing but cave and tasks, and eventually it has paid off. Hey, can I get a can I can I take a, a slight moment real quick chat to, to shout you guys out? I'm oh oh let's go baby. Oh number two. Number what, two. What good timing, man. Well, I was so gonna say left on task as well, just enough time to spoon. Oh man. We this can squeeze good. out a third. We can we can get more. I've already decided I'm waking up early to try to get more, so that gives me one that I could toss to Curtis for his Zora kills, and then one that I can keep killing these with, so there it's all good. There you go. Perfect. That's the best thing you can do. You don't need supplements that are going to help you lose weight. You need to you need to watch your diet. You need to clean up your diet. That is the best thing that you can Told do. Told you. Give me. No, no, that's, give me. That's the best thing you can do, man. Now I can go do Zora. All right. Consider it done. I'll go put it in the bank. And I looked high and low all over Paul's channel, and I could not find the clip of him getting a fourth trident, but he did. So we now all have our very own Trident of the Seas. So, now let's recap what we have. We have four Trident of the Seas, we have four Abyssal Whips, we have two Dragon War Hammers, and two BGSs. So we have a good magic method, we have good melee weapons, we can drain bosses' defense... It's time for the farmers to take on raids. For so we're going to start uh, setting our mind on cocks here? Let's do it. Let's, let's I get always up. have cocks on the mind, dude. Oh, I can't wait to farm Buchus with... Uh... 51 farming. Oh, oh no. Apache is going to be like, whoop. <laughs> we can't even rely on Roto for it because he has to make all the potions, you know? So we're going to have to do the farming. Or maybe we can all go to different worlds and start scouting because trying to find an okay raid is a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Are we... So I'm assuming like Vespula is in the blacklist, probably. Honestly, oh, just yeah. get rid of the Vs. Just say no um, Vespa or, or Vasa. Vanguard's fun, though. That's overloads. We can get a really good, like, Tekton Mutadal um, scout every time, and it'll be, like, overloads for all of us. And, like, pretty easy. Mutadal with, like, freezes will be fine. Won't get chanced. Just stay high HP. It's only the tree that's risky, because obviously you're getting stacked. We should be the goodest Do, to go. Uh, do, does the freeze and ZGS, uh, does it prioritize? Like, if, if I freeze with the Ice Blitz first, is it going to take the, the 15 second priority, freeze? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just use that as a backup. We'll, we'll what you want to do the... is you want to freeze small Muta and then save the two ZG specs for Big Mia. You only uh, oh, okay. use the ZG okay. for the Big Mia. The so small 40% one froze. freeze? Yeah. Okay. And do you and... spec as she starts to go to the tree or before she attempts you to do so? You spec 
just as it's about to go to the tree. If you do it on the tick, it goes to the tree. It's perfect that it won't actually fail. If it fails, it's, it doesn't matter. We just think it's 50% it for big muta and 40% uh, and for small, I think, is what I was told in the stream, at least. Right. And just don't get chomped, right? That's pretty much it. But there's like a bunch of safe spots you can go to not get chomped. So. Yeah, also, for our arm hand as well, we should like set a rule for the poles if it does go off. Just meet at the thumb because communicating that is stressful, trust yeah. me. Just say rule of thumb. Been waiting on this moment all day. Are we, uh, are we waiting or are we good? Good to go. I think I'm good. I'm ready. Oh, we're just all waiting on each other to make the, <laughs> make the call. All right, guys. Here, here we go. <laughs> no, yeah, good luck, guys. Please. Oh, boy. <laughs> let's let's uh, leave alive, at least. Oh, you're supposed to save that one. Oh, yeah, save was. big ZGS. Yeah, save ZGS for the big one if you can. <laughs> oh, no, my bad. Okay, ZGS yeah, right. away there. Yeah, very good ZGS as well. Oh, wait, the ZGS is going to uh, be too early, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the like, entrance here is safe, uh, guys. He can't jump you at the entrance over here. If he goes to the tree, just run over this way. We might be yeah. all right, though. He can creep in there, but he's not. Oh, nice. There you do, go. So. He's trapped on that one, I think. Sweet. Nice. Perfect. Oh, easy. Nice. The hardest one done. Yeah. That was about the tree as well, wasn't it? Nice. You stole my overload. Your overload? I right, got so the got... kill. All right, so we've got two overloads so far, yeah? Yep. Yep. Cool. One person, all... maybe... Roughly uh, I guess... familiar with the step back method, the six tick. Yeah, I, I am, figured yes. out. Okay, so I'm the least one of us can go over here and one person can lower. You can, if you creep around here, you can get over to the side. Probably stand this tile, so you got a couple of steps to. Uh, this, I always to go do back. this tile right here and then retreat to this one. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Right, so this makes you got Braymel on the inside of them. So cool. First Onyx. Nice, dude. So easy. That was beautiful. Hang on, I gotta turn these boss HP things off. Smooth. Well done. I'm loving this. This is fantastic. Oh, clutch upon? <clears throat> nice. Okay. Would there honestly be a more embarrassing hardcore group Iron Man death than to a scavenger? Would that be as bad as it gets? <laughs> Jungle I have demons. died to a scavenger. It's terrible. <laughs> Just Jungle snipes on the way back. <laughs> Jungle demon's a fair <laughs> shout. Oh wait, I'm sitting here making potions. I should definitely be taking his potions. <laughs> yeah, don't make potions. <laughs> you make a weak over. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got Revitalization that. minus. Zerx aid minus. Oh god, yeah, drop those. You. Yeah. I'll get you killed. Those are actually bait. <laughs> like, if you can play, just pass. unlock yourself, yeah. Who's going to uh, tank on the melee? Have you got BCP port? I do have BCP. I'd probably tank on melee, then, because you've got the highest You've heard of... All right, is there a, uh, a, a strategy to that? I've never done that. I, I'm Very usually easy. the leech that sits in the middle. Yeah, you're going to stand on the same time, that's it. Oh, I don't it's just going to be the first... You know the furthest side where you run to in a solo? Yeah. So you've got the thumb, and then you've got the little pinky. You'll be standing on the little pinky the entire time. Okay. So just the far right, basically. Yeah. And then I'm going to try and um, okay. mage skip it. We might get a special at the start, because I need to see which side it is. And then once it's a uh, mage set, we won't get any more specials then. And just a case of tanking one hit. But if you uh, see when he switches attacks, you can uh, switch your prayer, because he might do, you know, a couple in a row to save some uh, okay. damage. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing about these... Uh... Runners need to uh, stay at the, this side to bait the second hit, and then I can skip it. Okay. That's what's happening right now. Okay. All right, so stay here, bait one more hit, and then you turn. So, okay, so we bait this one. Nice. Now run, now run. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah, see, that's, I, I have literally no idea about turning the mage head, so I'm glad Curtis has team raid experience. 
So I'll take your side, Curtis, on ranging, so you can focus DPS since you're our biggest in ranger. middle. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. two in the middle. So I'm gonna free towards door. That is true. Little XP adds up. It's always better to uh, open it up near the door, just because then you won't screw up the um, the mage skipping. Because if you run into the middle, obviously it screws the head. White. White for me as well. No, it's white. White. <laughs> oh, sad. Uh, yeah. Oh, torn prayer scroll. Okay. Nice. One and done. Seven uncut rubies. Oh, that is beautiful. I got uh, 256 dynamite and 58 mahogany planks. Sag. I'll take a first. Oh, dude, I got a combat task. Undying raid team. We did it. Yeah. yeah. So proud no of the way. boys. <laughs> Let's try. Ready. Set. Go. I was sat Dang. there clicking the entrance, not realizing it was mine to start. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I think we stand here, does it, in the corner? Is that fine? I think it's gotta so. It's got to be cavity. Yeah. over. He can, he he can walk around it, though. Yeah, yeah. he can oh, sidestep, yeah. Do you know what his max chomp is? I'm pretty sure he can one hit you. Yeah. High 60s oh, or so. Fuck. You pretty much just praying Maddie when he's next to you, though. How many bruises do you guys have? I have five. Two and a half. Six. Okay. Uh, Curtis, could you drop one for me? I'm at a two and a half. Boy, we are lacking the DPS here. I got one and a half bruise over here. Ow. Okay, I'm hiding loot. Good luck. I'm white. 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 Boy, that Man. one was a little spooky. That one was a little spookier, eh? Holy. That was very close. I was actually on down to <laughs> I one was out dose. I, got uh, I have three uh, doses. I just realized I had a stomach, but I didn't even use it because I was panicking so much. <laughs> That's not a bad loot. 100 lanterns and almost 600 gold ore. That's really I got good. Uh, 160 planks and PR sense. I got gold ore and snaps. Yeah, dude. All me healed so many times. Yeah, the times. scaling can tell the difference, right? That head phase. The scaling makes a big, big difference on that. Oh, God. I reckon we can. I think it's more it. the fact that he blewed like eight times than the scaling. Oh, he was. He I'm healed like honestly. crazy. Jesus Christ. He was in and around 50% for like a minute straight. East side, B side. West side, best side. You mean weast. What kind of compass are you reading, boy? Should I should I touch this thing or should I should I stay off? More the merrier. Yeah, may as More well. I'd say. I got loads of seeds. I touched it one time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I should. Cast flower hands. Loot is hidden. Loot is hidden. Good luck, Good guys. Luck. Good luck. Come on. One eighty-seven k is a good chance. White. I'm walking it. I'm milking it. White. Nah. We're coming. It's gonna be purple. It's white. Damn. <laughs> Not a bad loot again. Oh, I just scored us a third torn prey scroll, which we can just divvy out. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, nice. I got 500 uh, bloods on that one. Oh, nice. 1300 souls, 108 lantidimes. Wow. Big loot. Toad flax and sapphires. Not bad. Yes, I need to recharge my trident. We're being told that Alfie just got a 1kc D Warhammer. Really? What? No one would ever get that. <laughs> Hang on, I've got a clip of it. There's no way that this happened again. <laughs> Stream I'm looking it up. up. There's no <laughs> argument that we can make that streamers are not like benefited somehow by Jagex, if this is true. I want to see this clip. I'm just doing one kill, relax. No way! I just got a hammer! What? He actually did. <laughs> <laughs> he actually did. Dude. Is that the same tile? 
Same time. Wait, let's that, have a look. That might be the same time. I'm going to that tower right now. Wait, let's have a look. That's Don't insane. Wait. Off stream by myself, I probably I've rolled back the Curtis D Warhammer like probably eight or nine times in a row just to relive it. <laughs> oh, I sometimes like watch through all of your old clips. Like, yeah. I'll legit have That's a time. I do them on YouTube. Take like an hour just watching everyone's old old shit just for the feels. Yeah, I'm sad that a lot of it got deleted off old Twitch. Because I remember the one where like you were at the shamans and that guy ran around and was he typed something in chat as you were AFK and they jumped over squishy or something. That was the best yeah. one. Where oh, the that. fuck is the pub? Yeah, that's the one. I don't have any sponsors, but I could recommend that in this holiday season there will be plenty of uh, animals in your local shelter that you can go hang out with and adopt, maybe. Humble Rito, man. I second that. That was Namely so wholesome. Huskies. What the hell? I love it. That super was, man. Holy shit. Do we all have our three doser uh, overloads? I have a two dose at the moment. I have two as well. I am good to go. Wait, is this a recent three. clip? No. Oh, it's three years ago. Okay. Yeah, it's Quite, I think it's original group Iron Man concept. I is gotcha. there no more uh, spare doses of overload then? We just got three, three, two, two. Wait, how, how did that uh, happen? I just have the three. Okay. No spares for me. We should probably be okay with two, probably. Yeah, it, it will run out probably near the head phase, but yeah. we'll go. How did that happen? <clears throat> did, did you guys like re up a overload somewhere? No, um, I think we just all used one overload dose. Maybe that is no one doses. overload. Oh, because normally I don't overload. Oh, we should at have all. two fours. Everybody and just then... had one dose, then we should have twelve doses between us, which is four yeah, by we should, three. We, we should have two fours and two twos. So maybe someone didn't pick up an overload or something. I don't know. Oh, maybe I don't know. Oh, good. Okay, my chat helped me decipher it. So I re-overloaded for Mystics, and then I dropped ah. the one dose on the floor for somebody else to sip, and I think it just sat there. <laughs> All right, okay. So, so we can only use, with the with the Mudadel and Tekton setup, we can't ever go two doses throughout the raid. Yeah. Because then we won't have enough for all. Yeah, only one each. <laughs> I see. I was wondering why my chat was going, Mammal's awfully quiet, Kek W. <laughs> I honestly didn't even realize I did that, but that, that is 100% what happened, yep. You are gonna- Fuck, 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 I'm just going through it. We cool, we cool, we cool, we cool. Jesus, that was the scariest shit. We cool, we cool. <laughs> okay, I might need one brew drop to me after yeah. this one. I thought I was paired with the guy in the middle, I was like, I'm about to die. This is- Were you frozen as well then? You know, I, I probably could have made it out as well. No, you, you can. If you get teleported in, I, I, what you do is you just make oh. a hole in the wall and just run out. It's one of those split the second up. second decisions, though. Do you let me, let me or do you from someone, please? Yeah, if that ever happens, I'll make a wall as I'm teleported. I'm white. 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 Damn. Dang. 429 Goldo and 57 Candentines. Rune arrows and pure emeralds. Twenty six Renars. Ooh, Renars good. It's the good thing about these raids, though, is that points other than the team points don't matter at all. So we can do any That's right. even if it sacrifices individual yeah, points. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump over this the wrong way. Not if I bail. Man, what are you doing? I'm killing the mystics. Oh. Jeez, that one was tearing you up. Okay, here's the big question. Do you say mutadile or mutadial? Muta. Mutadial. Mutadile. It's mutated. Not mutt oh, by Blink182. Oh. I said mutadile for a long time. I had too many people telling me otherwise that I changed the way that I do things, man. I used to say Guthan. Now I say Guthan for that same reason. Yeah. Oh, the same. The same. Back I, in the day, my Guthans. brother said Guthan. <laughs> I also distinctly remember in third grade when we were doing like reading with like it was like one teacher and like maybe five or six students reading and around and I would always pronounce the word uncle as unsel and the unsel. motherfucking teacher never corrected me just let me keep <laughs> saying uncle so how much how much attention was he really paying another weird one I pronounced Ardoon as androgan not sure where I got that from. <laughs> I used to say Ah Dugany. <laughs> I, I like I said how like, we've just accepted our own ways of saying it, because because I say Ardun as well, but that's definitely not right. Yeah, they did that pronunciation video, didn't they? It was Ah in the end. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah but you gotta remember they're bullshit, it, by the way. I still don't accept it to this day. Take everything they say with a grain of salt. I very briefly, as a kid, remember saying Karam Jama. Oh, I never, I don't think I ever got that one wrong, but I went with Birth Rope for a long time. Oh, same, today, yeah, same. Oh, here's a bad one. Growing up, uh, I very religiously said Armadil. Not Armadil. 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 Oh. Sorry, well, I, I, I like I'm, I'm locked down on this one. Them. Oh, we got it. That was clutch. Ooh. It's like at the last minute, he's like, I don't want food. One tile away. Whoa, clutch. Tick perfect. Tick perfect. That was nice. Shit, muted dial. Okay, do you say a couple three? Nope. What's uh, that? I don't know that one. So instead of saying a few, there's a certain area of the states. I, I don't remember where it is. They, they say a couple three. Like, I need a couple three of those, but they're, they mean three. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> Never heard that in my life. <laughs> yeah, I, I only just heard that a few years ago. Okay, we need we need outside perspective. Curtis, what is the worst British accent? Like, what is the worst in, in all the um, UK? Cockney. Oh, you've got a Birmingham accent, which is like, All right, mate, how you Good. doing? Oh, like oh, Peaky Blinders. He got Scouser. All right, <laughs> mate, fucking Scouse. Fucking live pure. <laughs> you got, like, the... Uh, Oh. Rolling G's and all that. Borderline Dutch. Yeah, Birmingham's questionable. <laughs> you know, it, it was hard being an American and trying to find places like Farmborough. Farmborough. <laughs> <laughs> and we all remember Foe's first solo chamber way back when. Oh, dude, do you know how much that hurt? All right, for those that don't know, this thing took me about two hours to get through. Uh, maybe an hour and a half to get to Ulm, right? And I fully prepped for it, and I'm ready, and I'm pumped up, and I'm standing right outside Ohm's room, and I'm like, hang on, hang on. Let me leave my CC, because I don't want to be distracted by anyone. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the best ever. That is a rip. That might be the best I think ever. I rage quit the stream that day. I was so upset. Yeah, the only time I've rage quit a stream was I was farming an ecumenical key for Sarah. This is my first time going to Sarah, and it's I spent like... An hour and a half trying to get it. Never got a key, so I was like, fuck it, I'll just get a kill count. So I spent 40 minutes getting kill count, and then I go in and the world's DC and I lose all my stuff. Oh. The start of Iron Man. I descend the stream. I'm like, okay, guys, I'm done for the day. Okay. Hidden. Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. Come on. Good luck. Come on. White. Purple. White for purple. Me. Wait, actually? Okay. Oh, you oh. got a purple. I got purple. Let's go, baby. Get oh, that my God. Oh, hang on. oh, I got a tablet. Hang, hang on. I want to get to your stream first. Okay. Get to yeah, my stream first. Up. Oh, baby. Nice. Purple for the farmers. Oh, Got man. the tablet. This is a good one, man. Yeah, because I'm just going to chomp on it. Come on, Come baby. on, drag it to crossbow. Hang on, hang Come on, on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. I'm is also ready. ready. Ready when oh, you're going. Oh, I got pet. Oh, you oh, did. You did. You did. <laughs> oh, got the pet, dude. Oh, he did. Oh, my God, he did. Oh, I saw it. Oh, my God. I didn't go for my maid. Where was the loot? Okay, the loot. Open the loot. Let's see it. Dex! 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 Yes! Dex! Yes! Oh, yes! Yeah, yeah, let's go! Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, oh baby. my god, what? Oh, baby! <laughs> you realize the omelet? Oh, oh that's gotta my be the god. first group omelet, dude. That's yeah, crazy! Group omelet. What? How did that Yo, tweet that's it out. Tweet second. it out, Mr. Curtis. You take this oh. tweet, dude. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Oh shit! Well, we got, okay, everybody Nobody line up. Nobody noticed for line like thirty up. seconds. Holy okay, shit. all line up, boys. All line up. Let's get a good pick. Oh my no god! No way, dude. That's sick. <laughs> I got wield our coolest weaponry. Yeah, get the dragon okay. warmer on as well. Oh, there we go. Yeah, turn foe. <laughs> Stop showing the booty. All right, <laughs> my man, my man. There you go. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got oh, good that's so crazy. Man. That's oh. awesome, dude. Oh, that is awesome. Yes. That is the best thing that could have happened, because, like, rigor. And the decks, man. Yeah, rigor is so good for you. Oh, man. Whew. Okay, I think we've actually got 74 prey banks, so we can do that to, like... Dude, we have uh, 74 banks for, like, sure, three people. Yeah. We yeah. for sure do. Wow, Curtis, should I just, like, chump on the let's... decks, then? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, send it. Use it. Okay. For sure, yeah. Fun. Wait, did none of us notice the pet? Were we all just like stared at the chest? Yeah, genuinely. Oh, none of us noticed. I, of us I noticed. literally Gosh. looked at Curtis's stream and went, hold on, what is that? <laughs> really? Oh, I, listen, I saw it and I'm like, wait, someone's trolling us. Someone's standing under him. <laughs> We're inside raids though. 
I'm an idiot. And after that, we rounded up all the high-level bones we had, and we funded Curtis getting 74 prayer so we could actually use rigor. It, it literally was so perfect. Curtis is our, our ranger right now. Like, I think he has, like, 94 range, and the rest of us have, like, high 70s, low 80s. So even if somebody else would have gotten the dex, we would have given it to him anyway. So it's just it's just perfect that he himself actually got it. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was really fun to make. It was a lot of work. I had a very, very big recording to kind of sift through and find the highlights from. But this video was so fun to make. And it was just cool to watch back because it reminded me of what this was all about from the get-go. Like, stuff like this. The sheer excitement we all felt. When we noticed he got a pet, oh my... Uh, sheer joy like like this is exactly what we envisioned when we started group iron man and it's it's just finally coming together i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did feel free to leave a like and i will see you all soon and after getting rigor curtis says why not go use rigor at zolra he's been doing a lot of zolra kills and so far has gotten nothing at all bam that would do not. Oh! Blowpipe! Yes! Yes! Blowpipe! Yes! Blowpipe, baby! Yes! Yes! And then, now with both Rigor and a blowpipe, Curtis says, well, let's continue. Let's kill more Zolra. Wowzers. Oh! What the? I told you, balance is out! Bro! <laughs> the team's popping! Oh, the floodgates are open! So after going over 500 Zolra kills dry, getting nothing at all, he gets two blowpipes, two kills apart. How good is that? That is, blowpipe is, I don't even, I don't have to explain to you how big of a deal a blowpipe is, especially now that we can use it during raids as well, gonna be huge. Oh, I need cosmic shit. Dude, yeah, look at just like with that Dex, man. It makes it makes Zilly better, it makes Bandos better, like Oh just everything. Like the I mean, you know, my range deep is pretty decent yeah. before, but oh I can't wait. This is so good, man. I don't know how Biggest... much I'll notice it on uh Zora, but I God was bosses, hell yeah. Biggest PVM upgrade in the game, I always say. Yeah, definitely. And then Anguish is not far behind either. Oh my god. We're working. You guys, you guys got to think about this, right? Everyone that's saying that that we're lucky, no, no, no. Alfie's team is lucky because yeah, our first D Warhammer took over eleven hundred times as long, and our second one took forty three mm -hmm. times as long. Yeah, true. What about our first Zabby Smith? That yeah, like that, true, yeah. that took like two hundred times as long. There you go. They just haven't done enough PVM to really prove that they're spooned. That's right. Well, the very next day, Curtis was gone, but we figured that me, Paul, and Roydy could handle a Bandos trio, so that's where we headed, off to Bandos. Sweet, you know, like, like I can't do strawberry all the time, because strawberry is overly sweet. And I prefer going with, like, you know, more craft style, but they're so fucking expensive, so I don't buy them. I am a raspberry preserves guy myself. Uh, raspberry is great. Yeah, jam is great. I will say, th this might be... Heresy, but am I weird for saying that I I may prefer just a peanut butter at times and no jelly yeah, whatsoever? Yeah, no, actually, and does that too. I get it. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I prefer just a nice plain peanut butter. Yeah, the problem with that is you can't speak or swallow after that. Okay, that's fair. Okay, yeah, peanut butter and marshmallow fluff. That's pretty excellent. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's too sweet. That was a classic growing up. It was a classic growing up, but it's too sweet nowadays. On the topic, crunchy or smooth? Smooth, only, only smooth. Crunchy shouldn't exist. I don't know. If, if it's a sandwich, creamy. But if you're using peanut butter as like an additive to something else, maybe crunchy. I gotta right. say, I like the texture. I like the crunchy. I don't know. Do you know what speculus is? I am unfamiliar. It's, it's also known to Americans as cookie butter. Oh, oh yes. It's the it's the flavor of like Stroopwafel. Yeah, I am familiar with that. That is the best shit ever. That stuff is dangerous. 
That's like I a, don't make sandwiches out of it. I just eat it like with a spoon. Yep, that's like eat the whole jar good. Yo. Telly, dude. Telly. Telly. I got it. I got it. Holy shit, you got chance so hard. Well, so the first, like, stack of damage was, was okay. You know, we're fine. I'm eating my food. And then towards the end there, I was just sipping brews, which just does not heal you fast enough, so... Yeah, he was just laying into you there. Minions yeah. as well. No he was, Holy shit. He was giving me all he had. <laughs> Jordan, I, I don't know if you realize how close that was. Nope, I'm fully aware. <laughs> that was pretty close. What was was that like four HP maybe? Uh something like even that. A, even after that, that last range hit was another chance on like fifteen HP. Well, no, that I, I tallied mid on that last range. So that oh, couldn't have killed me, but Oh boy. <laughs> uh let me I'll I'll come back. I suppose we'll leave oh, a bank. But... Alright. Okay, yeah, no, you definitely got chanced. When you went down to 5 HP, that was a mage splash. Oh, oh my. Boss hit 30, ranger hit 21, and the major hit at the same time as the... the... Major hit same time as the ranger, but you were on 5 HP. Yeah, oof. Yeah, I, I saw that one. That was, like, pretty clear from my POV, and I was shitting my pants when that mage shot was coming towards him. Monka S. First food drop we've had since the very beginning. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Bandos has got it out for us today. We've been making a sucker out of him these last few trips. He needs his vengeance. Yeah, unless I'm wrong, when I think about it, I, I don't feel like we've had a Bandos trip without getting something. At least a shard or, you know. We've gotten something every single trip. I think you're right. Our last trip was Boots Hilt, I think, yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh, yeah. Boots Hilt and like two or three shards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was super good. You know, truthfully, I think we jinxed it by talking about the fact that we had not done a single Bando strip with no drops. We simply willed that into existence. We did not get any drops this trip. No God Sword shards, no nothing. So that was a little disappointing, but you know, I didn't die when I very well could have, so that's pretty good. So after that Bandos trip, my next order of business was to get a Salve Amulet imbued. Now, of course, as you guys saw last video, we started doing raids, and I have not yet obtained a Salve Amulet imbued, which is very, very important for the Skeletal Mystic Room. If you don't imbue your Salve Amulet, it does not work with range and magic, and that extra 20% damage on Skeletal Mystics is massive. So... I headed off to Nightmare Zone. Now, if you don't know, Nightmare Zone on a group Hardcore Iron Man is not a safe death. So, I was a little scared. I had done my previous imbues through Soul Wars. Uh, but now that I've done Dream Mentor, my points in Nightmare Zone are way faster. So, it's time to time to suck it up and do some Nightmare Zone. But it, it's really not that dangerous as long as you're careful about the bosses you select. Oh, look at the... Look at the Dream... Look at the Dream Mentor. Ho, oh, ho, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, no! Not the j j j j jungle demon. No. The everlasting hard? Damn, dude. I'm jealous. Wait, wait, wait. Forget about the everlasting hard. What about me hard? Oh, baby. I had to leave and come back in because I ran out of overloads. Literally first set of spawns, we get the inadequacy. Oh my god. Well, those inadequacies were very, very helpful. I've got 928,000 points right now. Imbuing the salve costs 800,000. And there we go. I am now less of a leech at uh, Skeletal Mystics and Raids. And of course, we had to put that salve amulet to use. The farmers are back at raids. We're feeling incredibly motivated after that dex to get some more purples. That was a beautiful tech talk. Iron Man Farmer Foe. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Iron Man Farmer Foe. Uh, someone come get this overload. Uh, I can grab it if I bank my stuff. Hold on. That was perfect. Nice. You really know how to make a guy feel good about himself, Curtis. Thank you. 
I got you. <laughs> I'm the hype man. Mammal, north, north. Why are you making it seem like you guys are dying in there? <laughs> oh no, I colored it a tick late. No. I'm so excited to see you pop off with this dex in here. Oh yeah, I want to see what it does on the uh, on the head. Yeah. What, should I bring in rubies and blowpipe, or just blowpipe? I probably bring both. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come to you. Oh no. Oh, my Not this dog. again. <laughs> I have you could, spread you could hear the those clicks a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> they did it to me twice. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to keep happening, but uh, as long yeah, as you so can get out in time. Yeah, we can get out with loads of time. You basically know the firewalls come in as you get in teleport, so the person who's got uh, water just makes the uh, exit. Then we're good. Mammal, would you like to take a uh, side ranger this time so I can pipe effectively? Absolutely. Middle? I would not want to impede your ability to, to pipe. Good man. Make sure you hide your chats. Sidden. Good luck. I'm white chest. White. 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 Satch. Oh, yeah, I got to turn my collection like stuff off as well. Ooh, a dark oh, I got relic. some Eddie War. Ooh, nice. nice. We like some XP. Pretty fat PB, too. That's a good PB. Yeah, I did like no damage on Whoa. that one. Whoa. How? <laughs> He's what? just a beast. <laughs> Iron Man plowing took the drop from all of us? <laughs> Is it really the whip DPS from the back? Because I wasn't obviously moving back like you guys were. Oh, interesting. Curtis, you're an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, so if three people are on one side, you could just AFK on the other side? Yeah. I think two That's people nice. can actually, or maybe even three people. If yeah, one I think he's only it. really aggressed to one person. Yeah, yeah. if they're doing the, uh. that method perfectly, it doesn't really turn. Might have to try that next time, have like two people on the back or something. Yeah. Just big chilling. Good luck. Good luck, boys. Good luck. Purple, purple, purple. Oh, purple. boy. Nice. Oh, oh baby. Nice. Nope, no pet. No pet. Any, any homeless? <laughs> <laughs> hang, on, hang on, hang on. Pull me up. Hold on, hold pull on. Let me, me, up, let, me, let me pull up. I can see it already. I, I think yeah, on my group great. trade, it, it shows it because of the thing, I think. Oh, no. Oh, okay, oh, you know. Don't tell us. Don't all right, tell all right. us. I won't tell you that. I've got your stream pulled up. Right, go on, go what, on. Go what on. are we feeling? You two who don't know, what are we feeling? Uh, I'd go ancestral item. Just any ancestral I item. I am thinking dragon claws. I'm going to say. Don't say it out loud when you when you see it so we can watch. I'm going to say Dinny B. I'll be totally quiet here. Oh, baby. Oh, all right, all right, all hey, right. Anything is for those. Okay, so what do I? What time do I click on? I think I need to go on clam right because I put on trade on the group. Are you just like, yeah, trade will show it, yeah. Okay, because <laughs> I was like, you were like, I was like, and so I was like, no, uh, <laughs> definitely no? not, buddy. <laughs> I was like, no, it's a toilet paper. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, six hundred fangs and nine, uh, nine fifty-six uh, souls. Nice. Oh, oh, that's good though. Two purples. Four free gold ore. Yeah, we're doing good. Purples, right? We're doing wise. good. This is nice. Two purples and two rains. I got a hundred and four dwarf weeds for you, Roydy. Some rain wow. pots. Holy shiz. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm putting the one hundred five dwarfs in uh, in the shared right now. Yeah, I'll put mine in too. Nice. Let's keep these purples going. So we're we're holding on to arcanes until until everyone's seventy four prey, I think, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. I think that's a much bigger priority getting everyone there. Yeah, we haven't even got the bones back for that right now, anyway. Even if I pushed it, I wouldn't be able to get it. Probably best to get everyone in the uh, wriggle. We'll just keep stacking that. Man, why do I have to get the shit drop? <laughs> Yo, my, <laughs> hey, you my chat, purple, man. You got a purple at least. My chat just said Roydy instantly frowned. <laughs> 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 A purple is a purple, it's all good. Hey, has that gone up in price though? I thought that was like under... It points. has, good yeah. Though. It has gone up. Oh, shit. What is that, like 600k? Oh, no. Come on, change clutch, color. Clutch, oh. clutch, clutch, clutch. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that would have been 500 IQ though if you moved that other crap. <laughs> yeah. All right, you stay there, fella. White for me. White. White. 
Why couldn't you just say purple? <laughs> oh, I got the tablet. Yes. Nice. nice. Thank you. Got Lee, Lee Clue Scroll. Renard's rubies. Nice. I got rubies as well. How many rubies? 25 Renard. Yes. 99 and 30 Renards. Wow, that's really good. I'm actually really happy about that tablet. The uh, the Xerix Honor Telly you is can like. Put the rubies really for good. Um, XP if you want, and then I'll make them uh, into bombs. Humble, humble. Sure. Like that's that. Considering I have an I'll excess of Blizzard Man Fangs, that's really good. Uh, cut good. rubies in the shirt. Oh yeah, that's that's perfect. Jordan, your fire cape's on. It would appear that I banked my Avas. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Better stop making some more bolts. Don't waste the good going. bolts. That's alright, we'll make more, we just got rubies and uh, I don't Let's go. Make them rain. Geo, boys. Good luck. White. White for me. White. White. Damn. Damn. Ooh, deaths and rubies. Ooh, more Addy Ore, though. I got 11 Rune Ore and 17 snaps. So long as that one doesn't do that. <laughs> yep, exactly. I knew it was going to do it, too. I can't hammer any. Stay. That'll work. There you go. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Uh, Curtis, uh, you take my spot. Oh, oh, you got that one? You're good. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. It's our first raids ever. We're new here. I'll just get the rest. It's all good. I got this black one. Good luck, my brothers. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Mm, white, white for me. White. White. Oh, sad. Damn. Damn. Runite or and coal. One purple in a day. Oh, boy. Pure essence and saltpeter. Oh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> Could be worse, I guess. <laughs> oh, I got swords and snappies. Okay. Myth or Avanto. And that was all the raids we did that session. So, Roydy got himself an arcane prayer scroll. Obviously not, like, the most ideal item. We're all going to want to get augury eventually. Uh, so, it, it it's not bad. You know, I it will obviously take getting any drop as opposed to getting nothing at all. And I will say I was also very happy that I got that ancient tablet. The, uh, the raids telly on the Xerix Talisman is honestly a really quick teleport to bank repeatedly if you need to. And also, of course, it's just convenient for getting to raids themselves. And I am going to go ahead and call it a video there. Thank you all very much for watching. We unfortunately had a dry trip of bandos this episode, but we got purple number two at raids, albeit not quite as good as the first one. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. Now, like I just mentioned, Curtis has been doing a lot of Zolra, and he got a couple of blowpipes last episode. Well, after we finished our raid session, in which we got that arcane prayer scroll, Curtis had to go, and Paul was busy crafting. So, Roydy and I said, let's go do some Zolra, and we got something really good. Maybe? Yeah. Yo. Yo. <laughs> well, say goodbye to our first helm. That's mine now. So, not like useful really good, but really cool flex-wise. As soon as like we get a surf message, Roydy's going to be pimping. And then something bad happened. How many group lives left? Uh 3. Three out of four. Why am I... Fuck. Two. Fuck, Jordan, why didn't you telly? I literally knew I should have tellied two. Fuck. Two. I literally told myself, telly, Jordan, telly. Like, multiple times I said telly. Like, 20 times. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, I guess to kind of play back what happened, uh, when it changed over to the green phase, for some reason, I am still praying mage, and I didn't realize until that second hit. When I got hit that 35, I went, oh fuck, I'm praying mage. And I swapped to pray range literally one tick too late. 
Literally, if I would have clicked the prey range one tick faster, I would not have been hit that that third time. And none of that would have happened. Now, hindsight is obviously 2020. In this scenario, the second I realize I'm praying the wrong thing, what do you do? You telly. You just you just fucking telly. But of course, you know. I think in the moment, I thought, oh yeah, I, I got the prayer on in time, we're cool, I'll just combo eat out of this, we'll be alright. Uh, but yeah, it just proved to be too big of a combo. Like I said, hindsight is twenty twenty, so it is what it is now, but I obviously regret doing Zora, period. I wanted to do it for the content, but I wasn't really feeling very confident. I mean, on sub to Mammal, I didn't even touch Zora until I had the Elite Diary with the Revive done. Probably for good reason. Zolda's just never been my strong suit, so, um, I regret it. I kind of forced it, and I probably shouldn't, but, you know, it is what it is. What we need to move on now to is my forfeit. So, the forfeit for my first death was to get a Dragon War Hammer. The forfeit for death number two is you have to mine 50,000 buckets of sand. Now, that was the initial plan, was 50k buckets of sand. It turns out that in order to get Paul 93 crafting to make all the Zenites, he only needs about 36,000 buckets of sand, so the forfeit's been adjusted a little bit, but I need to go mine lots of sand now. Well, now that I need to mine 50,000 buckets of sand, I think it would be worthwhile for me to get the Varrock Medium Armor. The Varrock Medium Armor has you, gives you a chance of getting two ore at once, so I'm going to knock out a Soul's Bane real fast and then do the Varrock Diaries. This is legit one of the most nostalgic quests, in my opinion. Because I just remember coming down here, and you grab these weapons, and you smack them like 50s. Like, oh my... I just remember being a little kid. I, I felt like a sort of beast. Alright, there is a Soul's Bane completed. Very nostalgic quest. The click box on this rift is actually colossal. Jesus. Okay, uh, now I should be clear for the Varog mediums. Alright, now that I've graduated from my local community college's pottery class, there is the Varrock Easy's done. Okay, uh, I don't know how, but somehow, to this point in my account, I still have not claimed my boots. Obviously, you take the correct boots, which are... The rainbow boots. You take the fight. like, does anybody actually take the fighting boots? Like, there's- there's literally no way. No shot. Alright, there we go. I've traveled via balloon, and that is the Varrock Medium Diaries done as well. Let me go grab my reward. Hello, Toby. Huh. Goodbye, Toby. <laughs> Alright, let me, of course, put these lamps on Herblore. And now we can rock the Varrock Armor too, which I think gives you a 10% chance to get double ore. So, that'll speed up the sandstone at least a little bit. Now, I don't really consider myself much of a skiller, and I don't imagine any of you think of me as much of a skiller either, but I figured if I gotta mine all this sand, I better force myself to learn how to three tick. And you know what? I actually don't mind it. I heard a lot of bad things about three tick mining. Of course, I, you know, know how to three tick fish and hunt and whatever, but I've never done three tick mining because I heard it's really shitty. And it, it's definitely click intensive, but I don't know. To me, this is weird, but I, I almost prefer click intensive skilling to AFK skilling because I feel like it goes by faster on stream. Off stream, AFK stuff is good because I can just zone out, whatever. But on stream, I just want to get that shit done as quickly as possible. So with some practice, I learned how to three tick mine and it, you know, I, it's a, actually a massive increase in how much uh, sand you can mine per hour. I don't know what you can mine without it, but with three ticking, you can get like 4k sand an hour, so I learned that and just kind of got to it. Well, Paul is wanting to do some crafting, so I am going to claim the sand that I have so far and deposit what I've got. I was kind of hoping that I could stack all 5,000 in one go, but, you know, I just, you know, if he's out of sand, then obviously I need to give him some sand, so there's the first 5k withdrawn. 65 mining, a bit of a milestone there. You know, the nice thing is, is I am a, a pretty low level where I'm leveling up quickly, which is good because, well, you know, the higher I get my mining, the less often I fail the three tick. Because you can do the three tick correctly, but just not get the ore. Like right there, I just did it, so. The higher mining, the more my success rate goes up. 
Now, the next morning before I got online, my other three teammates decided to head over to Ceridome and Gabor's, and they got a very good drop. <gasps> no way! No way! Oh! Yo! That's like my first big god wars drop in my name as well, apart from the light. Damn, big spit. That is good for demonic grids and stuff. <laughs> Yo. Then I got on my computer and I saw this Sarah Dome and Hilt, and the rest of them were still at Sarah God Wars, so I thought, well, I had better join them. Uh, I could take things. I've got two inventory spaces. Hey, Ooh. he's here. Ooh, you're looking the tankiest of the slot. Jesus. Yeah, we I'm didn't have the any fashion coif. as well. Didn't have any. I know the full gothics head to toe. We didn't have any coif. Oh, yeah, sorry, the K coif, I think, is something. Steal the Carol's coif. Okay, what do you guys? What do you guys need? What can I divvy out? Uh, restore uh, or anything like I'd that. I'll take a restore. Okay. But well, you just have one image. Just one. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, oh my. I, uh, I can't okay. open with a spec on this. Did you know what? Did you... I'll just trade you after this kill. Yeah, just just yeah. Hold, hold on to that one. We'll just yeah. Five <laughs> seconds, Jordan. Regardless of whatever, like, the actual in-game forfeit is for the last death, like, for, like, the fourth and final... Oh, no, I know what you're gonna say. We shave the facial hair. Whoever dies has to shave all their facial hair. What are, what are your thoughts? I'm down. I think it'd be really funny. I haven't been baby face in, like, a year. <laughs> it depends funny on when thing. it is. Okay, And okay. I only say that because I've got a wedding to go to in like two weeks, and damn it, I'm not going to be clean shaven for it. Hey, we ain't going to die in two weeks, Bob. Yeah, definitely. I didn't <laughs> think we would die yesterday either, Curtis. Yeah. All right, that's fair. That's fair. I'm fair. Okay, Thank Curtis you. just restores or range as well? Uh, One range, one restore would be great. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Uh, Paul, do you need a range? I've got one and a half. How are you doing on him? Uh, I, have, I have four and a half left, so... That's three and a half. <clears throat> it's like Mammal just showed up to like our elementary school game with the post-game snacks. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I love that. Yeah, you know, like the Star Crunch. Do you you remember Star Crunches? I mean, that's definitely Not an American. Name. Not ringing uh, a bell. Kind of like chocolatey, um, caramelly, rice crispy, round-looking things. Kind of like hockey puck-looking things. S tier, you know. Club soccer snacks. This is our first time doing Sarah God Wars with a Zamorak God Sword, and I gotta say, it is so nice. If you don't know, the ZGS spec freezes the boss for 20 seconds, acts like a nice barrage. So with the four of us, as fast as we kill Zoyana, literally one person lands a ZGS spec, and we can just stand still and kill it, because it, it'll die within the 20 seconds almost every time. Man, Curtis, your room kill count is like... Quite literally triple what ours is. One just twenty-nine. So consistent. That is I have twenty-two. Wow. Six. Forty. <laughs> Six, but you know it's because I joined late. Otherwise, of course, you know I'd be. Yeah, you'd be at one thirty-five. Oh, you know? obviously, right. <laughs> Look, shaman range levels, man. Jeez. Yeah, that was a, a silver lining of having to kill shamans. Got me some range XP for sure. You know, if you uh, if you take the inverse derivative of the integer, that is a very rare drop. That is about a one in sixteen million two hundred and sixty-two. Inverse derivative of the integer. Huh? I just be inverse say that. of the number. That's right. I gotta. I got. I'm not bottomed out, and I have an altar. If you want to do one more. Could uh, could you translate that to North Dakota Community College for me, please? Corn. <laughs> that sounds um. fair so unfortunately we did not get any other drops from Zoyana whilst I was there but that Sarah Doman Hilt is massive SGS is I mean the thing is SGS isn't like super efficient anywhere but like it's really nice to use for stuff like demonic girls it'll be good for the inferno someday it's a it can be a convenient spec weapon to have after Sarah Doman, Curtis was off for the day, but Paul, Roydy, and I decided to do a little bit of Trio Corp. Appreciate the blessing, my guy. Calling Mystic. Let's get some Onyx Mystic Boltzmann. Staff. Oh. Uh, I'm too smart. Uh -huh. Uh That's unfair. There's so many. There's like six different Mystic items. You know what I meant.
Yes. Oh, that's a good that's drop. That's so big, big. good. Oh, love it. That brings me up to about 7,300 total. 73. God, I thought you were going to say 73,000. I was like, share? Hello? You have been AFK in some balls. Goat horns. Here's the uh, spirit shield. Okay, Roydy, what, what the hell? What the fuck, dude? What the hell, man? Would you mind calling an Ellie, maybe? Yeah, how would you call something useful, man? Oh my god, you were talking about... You are talking about Paul's, Zoe. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, he was talking about my dog. Yo! Oh, that's awkward, and I love me some cannonballs. Oof, I'm... That sucks. <laughs> Hey! Oh! Neat! There it is. The first unique, technically. We did it, boys! Nice! We did it! I actually blocked for that and I heard collection lock slot, so I was like, oh. <laughs> well, the Spirit Shield was all we got, but I will say, Corp has been a lot of fun. I think as a team of three, we usually average somewhere between five to six minutes per kill, so you're looking at approximately 12 kills an hour. Now, that feels amazing, because I'm used to soloing Corp on a regular Iron Man, and that's approximately 12 to 15 minutes per kill, so this feels like incredibly fast-paced. Well, if only we had a Team Slayer, I'd probably give him the cannonballs. Fortunately, we only have a Team Crafter. That's right. Slayer's retired. Friendship ended with Slayer, now Molten Glass is my best friend. Pipe down, Sam. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang What'd on. you say? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna collect my miscellanea for the first time on the account. 3,400 teaks. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a lot of that's a lot of planks. Jordan, right be there. be honest though. Did you just die so we didn't have to do the sand mining? I I really didn't. Um, you know, I I if I wanted to be nice, I could have just done the sand without dying. <laughs> that would have been ideal, you know? That would have been the way to go. I don't believe you. I... <laughs> I'm convinced, man. <laughs> I think I just had a massive case of autopilot. And just... Uh, it happens, you dude. Know. I've done it too many times. Way she goes. Oh, yeah, Mammal. Get if you drunk. didn't hear this morning, a better estimate for how much sand we actually need is about 35,000. So that's all you have to get. Beyond that, yeah. there's just literally no reason to. You know, Paul Paul told me that as well, and I I mean it's not like it would be a bad thing for me to get a little extra sand, so I probably well, well, just you could just do any mining you want for seventy two. We don't need sandstone. Once we all get seventy, that's the upper limit of what we need, and then he'll have ninety three. Whoa, 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 whoa. But if I get fifty, he could Dems probably the rules, get rules, <laughs> That is true. The forfeit was 50k. Okay, I tell you what. If we math it out, and me getting 50k sand would get Paul to 94, so he could boost more easily, then I'll do it. I'm not fucking getting 94. Oh, you don't want to blow this- Oh, 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 oh well, no. Alright then. <laughs> fair, fair I'd much then. rather get an 8% spicy stew than another 500k XP. Okay, that's actually a fair shout. I didn't really think of that. <laughs> it doesn't take five hours to get a plus five points. <laughs> 82 herb is done. Ooh, oh, nice, nice, dude. Hell yeah. Attaboy. Uh, Jordan, don't spend too much time in the uh, in the pits, man. I uh, I mean, I, I'm not going to go through, you know, 10k sand a day while, while doing the crafting grind, so you could take that easy a little bit. You know, I, I think I'm just going to try to get it over with. Should get it done? Yeah, fair, fair enough. However you want to. All right, brothers. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, see you later. It's it's it it is honestly really it's it's funny and it's weird. Like I die, and my teammates are like, "Oh damn, a death! Haha, <laughs> at least we get sand. It's all good." And then the Twitch chat's like, "Oh my fucking! Are you fucking kidding, mammal? What the fuck is wrong with you? Are you f like like my teammates don't give a shit, and the Twitch chat acts like I murdered a human being in real life, like." Jesus Christ, calm down. What? It's it's the weirdest thing. My own team doesn't even care. And they're just like fucking furious. So mad. 
All right, this is going to be a bit of a milestone inventory here. Uh, the other day, I withdrew 5k buckets of sand so that Paul could actively use them. And he hasn't ran out since. So ever since then, I've been stacking it up. And when I deposit this, we should be at 25,000 buckets of sand, which is actually the cap. I don't really know why they cap you, but let me go grab my money. Okay, this is going to be really painful on the wallet. We're starting at 5479 mil. Oh my god. <laughs> there goes 1.5 mil down the drain, but you know what? 25k buckets of sand is a big milestone. Ah, beautiful. There is level 70 mining. I am just about done. I think I got about 4k more sand left to go, but there's a nice 70 mining. Well, here we go. This is it. I have 6,000 more buckets of sand in there, so I'm going to withdraw them. You should have uh, plenty of buckets. Yes, please. I will take all, all that you've got. So there is 31,000 buckets of sand in the inventory, plus the 5,000 that I took out the other day. Puts us at 36,000, which should be more than enough for Paul to get 93 crafting, so... And just a few days after dying, there is all 36,000 buckets of sand completed. Now, I did some thinking, and I think it's not fair for me to get off easy. I was supposed to do 50k buckets of sand, but I only had to do 36. So instead of just being done, I added to my own forfeit. Right now, I'm level 70 mining. I need to get 72 for making friends with my arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish 70 to 72 mining at the gem mine in Shiloh Village. I'm then going to turn all the gems I get into expeditious bracelets, braces of slaughter, and amulets of chemistry. I'll put them in the, in the group storage for my teammates to use. And there it is. There is level 72 mining. Now, as you can see, we can now mine all of these different salts. And that is because 72 mining is a requirement for my arm's big adventure. So, with that then, we have mined all the buckets of sand... We've done 72 mining at gems. I'm going to go see how many gems we have in the bank now, but that is my second death forfeit completed. My debt is paid. Okay, so we have 743 opals, 414 jades, and 204 red topaz. Now, of course, I did mine a bunch of these gems as well. Uh, some of these may have been from, like, raids and whatnot, so I'm not going to worry about the amount of these too much. Uh, but what I'm going to do is because at my crafting level, I will probably break more of them than Paul will. I'm going to put all of these gems into the group storage. Um, so, you know, he can he can cut the regular gems just to speed up his grind a little bit if he wants. And then these ones, he's going to break far less than me. So I'll have him cut these and then he can give them back to me and then I'll make the bracelets from there. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. It was certainly an eventful video. Uh, unfortunately, we had uh, death number two. Well, I had death number two. Uh, and then the farmers got the Sarah Doman hilt, which is going to be really, really nice. Um, I'm planning on uploading this probably on Christmas Eve. Wow, okay, Shadow. I'm planning on uploading this video on Christmas Eve, so if you do celebrate Christmas... I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great one. I love you guys so much. Uh, the support has been immense on these uh, these group Iron Man videos, and I'm having a blast making them. So if you don't celebrate Christmas, I love you too. Don't worry. Have a great 24th and 25th of December just because. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. Okay, I'm pretty sure the fail rate climbing up this is very, very high. I gotta be tilted. God damn it! <laughs> I mean, I did say I, I did I did know it was gonna happen. Okay, all right. Once is enough. That's it. okay. Yep. That I got. I all right. This game sucks. Okay, here we go. Go south, then west, then north. Surely I got this. You just gotta, you just gotta dip, duck, dive, dodge, and. Dodge. No, you brat bastard. Okay, so we've got the wise old man in a coffin right now. Now, I'm being told 
to attempt to high elk the coffin? You sense the wise old man's disapproval. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. All right. Sit the fuck down, mother. Not my mother, but, you know, the mother troll. Yeah, you know. Now they do the Ancient Dance of Love, another fantastic reference by Mod Ash. The E-Dater Dance. And there we go. There is, uh, wait, I like the wordage of that. You have made friends with my arm. Very nice, so... I get a bunch of XP off of that, and of course, most importantly, we now have access to Whis and the herb farming patch over there. Uh, and another plus side is I can mine the salt and make the tellies. Uh, I'm assuming I have whatever requirements I need, so I'll probably go mine some salt and uh, put those portals in my POH. Alright, that should be it. This, uh, this whole salt mining thing always takes a lot longer than I think it's going to. I just want to say, if you mined enough salt to make the, uh, the portals in your portal nexus, you're actually a psycho. Alright, let me sip my tea so I can boost up to 50 and make a portal chamber. God, why does it cost 100k? My, uh, what is my hard-earned gold pieces? Okay, make the teleport focus and make the portal frames whilst I'm at it. Okay, please tell me it's going to allow me to use the basalt noted. Well, it, sh it has to, cause I you can't you can't bring a hundred with you unnoted. There's no way. Okay, where's it at? Weiss. Uh huh. And the second one we want. Troll stronghold. Hey, how good is that, man? That's gonna speed up our farm run so much. Now, if only I could actually use this shortcut, but it's still faster. So, after what happened last video, I am putting myself on strict no-Zolra quarantine. But that doesn't matter, because Curtis has been grinding Zolra like a madman. Obviously, now that he has a blowpipe and rigor, his Zolra kills are speeding up like crazy, and so is his luck. Give me the fang! Yes! Sup, Visage boys! Let's fucking go! <laughs> and obviously, what are you going to do with the Serp Helm? More Zolra. Hey, let's go! Holy! The last drop for the farmers. And now we are very, very powerful. And guess what a toxic trident is good for? That's right, more Zolra. Good tank in that kill. Oh, beautiful. With the Elite as well. So with Curtis's latest installment of Zolra, the farmers are now up to two blowpipes, two Serp Helms, and one Magic Fang. Of course, one of those Serp Helms will permanently go to Roydy, because he's going to use that Magma Mutagen on it, which will make it untradeable, but that is totally worth for the flex. Now, if you guys recall last episode, part of my death forfeit was I had to mine a whole bunch of gems while getting 72 mining, and I handed them over to Paul so he could cut them. Well, he got them cut, so I am going to make them into jewelry today. Well, with some cut gems, step number two, of course, is to make some silver bars at the old blast furnace. Well, I threw together a thousand silver... I feel like threw together is not a good description. I made a thousand silver bars, so... Now we gotta start making some bracelets. Oh, baby. So, I got them all put together, and I was about to go runecraft cosmics, but my boy Curtis hooked me up, so... Don't even have to craft the cosmics? Now let's do some enchanting. Oh, baby, there it is. There's the last amulet of chemistry. So we have 236 amulets of chemistry, 169 bracelets of slaughter, and 220 expeditious bracelets. Going in the group for the fellas. Oh no, they've, they've become separated. 
Oh, they're up there. Let me just... Let me just scooch those up there. Well, with all my bracelets and uh, amulets done, I think what I'm going to work on today is construction. My construction level is really lagging behind, and I got to get some upgrades for my POH. So, I am going to do mahogany homes today, which I've never done before. I'm actually kind of curious to see how it is. Genuinely a really, really simple concept. It's pretty much like Slayer Tasks. Uh... It's like, it's like Slayer Tasks, except for construction. So, I gotta go fix somebody's house in East Ardoon. So, then you go to their house, you go upstairs, you fix all of the broken stuff in their house, which, of course, gives you construction XP in the meantime. And there's a level already. There's 50 construction, which means we can now use Teak Plank, so the XP will get even faster. <laughs> yeah, it's... I've been lagging behind pretty bad, so that's why I'm doing that This today. is... This is big, Jordan. I know. I'm, You've I'm, made it. I'm finally gonna. <laughs> I'm finally gonna get a get around to making like at least like some of the pools today or something. Do you need some teak planks? I have like well, I have like I'm gonna make the logs into about 4k. That should take me pretty far, I think. So. Oh yeah, that'll be that'll be some time. Yeah, so I should be good. But yes, I'm finally upgrading my house today. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, I need to get on that as well because I'm behind on construction. We got to get up to the at least like the 72 pool. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be nice. Rather the 81, but from 72. Oh, Roydy's uh, jewelry box for Corp last night or the other day was so good. So nice. Oh, dude. Uh, yesterday, Curtis just camped himself inside his house and we were using his ornate pool plus his jewelry box. Oh. It was really good. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, I'm currently up to level 54 construction right now, which is a good start, but I am all out of teak planks, so now I gotta go turn my teak logs into planks, which, you know, of course, it's nice we have the POH method. Uh, you know, you can have your butler take him to the, the sawmill and it's nice and fast. The problem is, it's gonna cost a lot of money. Okay, last inventory of teak logs. So we got just over 3,800 planks. Bro, my cash stack is so sad. Literally, like, one week ago, I had, like, 7 mil. We are the big poor, man. Uh, but right now, I am level 54 construction. We will see how far these teak planks take us. Okay, I think the reward from this one should get me level 60 construction. Nice little milestone. Sweet. Well, I got a little uh, excessive points without even noticing. We're at 366 points, so I am going to purchase the plank sack. Now, I think the plank sack is, like, pretty nichely useful, but it's apparently very, very good specifically for mahogany homes. So, to my understanding, it works just the way you think it would. Like, you literally just fill it with a bunch of planks. So, that way you have to bank less frequently. Now, how many how many does it hold in total? I'm gonna guess, like, 28, probably. Yeah, okay, so it literally just holds 28 planks. And then, there you go. <laughs> you just bank less frequently. Indeed, there is level 70... Wait, that's 69. Fuck the clip, never mind, my bad. Well, I think I'm going to get started on making some of these POH upgrades. Uh, so first and foremost, I'm going to have to make the superior garden. We're going to have to we're going to have to move some stuff around here, which is which is fine. We'll figure it out. And then while we're here, we're going to build the rest of Wait, what did I forget? Oh, five buckets of water. Well, excuse me, game. Okay, I've got my five buckets of water. Now let's slap down the restoration pool and upgrade that to a stamina pool. You can't have noted po- God, this is pissing me off. Please, let me upgrade my pool now. <laughs> there we go. So this current pool will restore my special attack and my run energy, which is a good start. Well, I don't know how big of an XP drop I get when I hand this in, but I think... I think this is gonna be level 75. Maybe? Yes, it is. Give me my cup of tea to celebrate. And there we go. That's pretty much all of my teak planks used up, and that did get me to 75 construction. Well, considering I'm probably done with mahogany homes for a while, I better spend my points. Now, the the construction outfit 
really, really expensive. Like, I will literally never get the full set, so I'm not going to bother with individual pieces. The equipable saw, not all that good either, because... I mean, I, I, I wear a staff when I do mahogany homes. I'm just going to buy the supply crates. Uh, now, to my understanding, I think most of the time... Oh, you... They, they're not... No, you're trolling me. I think they give you... Eh, like some planks, but mostly soft clay, which I'm fine with, because I can use the clay to make tabs. Yeah, okay, 186 soft clay, some steel bars. Wow, that's actually way worse rewards than I thought. Holy shit. <laughs> it's better than nothing, but barely. Wow, that's terrible. Well, getting 75 construction definitely was a lot of mahogany homes, so... I was in the mood for some PVM. Uh, Curtis was gone that day, so Paul, Roydy, and I headed off to do some bandos. I'm sorry, Jordan, do you have a Man, cat you with a you? Cat? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he not responding? <laughs> he doesn't want to answer this for okay, some reason. So I'm, I'm really, really stupid. Here's what happened. I want to make my cat overgrown to make it into a Wiley. So I was like, oh, I'll just uh -huh. bring it with, no problem. But then I just realized I haven't even done the quest yet, so I actually need to stop it before <laughs> it gets overgrown now. Oh, gosh. I mean, you could get a new kitten and then do the quest with the kitten and keep the overgrown. True, Or you can yeah. keep the overgrown and get a new cat by raising it. True. Now that's a pattern with some chest hair. <laughs> yes. Ring yes. around the posy. I've always wanted Paul's sandwich in between us. It's finally out. Oh, I'm sorry, what now? <laughs> Too far. Someone Robin. Too far, baby. Ah, uh, okay. Not what we want. Oh, that's fucking gun yeah. sword shard too, man. I still need that shit on my main. <laughs> keep getting them. You know, it's it's better than nothing. The more shards, the more full blades we'll have someday. It's shit. Fair enough, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, you're, you're being too optimistic there. I had to even it out. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the God Sword Shard 2 was all we got. It was not a very long trip of Bandos, but it was nice to take a little break from construction and do some bossing. Uh, Thank well, you. We like PBM. tanking as usual, Memo? Absolutely. My pleasure. Sorry I got you beat up that one time. My bad. I was cheering you on. Well, good trip, gentlemen. Another yeah, good run. Good run. God sword, Another God sword shard to the stack. Jordan, can I just say your YouTube series is fantastic, dude? Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. I'm I'm still like two weeks out, so the the, the videos are not caught up, but I'm working on it. Uh, it's exemplary content, man. Keep it rolling. I appreciate that. It's the, the people seem to uh, really enjoy. Literally, the more clips of us just BSing, the better. Pretty much. <laughs> Fair. Has Curtis still been doing Zora? I think he's like one of the one of the half days out from getting his one thousand KC. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna Should have to. Stopping point. I suppose I'm just gonna have to chuck these recoil ring charges so I can put the ring back in. I did not think of that. Yeah. Did you put too many in? Uh, I think I put, like, 20 rings in, which is fine. That's no big deal. Yeah, we'll live. We'll live. Well, like I mentioned at the start of that Bandos trip, I wanted to grow my cat into an overgrown cat. The reason why is I need to turn it into a wily cat so I can get some spicy stews. I got 75 construction earlier, so now I need to boost that with spicy stews. To a, I think I need to get to like 80 so I can build the achievement gallery, and then I can make my very first jewelry box. But yeah, to get a wily cat, that means I have to do rat catchers. Yay, everybody's favorite quest. It really is. What? I, I, uh, that's so unfair! All I did was go up the thing, he just camping with spawn, bro, what? That's, that's fucked up. It is done, hello Felcrash, please let me finish the Rat Catcher's Quest. Got a little bit of thieving XP off of that, but of course, most importantly, we can now get a Wily Cat. But first, I need my regular cat to turn into Overgrown. 
I think it should be getting pretty close to overgrown, so... And I don't think there's a way to check, so... Wait, how old are you now? I'm not too old, not too young, I think I'm just right. Yeah, that's very helpful, thank you. Okay, whatever, I'll just... We'll wait and see. Should probably turn building mode on before I start doing this. Okay, preserve is on, and here we go. Oh my, no fucking way. No way! <laughs> First fucking try, bro. There's no way. There's no actual way I just did that on my first try. Oh my god, okay. Jewelry box, quickly, while I'm at it. What? <gasps> Not the steel bar, no! Oh fuck, hurry up. Uh, hurry. I have preserve on steel bar, I need 10 prey pots too. Go! I don't even think I need the plus five to build this stuff, but, you know. Oh, hustle up, Jordan. Jewelry box. There we go. Do I still have it? I do. Upgrade pool. Rejuvenate. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> First stew, man. No way. Well, whilst I'm upgrading my POH, I'm going to go ahead and build one of the Mahogany Demon and Mahogany Eagle Lecterns as well, so I can make my own house and Bones to Peaches tabs that I need to use Paul's house. And I think that's pretty much going to be it for house upgrades for me for a while. Of course, when I get my construction up higher, we can upgrade our jewelry box and our pool some more, but damn, this is finally coming together. Finally got some nice amenities. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. I do apologize there wasn't a ton of group PVM in this one, but, you know, obviously there's just some times where our schedules don't align the greatest, so we don't always get to do a ton of bossing together, but we made some pretty good gains on the personal end of our account, so if you guys did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. So as you guys saw a couple episodes back, due to my death at Zolra, I had to grind out 36,000 buckets of sand. And since then, Paul has slowly but surely been getting his crafting up. Gotta have this on. Oh man, that was a big grind, dude. That took some time. That was a big grind. Now, I've just realized I've actually never shown you guys a clip of any of our Zenites. So far, we have a total of four Zenite shards. Here's number one. There it is. There it is, baby. Give me that. Give me that. The boys aren't even on to see it, dude. The first Zenite Paul got, that got turned into a Ring of Suffering, which I can't find a clip of him making the Ring of Suffering, but, uh take my word for it, I guess. And then, the next two Zenite shards came in the most unlikely of ways, man. This shit is crazy. If you can't tell what's happening here, there is actually a multi-combat area for demonic gorillas. I, I think most people probably have never used it, they've just killed them on their Iron Man. But there is a multi-combat area for demonics, and they're really fun to kill in a duo, so Paul and Roydy were killing them really quickly this way. Dude. 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 <laughs> Alright. There's a number two, baby. There's number two. Let's go, Mr. Mammal. He sees it. Back to back. Dude! Back to back! Yes! <laughs> Yes! Yes! <laughs> Dude! So, they literally got back-to-back -back Zenites. I... The farmer's luck is just out of hand. And then, Zenite number four came from Mr. Roydy himself. Oh! <gasps> So like I said, the first Zenite got turned into a Ring of Suffering, and then, between the back-to-back -back and that one that Roydy just got, we have three extra Zenite shards, and Paul has been getting his crafting up, and he made them into Necklaces of Anguish. 
92. Hopefully it wasn't ruined. We can still attempt. Let's get here. Let's hop worlds. And guys, I will be right back. Wait, I'm just going to make one it? of these real quick. Just make sure I don't make more than one. But make one of these real quick. I'm going to go to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Yo, why did Foe just get three XP drops when he was making a piece of Zenite jewelry? What did he just do? Oh, no, he didn't make three, don't, did he? Don't tell me he had it on all. Oh, no. Michael Brenton bracelet, man. Child 30, thanks for the tier 2, 85 months, bro. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Consider it in the shared chest. Oh, it's going to be so fun to use. All right, I'll give it a spin. Test the true mm. power. I'm going to make your grind worth it. And so now, the farmers have one Ring of Suffering and three Necklaces of Anguish. The Ring of Suffering, of course, is good for Zolra, and I use it whenever I tank stuff like Bandos. And then the Anguishes are, objectively, compared to its previous best-in-slot variant, so name that a fury, the Necklace of Anguish is the single biggest Zenite upgrade, so that's huge. 131 Lizardmen. Oh, and we have Blowpipes now! Oh, and an anguish! Oh, this is gonna be so much faster. I'm actually really excited. Just gotta hit points level here at the old Lizard Man Shamans. There is level 88 hit points. I gotta say, compared to using a glory and a magic short bow, this blowpipe and anguish is just so much better, man. This is so much faster. Now, once I get my Slayer Helm soon as well, oof, we're gonna be slaying these things. Oh, baby, that's a beautiful milestone as well. There is level 80 Slayer. That actually unlocks pretty much my favorite Slayer task in the game, and that is Necreal. Oh my gosh, we're absolutely on a roll. Look at the fucking chat box. And I just got level 80 range as well, as well which gave us a total level of 1600. My god. In a matter of literal t seconds. We have 80 range, 80 slayer, and 16 on our total. We are on a roll this evening. Right, now that I'm 80 slayer, before I even get my next task, I am going to go ahead and extend Necreal. They are such good XP. Where are they at? Here we go. Next, please. Haha, <laughs> so clever. Oh, there it is. There it is. My very first demonic gorilla task. And 195 of them as well. Holy. May the Zenites be plentiful. You know, there's a list of things that you really don't want to see at Demonic Gorillas, and that's that's definitely on the list, yeah. Two dragon fruit seeds, which is worth like 400k, but uh, that's, that's pretty rare. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty rare. Hey, just before the end of the Demonic Gorilla task, there is an attack level. There is level 63 attack. I think I'm going to keep on doing attack until I get to 90, probably, so... And here it is, the last demonic gorilla of the task. It's looking unlikely that we're going to get anything, so... Unfortunately, a, a dry, inaugural demonic gorilla task. But I'm just glad I finally did one, you know? I'm finally on the board. The nice thing is we gained 79,000 Slayer XP. That's pretty sick. Oh, that's actually perfect. Okay, so I just got a Guthix Coif from a hard clue scroll. And I literally have... Actual full gothics now. Oh, that's sick. Come on, give me my other pieces. Oh yeah. I am kidding. I just I need I just need the dehyde shield now. Jesus. So between the blowpipe and the necklace of anguish, my lizard man shaman tasks have gotten infinitely faster than they used to be, but I can make them even better. If you complete the Core End and Kebos Hard Diaries, you can wear a Slayer Helm, and it'll still count as a Shazian Helm. So that means I can get the 15% bonus and not take any damage from the big poison splats, and I think today, I'd like to knock that out. But first, I do need to get my farming and my smithing up. Here comes a beautiful, bountiful farming level. There is level 70 farming. 
I, you know, I poison ivy bushes, not what I thought I was going to see. But with that, I should be able to boost up to 74 pretty easily for the achievement diary. So now I just got to get my smithing up. I'm starting my smithing grind at level 52. I need to get up to 66 and then I will get a plus four boost up to 70. Now, fortunately and unfortunately, smithing is really fast on an Iron Man if you do gold ore through the blast furnace. The unfortunately part of that is it's pretty expensive to buy gold ore, so the cash stack is going to take a hit, but there's just really no better alternative. Ah yes, the levels are rolling in. There is level 60 smithing, so we can now make a dragon square shield, which I believe is a Ardune hard diary requirement completed. I love Blast Furnace. I'm getting 316 KXP per hour right now, man. This is so good. Okay, here we go. Here is level 66 smithing. Now, of course, I am going to have to come back and get 70. But for the meantime, that should be plenty to boost up to 70. So let's go to the core end hard diaries. Okay, so stats wise, I'm good. But apparently I need to do Eagle's Peak for the core. <laughs> so let's go do Eagle's Peak real fast. Go on, little ferret. Get in there. Ah, get fucked, little guy. You're done for. There is Eagle's Peak completed, and now let's get on with the Achievement Diaries. There we go. Upon catching a bluegill, which I... Has anybody in the game ever actually done this activity? Like, does anybody actually do this? What, whatever this method's even called. Anyway, there's the medium core ends done. Got it. Quickly, make the Addy Bar. Thank goodness. Okay, now we gotta go boost our farming. Oh, the phone boys, we got a four-month resub from Meat Lo Oh my god, I got it. Literally first try, hurry up, go, go, go. I don't want your fertilizer! Oh, no! I'm... I, this is such bad man. <gasps> I lost the boost! Wait, okay, but that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I got the boost enough to get the seeds, so... Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Oh, plus five. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, no more boosting required. We're good. Okay, this is it. The very last step of uh, the core end hearts. I gotta cast Monster Examine on a Troll. Ha! Huh. 40 attack and defense, you noob! Okay, at least give me my reward. So, of course, the main reason I wanted to get the core end hard diaries done is I can now wear a Slayer Helm with my Shazian armor outfit, and it'll still count as a Shazian Helm. Of course, I'll throw my lamps on Herblore as well. There's another Hard Diary knocked out. And I almost forgot, there is one more added benefit of the Core End Hard Diaries, and that is the Ash Sanctifier. The Ash Sanctifier is literally like a Bone Crusher, but for ashes, so extra free prayer XP. Hey, there's a milestone level. There is level 80 magic. I apologize, my chat box is all messy because I hopped a bunch of times, but we are now bait. Well, mine is prayer. We're at least a base 80 in all of our combat stats. It's pretty clean looking, if I do say so myself. What? Bro, I. <laughs> I picked it up before I could record. I just got a fucking dust battle staff. What's the drop rate on that? I'm pretty sure a Dust Battle Staff, like, from a Dust Devil and not a superior, is super rare. One in a 4k! Oh my... Okay, well... I think that's our second one, which is good, because it's a useful staff to have, so... It'd be nice if we could eventually get one for each of us, but... Okay, and now a shield left half. Bro, what is this? <laughs> Last stack of Dust Battle Staff... Now this stack, I got a shield left half. You know, it'd be one thing if I had a ring of wealth on, but I don't. What the hell is happening right now? This task is wild. Oh, do you need those for a clue scroll or anything? I don't know if you do. I'm gonna hang on to them anyway, but they, they might be entirely useless. Other than for fashion scape, look at me, dude. I'm a beast. So, do you remember last episode when Curtis got a bunch of Zolda drops? Well, he had a crazy ass day at Zora again. Ain't gonna work. Oh! Oh! 20 gifted! Let's go! Woo! 
20 gifted. What a start to the day. <laughs> Better start getting those subs in, Bosch, man. Let's go. Who needs to have potted, man? <laughs> what a start, man. Oh, third sup. Boys, we are booming. Oh. One more to go. Oh my god. The team is going to be so happy with those, dude. Slayer bosses. Oh, blowpipe number three. Oh, whoa. That's the whole set in one day, boys. Whole set in one day. He's chiseling. <laughs> You're making us look terrible. <laughs> but only a mutagen. You'd admit. Oh! That's all four. Let's go. Set complete. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he got all of those drops in one a day. So we now have four serpentine helms which means that we each get one of our own, which is really nice. And then we have three blowpipes, so not quite one each yet. Somebody's going to get the short end of the stick. Uh, then we also have two magic fangs, which those toxic tridents are really nice for Olm's Mage Claw. Whoa. Yeah, you know what's, what's weird about Power Rangers? The Green Ranger had a dagger. It sounded like a flute. Or actually, it was a flute, but it sounded like a synthesizer. Hey, like, listen. Loki it sounded like a synthesizer that's trying powerful. to sound like a trumpet. And he blew the whole thing with his helmet on. Uh -huh. uh, I, 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 I don't remember this. It's like a little bit before our day. It's more for like late 20s, early 30s. I'm sorry, what? You didn't watch Power Rangers? When you... I oh, didn't watch a lot older of Power Rangers. Did. I didn't. Playing with a bunch of Zoomers. Rory looks like the leader now. We look at the bodyguards or something. Yeah. The red I, is the, I, maybe the we red. need to take a step back even. Shit, yeah. Surrounded. I drop Jordan over here. I am laughing so hard. <laughs> okay, that's unironically right, pretty funny. That's pretty funny. That's right? Did I miss something? Yeah, I dropped two planks. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. How rude. And hey, that was the same reaction you gave when Mamo died a second time. <laughs> I remember when Mammal died the second time, I wasn't watching per se, but I had it open and like I could see it in my periphery. And then I look and I see it and I'm like, did that just happen? Then I look at my own screen and I see the two out of four and I'm like, oh. Ah, yep. It just is what it is. Oh. <laughs> it was really just a little piece of me died knowing that I would have to field an additional two or three weeks of questions about Mammal and whether or not we take him <laughs> from the team. <laughs> that, that's honestly the worst part is like, like damn it no shut up it's like no we're no. not gonna kick my over the group no, he's a good player <laughs> thanks boys appreciate it every time i have to explain you, that man. we've all been chanced yeah we just got lucky we just spooned i had the exact same situation as aura where i was uh on the opposite press i tanked a um i think it was a range hit on like Mystics and 15 HP. <laughs> so that would have been the end of me. That would have been me on the scent. Oh, I, I think I've definitely lost like 50 followers this week for like flaming people that were flaming Jordan. <laughs> hey, I, I appreciate you having my back. You don't have to, but it's all good. I just, I have a very simple test. You are allowed to talk all the shit you want on Mammal in my chat if you can provide proof that you have a better hardcore Iron Man. That's yes. fair. So far, no one has done it. That is a, that is a fair criteria. White. 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 No. Mahogany planks and saltpeter. Dynamite also, myth. Also, mahogany planks and rubies. Gold ore toad flax. Not bad. Ooh. Good luck, fellas. Hi, Good luck, your chaps. chats. White. Nothing. White. White. 
No. 1.6k rune arrows and runo. It's okay. Quarms and torsals. <laughs> I, I hate the Guthix's dehyde because it legit just looks like you're rolling in here with a BCP and green dehyde chaps. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe Champion. I am. <laughs> you never know. Hey, there's a cool place to get a level. There is level 80 to attack. Not very, uh, not, not a milestone level or anything, but a level mid raid is always neat. Uh, speaking of which, I'm actually very close to a defense level as well, so. I'm gonna swap over to defense now. Good luck. Nothing. White. Oh, I got a dark relic. <laughs> Spoiler. Uh, white. Nothing. Dang, oh, I got a dark relic too, hey. Ooh. Easy, Abixby. Uh, we love dark relics. I could do one more chaps if you're done. Yeah, sounds good. Alrighty. We'll have one of each liaison from each guardian scab for us. Liaison. Not gonna lie, I juked myself and I was going the other way for scabs, thinking we were at the uh, the last combat room already. And then I realized. Jordan, your shoes untied. Huh? Acting like mammals, not a Velcro man. <laughs> It's true. Velcro gets all the chicks. Still can't unpicture the time that someone said that a D Warhammer looks like a D boot on a stick. Ever since yeah, then, it's the ruined it for me. I might heard that as well when someone said it. Now I can't unsee it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty accurate. Don't put it on because I've never seen that and I don't want to see that every time I look at it. <laughs> One, two, three. Mr. Owl, I don't recall telling you you could eat my fucking Tootsie Pop, you piece of shit, Owl. <laughs> I just, Thanks for I didn't getting expect the you to say that. that. So the, the kid just asks the Owl the question, how many licks does it take? And the Owl's just yeah, like, owl, he yoink? He very much takes it upon himself to eat the Right, Tootsie yeah, Pop. hey, let me, let me yoink your, your, your sucker, and then I'll be fine out for you, pal. Whoa. Sucker, you call them suckers. Oh, is that I a Midwestern that thing? That, but I've never actually heard anybody say. Oh that. no, actually, we call them suckers as well in the South. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I've I've always said sucker, not lollipop or whatever. It's also not called soda pop. You are correct. It's just called pop. It's Coke. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, I I accept judgment for saying pop. From soda sayers, but not from coke sayers. All coke is cola, but not all colas are coke. So you just say soda if you're speaking in broadest terms. Soda is everything like Coke, Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta, I guess. You have Actually, to ask for a Coke and then Fanta further today. clarify what you need. I would like a Sprite. Can I have a Coke, please? Is Pepsi okay? Is that all right if I don't pay? <laughs> <laughs> That's that so great. funny. Never heard that one. Of all types of soda, give me soda. Pepper. Uh not root beer, man. Uh, Hands down. Are you asking what your our favorite is? Yes. So I'm actually telling you what your favorite is. Uh, root root beer root, uh, uh, is okay. Oh, uh so I like Sprite, but like specifically the McDonald's Sprite is just totally different. It's on a whole nother level. Is is it? It 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 is. I swear to you, they put something in it. It's called sugar. Extra sugar, yeah. It's gotta be. What the fuck is an A and W restaurant? They have yeah, physical no, it's actually locations. A thing. They, they have like burgers and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they do. It's it's kind of comparable to like Hardee's or wait, what is that other place like Carlos Jr. or something like that? Carlos Carl Jr. <laughs> you don't have any of those in Maine. Carlos uh, Jr. It, it, it's it's I think it's Carl's Jr. It's it's not quite like it's not quite McDonald'sy. Carlos it's like a little bit Jr. better than that. It's it's like the the step above Carlos. but still shit. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. We're just going on about these American restaurants. Curtis is just fish and chips in it. <laughs> Oh, I like cheeky Nando's, yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, dude, I miss Nando's. Nando's is pretty good. That's overrated. I'll just get a KFC. Amazed by the selection. Yeah. Wait. Wait. 
White. White! No! Uh, no. Ooh, 214 teeth yeah, planks and 102 dark, dwarf. Really. Emeralds. Any torn prey scrolls for the boys? Nope. No torn and no tablet in 17 yet. Sad game. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> There's a strength pot on the ground right here. You know somebody accidentally brought that instead of a brew. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, no purples from raids this time around, but that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. This is my first upload of 2022. So I just want to wish you all a, a happy new year. Here's to another great year. I am uh, extremely blessed that I am still able to do what I love every single day. So thank you guys for a great 2021, and here's to bigger and better this year. If you, do, if you did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. We ended last episode at raids, and immediately after those raids, Curtis had to take off, but Paul, Roydy, and I hit up some corporeal beast. So, Mammal, the other day, I figured you might get a kick out of this. So, I bought, a couple months ago, I bought, um, there's these little, like, mouse toys that my cat really fucking loves. Okay. And so, I bought some, but the, like, the lowest quantity you can buy online is, like, a dozen. So, I bought oh. a dozen. And then I, like, hid them away, and I'll give Natalie, like, two or three at a time. Just give her a small rotation. Right. And then the other day... She brought me a mouse, and it seemed a little seemed a little pristine for the ones that she'd been playing with. And then, like ten minutes later, another one, and then another one. <laughs> it turns out she, she found where I kept her spare toys that I did not give her. She started bringing them to me one by one. She found the stash. Do they uh, do they jingle? Do they have like a bell in them or something? Uh, they make a little sound. There's no bell though. Oh, okay. Her favorite okay. thing to do is she will plop them in her water bowl because a toy oh. that's soaking wet is more fun than a toy that isn't. <laughs> Gross. So, My cats used to do that. Nice soggy mouse. Oh, good drop. All right. Uh, Jordan, you're, I, I'm done with you. You're timed out in my stream for 24 hours. What did I do? Oh, no. I don't know. So, someone paid $69 for that, so sit. Oh, hell yeah. Anybody want to time me out for that long in Roydy's stream I'll, I'll so we get him some money too? <laughs> I'll say all kinds of mean stuff in Roydy's chat. I'll do what I gotta do. Neat. Beautiful. Ooh. Big elk. Hello. Good. That helps pay for the onyxes. I swear I just heard this dude Fuck say everything about that Scooby Doo movie on the island with those abomination monsters. Wait, wait, wait. Are, are we thinking of the one with the, the sisters in the, in the band? Sisters? Or the, 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 ring a bell. the witches? And they, they were in a band? I'm talking about the one where they're like on an island and it's... and there's like a... Scrappy-Doo is in like a monster suit or something, but the monsters are fake but also kind of real. That's just a guy in a mask. Do you mean like the live action movie? Yeah. Oh, like okay. Chad is saying that Mothers Un yep. oh, Monsters Unleashed. I thought he said Mothers Unleashed. I was like, wow, that sounds. Well, the monsters from that movie were just disturbing in every way, shape, and form. You know what I loved was the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies, the live action ish ones. Oh, dude, yes. Those were my favorite as a kid. Oh, he's, he's smiting it. He's smiting the sigil. Just got level 81 defense mm, here at bad. Corporeal Beast. What a day of interesting levels. We get a we get an attack level at raids earlier, and now a defense level at Corp. Love it. Unfortunately, we did not get any other major loot from Corp, but with that, I would like to move on to my next main objective, and that is to do the sins of the father, or as I'd like to call it, the wrongdoings of daddy. Completing Sins of the Father will give me access to Darkmire, and more importantly, Day Alt Essence. Day Alt Essence gives you 1.5 times the regular XP while runecrafting, and as I've been continuing to do more hard achievement diaries, I'm gonna have to get my runecrafting up, and I like to do as little runecrafting as possible. Now before I can do Sins of the Father, I do need to get my fletching as well as my woodcutting up, and do a bunch of questing I haven't done yet, so let's get to it. 
So, I have an update regarding fletching. I didn't actually record any of it because I'm a bad video maker, but I, uh, I was AFKing while watching a movie, and I turned all of the mithril and steel bars that I got during uh, my gargoyle tasks, well, I turned them all into dart tips. So, now, I'm going to make them into darts. I'm really hoping making these steels will get me to the level for mithril, but I, I might be a bit short. Oh, what a shame. I'm 51 to fletching, but I'm gonna be just short. Ah, uh, I gotta find some alternative way to get the rest of 52. Okay, there we go. I, uh, I made some mithril arrows, and now we can make mithril darts. Well, there's all the mithril darts thrown together. That got me less XP than I anticipated, but we're up to level 55 now. Now, I think at level 53, I unlocked the ability to make broad arrows. Oh, 52. So, uh, I'm gonna go buy the ability to make broad arrows because any fletching I need to do from here on out, pretty much, broad arrows is the move for Iron Man anyway. Okay, I finished up my fletching underwater, so I grabbed some seaweed spores in the meantime. And there is level 60 fletching. All I need to do now, for Sins of the Father stats requirement-wise, is to get 60 to woodcutting, which that should not take long. Okay, we should be getting level 62 woodcutting in just a moment here, and that then should be all of the requirements, again, uh, stat requirements done for Sins of the Father. I do still have lots of questing to do, but I will get that done. Uh, great. Uh, you know what? I'm putting it in the video. Fuck it. Damn, boy. Damn, boy! He's thick, boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Okay, the first quest of three is now completed. When I hand this in, that'll be the Darkness of Hollow Vale done. That was less bad than I remember it being. Next up after the Darkness of Hollow Vale is A Taste of Hope, which does have a boss fight at the end. It's pretty easy, but I had a bit of a scare. Bro... What the fuck is this lag spike? Oh my god, bro. Thankfully, I didn't fully DC, and I was able to tell you out. Uh, I think after that, I checked, and I was on, like, a German 1250 total level world. I have no idea why. So, I, I it was actually just me being on a shitty server, so it, it was all good. You see what I'm saying, though? He, he kind of he dances, you know? He's got, like, the moonwalk feet going on. And there we go. There's a taste of hope completed. And now, time for the wrongdoings of Daddy. Okay, I always remember absolutely hating this part of the quest, so... Uh, let's see if I can do it right on the first try. Oh my, bro. How do, what do you mean? How do you not see me right now? <laughs> Hello? The Sins of the Father final boss fight is no joke. If you've done it before, especially on an account with lower combat stats, you would know it is no walk in the park. Luckily, my combat stats are pretty decent and my gear isn't half bad either. The main thing about the final boss is you just have to make sure you don't take any damage that you can avoid taking. He's got lots of special mechanics that if you mess him up, you'll get hit for like 50 damage. So as long as you avoid those, you're typically going to be good to go. There we go. Easy peasy. It's it's like it's really not a bad boss fight as long as you don't take damage from the special attacks, which if the special attacks hit you, they they do a ton of damage, so it can get it can get difficult to have enough food if you get hit by like the the darkness one and shit, but And now Oh! No! I clicked away! Hello? Alright, there is Sins of the Father completed. That is a very big quest to get done. Of course, we can now access 
Darkmire, and uh, let me use up this Tome of Experience. It should get me a herb lore level, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you get to use it more than one time. That's sick. Oh, I'm going to get two herb lore levels off of this. That's beautiful. Okay, now, of course, being able to access Darkmire has multiple benefits. So first and foremost, I'm probably going to unlock Vampire Tasks. Uh, sorry, not Vampire, Vire Watch Tasks. These fellas drop the Blood Shard, which we can use to make a Blood Fury. I can also do the Hollowed Sepulchre now as well, which, you know, at my agility level, I don't really think is worth doing, but I love the Sepulchre, so I'll definitely be doing it someday. And probably what will benefit me the most in the short term, and hell, even in the long term, is Day Alt Essence. Day Alt Essence gives you literally double XP while runecrafting. It's not always necessarily efficient to use it, but I love it because, well, it's, it's less time spent actually runecrafting, and that's always a win. So, there's Sins of the Father done, and I'm excited to have some new stuff to do in Darkmire. Hey, there's a milestone, and there is level 85 attack. Here at the old bear inspectors. Now, realistically, I probably should continue training attack up to 90, but nah, I think I'm going to keep my attack and defense balanced, so I'm going to swap to defense now and uh, get that to 85, I suppose. Oh, hey, there we go. Uh, I don't know what my kill count at Karasks is up to, but I've done quite a few tasks and I finally got my first leaf plate of battle axe. I want to say that's number three for the team, so one more and we can each get all of our own. Not that it's an issue. I I don't think we've ever had a day where we were like, no, I want to use the leaf plate and battle axe, but yeah, you know, one for each would be good. There we go. My very first Necreal task that I can actually burst. My first Necreal task was in the tower only, so this one I can burst now. Oh, Baby, how good is that? 290 Necreal, 60,000 Slayer XP. God, oh, and next task is 150 as well. Oh, my. Oh, baby, that was, okay, that was an incredible Dust Devil task. I got seven Brimstone Keys. Three are on the bank right now, but seven Brimstone Keys. 270 Slayer points, 41k Slayer XP. I'm close to a magic level. God, I just, I just love it. I love this game, it's so good. Okay, now I got all excited about my seven brimstone keys, but watch the watch the loot be god awful. That's how that goes. Okay, a rune play body, bad start. Iron ore, pretty bad. Rubies, not great. Rune plate legs, okay. I fuck it. Rubies, I told you. Alright, that's not bad. That's a good bit of money. Okay, the sharks are good, thank god. Oh, hello. 205 lizard men. Okay. I'm actually really excited. First time being on task, blowpipe, necklace of anguish. I feel like I'm going to rail these things. There's a slayer level mid shaman task. There is level 82 slayer. Of course, don't unlock anything there. One more level we can kill spiritual mages though, which is neat. At the moment, Curtis is on a Calphite Slayer task, and he's been doing some solo KQ to try to get Wines of Zami for ranging pods, and we figured, well, we may as well join you and speed this up. Um, are the two of you gonna, like, BGS bonk it? Should I, like, make a Hasta then, maybe? Uh, I had not considered that. I guess, it. well, if enough spec drain, or enough defense drains hit, you can probably just use whatever. Yeah, that's true. I was thinking a leafy, but uh, the leafy, the leafy. Also, though. the barracks. Oh, ooh, that's tempting for nostalgia. If you want to kick it old school, yeah. <laughs> I might. <laughs> I might. Hey, Iron Man, go kill two hundred and fifty-six KQ to unlock the one tolerable means of getting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This long run around is pretty gross. Right, lads, I've had some stuff pop up. Unfortunately, that I need to go sort. Well, I'll have to head off for the day. That is all oh, right. No. That's fine, though. <laughs> yeah, I had some banks we'll to fuck up. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll do some more car fight queen then if you're down. Peace I'll out. I'll be doing it probably most of the day. All right, peace, boys. See you later. So, Roydy and I decided, well, we're already here. We may as well go do a few kills. And I gotta say, after only soloing Calfight Queen for as long as I can remember, doing it in a team is really nice. I think at some point, if we get all four of us to KQ, we could, like... I mean, we could be killing Calfi Queen in like 20 seconds, hop to the next world. That could be beautiful. Oh, just what we want. Oh, that's beautiful. I actually got a uh, drop of that as well. So I've got 120 now.
Oh, Easy sick. reboot. All right, I'm pretty out. I am also out. Better go bank. I think that'll bring an end to today's KQ now without our on-tasker. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Hey, we got some wines of Zami. We're good to go. We could always do a little corp, though. We could. We certainly could. Now we actually have the equipment now because <laughs> foe put it back in. <laughs> yeah, true. That'll speed it up a lot. I'll put the wines in the shared if you want to grab them right away. On to the BGS. Okay, you can start thumping him. What did you just say? You can start thumping him. As thumping! In, yep, that bop, got it. Bopping him with a, <laughs> with a BGS. <laughs> what do you think I said? I heard a clear as day, you can start humping him. I'm like, well, I mean, okay. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but... <laughs> if you insist, I will, but... Fun fact, I have never seen a sigil. I don't think I've ever even seen an elixir, but I've never seen a sigil, even an RS2. Damn, that's crazy. We gotta get you one, then. I did a, a small sample size of corp on my original hardcore, like 140. Yeah. But ever since then, I've been trying to make it back to Corp as a way of, like, maxing an Iron Man from, like, base 90s because of the XP multiplier. Oh, yeah, And then my fair. last one died to a DC when I was just a shard one away from going, and my oh. current hardcore is a shard two away from going. <laughs> so, fingers crossed. Yes, no DCs this time, and then the game... Oh, yeah. That'll do. That'll Beautiful. Do. Oh, my god! Man, we're killing it. We're raking in the money today, damn. I have a, a 10 mil cash stack and now three stacks of Onyx Bolts. Oh my god, you're loaded. <laughs> Can I just say, I, I always appreciate you providing and understanding the uh, the Spongebob quotes. It's just, it's the most quotable show of all time. And it's just, some people, it just, it, it doesn't stick with them and I don't get it. Oh yeah. If I ever quote Spongebob and then have to clarify that I'm quoting Spongebob and the person I quoted it to is like, oh, wasn't allowed to watch that growing up. I'm like, you poor bastard. <laughs> I know, I know. What a terrible childhood. And it's crazy if you watched a lot of Spongebob, you, you find that there are a lot of quotes that apply to so many parts of life. Like, I was pretty recently... Pretty 24 hours a day. Yeah, pretty much. I was recently discussing how I need to get a, a leaf blower... And I can't talk about a leaf blower without thinking of the episode where Squidward moves to that community and they hit him with the, he's playing with a leaf blower. <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> it makes me laugh every time. <laughs> so Corp is pretty exciting either way, but I decided to up the ante a little bit. And on my Twitch stream, there's a thing called predictions where people can vote with these arbitrary channel points purely for fun, right? Well, the prediction I had was who was going to get the last hit on the boss, me or Roydy. Come on. All right. Come on, Pet. No, oh, it's going to be him. Pet. Oh, we, <laughs> we both hit zeros on one HP. Well, that's not the bolts I wanted, but... I was thinking when next comes out, we'd probably be benefited if we all, uh, if we did it as a group on our mains to build that synergy and get that early content. That is true, actually, yeah. We'll have to, I guess, gauge how difficult it's actually going to be, if it'll be doable on our groups right away or not, but. Oh, yes. Yoink. Excellent. And two onyx bolts and cannonballs, all for me. <laughs> A very good yield. And that was it for our corp session for the day. A couple of onyx bolts, which if you don't know, the stack of onyx bolts elks for about 1.7 mil. And uh, those cannonballs are great for Slayer as well. So corp definitely has some very good regular loot, even if we haven't gotten any sigils yet. Uh, and on that note, I am going to go ahead and call it a video there. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give the video a like, and I will see you all soon. Now, I talked about this last episode, but one of the main benefits of having Sins of the Father completed is I can now access Day Alt Essence, and I'm going to go ahead and put that to use. I'd like to complete the Fremnic Exiles quest, so I can start going for Basilisk Jaws, but before I can do that quest, I need to get my runecrafting up, so let's collect some Day Alt Essence.
Well, I've only just done Sins of the Father today, and I'm already taking advantage of Day Alt Essence. Uh, I think with what I've got right now, I've got just over 6,000 Day Alt Essence. If the ZMI calculator that I use is accurate, that should be enough Essence to get me to 55 Runecrafting, which is the level required for the Fremnik Exile. So, I am going to talk to this lady. Uh, I think you just talk to her, and then she'll convert my shards into Essence. Right, could you convert some shards for me, take all six, six, hello, 6,020 please and thank you, and now, we train runecrafting. Alright, there's a big milestone, there is level 50 runecrafting, which means that we can now use the large pouch, so I should get a pretty nice boost in XP per hour, uh, right now, getting about 45k an hour, which is still pretty good for level 50. Okay, I'm pretty sure once I empty these pouches and use them, I should be level 55 room crafting. Beautiful. Okay, uh, I think we should have all the requirements done now, so let's go do the Fremnik Exiles. Easily, I would say my favorite dialogue of any quest ever. Your pet rock stares deeply into your eyes. Any second now, I'm gonna lower this rock into the geyser and boil it. Your pet rock looks sad. You stroke your pet rock one last time, and reminisce about your previous adventures. And there is the Fremnik Exiles completed. We get a little bit of XP in some of our stats. And of course, most importantly, we now can access Basilisk Knights. Which means we can go for that Basilisk Jaw. What is that guy's gear? What are we wearing? An Adamant Plate Body G, a Rune Med Helm, Rune Boots. What in the... How, how is this person completed since the father? Well, I'm finishing up my very first Firewatch Sentinel task. You know, the loot really wasn't all that bad. Got some death and blood runes, some rune bars, a little bit of GP. Although I didn't get a blood shard, which, I don't know, must be a glitch. I don't, I don't understand. And before I grab my next task, let me unlock the ability to be assigned Basilisks. I almost bought Reptile Freezer, man. I almost did. By the way, my dogs are playing behind me. You can probably hear it. I apologize. Uh, where is it at? Unlock. Basilocked. Konar, Duradel, and C will be able to assign you Basilisks. Okay. That's actually a nice item to get. We can use that for, uh, for Sarah Gob Wars. It's a useful, uh, well, it, it's got a lot of good range bonus, and of course it counts as a Zami item, so we'll take a Zami Coif. There it is. My very first Basilisk task after completing the Fremnik Exiles. Let's go get a jaw. I, I probably won't, but how good would that be? Well, if I'm going to be killing Basilisk Knights, you need to use a crush weapon, and I reckon the best crush option I've got is probably to use a Zamoraki in Hasta, so. Oh, minus 300k, but it's, it's just it's got to be done. As I'm sure most of you know, Basilisk Knights are not very fun to kill. They have a ton of hit points and relatively high defense, so they just take a really long time to kill. Now you can either kill them with melee, which is faster, or you can AFK them with range, which is significantly slower and uses more prayer pots, but it's AFKable, so I'll probably do a bit of a hybrid, you know, if I kill them on stream or melee, and if I'm doing stuff off stream, then I'll just range him in AFK. Sit, we got him. For a rune axe. Woohoo! Oh baby, a big milestone there. We just got level 90 hit points. Holy, that's good. The more hit points levels I get, the better I feel about corp. Because I swear to God, every time we do corp, I get so scared I'm gonna die. So. The higher my hit points level, the better.
Like I mentioned before, I'm going to be doing a hybrid of melee and range for my Basilisk Knight tasks, and I did most of the task with melee, but because they take so damn long, I didn't quite finish it. Well, the next morning, before I started my stream, I AFK'd them with range, and I finished up the task on stream, still using range. Alright. WHAT?! LAST KILL OF THE TASK?! LAST KILL! DUDE! LAST Yo. KILL OF THE TASK! Wait, what'd you get? The jaw! Oh. No way! <laughs> yeah, Ooh, I couldn't see it because of the friggin... Up winning. <laughs> Last see. kill of the task, I swear to God. Oh no my. way! Oh, yeah, came out of nowhere. Oh, oh my big God. moves. Look at these moves in the last five minutes. <laughs> Holy the shit, that's <laughs> insane. <laughs> Yo, big grats. No way. Farmers win again! Yes! Bro. No, no fucking way. I don't even have my recorder oh, open. I'm gonna have to tassets. use it. I'm gonna have to use the Twitch clip. And we push for that 95 Slayer Ferocious Gloves. Oh, oh my god, dude. Dude, yeah, look at that chat box. Look at this. Rotary Tiller, Song of the Elves, Cattle Farmer, Basilisk Jaw, Plowing, Song of the Elves. Holy. So, that's right, I got spooned a Basilisk Jaw at 187 kill count, but at the exact same time, Curtis and Roydy duo ran Song of the Elves. So that was like a crazy 30 second sequence right there. I got the Basilisk Jaw, and then Roydy and Curtis both got Song of the Elves done. Pretty much the highest level requiring quest in the entire game, so... Damn, dude, so good. Okay, Olaf the Bard, take a look at this beautiful basilisk jaw. Why you have to, like, confirm with him before you can make it, I, I don't know, but... Attach the jaw to the helmet. And there we go. The first need-is-not-face guard of the farmers. That's beautiful. Uh, that's... Are they the same drop rate as, like, everything else? The harpoon and stuff? <laughs> 179 black demons. I got a bassless jaw earlier today. Surely we get a Zenite as well. Surely. Oh, baby. Today is my fucking day, man. We are like six demonic gorillas into the task. Woo, today is my day. Let's go. I have 175 demonics left. Dude, we could very easily get another one. There's n We easily could get another one. Fuck yeah. Hey, there's a Slayer level coming in. There's level 83 Slayer here at the old Demonic Gorillas. You know, that's actually kind of a nice Slayer level because... In the future, when we do more Sarah Gabors, now I can kill the Spiritual Mages, uh, which should definitely speed up kill count as well. That is actually a good idea. That, that would make it fuck off. Boom, baby! Come on! Two Zenites and one task. What a fucking day, man. What a fucking day. Basilisk Jaw, two Zenite shards, man. Come on. Oh, God, you love to see it. I've got 21 demonics left as well. Maybe we get a third. You just never know. That's beautiful. And this will be the uh, demonic gorilla task finished up. Two Zenite shards. Very, very happy. I got a range level. I got 72k Slayer XP. I almost have a strength level. What a great task. Hey, beautiful. There is level 85 defense. Ooh, and a total level of 1675. I think 65 defense is probably good enough for now. Uh, I'm actually gonna tr I'm gonna put my whip on controlled because I'm very close to a strength level right now Okay, I hated that and I do not want to do it ever again. I d I literally just did 16,000 strength XP to get level 91 right there via Shared on whip and I hated it. I hated every I, I don't know how people train on shared I just I'm, I'm too mentally weak. It's too slow, but it's a strength level cool. 190 basilisks, Jesus. That's a thick task. Well, we got one jaw for one task. Let's get a second jaw on our second task. Well, that's not what you want to see at all. So, there is a, a separate drop table that the basilisk jaw is located on. It has the 
white Mystic Hat, the jaw, and the Basilisk head. So, Mystic Hat bad. God damn it. <laughs> that got me a little bit. As I mean, hey, you know what? It's construction XP. It's fine. It's construction XP. Oh! Yo, I can actually use these! Oh, finally an ornament kit that's actually relevant to me. Dragon Boots ornament kit. Now, I tell you what. If I didn't look like a champion before with the weird mix match gear we have, I'm, I'm definitely a champion now. No doubt. Well, I tell you what, between the Jaw and the Zenites, that is quite a bit of personal gains. Uh, now for some group content. So, at this time, uh, I believe Paul was taking a road trip down to Texas, and I think Curtis was busy traveling to or from the Netherlands, one of the two. Uh, so there was a stretch of like four or five days there where it was pretty much just me and Roydeon, so we just did a whole lot of corp together. My chat brought up the idea of a, a farmer's words per minute typing contest. Do you know what you type, roughly? You're These testing. days, I don't know. But if you had to go up against like a 10-year-old me, you'd be, you'd be in for it. <laughs> That's fair. I'm like, not great. I have, I have some very gross typing traits. If I do stuff like, let's say my RuneScape password, things that I type very frequently, I kind of peck it. I just like, I use my two index fingers. I do that fingers. for everything. Do you really? I yeah. only use, I use like three fingers on each hand. Yeah. But my, my absolute worst typing sin is if, let's say I'm capitalizing the first letter of a word... I turn caps lock on. I already know what on. you're going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I do the thing. Or at least I used to. I'll do like half and half these days. Yeah. I caps lock and then turn it back off. I even remember, so I'd already been playing RuneScape for like a year or two. And then in like, must have been like fifth grade, we had some little like two day partial typing class as part of our ordinary class segment. Yeah. And the, the lady who was teaching it was like, well... You don't necessarily do what you're supposed to, but I'm not going to change it because you type fast as shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, yep. yeah, that's that's RuneScape. I mean, that's we, we I feel like most of us learn how to type proper. Well, not properly, but like quickly through RuneScape. Well, yeah, I used to be able to keep a merchanting message up perpetually. Like if you type it fast enough, it never goes away. That's gaming. E Squire. Duo Halo campaign series. You down? Oh, that'd be <laughs> so sweet, actually. So I, sadly enough, when I when I first got an Xbox, all my friends played COD, and so I only played the Halo campaigns for the first time ever last year. So they're very new to me. Really? Yeah. I, we, I, uh, we, my family got an Xbox, like, the Christmas that it came out, and Halo obviously came with it. Yeah. Yeah, I got my Xbox when Modern Warfare 2 came out, so I was always just a, a Call of Duty kid, but... But unfortunately, co-op not until late next year, I'm told. Oh, Curtis sad. is big on Halo too, though, isn't he? Doesn't he like have a Master Chief costume? Yes, Halo. I think Curtis loves Halo. Speaking of co-op stuff, I think what would be real content is I don't know how you would divide the groups, but we we separate the farmers into two groups of two, and we see who can complete Portal Two co-op more quickly. That could be... Believe it or not, I've never played a Portal game. They are really fun, but would certainly be frustrating at times. I probably would have gone into professional Call of Duty had I seen that as, like, a realistic thing for one to do at the time. Yeah. But, you know, like, pro gaming and content creation back then was, like, kind of sketch. Yeah, but it I wasn't... was, like, a world-class Call of Duty player. Were you really? I was super, super fucking good. Hell yeah. The kind of like, you can only be so good, and then it really just comes down to like map knowledge and cheeky lines of sight and stuff. Exactly. But like I was mechanically as good as one could be. I, uh, I was, I was definitely a little FaZe Clan fanboy, so I, I wish I had footage, but I, I would say I am self-proclaimed back in Modern Warfare 2. I was, I was a wizard at quickscoping. I did, I did a hell of a lot of quickscoping. 
See, my Xbox red ringed like a month before Modern Warfare 2. So I played World at War and that was my favorite game. Oh. And then I just went right to Black Ops and then played up until th- up and through Black Ops 2, then I quit. Yeah, I I haven't gotten the last few Call of Duties. I think I'm I'm just maybe pa- I'm over them. Um I'm past the interest in Call of Duty. I played a little Cold War and the pub match balancing they do is super scuffed to where it's like almost not even fun. It's like it's too balanced to where you can't really have a good time. Yeah, exactly. It, it the skill based matchmaking is really irritating. Like like if we're gonna be honest, that's what everybody wants. You want to be able to go into a lobby and just be down on some people sometimes. But if it's always skill based matchmaking, you don't really get that chance. It's not usually. Bro, I loved. Battlefield 3 was my shit, yep. but Battlefield 2 was my real sweetheart. I did not play the 2. The thing with Battlefield 2, and only people who played the game will understand, but like... So the Battlefield rank- Battlefield 3 ranking system upset me greatly, because like you would get to Colonel, and then you would just forever be a Colonel. Yeah. But Battlefield 2, to to be a general, in any case, Brigadier, Major, Lieutenant, or General... To have that rank, the requirements for that were so fucking steep that it was just downright difficult to do. Yeah. Like, even by modern standards, to be a general, or maybe a lieutenant general, you had to be the top player in the game, in the world, for that month Holy. to have that rank. That's insanely steep. Jesus. Yeah. So you had to, like, upkeep it almost. And just like all the be- the ribbons and medals you needed to be any type of general were so demanding. Oh yeah, see now that but that's that... what made it fun because you could look at someone with that rank and be like, I want to be that way. Yeah, like that's the kind of stuff that's gonna make somebody addicted. My BGS is very lacking right now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I got very very addicted to uh, to Black Ops too. Because I was obsessed with getting diamond camos on everything. So, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, it's easy to get addicted when you have those huge goals that require, you know, hours and hours. Just like RuneScape. It's always a fun journey until you end up on, like, the fucking dragon of and you gotta do a, a yeah. thousand headshots or something. The riot shield or, yeah, just infuriating. Yeah, I never, I never played Modern Warfare 2 until... I, I got the game after the fact because I think there was some achievement for like Black Ops 2 where if you'd prestiged in Modern Warfare 2 or in all the other games, you would get something. But oh, okay. I only did it then when the lobbies were all scuffed and I got like insta boosted to 10th prestige. <laughs> yeah, you got but, the. But from what I've heard, most everybody's recollection of Modern Warfare 2 is through rose tinted glasses. And yeah. at the time when they would actually play it, it was just like blood pressure increase simulator. Yeah, that that's I completely agree. So it's my favorite Call of Duty, but like I will gladly admit there is definitely some nostalgia factoring into that because it was it was busted in a lot of ways. All the commando knifing and the one man army noob tubes and stuff. But it is I still stand by the statement. I think Modern Warfare 2 was my favorite and the most fun because they they did the formula where if everything is OP, then nothing is OP. Like, all of the guns True. were at least semi-viable, and it made it fun, because you had variety. Yeah, and then Black Ops 2 was kind of the same, but different, in that there was a lot of viable options, and it was a very clean game from a competitive standpoint. Like, yeah, there's for so sure. many different combinations. Modern Warfare 3 was very clean, but it was also very boring, because the meta was like three guns. Yeah, it was those... uh what were those little secondary akimbo pistols? The machine- Oh, I can't think of the name of them in Modern Warfare 3. They were crazy. And Black Ops 1 was just a big experiment. Like, have fun, kids. <laughs> we'll see yeah. what happens. When, when I, think, I of... think Black Ops 1, I think of Summit. My, my mind always goes to the Summit map. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. When I think of Black Ops 1... I I just think of the commando. Oh, another Ooh. so beautiful. You are going to have quite the cash stack, my friend. Also, I distinctly remember from my brief Modern Warfare 2 experience that sometimes 
you would call in an AC-130 and it would just be like glitched to where you could only aim out of the perimeter of the map and kill nobody? Oh no. I don't remember that, truthfully. Uh, I was Maybe more of a- you just didn't get as many as I did, so you didn't know. I mean, that truthfully, probably. I was- I was- I played it a lot, but I was kind of a shitter. I do remember there was, at one point, an AC-130 glitch where- or no, 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 it was a javelin glitch. So uh, the javelin was the, the, the lock-on rocket launcher secondary. And there was a glitch where if you ran around with it equipped, on death, it would drop the javelin missile right where you were standing. So you literally could just run into a group of people and just suicide bomb repeatedly. It was... And it didn't get patched for the like longest heard time. That. To me, my my one big pet peeve across all of Call of Duty that would just boil my blood is people who would... So I played on tactical layout, as all good gamers did, of course. But, like, if you didn't, then what was... Knife button was stick by yeah, default. Yeah, you would, and it was you would press tactical. down the right stick, yep. And there was this type of player, the lowest cast of human being, the kind of person... Oh, shit, I just turned Prey Mage off called panic knifers where like if you were <laughs> rounding a corner and you came across each other at once they would like clench up on their controller and yep. click their stick and just knife the fuck out of you <laughs> not because they meant to do that purposefully but just because they panicked and they and just I hated those people so much yep yeah it was infuriating i think the whole one hit knife system was was a little bit silly anyway and of course i, I don't think there's been a one hit knife in call of duty games for a long time but yeah, no, it was... Oh, and then drop shotters as well. Drop shotting was one of those things where I was like, okay, I can't fault you because it's smart and it works, but, like, also fuck you yeah. at the same time. Had a uh, school friend turned me onto the drop shot back in World at War days. MP40 on Dome. Oh, God. MP40 juggernaut. Oh, God. <laughs> mm, Rune Idol, I think. Pet. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Excellent day. Okay, Roydy, we're asking we're asking big questions here. <clears throat> if you are in your own home and all you do is take a piss, do you wash your hands afterwards? Of course not. I got a clean dick. Thank you. It's not like I'm like helicopter and then getting pee everywhere like it's I, I, I feel if anything my my hands are my hands are dirtier than my dick would be I, I feel like logically almost definitely yeah and we get oh baby nice. damn so yesterday you got cannonballs and bolts and now it's my turn I guess <laughs> And that was all the loot we got from Corp. So that was a couple of days of sessions. And uh, hey, we both got some cannonballs. We both got some Onyx Volt C. It was uh, pretty fruitful for the both of us. Uh, there was obviously a big conversation about Call of Duty. Hopefully it's nostalgic and relatable for a lot of you. Uh, some of you, if you didn't play Call of Duty, probably didn't like it. But uh, that's, I guess it is what it is. Uh, on that note, I am going to call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave it a like. And I will see you all soon. So this is really random, but I, uh, I'm i in the middle of doing the Lumbridge Achievement Diaries, and I had to come to Al Karid for some stuff. And here I find a Crash Star just chilling outside the bank. And with that, I now have over 2,000 Stardust. Now, if you don't know, with 2,000 Stardust, I can get... So, somebody's probably watching this and like... You didn't finish mining it, bro. No, okay. All I wanted was the 2K. I'm gonna go buy this ring. Okay, I think he's over here. Yeah, Dusuri. He has the uh, the Stardust shop, and I'm going to buy the uh, I don't know the name of it. The Celestial Ring for 2,000 Stardust. Now, I'm probably going to be using it uncharged. What it does uncharged is it gives you an invisible plus four mining boost. Which is literally just, like, a free way to succeed your mining more often. Now, if I have extra Stardust and I charge it up, it can give you a chance to get double the ore, which is pretty cool, but I have no intentions of, like, upkeeping the charges, so I'll probably just rock it this way.
Okay, got a plus four rune crafting boost up to 59, and that is double cosmics crafted. Beautiful. I think I've only got a few steps left to go now. Uh, let's see. We've got pick a belladonna, which I've got that planted and growing, and then get a slayer task from Shalbar. I'll have to finish my current slayer task first, so that'll be a little bit. Okay, so I just finished my Slayer task, and that means I can get a task from Shaldar, and that will be the Lumbridge Mediums completed. All I ask is give me something either good or easy. <laughs> that is not what I had in mind. I am definitely skipping that. Uh, there's the Lumbridge Mediums, though. Alright, and we will now pick my Bella Donner, and that... Is also the Lumbridge Hard Diaries done. Sweet. And once again, a reminder that this guy should not look like the way he does. I honestly don't know what Jmod was like. Yep, I'll slap this private server looking ass guy in the middle of Lumbridge, but whatever. I, of course, will use all my lamps on Herblore. And now we have an unlimited to teleport to the cabbage port, which is great for doing farm runs. Over the course of the last few episodes, we've been making some serious gains to our range setup. Paul made us all necklaces of anguish, and Curtis has rigor. So we figured there's only one God Wars boss we haven't done yet, and that's Armadil. I think it's time to give our range upgrades a try and see how we fare. Hello everyone again, I'm sorry. I know I... Normally have like a bit more time to kind of say hello to everyone and you know, but I just had to quickly get to Armadil ASAP. You good? We weren't even expecting you, so this is a, a happy surprise. This is a very good surprise. Okay, yeah. I mean, you I guys literally start... could not tell if you were accidentally talking to us or your stream. You know, <laughs> that one was an accident, but it it was kind of okay. acceptable. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting here going like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, they're responding to him. I, I'm so confused right now. That was, that was definitely to my stream, but it worked. Yeah, when like the three of you get kill count, I'd say just go, because I'll just hop in, probably a few kills in. Uh, yeah, it's going to take me like 30 more minutes to get KC at this rate. Yeah. 80 range is bad. not carrying too well. Wait, what kill count's about then? Why are you crossbowing? Because I don't have an armada item outside of this uh, kite shield. Oh, I wasn't. Uh, I was gonna help you with kill count, mammal, but since you're not on task, I can't help you kill aviancies. Oh yeah, I suppose not. No, I gotta. If we're doing this, I gotta. I gotta unlock the ability to even get aviancies. If we're gonna start killing this fella. Damn, you, you were over here the whole time. I just hopped to you. You remember that time you offered Mammal that you could help him with KC, but then you're like, nah, I can't. You're not on task. You forgot that I was on task. Yeah, you also had like a 20 kill head start on him, though. Yeah, but you, did you help him? No. But you could have helped me! That's the exact method we gotta do. Got a crossbow Kree as it comes over to the range medium. Shit on that one, and then when it comes to the melee, boom. But I'd probably dead. I don't think we'll be able to hold it at the range minion like they're doing with four of us. You don't think so? I'm constantly no, yeah, crossbowing, so it should. Go. Yeah, if he's if he's constantly crossbowing, we don't ever have to like click between, right? No, you don't. Oh, well, that's going to be sweet, actually. So, so it's just going to be timing for us. Yeah, it needs to be Mammal hitting the boss. After I think it's two, after two or three ticks, when the range minion spawns, it stops near the range minion. Obviously, the minion needs to be southwest tile, and then we could just chill on the range minion. Okay, so it's going to be up to Jordan's timing to stop... Kree there. Oh, yes. God. Or we can all try it. Okay. Or we can all, all yeah, get all a hit on Kree. Stuff. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, we'll all go crossbow for the first hit, and then us three will change the chins, I guess. Yeah. And then Mama and if we miss it, then then I guess we just let Kree walk to us and just go on the melee minion if we yeah, don't yeah. time it right. That does die pretty fast. Oh, my God. That's scary. Frozen key piece? Wait, what is that? For yeah, next. That's the next. Oh, one. that's for next. They've got a new. Uh, <laughs> that's, that scared me. It's like, what? So I think going into this, we were all afraid that Armadillo was going to be pretty difficult, but with three people chinning, the boss dies, like, extremely fast. You do take a lot of damage, and that's just kind of the way Armadillo goes, but the boss dies crazy fast. That's crazy, and he dies by the first video. I don't think it would be this yeah, good. This, <laughs> this is very good. Dude, this is amazing. This is, like, the easiest one. Like, what? We'll have to see how many chins we use in a trip as well. I reckon we'll go for quite a few. I start at 800. Uh, what are we at? Five kills now? Four kills? Uh, something like that, yeah. 
So I only brought 500. We'll see if that was a mistake or not, but I've used 60 so far. Yes, I could top you off if need be. So. Just look at something's exploding. Thank you, yeah. Dilvorix. No, that's me sometime. Oh! oh! oh let's go! <laughs> Seven pieces. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> yeah, let's go! The spoon! Oh, yeah. look at that! Give that to Curtis right this oh, time. Look at that! It's <laughs> the best one we could have gotten, man. Oh, oh what a beauty. Nice. What a beauty. Oh, I feel so strong. Hell yeah. We take those. We do indeed take them. Now let's get the chase. That's, that's a good way to come back after a week. Hell dude. yeah. Definitely, yeah. Gotta get the spoon going again. Anne says, good job. Thank you, Anne. Seven Wait, KC. so you said you have, what, seven kill count? Yeah. Okay, you got more kills than me, so the chitting is like, pretty much, doesn't matter about range levels, I reckon. I think oh, it's chins, just as well. Chins Ooh. are solid. Hold up. I'm the lowest range level, so it's, I mean, chins are carrying. Yeah. Oh, this thing's beautiful. Yeah, Curtis gets it. Give it to the big daddy. We'll share it, though. We'll slap it in the storage. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that looks so nice. The ACP. Oh yeah, he's got that chain scut now though. It really does. It's, it's a shame that it only goes with a few items because of that deep, deep V. What would you say it goes with legs wise? Tassets? Legs? Uh, all I know is that they go with skill capes. Otherwise that V is just a little too deep. Mm. So I need to push for the range skill cape then. Get the trimmed. That's what I was thinking. Get hunted and for supply a load of chins for this and range training for you guys. And then just finish off the nano range slayer and have a trim skill cape. But Mr. Curtis, you know, I haven't haven't had the chance to say this out loud, but hey, congrats on the uh, in, on the engagement. My oh, man. thank you very much, my man. Yeah, so many people saying congrats. It's been very wholesome. Yeah, but yeah, well, very once much. Upon a time, someone gave me some really good advice. Um, you know, before I got you know married or engaged or anything like that, and uh, it, that is, uh, I might get slapped by Denise for this, but uh, you, you got to start saving now because uh, <laughs> you know, even if you're single, somebody somewhere out there. Your, your future wife, she's already spending your money, dude. So, oh, so it's yeah. now. <clears throat> Thanks for the advice, Paul. Yeah, you I'm are the expert. The if I was to trust now. anybody with that. My chat was talking. I'm thinking, so you are you guys just constantly targeting the minion when you're chinning? Yes. Uh, so, we'd have to switch. We yeah. can do. So we've been told, or I've been told at least, that the person that just stays on Kree takes more damage on average. I, I my right. chat was just saying I think the minions might all be on me because I'm targeting it and because I'm, I'm getting messed up. Oh, so Here's I'm the, I'm pretty much targeting him every time as well. I'm pretty much doing a solo method and I'm kind of getting whomped as well. Yeah, I, yeah. it could just, uh, yeah, who knows, I guess. Let's test that furry then. If you don't do the solo method, I'll give the ACP to Mammal to tank more. That would make more sense, right? I mean, we can try it. It won't make a huge difference, but yeah, I got actually, yeah, that does logically here. make the best. Because that, that then would the then be the tank roll, wouldn't it, really? Oh, I've already got body mammoths, yeah. all good. Oh, okay, okay. Good So if that's the case, if that's how we think it is, I'll give you the uh, the case skirt as well next trip. Yeah, let's test that. Okay, we could try it out. Reckon I should bother with thralls again? Um, I'd say no. I'd say no. Um, I think having two people do pot share next trip is a good idea, though. I think... Jordan, you could because you got bones to beat. You could actually bring that in your pouch. I reckon you got the runes for it. Could, yeah. Seems like that's very useful here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't think thralls are really helping all that much, to be honest. It just drains prayer a bit, anyway. So we're just gonna go. Other than us pot shares, just normal spellbook bones to peach. Wait, no, I can't. We have to use the uh, tabs. Only yeah, mammals yeah. done bones to peaches. I guess all uh, pot share <laughs> for now. Then it was worth the grind. Okay. No, oh, I'm definitely gonna need to myself then. This this might be trolling, but purely for fun. Since I don't have a blowpipe spec, I'm totally bringing the ballista to spec the boss with. Yes. Not That's a good bad idea. idea. Content. Do it. I did DPS calc the ballista as being markedly worse than rune crossbow diamond bolts, but you know. Yeah, style I suppose. points. So for our second orbital trip, we decided to bring a potion share. Potion share is a spell on the lunar spellbook that a lot of people probably don't know about, and it's very, very good. So what it does is, well, if you could guess it, it shares a potion. Now, the way that we decided to do it is we split up into pairs. So me and Paul were potion sharing, and Curtis and Roydy were sharing. And the way that it works is, basically, the person that's using potion share casts the spell... And it uses one dose of potion 
and it gives the effect of that potion to two people. So it's literally a free potion dose, so, uh, you know, using that is going to make our prayer from our super restores stretch way farther. So can you not pot share a brew? Is it just no. restores and boosts? Okay. Does restore do one dose and then both get prayer and everything as well? Then? Yeah, so if you pot oh, wow. share the restore, you drink one dose, but both people will get the restore benefit. That's really good, actually. And the same for the range pot. How's your you prayer looking, Roddy? A restore and a range uh, if you need use... to. Let, let me yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do both. I'm just waiting a little bit because I'm gonna brew up as well. Oh, sure. Right. I'm gonna do a restore one then. I'll wait until like 20 okay. seconds. Okay, sounds good. Is there a cooldown or can you just range pot now too? I can range pot as well, yeah. Because they're two different spells. You've got stat restore, which is the oh, super restore, and then you've got the boost potion share as well. Which oh, the, the, like the ra oh, uh, range pots and stuff. Super combats. Freshly range potted. Come on. It's the time for the mammal kill. Let's go. <laughs> Holy, it's gonna die. That's crazy. Wow. Wait, did we kill him on that? Oh, yep. yeah. One oh minion. My. Do you live near Minneapolis? Oh. Uh, uh, let me know. I want to know. About three hours away. Yes. Is it Minneapolis? I think it is. Uh, wait, it's somewhere. No, maybe it's Indianapolis. Uh, there's one of them where the airport, like someone owns private land right next to the to the uh, runway. And there's, they have a big ass sign on it that says like, welcome to Minneapolis or something like that. That's just sweet. to fuck with people. <laughs> That's actually really funny. All right, Mammal, we got to get you a kill count. I am not sure that that's possible. I, I've been talking to my chat about that. I don't think it's going to happen. We, we might need to get him one of those yeah, another we'll time when we have supplies. We don't have supplies for this trip. Okay, I could I could try. Um, I'm not range plotted right now, though, if I could get a sip of one of those. I'll take that uh, ballista if you want. Oh, sure. My ballista's slapping, man. This might be my kill. And I am out of chins. Hey, that'll nice. work. Thank you. Nice. Nice. nice job. Perfect. Damn. Hey, okay. Uh, no, no, no. Three. We're not happy about that. <laughs> it's another purple, at least. Yeah. Can't get that shard three, though, man. It's something. Just got 87 Slayer. Oh, nice. Ooh, congrats. Hey, congrats. Kraken Go get Kraken those tentacles. I've got saved from today, so hopefully we can get some tents. And that was it for our very first Armadil session. We got that Armadil chest plate nice and early on, so that is extremely nice. And, uh, you know, like I said, that boss went a lot better than I think any of us were expecting. So definitely more Armadil to come. Hey, just got level 84 Slayer off of a Choke Devil. Very nice. One more level until the big Abbey Demons. Very excited, actually. An absolutely perfect timing. I just got level 83 magic as I am ending my Slayer task. Unless my slaughter goes off, but yeah, there it is. 83 magic, task completed at the same time. Beautiful. 164 basilisks. Okay, I started my day with a basilisk task and back I go for some more. No way! I am so fucking spooned! What?! <laughs> No way! Oh my, I gotta peep the kill count. I, there's no way. There's no way, I just got one for the team. What? What's the kill count? 384. What? 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 <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Two Basilisk Jaws, which are one out of 1k on task. Two of them in th Okay. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. I'm gonna- I'll put that in the shared chest. I guess I don't- I know Curtis has done the Fremnik Exiles. I don't know if the other two have, but... It's a free-for-all, I guess. Whoever- whoever wants it can have it. Dude, what the hell? Well, I finished up the task off-stream with range, and there is another Basilisk Knight task completed. Killed 164, and we got jaw number two. When will the spoon end? I don't know. I, I want to do more of these. Like, what if I get a third one on my next task? You just, you never know. 
And that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. Some absolutely huge loot in this one. We got the uh, Armadil chest plate and Basilisk Jaw number two. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. And to start off this video, I have a very juicy drop to show you. My teammates actually got it when I wasn't around. I don't remember what the reasoning was, but I wasn't around that day, I think at least early enough. And the other farmers were itching to do some raids. I hate the distance of the blowpipe, man. Purple. Yes, White. that's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. Well, so impressed, girl. <laughs> oh, it's about time. Nobody peaked either. Nobody peaked. I did Nobody not peaked. peak. I don't I know what it either. is. There's no omelet. Pull me All up. Right, so I'm going uh up dragon claws. Let's see. I'll say I'm gonna say ancestral hat. Our head game has oh. been pretty strong. Did you, you ready? Did you say our head game is strong? Yeah, two face guard, four syrup. Oh true. Alright, praise up. Alright. I'm getting the hot prone. And the loot is. Nice, nice call, dude. <laughs> nice call. Oh, yeah. I got it right. All right. Uh, All right. Whoa, seven head, these seven babies in a That's actually really good, though, man. Really good. That's yeah, it was blocked by a sub, so we couldn't see. I was, like, waiting for the sub to drop up. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. That is beautiful. These good nice. job. So, the farmers are now the proud owners of a pair of dragon claws. They're going to be nice to use for stuff like Cerberus and just fun to use for Slayer tasks overall. Uh, and, you know, that's cool because this is the first shareable raids drop. You know, previously we had prayer scrolls, which are just a one-time consumable for somebody. Uh, but the dragon claws are something that we can use and pass around. So, that's really nice. Okay, here we go. The inaugural D-Claw spec. That wasn't very much damage. <laughs> no. Duradel? I fucking love you. That's exactly what I wanted. Ex you ask and you shall receive. Let's go, baby! Let's fucking- My Slayer tasks have been so good lately. I'm pretty sure in the past, like, week, in the past seven days, that's my third Zenite shard. On top of the two jaws that I got, that's Zenite shard number three in the past, like, seven days. God damn, we're gaming, baby! I love it. There is another amulet of torture... Whenever they get turned into that. Well, let's go ahead and slap that. Oh, <gasps> no. Well, I, I, it, I gotta kill it now. <laughs> I'm sorry, no woman. You got him on the way on my click box. I'm sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and slap that Zenite on the group storage. I believe that is now Zenite shard number eight in total. So we are halfway there because, you know, there's four pieces of jewelry for each of us. So we'll need a total of 16. So I think that's the halfway mark. Oh, that's so good. Yes, that is exactly what we wanted. More dehyde boots are always good, but they're actually useful for gobblers. At the moment, I just have Guthix boots, which do nothing for me. But now, when we do like Sarah and uh, Armadil, I've got a Zami item. I'm set. Slowly and steadily over the past few videos, I've been working on getting my achievement diaries done, and I'd like to keep that ball rolling. At the moment, I can do most of the Desert Medium Diaries, except I am missing the requirement for Inakra's Lament. So let's go get that quest done to start with. Okay, now we get a Wicked cutscene. Boom! Blew up that wall that I so can- Why- Wait, you blew up the wall and then teleported over? Why'd you have to blow up the fucking wall then? Yeah, Alright, there is Inakra's Lament completed and now we can finish up the Desert Mediums. Okay, and since my cash stack is, uh, well endowed right now, I'm gonna go ahead and pay for the, uh, unlimited camulet. It costs a mil, but, you know, it might be a while until I get the magic skill cape, so. What am I agreeing to? I don't know. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, here's one million coins. Kind of a scam, but the unlimited telly is nice. Well, unfortunately, there isn't really any notable rewards from the Desert Mediums. Uh, the rewards are getting a lot better for the Desert Hards, but we'll <clears throat> we'll get there someday when I have higher thieving. You know, that's a good shout for the Falador Easies. I have to get a haircut, and maybe it's time for a new haircut for Cattle Farmer. Hmm. Ooh, tousled, I like that. 
We can keep the color the same, but maybe it's time for a nice lineup, you know? We go from dreadlocks to, uh... Let's go for the fucking the Chad haircut, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at look at the Chad cut. Roidy coming in absolutely clutch, gave us the six willow branches we need, and now I can finish up the Falador Medium Diaries. We'll make a, uh, a fruit basket, and there we go. Ah, yes, and we have reached yet another quest brick wall. I need to do between a rock, dot, dot, dot. Okay, how much money are you gonna charge to have somebody fire you out of a cannon into a wall? I'll do it for like five bucks and a meatball marinara, probably. And there is Between a Rock completed. Now we can get on with the Fremnik Medium Diaries. All right, let me go ahead and claim my rewards from the Fremnik Medium Diaries. As far as I know, the Fremnik Mediums are pretty much entirely useless. Like, it gives you, like, one teleport per day, which, I mean, it... I guess I shouldn't complain, because the Medium Diaries have, like, no requirements, so, I, you know, at least they give you something. Oh my god, this dude's RSN is North Dakota. That's fucking sweet. Okay, there's 130 chompy kills. We are now a marksman, which I think is all I need for the Western Province mediums. Until later, chompies. I think you have to do like a thousand kills in total for the elite, so I'll be back. Okay. Uh, Normadium Avlafrim. What a freaking name. Here's your toad bata, my guy. Excellent. And that, then, is the medium Western Province Diaries done. Okay, well, literally all I had to do is... Like, I could have swore it said you had to complete a wave of Barbarian Assault, but literally upon entering the wave, that, then, was the medium Kandarin Diaries completed. Sweet. Now, whilst I'm at Barbarian Assault, and I have a team of people together, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, the Granite Egg step as well. So maybe, did I say granite egg? Oh no. The granite body step as well, because, you know, may as well. If you did not know, Barbarian Assault is actually an unsafe death for group hardcore Iron Men, which is probably why we kind of avoided it earlier on. You know, getting a fighter torso nice and early is a pretty common thing for an Iron Man to do, but considering we could lose our status there, we kind of put off BA. Oh no. Oh, it worked! We're good! Hey. Okay, thank you so much, uh, War1, Anemic, Lil Dick, Sir Care Not Too, and MN Peasant. Appreciate the run, the fellas. Uh, with that, I have the medium Western Province Hard Diaries done, and I'll go ahead and buy, I think you need like 80k GP or some shit, which is an absolute scam, mind you, but... I'm gonna go ahead and buy the granite body. 95! That's even worse. What the hell? There's the granite body purchased. So that is the... Oh, I have to wear it as well, presumably. Yeah, okay. There's a hard task done as well. But anyway, that's enough achievement diaries. Let's get on to the good stuff. So, we had planned on doing some raids together. However, I think Paul was busy finishing something. So, to kill some time until we could start doing raids... I decided to go join Roidy at Demonic Gorillas. A few episodes back, uh, when I showed you guys how we got all of our Zenites, uh, I showed Paul and Roidy doing Zenites together, and I was like, you know, I, I've never done that. It looks pretty fun. So, because he was on a Demonic Gorilla task, I decided to tag along and see if we could get anything. Someone today told me that they 40 x their money by investing in Dogecoin. 40x. They said they went from $69 to $376. And that really told me everything I need to know about people who invest in Dogecoin. Nice. <clears throat> Stonks. Maybe they maybe they kept averaging in and they're just referring to their initial price point. Their initial was 69 and their, their oh, exit. There it is, dude. Let's go, baby. Mammo okay. is the king of the shards. Hell yeah. I have been on a hot streak at night. Every time we come nice. Here. Awesome. Love to see it. How many Zenites for the team is that now? Like, eight or something? Uh, nine, I think. Nine. Sweet. 
Iron Mammal's sad. Bofaluck, yeah. Dude! All right. Bro. What Bro, the I was hell? Up. I couldn't even see it. You were insane. Okay, I'm, hold on, hold on. If we're Diagro, I'm going to check my collection log because what the hell? Bro, I was scrolled up for that one tick, and I was like, no way, it's a Zenite shark. What I is scroll this? down, and sure enough. Uh, I have 527 demonic gorillas with five Zenites. One every 100 that kills right now. You, dude. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yo, by all means, keep going, man. I mean, it seems like a good idea right now. <laughs> Jesus. You know, based on your inventory, Jordan, it looks like you've gotten like seven kills in your name since you've been there, and two of them are Zenites. I, I, I was actually just thinking about that. I, I probably have gotten, yeah, like like seven might be about accurate, which is insane. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'll guide others to a treasure I cannot possess. <laughs> <laughs> I think the reason is our characters, on average, have less time logged over the last two or three weeks. And when you take a break, whenever you come back, your RNG seems a little better. As Jagex's special way of reeling you back in. Yep. That is honestly a logical... That's a tinfoil hat explanation that makes too much sense Same to... thing as having a female character. They gotta keep I'd those demographics whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, whoa. Whoa, what? <laughs> Hang on now. Just saying, man, I've had the driest characters of all time. I make one female character in my current hardcore. They make pro uh, products for that. account ever. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, hello. That's upsetting. <laughs> Quite <laughs> rare, but fancy. you did it. Farming XP, I guess. Did I hear this right? Two Zennies and seven. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, you I, did, yes. My bad, I thought I was unmuted. Yes, you did indeed. My demonic's luck is popping. <laughs> oh, crap, Mama. I've had a total of five Zenites and 527 KC now. That you do. Mama logs on the drops the star roll in <laughs> Get out of my life seeds. Yeah, dragon fruits and Celastrus. We'll do, we'll do this last one here. You All know, right. Jordan, if you add that to mine, we're insane. Because I've got two in 195. Damn, that's really good, yeah. Meanwhile, I have about 1,250 with three. Ugh. So despite the fact we only killed Demonics for like half an hour, I got two Zenites in seven kills, which is actually insane. After that, we headed off to raids. I'm gonna hopefully... Ooh. It'd be really sweet if, if my luck keeps up. I'll just get all oh. four of them, and then you guys won't have to bother. What are those? Oh, do you like you like my boots? I, <laughs> the gold I boots? The mega champion boots. I got those on my main hardcore alongside full max melee, but I haven't done Serb yet. <laughs> Fair. You know, I, I think they should allow you to use a Primordial on the Gold Trim D boots and get some Gold for Trim sure, Primordials. For sure. Maybe just make the little wings gold instead of white. Yeah, a little subtle touch. Bro, team raids hard. I think, I unironically think team raids are more difficult than solo raids. No one tell what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> that was honestly not supposed to be unmuted, but, you know, it, fair enough. It wasn't the worst thing I could have said unmuted. <laughs> what is the worst thing you could have said unmuted? And another thing about my teammates. <laughs> <laughs> I think by far the most handsome of them is... Good luck, guys. Good luck. Purple. Me, me. Oh, no way. Very <laughs> nice. Very nice. Let me hey, pull up your stream. Hang on, we gotta, we gotta get your, your stream. Wait, wait, any, any, any old you ones? Time. Looks like not. You got time, we'll milk. All right, let me add a window Could capture. it be my Dex Prey Scroll? Could it be our Dragon Hunter crossbow? Maybe a twisted That's bow? That's a T-bow, man. That is definitely a T-bow, I'm telling you right now. Uh, well, who's going to go get the Master one for our Kodai insignia? I am the lowest magic level. I will do it. I need magic XP. You guys okay. ready? I've got you pulled up. I'm ready. ready. The farmer's fourth purple is... Oh. A beauty. Okay, that's we'll take that. Uh, at last, I'm gonna consume we'll this that. immediately, and I now 
can pray rigor. I'm already 74. Yes, that's player. beautiful. Hell nice, yeah. nice. Nice, man. Very nice. That's what's up. That's exactly what we wanted as well. Beautiful. Yeah, that's perfect. Sweet. We take a dex? Yeah, oh, well, I didn't I, uh, play my I got orb. a torn prince scroll, so honestly, sit. My chat just asked the question who gets the third dex? I would say if, like, Paul or I get it in our name, we just use it, right? But let's say it's Curtis or Roydy get it in their name. Surely, to decide who gets it between me and Paul. Jello Wrestling. Mm, okay. Down with that. I was thinking 1v1 intervention on Rust, but we can do Jello Wrestling, whatever that is. You don't know what Jello Wrestling is? I'm not familiar, no. You uh, you fill up a kiddie pool with Jello and you wrestle. Can we do that regardless of a dex, please? <laughs> yes. Uh, I suppose we can uh, pick a number 1 to 10. Whoever picks a higher number wins, I pick first. Oh. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Did, uh... Did no one grab a tinderbox? Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, eh, somebody will grab one. <laughs> Good luck for the back-to-back. -back. Good luck. Good luck. White. 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 No. Rune arrows, a little dwarf gold door, little tourist doll. Dwarf Dragon arrows, good. teaks, and an elite. Not bad. 142 irits and 93 lanternines. That'll be good for someone's semi hub. Slap that straight in the storage. Good luck, gentlemen. White. Nothing. White. White. Boo. Oh. Cadentines and dwarf weeds. Big Top herbs. Five hundred and seventy-two mythor. Ooh. Mythor is the worst in the late game. It just feels like a chore. Yeah, it's yeah. still not bad. I mean, you can you can get some talk a lot of it at least. Like it was like I just out the plates for three k. It's not too bad. Nah, it's not bad. Wish I knew how to make a bunch of cool fires IRL. Such a cool skill to have. But if I ever end up in a survival situation where I need to make myself a fire, my contacts will dry up first and I'll die from lack of eyesight. Uh, uh, it's just sad to know you can never really get deserted if you wear contacts, because you will die. <laughs> Time to get that corrected, man. Have any complications and then be the butt end of pirate jokes. Yeah, that happened to my brother, and we literally made pirate jokes for three months straight. He stopped talking to me for a while. <laughs> we had to wear an eye patch for like a month and a half. Answer me this, Roydo. How many pirate farmers have you met? Seems like a good challenge. Well, I feel like the nature of a pirate is to never settle in such a way that you can farm. You can build a crop plot on a boat. Could you? I guess you have a little, a little planter. You know, I, I could see it. Yeah, a little, little chia pet on your pirate ship. <laughs> little chia pet. Yo, you reckon I could plant chia seeds on my head? Grow more hair? That is a, a question I would ex expect for from Twitch chat, but not from you. <laughs> Jordan, what's this about a granite egg? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. So last night, I, I the other day I had a bit of a, a computer scare, so I just was like, okay, I'll go do my achievement diaries. That's nice and safe. So I'm, I'm getting around to the Kandarin Diaries, so I gotta do my Barbarian Assault stuff, and I, I tell my chat, yo, can, can any of you guys come and help me with my Barbarian Assault run, because I need to buy a granite egg, instead of granite body. And apparently that was just so funny, because you just, you just can't hear the end of this granite egg. But that's about, <laughs> that's about all, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so just like a Freudian, or? Yeah, I, I don't know, I just... I, just I think what it was. I read egg in the chat somewhere, and that's what came. I, I do that all the time. Too. I think I actually was in. Were you doing a, a birdhouse run and just pulled an egg? Uh, I, I think I was in a game of BA, and so I was like looking at the yeah. eggs on the ground, and so, yeah, yeah, just slipped out. GL, GL Nothing for me. White. Nothing for me. White, unfortunately. No. Pure essence ah, and rubies. Born. 
Is that deck from today? It is, yeah. 696 six Bloods and Lantern Not That's bad. That's pretty fat. 111 Dwarf Weed and 1,100 Salt Runes. And I think on that note, I am going to go ahead and call it a video there. Unfortunately, we didn't end on a high note exactly, but a very productive video overall. So, to start off, they got the Dragon Claws. Then, we got a total of three Zenite Shards across the video. I got a bunch of Achievement Diaries done. And then, Roidy got his Dexterous Prayer Scroll to end. So, a very productive video once again. If you did enjoy it, feel free to leave a like. And I will see you all soon. To kick off this episode, we do actually have a pretty big drop coming in. Uh, I was not present for it. Why? I don't exactly remember, but by the looks of it, I was gone entirely this day. Oh, it might have been a Sunday, which is my day off. Uh, but the other three farmers were all on, and they decided to do some Zammy. Oh, dude, no way. Alright, let's get another one. Let's get another one. Let let's do back-to-back. -back. We gotta go back-to-back. -back. <laughs> the last kill of the day, man? Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Let's we gotta go back-to-back -back now. So that right there was Zamorakian Spear number four, which is huge because, well, of course, there's four of us on the team. So we now have one Zamorakian Spear, or Hasta, however we want to use it. We each have one of our own now. Immediately following the raids that we finished at the end of last episode, we decided to hit up a little bit of Corporeal Beast. At the moment, we have a few Spirit Shields, uh, but no Elixir and no Sigils. We could uh, could catch Curtis up with the best XP in the game just by having like just spec down like three corpses in three different worlds and just have him take out the two H two thousand HP chicken over and over all day. Yeah, it's like one point five X XP, right? One point five five, yeah. That's crazy. Ow! If we do end up pulling a sigil, n no one can stop me from just camping out dragons all day until we get that eighty five number one priority. I will go camp Vorkov honestly with a rune crossbow. Yeah, if we all knock it out, we get we get the bones in no time. I can actually smith the shield as well, no? I still remember way back in the day, during, like, the old court method with the food stacks, when you'd ever get a tuna potato drop, like, yes! Oh, I used yeah. to actually collect them all. I used to collect every single one, so I have an about no, I remember watching. Okay. Yeah, I did, um... I did a little bit of corp that way, but it was like, holy, I, I can't keep up with this food usage. I remember initially, I recall watching, oh, I forget his name. He was a really good Iron Man, but he streamed for a while. And he, Sig, Sig yup, that's it. He would, uh, he would have to go to Nightmare Zone to get his spec back, and it was so slow. Yeah, that was a 40-minute oh. kill, so he got his spectral, um, first, obviously, the first time to get it. And then a few days later, I pulled out the Arcane. So uh, we got it very close to each other, but that was 40 minute kills, run to Nightmare Zone, recharge, and then obviously gains next to Telebat. It was oh, horrendous. Gross. So worth it. Of course. It's always worth it if you get the uh, the sigil. I'll tell you what though, getting an 82 kill count arcane after doing corp 40 minutes of kill is the most satisfying thing you can ever do in this game. I could never relive never, that. Never seen a sigil myself, even in RS2. Wow. Oh, it's the best again. Man, 40 minutes a kill. Holy cow. That's that's rough. Yeah, yeah. It was insane. It was like midnight when I got it. I, tried, I wanted to scream, obviously, when my family was sleeping. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I did it again. It's gotta be pretty shitty, though. Like, get up to stream all day. It's like time for my nine corp kills today. Right. <laughs> I had to <laughs> do it off stream, depressing. actually, because he used to get crashed. I had to only do it offline, because you'd have a guy coming for debuff after 20 minutes of specking it down. Oh, God. Good luck. It's Good luck, like chaps. Flemmy. Good luck. Oh. The back to Pretty back. Pretty spicy. I'm swimming in dehyde. Right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for the raids and the cup. That it was really fun. All, All right, right. See, see you later. later. See ya. Yo, Man, we got a... For one or two more? Prime sub from Trizzle. Yeah, I could do a few more. Or are you low on food? Because I could spot you some. I got like 30 carom wands. It should last a few kills. It'd be fine for two, yeah. And we had a depressingly dry session at Corp. We did not get... We had nothing. No uniques, no onyx bolts, no cannonballs. Just, uh, just one of those days, unfortunately. 
All right, haven't collected my miscellany in a while. Let's see how many teak logs we've got in there. 4.1k, my god, that's a lot of construction XP. And actually, on that note, I definitely have way more than enough planks banked to get level 83 construction, which I think I'm gonna do today. I mean, it's gonna take a while, because Mahogany Homes is a little slow, but 83 con, getting that highest tier pool, will be totally worth all right, I believe this will be the last inventory we need to do. I think I started with about 11 mil. Right now, we're at 7.8 mil, so... Oh, God. Math is hard, but... We'll just say I spent approximately 3 mil making those planks, which, you know, isn't all that bad, because 83 will be so worth it. We have 4.4k teak, 610 mahoganies, and now let's go repair houses for hours and hours. So if you're curious as to why I want to get 83 construction, specifically at level 83 construction, I will be able to boost up and make both the ornate rejuvenation pool as well as the ornate jewelry box. The ornate rejuvenation pool restores literally everything. Health, prayer, stats, you name it. And then the ornate jewelry box has so many useful tellies, it's going to be massive quality of life. Well, had a nice session. We went from level 75 to level 78 construction. I missed the level up because I tellied, but that was uh, three levels. We've made a little bit of a dent in our planks, at least a bit, but there's three down, only five to go. There's a bit of a milestone. Just got level 79 construction, but more importantly, 1700 total. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna give myself a little boost tonight. We got nine long bones that have accumulated through Slayer. Here you go, my guy. Take my long bones, and that should get me to 81 construction, just two to go. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of mahogany homes, but it is finally done, and it's gonna be so worth it in the end. This should get me level 83 construction right here. Which, I don't think you actually unlock anything cool, but the important thing is I can now boost up to a total of 91. So now, now that I'm 83, now it's spicy stew time. Well, in the process of getting 83 construction, I accumulated 1,744 points. And not that I think it's worth it, but just because. I'm gonna buy the carpenter shirt and trousers. I guess I'll do the boots as well. And then we'll buy the, uh, we'll buy the rest in supply crates. Now, I think these pieces give, like, between all these combined, I'm probably gonna get, like, I don't know, fucking, like, 1.5% bonus XP. It won't be much, but, okay, this is gonna hurt. We need two marble blocks, which are 325k each. And then we need a total of eight gold leaves, which are 130k each. Rip the cash deck. So the next thing I had to do was I had to get a bunch of charged dragonstone jewelry to use in the jewelry box, and the worst of all being the Ring of Wealths. For some reason, well, I suppose they knew what they were doing, they made it so you can only charge a Ring of Wealth at the Fountain of Rune in the Deep Wilderness. So that was a little bit scary. Um, I, of course, whenever I do stuff in the wilderness, I bring Iron Mammal to, you know, kind of scout the area out beforehand, and... Funnily enough, on the world that I was on right here, Iron Mammal ran south and got piled by a team. <laughs> so that was a close call. Obviously, that's why I bring another account, though, so I knew to hop worlds. Uh, and then I did make it out safe safely, thank God. We're good, boys. There's your charged rings of wealth. Yeah, the first world I was on, uh, I logged out on this account, and I ran south by Callisto on Iron Mammal, and I got instantly attacked by a guy. <laughs> there was a team sitting there, so... That is why you bring your alt to check the world before you start running. <laughs> okay, and just to save time later when I do actually have the boost, with the Crystal Saw, I can upgrade my basic jewelry box into a fancy jewelry box. So now we just need the last tiers of each of these, and that will require the spicy stew. Okay, here we go. We're at 83. Unaffected. 86. No, that's not enough. Not enough yet, I don't believe. Back down to 83.
Minus one. Minus four, all right. Eighty eight. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, I should probably be hopping worlds to try to keep that, but we're just kind of going to try to strong arm this uh, upgrade. Oh, yeah, put it in building mode. <laughs> Fucking A. It's already been 12 seconds, so I have to five gold leaves. I hate this game. I fucking hate this game so much. Yeah, I've already lost the plus five, but 87 will be enough for this anyway. Upgrade. Ornate rejuvenation pool. Done. Cool. Now we just need to get the plus five again for this thing. Got it. Okay, hop world so we don't lose it quickly. Bro, building mode on. Hurry up, please. Upgrade. Ornate jewelry box. It's fucking done. Oh my, dude, you have, like, like I said before, when you get the ornate jewelry box and the pool, that's when a new account stops feeling new. Like, th th like it's well developed at this point, because now we can go to our house. We got all of these tellies in one spot. We got the ornate pool. Ah, life's good. Life's good. Well, God bless my Twitch chat, because I totally forgot about this. I thought, in order to make the fairy ring, you needed to get level 90 construction. So I thought, I had to get up to level 85, and then get a plus 5 boost. Turns out, you only need level 85. So I'm gonna drink this tea, to boost me up to 85. And now, I dare say I'm more excited about this than anything else. Fairy ring in your POH is such a huge time save. I do have no idea. This the quality of life is just booming. Well, all those POH gains are going to be really, really nice moving forward. But back to some group content. The farmers are off to Armadil. We did Armadil a couple of episodes ago, and we did get an Armadil chest plate nice and early on. So we figured let's head back and see if we can get some more drops. I'll be set on KC. Uh, Jordan, do you have an armor item for Casey? Not at the moment, no. I was just thinking about that. I'm sorry, I'm eating. <laughs> I'll get you my coif in the storage. There you go. It works. Thank you. I've got the grapple on. Feels like kind of a waste, because I'm not even bringing a rune pouch, because we don't use thralls and blood spells would be useless, because only the mages left over after Kree dies. Yeah, Kree is a weird one. It's definitely, I uh, don't need unnecessary runes. What? Okay, do you all do you all see this? I am hitting this this monster and I'm getting XP drops, but he has no health bar. What the fuck was that? I got a D boots and a hard clue in the same kill. Now I, I hate to let 210k disappear from the floor, but I think I'm going to. I'm just gonna take the hard clue, I guess. I definitely oh, so, changed. Uh, the thing. So those wrath runes this morning, Curtis, they're actually insane. So what was that used for? Is that for the uh, demonic the offering? Yeah. Oh, I'll be so, using. Mm. So you know those 170 Cerberus kills I did? I banked all of the infernal ashes from them. Yeah. So each serb kill is worth 330 prey XP. Holy crap! It's uh, it's actually pretty nuts. So whenever we get on that big serb grind, it's worth banking all of the ashes from it because, I mean, 330k you know prey XP from 1,000 serb kills is pretty pretty decent. Yeah, because they're like the equivalent to effectively a better dragon bird. Yeah, and Pretty you know, easy. getting through a thousand, it's one wrath rune per three ashes, so it's really That's not that so bad good. So, I think one of the most important strats that we started to use at God Wars now is Potion Share. Potion Share is a spell on the Lunar Spellbook, and it is extremely useful. If you don't know what it is, basically, I, th I think somebody in my Twitch chat asked you to explain it, and I summed it up pretty well here, but it's making a massive difference on us having longer trips at Kriara. How does Potion Share work? Basically, if Paul uses Potion Share on a Super Restore, with me following him, it's going to consume one dose of Super Restore, just like it normally would, but it's going to give Super Restore to both of us. So it legit just gives you like a free dose of Potion. 
Hey. Oh. Hey. Not what we need, but we'll take it. Almost another blade. So close. Still the shard I need on my main hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Yeah, lit literally just edited a, edited a clip for a video last night of you saying that exact sentence. <laughs> it could uh, we could get one the next kill, and Viridi will still go. Hmm, I need that one on my main hardcore. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna restore us and range spot us on this kill, Jordo. Sounds good. Jordo, I'm this guy over here. I'm the one that walks around in circles. What in the what, what, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was editing my today he, command, he, and I'm like, he, wait a minute. Here the girls in his defense. That's the wrong dad. Definitely noticing some consistency as well with the foreign task because we are dropping it before the uh, man even dies sometimes. Yeah, this is nice right now. Like I said last time, the advantage of this group method is that if the, one of the minions is on like one HP, instead of just that one killing blow off a soloer, everybody gets to throw a chin on one HP and hit armor four more yes, times. Yeah, I noticed that when I did that um, solo kill on the last trip. So much nicer before. Oh, yeah, anyway, I was, I was just saying, Robin's parents have a couple of ferrets, and they have this really so I had tall buddy enclosure. IRL back in the day go from, I think it was, whatever the requirement is, 61, is it, for a dark bow? Up to 82 ranged from nothing but Varrock wieldy multi spec rushes. Holy. Jeez. Like That's 2 crazy. million XP from nothing but that. That's some dedication, man. It's not even a good I story, That's just Chad. what we did back in the day. That was like, that was a day's work. It's Six just... days in Varrock multi. It's just six uh, nothing was quite like they let the ferrets out and they Varrock multi and it's cute with a you They're know normal. two or three homies off to the side you bait the PK and then they all run in and, and file jump oh amazing I miss those days man the real personality test though is how long would you wait to go with the boys what mage level water strike or earth strike oh I would start with water every time I think I'd time. usually start with water as well. But I think I did range more often than Mage. The only experience that I can recall PKing in Varrock East was, uh, I was, I was a youngin. And I think I went out there with, like, an Addy Skim, an Addy Kite Shield, and an Addy Plate Body. And I think at the time I didn't understand the concept of what Sculling was, so I totally lost my stuff, and I was so sad. No, no. I was so sad. You, you were the kind of guy everyone wanted to see. Yeah. <laughs> I was free loot. My, my first else? ever huge PK was at the, like, near where the Black Salamanders are now, but this was before Hunter came out. Uh -huh. and I was, I was like, PKing myself in admittedly shitty stats and gear, and I came across some other guy who was, like, walking down from that area in full rune, and I somehow managed to kill him and frantically looted all of his stuff and teleported away. Then called my brother into the room, and he's like, did you go in the wilderness with full rune? Or, like, I just PKed full rune. And he said, did you bring 200k in with you? I'm like, no, why? And then in my inventory, the dude brought his cash stack as well. Oh, my. Uh, 450k PK in 2004. Bank. What I recall doing a lot of back in, oh, man. I don't know what year it would have been. Sometime pre-EOC, but uh, 76k tricking when there was uh, loot potential <laughs> in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. I can't believe that that didn't get patched for as long as it didn't. Because it was just such a good moneymaker. What we used to do, this is like 2005, 2006, my brother and I, we used to uh, lose aggro at the Chaos Druids in Edge Dungeon and PK there with just god spells, like Entangle TB god spells. Because, it, so there were like four people per world on every single world there, right? And none of them, maybe 5% maybe of them would bring food, like any sort of food. Everyone else would bring nothing. But they would bring full armor and sometimes rares. So they'd bring like pea hats. They'd bring Santa hats. They'd bring masks. It was crazy what you would see down there. God armor left and right. Everyone was just trying to flex. And we, we literally made so much money. Like a stupid amount of money just became down there. Well, it helps that everyone was like 46 HP as well. <laughs> they didn't stand exactly. much chance. Yeah. Like most hits, it was like two, three hitting people. It was insane. I miss those days, man. Simpler times. Did Home's anyone fan? ever only train their mage at Fistogothix back in the day? To like fist oh, of, so oh no. much fun. Loved that man. I never understood Fist of Guthix. That was a little after my time. But I am of the opinion that even better than Fist of Guthix was Stealing Creation. That was so that fun. That was the best one. Yeah, yeah. That pushed me to 99 Conscious because of the hammers used to get. Double XP was like huge. Yeah. Sacred Clay and Old... Or the... 
the mini game in old school would be cool, but I think they would have to change how Sacred Clay works because, like, for Iron Men, that would be so oh, yeah. busted. It would definitely creep into the meta somewhere. Yeah. Although these days, like, people would just boost it to find the you know the best way to get points for everyone. That's true. Like That's mini games wars, these days. Yeah. Did you guys ever do clan wars? Like actual like clans battling? Yeah, I was in like the number two warring clan of like 2009. I didn't do any actual clan stuff, but I did waste a ton of time in the free-for-all portal fighting people. Yeah, same. Which one was that, Rudy? Uh, Forgotten Gods, I believe, was the name. And we were pretty firmly number two, because number one was much better than everybody else. It, it was kind of cool, because like... I, I didn't find out that Bonesaw Banth was the leader of Foe until I like it's like until we were both streamers and I met him through streaming. And he was actually my clan leader when I was in Foe way back in the day. Paul, you, you speaking of Bonesaw, I remember I've only been to one Twitch con ever. Um and of course you, you were there as well, Paul. Um yep. I remember at that one there was Kind of a, the general gathering of RuneScape people was inside of a bar area. So you had to be 21 Always. to get in. And I remember early in the day, there was no security guards. They didn't care. You know, whoever could go in. Oh, uh, I remember this one. Okay, yeah. I was not 21 at the time. I think I was either 19 or 20. We brought you through the metal gate. Well, yeah. And then later in the day, later in the day, what happens is the security guards start showing up and they're not letting you do that. And so I can't get in and hang out with everybody because I don't have a, an ID that says I'm 21. So what happens is, is Bonesaw. Now, I would recommend you all Google a picture of Bonesaw if you don't no. know what he looks like. He didn't give you his ID. <laughs> he did. He gave, Bonesaw no gave way. me his ID for reference. Bonesaw is Asian, just to paint you a picture. And the, the, the security guard looks at the ID Looks at me, says, go ahead. <laughs> that dude did not care That's about his job dude. at all. This guy's got balls to show me this ID. Go on ahead. <laughs> yeah, he did not care. <laughs> this dude says, I remember that TwitchCon. I went up to Paul and told him I was a big fan, and then asked him to take a picture of me and Mammal. <laughs> Wait, did that happen? I guess so. I, I vaguely remember this. That sounds hilarious. I don't remember that, though. Ouch. See that? I remember you. Your hero doesn't even remember you. I know. Arrogant streamer over here. <laughs> oh, I do. Geez. It's a very funny story. But um, I've told this one sure. billion times. Um, I used to play RuneScape only facing north and with the screen, oh. like, flat. So imagine that now, if you put it on the Armadour wall, right? You can only see blackness when you enter a dungeon. Oh, no. So I went down drain all sewers and I couldn't see anything. And I was low level, so the skeletons attacked me and KO'd me. Because I couldn't find the ladder to get back up. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was only after then. Years. Yeah, it was only after then I found that you could actually turn with the arrow keys and it just changed everything for me. <laughs> but that's when I got addicted. <laughs> that's such a good story. My older brother gave me all kinds of like steel armor, like a steel like med helm and kite shield. He gave me a steel battle axe. And uh, this is RuneScape Classic. And I was in the Viroxiverse training melee. And I, I was... Sub-15 combat. I died to a level 13 rat. Oh, Couldn't find my way back in time to uh, to get my gear back. Lost a lot of stuff. Sad times. That kind of reminds me of when I... I didn't die, but I remember when I first got membership. I had an older brother and his friends used to play, and that's how I got into RuneScape. And eventually, after playing for like a year, I begged my mom for long enough that she was like, fine, yeah, you can have membership. And I remember my brother's friend met up with me. And at the time, Team Capes were still members only. So he gave me one of those, because Team Capes looked sweet. And then he gave me a Tyrus Helm. I was so proud of it. Because it looked cool. And then my brother was, like, showing me around the members world. And he... I remember I was north of Yanil a little bit. You know where, like, all the mining rocks are? He dropped me off there. And then my mom was like, oh, you gotta get out of here, do your homework. So he had to leave me alone. And I was petrified that I was going to die and lose my Tyrus Helm because I didn't know where I was. I am just stood north of Yanil and I don't want to lose my Tyrus Helm. I was panicking. Fewer words were better to hear back then than go get my credit card. Oh, yes. You knew you were Because you knew you were getting RuneScape members. Well, no, as soon as my, my tell was always, as soon as my mom would ask me a question in retaliation about what it is that I wanted, it was done. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Like, to clarify what I meant, I knew I was already in the door. Oh, yeah. She's Opera in the UK it. was the uh, was the cards. Used to go down the game store and get those. Oh, Five yeah. pound a piece. 
That's how I got mine back in the day. I never did this, but I was told you could pay by phone, too. You could just call Jagex and pay for membership yeah, yeah. that way. Yeah, people would, like, call Jagex from their, food, their, their like, school office and <laughs> have their school pay for their membership. <laughs> so, unfortunately, drops-wise, all we got was that God Sword Shard 2 from the minion, but, you know, as lucky as we got on that Armadale chest plate, I reckon we can't complain about being dry for uh, quite a while, so... Not the most fruitful armadal trip drops wise, but there was a lot of fun conversations and that is what it's all about. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, just a heads up, this may be the last Farmers video for a little bit. Uh, of course, I still have tons and tons more videos to make about the Farmers. But, as you know, the Shattered Relics League is going to be releasing very soon. And I will be playing that and most likely making videos about it as well. So I would assume these will be on at least a brief hiatus during leagues. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and I will see you all soon. We ended the last video with a trip to Armadil and that is how we are going to start this video as well. I think pretty much all of us are still on an Aviancy's task so may as well do some more Armadil, right? Alright, I got a big question for the boys. This is very serious listening have you ever changed to a female account on runescape for money no nope not, not for money I, i'm sorry Go on. expand <laughs> request yes well i'm just answering the question specifically not for money oh, yeah please oh 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 <laughs> okay pleasure we well we've all changed for the quest obviously Ah. ah. That was what I was getting at. Of course. And for my RuneScape boyfriend. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh. Alright, as soon as we get more bone speech tabs, I will be ready to depart. Yep, I was trying to get Jordan's attention, but one of his mods told me to shut the hell up. You what? as well, so we can't, okay. we can't really say so anything. <laughs> Sorry, it, it's Zoe's birthday, so I was giving him treats. Uh, What's oh, up? You need me good. to make some tabs? It, it, uh, yes, we need some uh, some peach tabs. So I've got some soft clay for you. I also Can have clay. I got you. Oh, okay. And I made a lectern in my house, so we're golden. Ah, perfect. Okay, then. I will whip some up. How many do we need? A couple of inventories, probably? Uh, probably about 100 is a good idea. Oh, yes. We'll make lots, then. Oh, I, I went through all of my uh, giant seaweed today. Um, so I've got 90 banked worth of molten glass. Uh, we do need 2,400-ish giant seaweed to finish up 93 oh geez that like two days if you started doing it that is uh that's the current status so hopefully in a few days you know i can i can knock those out and uh we can send some tormented for now i will make it a point to start doing seaweed runs every hour or two as opposed to my one a week maybe <laughs> Uh, you could yeah, maybe uh, even one a day for now would be pretty good until i get through most of those uh molten glass yeah I've always been a very bad Iron Man in that sense. Very. If you guys have got spare yeah, spores as well, I'll just slap some in. I've got like seven left. I could do a bunch tomorrow. Hey, doing a little prep for some armadillo today, Over getting kill count, and I've just got level eighty-five rage. Nicely done, my dude. Very nice. I'm gonna be brewing on uh, one on this one. The synchronization. Oh, oh, I, uh, I, I clicked the restore on autopilot. <laughs> I'm not sharing it with you. Here, here oh, you go. You can fine. have them now. Like within 12 seconds of receiving the boost. Right. Yep. It's getting, and then it's shiny. It's been too long. You need to continually hop, like every. You'll need to continually hop every 12 seconds. Actually, I think it's within 12, so hop every, like, 10. What's your Cree KC up to, Curtis? 79, Kearney. Ooh. So we must be at, like, 160 as a team-ish. I'm at 15. Oh, great for that chess play, yeah. We did 56, I think, yesterday. So, and we've done three full trips, yeah. So, yeah, we're probably a little bit over 150. Uh, apologies, Verdo. You have been uh, you have been chosen for a twenty four hour timeout, sir. Actually, a thirty six hour timeout. That's too bad. And who was bad. it who chose that? 
Uh, this would be a Rouge Maniac. Oh, it's a real shame about that. He actually just got banned in my stream. And by oh, no. I mean about 10 seconds from now. <laughs> oh, no. Yo, Terry's Chocolate Orange, man. So good. Thank you. I tried the white chocolate version. Oh, I've never had the white chocolate one. That sounds good. I uh, I, I get that. my mom those for Christmas every year. Yeah, Anna and I got it in the stocking. That's what we usually get, but we haven't been able to find them for like the last two years. I would always get uh, Toblerones in the stocking. Ooh, very good. But then I what they a... did, those assholes at Toblerone, they put like a little bit more space in the gap between the mountains so you get <laughs> less chocolate. Is this a conspiracy or did you, did you take like a tape measure to it? Oh, it was all over the news. Fair. Yo, we got a prime sub from the cat. I have seen a chain skirt Valium. drop and a Zami spear in all my days. I've seen six Zami spears from minions. Oh my gosh. But what's your Zami, Casey? Two Zami spears, yeah. two Sarah swords, yeah. one Bando's boots. In old school's release. And then I think BCP back in the day. God, I don't even remember. I know I've gotten some minion stuff, but heck if I remember. I want to say I got an Armadil chest plate from a minion on my hardcore, and it was a unique as well, so that was super clutch. Oh, that's awesome. Don't have fun I playing the wrong a game. Guy, I'm over here, big guy. Oh, yep. <laughs> I'm Did like a toddler who, like, grabs the hand of the wrong adult in public. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I hugged the back <laughs> of some lady's leg at the grocery store. Like <laughs> yeah. Dude, did your parents do this? Anytime we started getting out of hand, if we were like at the store or something, my mom would take her pocket and like turn it inside out and then have her hold on, have us hold on to her pocket. It's I, very degrading. Not that I, I know of, that. no. Pretty good one, though. I recall a story one time I was with my mom and my aunt in the mall and I was being a little bastard, I guess, and I like sat down on the floor and I was crying and my aunt was like, all right, let's go. And so my aunt and my mom just walked away, just straight up, like walked all the way away. And then all of a sudden I'm, I'm sitting there crying, you know, just throwing a tantrum. I like came to looked up, didn't see either of them instantly shut my mouth and just ran to him. I was like, that is very effective. Actually, it worked like a charm. It takes a little hey, practice. Can I, can but I, it's not can I share something with you? Hey, hey, come here. You want to see something cool? Hey, come here. Hey, come here, bro. Get over here. Do you have a moment to, to speak about our Lord and Savior, Zemra? And very depressingly, that is yet another Armadil trip completed in which we really did not get any loot. So that's a couple of trips in a row with absolutely nothing. Uh, we did get off to a really, really good start with Armadil. You know, we got that Armadil chest plate nice and early on. And uh, since then, our luck has not been the greatest. You know, you really fucking hate to see that, man. <laughs> Not the noted potions. No. Well, that's this account's first time landing on the mega rare table on Clue Scrolls. It's a shame it couldn't have at least been like gilded or something cool, but uh, the noted bots. Did I do it correctly? Oh, I did it correctly. Let's go. Iron Mammal and Sub to Mammal, not dead accounts. We put them to use, baby. We putting them to use, let's go! Oh, literally like three casts into the task, I just got level 92 hit points. Neat. Now the next day was Curtis's day off, so Paul, Roydy, and I headed off to do some bandos. Now we can never decide which one of us should be the tank, so we decided to try something new. We're gonna roll a random number generator to decide. I really wish I would have actually recorded Paul's POV of him doing this, but I thought you guys might find it cool. Alright, we'll, we'll find a die. <laughs> a three-sided die? Sure, that could work. <laughs> is that physically possible? I, 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 I think this is a, a, a triangle or a pyramid. Okay, how about just yeah, a regular like die a and each person triangle. picks two numbers? Deal. I want five and two. One and six. One and two. Wait, Wait don't we all have to have different numbers? numbers? Oh, okay, all right, all right. Uh, again, say your numbers. 
I was two and five. One and six. Okay, so I'm I'm three and four. Okay, so whoever it rolls on tanks is that is that the play, or do we want to go like whoever the person that doesn't get rolled ever tanks? I would say whoever it lands on tanks would be nah, easy. I think it's more fun with the process of elimination. Yeah, I like the process okay. of elimination. So we keep rolling until two people are out, and then the remaining person tanks. So you want your number to come up. Sure. Okay, I have it up. Are you guys ready? I am watching. All right, here we go. Okay, five is out. I think that's ready. Oh, baby. Correct. Okay. Uh, What were yours one more time? One and six. Okay, one and six and three and four. Whichever one of those come up. I shall gear up, sirs. Oh, I suppose a little difficult to follow without actually seeing the numbers, but Paul is indeed the tank, and he actually has a bit of a gear upgrade to use as the tank. Curtis has been doing some grotesque guardians since his range level is the highest. Cheers. Oh, we got it, baby! Let's go! Tank boots for the team, and we're done with grotesque guardians! Woo! I'll pog it. And so, of course, with that black tourmaline core, that means Paul gets to use guardian boots as the tank, which is a nice little upgrade over uh, regular bandos boots. There's two extra Guthan bodies in the storage. Yeah, uh, well, I was I gonna say. Body. I just I want a Darok or a Torag, so I don't look like a like a. Listen, man, it's it's the holiday season, and I'm feeling fat enough as is, okay? I will gladly give you my Darok. If, do you have a Guthan skirt that I can yoink? Because there is not a Guthan skirt in the shared. Yeah, I'll go fix that. What's that in kilograms? Hell, I don't know. Strange question. Either Divided by 2.2, don't you? had the privilege of ever trying a different variety of banana than we have in U.S. grocery stores? I have not, and I want to so bad because it's I've... part of my bucket list, big time. I, I have read really? about, there's some cool-ass varieties. Yeah, I've only had, like, plantains. I had a plantain uh, they once? They're called plantains in the Caribbean region. Oh. I, I think I prepared it wrong because it was not good. Not at all. Uh, but yes, I, I have seen that there is apparently a banana that is blue in color. And it is described as tasting like vanilla ice cream. Oh, yeah. I've heard of that one. Oh, I gotta try no. this. You know, I think all of us forgot to throw there. Which, I mean, it died fast enough. No, I, I didn't forget. Yeah, we thrilled. Oh, just, never mind. Just, just I, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> just you. Oopsies. You guys ever hear of the old Greek hero, Bophides? No, could you please tell us about him? I thought you'd know, given the heritage. <laughs> I know Aphrodite. Never heard of no Bofidi. And I'm calling We're a little dragger, aren't we? Uh, other than hilts, I'd say so. I just mean since our last purple. Yeah, I feel like it's been a while. I feel like it's been a few trips. We just got a pair of boots last time we got something here. Mm. Right, which is not ideal either. The last trip was a boots hilt trip. And I think we've Our had boots. two trips since then with nothing. Will boots break down into Torva raw material? No. Just the top and bottom. So. Yeah. That's a slap in the face. I was say, I like that outfit you had on when you were snow blowing the other day. With you know... The suspenders and everything. Okay, apparently... Well, I, I guess maybe I'm talking to the wrong crowd, but I got judged for wearing the snow pants on the outside of my coat. I was just in a hurry. I just put them on. I don't know. But yes, you know... Well, today... I, I hate to even do this because now... You know how this goes. If I say what temperature it is here... Well, that's oh, nothing. It's way flexing. colder where I live. But yeah, I think the temperature the low... flexing is the worst kind of flexing. Yeah. The low for Fargo today is negative 30, so icky. Yeah, but you wouldn't imagine what it was here, dude. <laughs> I know. It just it just sparks this whole thing. My brother sent me a picture the other day of my niece in like a full body puff onesie, and I was like, where do I get one of those for myself? It looks awesome. <laughs> You know, that's a very valid point one of my viewers just made. The problem with those full body suits is it's just like a little kid. You, you'd put the full body suit on, get him outside, and exactly three minutes later, I gotta go to the bathroom. And you gotta take, it just, I don't know if it's worth, Bro, it's a lot of effort. People from like down south, they do not know the struggle of elementary school recess during winter. 
when no, no, we 75% don't. of the time you spend is just getting the kids into and out of their snowsuits. <laughs> yeah. A lot of effort. Did you get one, of the, one or two of those uh, potatoes? What if, and hear me out, I keep the potatoes and I give you those? Sweet. Could I still get one potato? <laughs> yes. I just, I'm on 78. I don't want to heal up with one of those. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, here we go. Time for the weird flex, because I know neither of you can relate. You ever looked at your skills tab and say, wow, I don't have to train any of those anymore? Now that's nice. Yeah, fuck off, man. <laughs> I mean, technically, yes, I have. <laughs> Not because they're 99 all. I log in and say that every day, my man. <laughs> 59 farming looks good. Good enough for it. me. Actually, I'm going to take those back if you don't need them. I do I'm not. Using them. I'm using them to red click. Uh, man, I always do that. Did you just... I, I, I get a little too excited. Click off too soon. I, I too have that problem. Yeah, it is what it is. Whatever anybody says, the opposite problem is infinitely worse. And incredibly sadly, we also got nothing from Bandos either. So that's two Armadillo trips in a row, and now a Bandos trip as well with no loot. So, to know, we're on a bit of a bit of a dry streak right now. After that Bandos trip, Paul took off, but Roydy and I were still on, so we decided to send a little bit of Corporeal Beast. Are you a Gordon Ramsay fan as well? Every now and again, I'll just go through a phase where I just watch a bunch of Gordon Ramsay content for like a week. Oh yeah. Although, Gordon has, like, he's devolved into a caricature of himself over time, and only just says, like, the same nine or ten words, and yeah. has all the same mannerisms. Got his, uh, his zingers. It's like he's become the perfect internet video vessel. Yeah. He's just turned himself into that. He says what people want him to say. Oh, you're good to arc light. You can pr do a pretty good Gordon Ramsay impression if you just master the phrases... In, hot pan, literally, beautiful, and mm. <laughs> he, he is he is big on the literally. Like everything he does, it, it it's it's literally you just yeah he, he's big on the literally. Just take that sauce and literally put that on there. I actually I I I would almost assume you've seen it, but uh, bang up the butt. I'm gonna link a video in your chat, and if you haven't seen it, depending upon your sense of humor, I feel is as if the, you uh, the talk like dirty the, one. The innuendo, Gordon, I have seen that. <laughs> okay, okay, I was gonna say. What I really, really hope is that he has seen that, I hope. Well, I, I better I post his, it now, but... I think his kids are pretty internet savvy. Yeah, you'd think they would have shown it to him. I did, I enjoyed that, um... Was it the all gas, no brakes, the, the fish thing you watched the other day? Yeah. Yeah, that was very interesting. If you haven't seen it, there is an entire American Dad episode that's virtually the same thing. I see. I, I, I'm, i like, unaware of this fish phenomena. This, this did not exist in my mind. That's, I think they're just their own little microcosm. I've never even heard a single one of their songs, but I'm I, aware same. of them. My chat was explaining it to me. I guess they're just very, very popular in concert. Not online, but very popular, like, for their shows. And unfortunately, nothing of note from Corp either. Not even Onyx Bolts or Cannonballs. So, the, uh, the farmer's luck was not the greatest in this video, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. Certainly feels good to be uploading these videos again after the hiatus with Leagues. Uh, if you guys did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. And we're going to kick this episode off by doing a little bit of a trio bandos. Admittedly, obviously because of leagues and whatnot, this footage is quite old, so I have no idea uh, where Curtis was at uh, this particular trip, but it's just Paul, Roy, and I. So we're going to see if we can get some bandos loot. Yes. Yes! Oh, yes. The pants, yes. baby! Yes! Oh, the dry streak's over. Woohoo! Fuck yeah. I was here, boys. <laughs> yes. 
I'll uh, I'll be taking those to replace my guth and skirt. Yeah, sure, man. Permanently. Uh, no. Sorry, Chad, I had to delete the prediction because obviously it was still actively running. Yeah, we got Tassets! Finally! Yes. I request it for one humble kill. Look how good he looks! Oh, it looks so good, dude. It looks you so look good. You look like a beast! I love it. We did it. Yes. That's, uh, that's Gerdor finally complete. I've got no eye. My range defense is higher with the Tassets and the Godsword than with the Guthans and the Defender. That's hilarious. That's sick. Uh, two hilts, two boots, two chest plates, one Tassets. Oh my Jeez. god. What? Get erased, oh. dude. What? <laughs> that is insane. Oh, yes! yes! More god four. swords! That's number four? Yes! Oh, what a trip already, dude. Dude, yeah, we've we been here for like half an hour. Hell yeah. So, do we have a blade for every hilt now? We do. No, we're, we're actually missing one. We have two Zamis, two Bandos, and one Sarah. Oh, we yeah, 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 sure. That well, is so good! To, for all of us to bring a godsword to uh, here, I guess. Yeah, true. Oh, that's great, man. ZGS might beat out a D Warhammer just with that huge accuracy for the spec DPS standalone. Yeah, honestly. I've hit a lot of zeros. Nah. Bro, what? Right, dude. Bro, what? <laughs> Hello? Still don't have that on Rudy's main. That's true. You can't forget it. <laughs> That's back to back. No, just not from the boss, but still back to back technically. So that's awesome. Before that moon guy hits you with a sob story, just know that he was doing a little mammal slander in my chat, and we don't tolerate that. That's what I just told him, actually, because I asked the boys what it was about. And I told him, oh, don't start with that shit here. <laughs> we don't play that game. Not the farmers. The homies always got my back. Preach it. Big shout out to Mammal for the YouTube videos, keeping us up to date on all your content, not just his own. What a what a beast of a comment there. Had to share that with you. Well, I appreciate it's it's my pleasure. It's very very fun to make. I have now been getting the most creative roasts in my chat. Hey Mammal, I heard you plug your nose when you jump into a pool. <laughs> 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 always been a big water fan i used to uh if my family would go to like a pool or something when i was like two i would just unsupervised try to jump into the deep end of the pool not knowing how to swim <laughs> what you're a daredevil i liked water no nope, people don't know struggle until they get to a preposterous body composition through bodybuilding and then try to swim after years of not having done so you just sink like a stone What's that called? Negative bone density as well as a thing, I think. I mean, obviously, you know, with with the muscle mass you had, you're not going to float. Too low fat content. No, not at all. And then if but, you try to wade, which is very intensive, you just get a full body pump, and then you yeah. get tired, and then you drown. But I think, I think the term's negative bone density or something like that. Which is why some people just have a very, very difficult time swimming. The last time I really went swimming... And you know what, I'm I'm going into this fully aware, this story is pretty sus, but when I was in college, uh, a lot of my high school friends went to the same college as me, and uh, our college had a um, a big, like, swimming pool that, you know, you could, if you were a student, you got free access to, etc. And they had a, uh, a, a basketball hoop. And so after, we every Wednesday, we call we called it Wet Wednesday, this was our tradition. Gotcha. I, I know, it's just oh, kind of sus. Oh, I love Wet Wednesday. We called the Wet Wednesday. We'd, we'd go to this pool at like 3 in the afternoon when nobody was there. And we, we would play water basketball and just be little hoodlums. And we would make these lifeguards that were like younger than us sit there and watch us because they're obligated. And we would just 
You were just it was, it was it was a wholesome time. It was it was great. I want to have a wet Wednesday right now. You know what word I like? Plush. Plush sounds like the way it, it I don't know, it just it's just it seems correct. Plush. Sounds plush. Exactly. It sounds like what it is. Jordan, it sounds like what it is cuz cuz that's how you understand it. Like that that's 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 what you understand it to be. That that's just that's okay, just Okay, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> let, let me rephrase. Ah, the, the word the, whip. The, it sounds like a whip. The d- the dis- just, you see that thing over there? If I just had to think that, I just feel like that thing would be a whip. <laughs> okay, listen. Like, saying the word plush, like, it sounds like a... You know what? I, I don't think I'm going to dig my way out of this, so fuck it. <laughs> I could see, though, what if plush meant what moist means? It would sound like it would fit there as well. You think so? I think so. Huh. I don't know. Could, could uh, you switch the words moist and, and plush, like their meanings, like in the dictionary, and then like, would that still make sense? Would you ever well, be able to see moist things as plush and plush things as moist? No, probably not. Probably not. Kind of but like, it's it. that's hard to say because we already have that connection in our mind. So it's, we have like a, a bias now. I think it says Yanny. Oh my. Okay, I totally heard both. It would switch for me. I think it actually it wasn't does it just like an overlay of the two words. Different, yeah, 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 yeah. And like a different Whereas the dress was definitely blue. Um, I I don't know, man. I, I mean, what was it? Golden blue or what? White white and gold or blue like or white purple? and gold or blue and blue and black. black I think. <clears throat> That's the thing, though. I could I could make myself see either one. Yeah, so could I. You just have to imagine what like lighting setting it was in and i could see either or yeah you know what what bugs me you, you ever seen that that gif image um of a dancing lady and you can make her change the direction the, the what image the peanut butter image of a dancing lady oh my bad gif thank you <clears throat> yeah i don't know did i just say gif you did you unironically what's did. wrong with me uh i i don't Sorry, know we, we talking were about talking that. about gif peanut butter significantly earlier today the gif image that's it. I'm sorry. The the graphic. <laughs> the graphic, graphic image. But that one messes me up too, man. Uh, I just got a champion scroll from that guy. Let's go! <laughs> Join the club. Woohoo. Like, why am I getting a collection log slot notification? <laughs> what is today, man? Very nice. Yeah, no kidding. What a bandos trip. I just dropped them. Man, I do not look like a group Iron Man character. <laughs> Honestly. Like, you look so stacked. That's crazy. I think I'll definitely go uh, standard Red Blade if we ever get to that. Red Blade's the way to go, man. Red and every everything with the, the CG just stuff. Match the helm. I don't really like the base red, though, without it. No, I, I gotta say, man, as, as much as I'm not, like, a super big fan of Fashionscape... I really do think they should let you recolor the crystal armor as well. Yeah, it's just a matter. I mean, of it would require. I'm not big on like recolors as a whole, but if you can recolor the weapons, then you may as well go all the way and do the armor too. Frankly, I, I think I you should at least get the option for the blue armor from regular Gauntlet and the red armor from CG. That, that those two and the base. The two deaths that Mammal have had have been less of a chance than most of our chances, and they've resulted in death. True. I mean, that second death was the the, the Those Zola one and was hits were not humble at all. A massive pile. I think every snakeling hit was like ten plus, and Zora didn't do less than like twenty five on you. Dumpy. Uh, can we get some Gardor KC checks? Two hundred and nine. Uh, yeah, total, total, two hundred nine. Ninety one. So that's three hundred between us. And then I'm at uh, 188. So I guess we're about uh, maybe 550 with Curtis? Yeah, something like that. Damn. You know, seven uniques in 555 is actually luckier than average here. Farmers, luckier than average? I don't believe it. We caught up, man. Yeah. 
not like extremely lucky, but like no, but but you know a little bit on the you know maybe maybe yeah. fifty to hundred kills ahead, better than average, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We're like almost getting to the point where thralls are probably Holy not. Holy crap, Rito! Your damage was Should've insane that. that kill. <laughs> You've made me too powerful. I did forty nine percent damage, and you and you still got the drop, which means you. Which means I did literally <laughs> nothing. <did> zero. <laughs> Hello? Oh no. I've been I've been called out. Oh jeez. He's been <laughs> ousted. Even your thrall is dead weight. <laughs> that, that's actually what how is that possible? My thrall didn't uh, even do anything. It was a pretty quick kill. I mean oh, honestly the, the damage counter is usually a little off. That's great. You're off the team, Mammal. We all knew when we got into this that I was going to bring luck to this group and not a thing more. That's all I have to offer. Oh, well, you have geared us quite handsomely, at least. Yeah, the, the, the luck is important. Yeah, I'm going to have to go AFK now. at some point in a second here anyway. I have a plumber coming by. Apparently his oh. first name is Johnny. I don't know what his last name is, but yeah. Sins, probably. <clears throat> Who's that? Never heard of him. No idea. I think he's actually my mechanic. Moist. I I thought that was a really famous astronaut. What the heck? Uh, he's a doctor. Oh, my chat said that, uh, Paul, you know him because I guess he was in the army as well. So. You must know him personally. Actually, I think he's the police officer that stopped me last week. Do you think... That before old school comes to an end, whenever that is, five years, ten years, twenty years from now, whatever, two years, do you think before old school yeah. comes to the end, Jagex makes it to where you can change room. the color of Infernal Case? Shadow! Like those old designs for like the blue and the green one? Yeah, purple, whatever else. I would say I no. Not. Personally? I'd argue yes. I bet you they do. I mean... Like, are you implying that they're going to add, like, the other combat style equivalent and then have them no, different colors, or...? No, just some stupid, you know... Recolor? Recolor, yeah. I hope not. I don't know. I would think that... I, I No, I wonder if we get something harder than the Inferno with a better cape eventually. Depends how long the game's out, I guess, but... Yeah. I do want to see the next challenge like that. Not Triple Jads? Please. Triple Zucks. I do think Double Zuck is doable. Double Zuck uh, on adjacent sides of the room, like one north, one east. Where you have to walk diagonally across the room to stay behind both shields. Oh and then you can only God. attack in each corner. And that was it for the Bandos trip. So that was a very successful trip. Our luck did indeed turn around. We got our first pair of Bandos tassets and we completed yet another Godsword Blade. The very next day, before I got online, Curtis, Roydy, and Paul headed off to Armadil God Wars. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, that is, uh... God saw set from scratch right there. Oh, what a beauty. And yeah, like Curtis mentioned in that clip, that is the God Sword set completed. So we now have at least one of every single God Sword, which is really exciting, actually. Now, as soon as I got online, of course, I saw that clip. So I heard it, uh, hurried up to uh, get kill count and join them. Now, if I remember right, I think I had to go on a road trip that day or something. So I wasn't able to join them for very long, but I figured I'd hop in for a bit. It's better than nothing. Pretty much the, uh, the only Armadil boss that would tilt me. Like, I, or, sorry, the only Cob Wars boss that would tilt me. I remember soloing. And there'd be, there'd be kills for no apparent reason. You would go from full HP to, like, 30. In, like, 10 seconds. It was just infuriating. That's why he's a complacency killer. He's never just gonna outright kill you, but if you think you're not gonna get killed after, like, a thousand KC, then you die. I'm not use Frasier around the room just to be even more annoying as well. And it's all it's so dependent on the first kill of the trip too. Like sometimes you'll just brew like three different potions for your first kill and it'll ruin the whole trip. Welcome, Mr. Mammal, to our humble abode. Hello, I will hello. Take some resupply, it brings please. Great wares and potion. 
Fantastic. Who else could use some again. potions? Who needs what? Uh, I need a ranged pot, if possible. Okay. Just slurp down a whole brew so I could take a round of potting. Oh, I see your inventory is full. Ah, thank you, thank you. Right, let's see. Let's use this one. Wait! Oh, stole it. <laughs> oh, oh, no, that was... Was... <laughs> the drive. <laughs> that, that was okay. <laughs> uh, that's the worst way. Oopsies. Oh, I have so much prey right now, though. Paul fucking drug yeah, me yeah. into that, into into their little share. A lot of people asking about the the uses of the hilt, and uh, I it's just really you guys need to watch out because whenever we go for a major into two capes, we're bringing uh, D claws and ZGSs and and yeah, armor god swords. <laughs> the big anti PK. I think it's gonna be better than bringing the the D war hammer at Grardor. Just with its consistency and power. Maybe. That's honestly a fair shout. The hammer is just so many zeros. I have no idea why Kriara drops mind runes, dude. Do any of the other God Wars bosses have any troll drops uh, that Jordan, are I'm that, out of, that? Uh, Well, I've got one range dose. So I think I'm going to avoid it on this kill. Just hold a little okay. short. Sounds good. I do need to restore at least, though. We'll be res Wait, did you brew in this one? I uh, yes. Okay, I will be range fighting then. You don't, I mean, you don't have to, but... No, no, it's cool. No, it's fine. I'm only here for a couple more kills anyway, but... There you go, man. There's your two Christmases. I hope you enjoy <laughs> it. That counts. Thank you. Big things going on today, my man? Uh, yeah. I'm hitting the road, taking my parents to Mayo Clinic. So I'll be... I will be nice. gone tomorrow for sure. I think I'll be back on Thursday, but... Obviously, I reckon you guys will be doing next on your mains anyway, so... Oh, yeah. Hope that all goes well, yeah. your parents. Well, I thank you. Yeah, for sure, man. Tell them I said hi. Will do. My mom talks about you sometimes. She always she remembers you. <laughs> That's good. I believe I've heard my mom mention you as the banana before. <laughs> I will take that. That works for me. The banana. Just the banana. I could be like my superhero alias. Me and my chat have been working on developing this Banana Man superhero alias now, and uh, we've decided that my superpower is that I can never cramp due to infinity potassium, and <laughs> my weakness is that I bruise easily. <laughs> That's it. That's, That's good. the superhero. That's a very good one. People eat I would it. say with the peel, and then, like, peel off is, like, super strength mode, naturally. Wait, there's a peel? <laughs> you know what? On that note, I have to say, I am one of those absolute freaks. I eat my kiwi with the skin on. It tastes it's not really that good. Bad. It it tastes good. It's just the texture is obviously a little weird. And you know what? To the people who are disgusted by that, here's what I'm gonna say. If you can't eat a little hair, grow up. My mom watches this stream, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. So the farmer's got our first pair of Bandos Tassets. We finished another God Sword Blade, and we got an Armadil Hilt, which means we have each of the God Swords. So a very lucky video. It's all turning around. If you guys did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. So to kick off this video, we're doing something a little bit different. Curtis and I are actually doing some Seracnus. Now, we pretty much did it just to kill some time, and I think he did need some red spider's eggs, so in the event we get lucky, we can get the spider sack. But uh, the reason why we were killing time is we were planning on doing raids, all four of us, but Paul was, at that time, working on getting a crafting boost and making us our tormented bracelets. All right, farmer, let's give this spider a slapping. This thing Done. is going to get the absolute beat down. Oh. Oh, yeah. Did we get something? Man, 95. Let's go. I'm trying to work out if it switches aggro like, when it runs. Looks like it stays on one person. Maybe. I feel like it, it sticks to one, but I don't know. That's what it seems like to me. So it might be worth just flicking these minions then. If you're not the one aggro in. Oh, oh no, I it think it's on you now. down. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, I am out of food. These minions are piling me. Yeah, the minions actually. They really mess slapping. you up. That would do. That's a good first try, though. Yeah, right. that's pretty fun uh, with the kills being that fast. Right, we're gonna gear up then if uh, foe's ready. I got enough super stores to give us for now. I am indeed ready. All right, I'll just I will some uh, distribute some super combat potions before we head off. Oh, Ooh. beautiful. And if we get any uh, herbs from these raids today, chuck them my way, and we should be at 86 in no time. One no! Uh, Rudo, I need 70, dude. As We're do I, thinking. but I think I might just about have it banked. Yeah, I'm very close. What kind of herbs do we need? Because I've got a lot of grimies right now. I got like 354 lantern dimes here. Yeah. I can I can handle the high end stuff. Dude, like our the, gear uh, upgrades are getting so good. Dimes. You can hit him with like the quarms. All right, let's see. I got lantern dimes. Right, take these out straight away then, Paul, so they don't do up the storage. I'm gonna put you in a lot. Uh, of I'm gonna get them first. Now, before we head off to raids, I do have a couple more group upgrades to show you guys. Uh, both Paul and Roydy have started doing Cerberus, and they're off to a pretty good start. Ah, 57 month -er. Thank you, dude. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The one that I've gone dry on on my last two accounts. Oh, Curtis is going to be happy, dude. Curtis is going to be happy, dude. Oh. Yes, dude. Yes. Give me that shit right now. I'm getting out of here. Curtis. Curtis, we need the boots. So we now have a pair of Pegasian boots and Primordial boots. It's been a while, but if you recall, Roydy did get some Ranger boots way back when. So, yeah, we have Pegasians, which we will, uh, you know, prioritize Curtis being able to use those. Because his range level is by far the highest. And then I guess the Primordial boots will be a bit of a free-for-all on who uses those. And of course, on top of that, as Paul mentioned earlier, he did get that 95 crafting boost, so now we have tormented bracelets as well, which is a nice upgrade for Olm's Mage Claw. So we are just we're just gaming. I don't need to bring it's just in. do you the... see it? Can you feel it? It's uh getting there. Thank you, I've got it. Oh, and it's a tormented bracelet as well. I'm, I'm sorry, I... I'm just I'm really nervous. It's okay. Mama wins. Almost just kicked him from the CC by mistake. <laughs> Bro, what was that? My raid now. It just forced lo- Oh, what? 20% chance to get the purple in your name if you scout the raid. Okay, so I, I, so I just lost the raid. You what? I was- I literally had the raid and it just forced kick me out of the game. I sw- What? What the- <laughs> It literally just force logged me out. What just happened? Do you use a oh, uh, raid please. reloader? I I do. Yeah, maybe that was. Maybe it. it's to do with that. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. raid yeah. reloader will sometimes DC you. Oh man, maybe I should have kicked him. Well, back maybe to the jail, guys. I am loving the swag boots, Mister Mama. My goodness, the true champion boots. I put the pagations in for you, Curtis. Yeah, oh, I had a look at the stats them? and it was like, unless I take off boots on the uh, last one, I'd rather have the tank for the uh, one hit I've got a tank. The gauges was terrible unless you take them off for the ma magic on all. Everybody and ready? Gentlemen. Ready. Ready. He just, the call just hung up. Bro. That oh bastard. What the hell, man? Time to go on hold for another hour. Oh my god. Uh, the Zami. Oh my god, I'm unmuted, aren't I? Oh no. <laughs> it's about time you find out. We've already responded to you, even. <laughs> I love the Mr. Mamacon. It's great. You know, Curtis, I, I must say, I just looked over and. Did you get a fresh cut, my guy? Because you look great. Oh, yes, we did indeed get the fresh cut. For the looking, next release. Looking Gotta juicy. Look Gotta look fresh for that spoon clip on the first day, you know? Oh, yeah. You guys don't understand, Rudy. He 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 keeps taking all my seeds. <gasps> Sharing is caring. I know guys. for a fact your farming level has not gone up since I gave you seeds. I've been training crafting, bro. 
got to start with the daily ritual with the farmer and start the stream. It's the best thing ever. That's, yeah. I've always, like, every account ever I've done that, a farm run to start the day. I've always been a, a very, very bad Iron Man in that way, though. Like, Iron Mammal the entire playthrough. It was, like, one herb run, one contract, one birdhouse run. Like, just one a day. Never anything more than one. <laughs> I, I'm the same. I was you sometimes do doing herb runs in between slight ass, but other than that. If you can front load your motivation towards the beginning of an account, you can kind of coast from there. Yeah, that's true. If you come out hot, you'll last for a while. That's kind of, you know, never mind. <clears throat> Good luck, guys. Nothing for me. White. 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 Oopsies. 38 yeah. diamonds and five. I didn't have it hidden at first, anyway. I got irrits and coal. Very good. Gold snaps, not bad. Oh my god, I put the axe in the bank, but I didn't know. I, I, I told you. <laughs> Next <laughs> room. <laughs> I kept the axe, I just didn't bring it with me this time. Damn it. I'll just put down the seeds now. I got 16 juice, 11 mushroom, 8 Sicily already. Uh, 13 mushroom already. Eight mushrooms, so we just need juice and planks. I've got two planks. I just got two planks as well. I heard Mammal's got two planks as well. Oh, wait, never mind. That's not what he meant. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I do actually have two planks, yes. Regardless of juice. The, the memes. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck. Good luck. Quiet. White. 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 Damn. Ooh. What a tasty amount of soul runes. Runite ore and lantidines. Not a bad drop. Ruby and teaks. Mammal, are all your uh, pets adult enough to chill, or is like 2 a.m. in your house just like pure hell? Um, <laughs> so we we typically lock the cats out of our bedroom when we go to bed, but we, we will hear them occasionally while right. out. The worst thing I've ever had, and this happened twice in like a month, we have a piano in our living room and uh, a metronome with like a glass cover on the metronome. And one of our cats tipped it off of the piano, broke the glass, which set off our, our security alarm system because it detected broken glass. So now the alarm system's fucking blaring at three in the morning and then my cats just sat there looking at me like, what? I'll do it again. Oh, like, no. He's just trying to practice the piano. I do think it's really funny the... The difference between dog and cat owners, like dog, obviously you know the breed and the whole nine, and cats are like, I don't know, he's orange, orange I guess. I don't he's know. He's orange. <laughs> Unless you have like a tabby. Maine Coon cat or something, because that's like very obvious, but. Dude, ragdolls are awesome. They are indeed very awesome. Little mini Tuck legs. Right India. Is everyone good or? Yeah, I'm good. Me yeah, ready to go. What the fuck? Jeez. It's got like a D close back on you. What was even that? Two crystals. I went down to 17 HP on that, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. That was just unfair. A couple of poison things as well. That would have been it. And unfortunately, that was our last raid of the day. So we did five raids and did not see anything at all. But that's all right. Maybe next time. And after those raids, Paul and Curtis took off for the day. So Roydy and I headed off to do some duo corp as we so often do. You're a beast, thank you. I apologize, I've been trying to sort something with Verizon all day and it has gone incredibly poorly and I'm in like a live Yuck. chat thing right now, so. <laughs> trying to multitask. Just don't know why those companies with their service lines have such a hierarchy of customer service people who, it's like, the people you first get in contact with so seldom can fix your problem and they just have to defer you to somebody else who may or may not be able to? Yeah, like like 100% of the time, they defer you. It's like, why? What's the <laughs> what's the point of the first step, then? The, I think the first wave is supposed to be for, like, 78-year-olds who just <laughs> don't have it plugged in. Why won't my phone charge? <laughs> yeah. I have a mod who was employed by Spectrum as the, uh, like, one of the people who would go out in the van and one time he was like i think he was like maybe 10 minutes late to an appointment so the person called the the line again inquiring and the customer service representative said that he was arrested that's why he wasn't there <laughs> that's that, that's a normal thing to have happen to somebody 
All right, just got level 89 attack here at the Corporeal Beast. One more until the big 90, and then we'll, I guess, swap back over to defense. But I must say, you get a ton of combat XP here. I believe uh, Corp gives 1.5 times the regular XP, so not a bad place to train, actually. We've had very bad loot all, all right, day. Corp, give us something spicy. Yeah, we gotta get at least one good drop. Come on. Well, it's all right. Mild spice. Be like the the first sauce on an episode of Hot Ones. Yeah, just getting started. The last dab is on its way. I'm gonna be honest. What's the dude? Is it's Sean Evans? Is that his name? Yeah. Yep. Do not like him. Really? Just like his style of interviewing, or just? Yeah. Well, I think it's more the way they cut the episodes. I, I heard he's very good, but the way they cut the episodes always seems so awkward. Yeah, yeah, I, I could see that. Sometimes the conversations get cut in in parts yeah, they probably they'll, shouldn't. They'll jump, like, right from one topic to another, so it sounds like he's just being weird, like, interrupting the, the dude with the next yeah. question. Yeah. Anyway, I don't care what you're saying. On to the next topic. <laughs> yeah. We can stop corping whenever, by the way. It's just <laughs> I have a demonic task to go do, so I'm not going to be the one to volunteer. Oh. Uh I mean, by all means, if, uh, well, we, we could go duo demonics, too, if you'd like. True. Maybe then we could actually get a Zenite. I'm probably not getting one by myself. <laughs> sure. Let's call this the last kill, then, and we can go do some duo demonics. Bro, I love that AGS, man. It's so sick. I can't wait till I hit big. No Slayer Helm? I'm not on task. I'm just here to help Roidy. I am just here to help speed up Roidy's task. Okay, so I completely forgot I am actually on task myself. Uh, I, oh, really? I, I, I completely forgot. <laughs> okay, I guess once we lose aggro, I can go grab my Slayer Helm. I guess I totally forgot. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm, well, maybe, I mean, it's still like seven minutes to aggro loss. You may as well. Or we could just go like do them in the same world solo and double our chances. We could, yeah, if you'd prefer that, yeah. I'll just grab my home quick. <laughs> okay, now we run over here and we go for the cheeky log out. No 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 don't attack me, don't attack me, don't attack me. Log out, log out, log out, log out. Literally literally his first one. Wait, are you what? I didn't see it because I just logged out. Bro, what? That's amazing. Well, I was gonna hop worlds, but I had to kill that one because it aggroed me. Let's. It was fate. It was truly meant to be. I guess I'm gonna wait for you to find a world and I'll log in on you. That's amazing. Seems like oh. no matter how, whenever there's any degree of group coordination with demonics, there's always a zenite. Yeah, it's it's weird. Uh, 489 looks okay. There was the the back to back with you and Paul, and then you and I got the two quickly. Jeez. Bro, oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> that's torture's done, baby. So we need we need three more Zenites now, and that's it. We're done. Only Dude. three more. Oh my god, this is amazing. When it's it actually, rains, it pours. It's actually the key. Like, if we want Zenites, we just have to... It, we don't have yeah, to kill them together. We just need at to have at least, least, at least two people here simultaneously, and you're good. That's amazing. Boy, I just... think it's more the fact that you are here specifically. <laughs> <laughs> you think you so? to be the common factor. I've done like a thousand of these things solo. Yeah, demonics do seem to like me on this account. Well, we'll see if I get one this task. Then we can confirm. It's funny, was it? I think it might have been before you were on or around the time you were getting on. We were having the conversation. It's like, well, we may as well make these four bracelets because like by the time we get 93, maybe we'll have the others. <laughs> and I'd say uh, like two hours later. Yeah, like uh, seriously though. What 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 is Paul's crafting right now? Do you know? He just hit ninety today. Oh, okay. I think we need about a thousand more seaweed. Yeah, I'm gonna do some more seaweed. I I really we we really all should make an effort to do one like every couple hours until we just have what we need. But it's hard hard to remember. Okay, a light frame that is obviously entirely useless. We already have a heavy ballista. So, even a heavy frame would be useless, but the light frame is extra bad. Oh my. 
Oh my. Roidy, we just need one more, man. We just need one more. <laughs> I got I gotta manifest I gotta manifest this. 16 left. Let's be done. Come on. <laughs> Ch chat, look at the chat box. Alright, there is level 86 Slayer. Uh, no unlocks there, of course, but... One more level and we can kill Kraken. And there's another level coming in mid and Necreal Task. There is level 85 Magic. I have no idea if I unlock anything, but 85 does look cool. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. So we just completed our 200th task. We got the 450 bonus points. Literally last kill of the task, we get a Necriarch. That's insane. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. So we didn't have any luck at raids, but Roydy and I both had some very good luck at Demonic Gorillas. We are getting really close to having every piece of... Well, sorry. Uh, let me rephrase that. We're very close to having every Zenite shard needed, and then of course the jewelry will come eventually. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you all soon. So at long last, I am now the proud owner of an Abyssal Tentacle. Now, I'm going to be using that mostly just for bossing. Um, obviously, you don't want to waste it on regular Slayer. Uh, we don't have any additional whips like they just said, but, I mean, I'm sure we'll get extra whips at some point soon. Should I bring the hammer, or do we bring the AGS? <laughs> I'd say AGS double BGS. Listen, man. Bring that AGS. It's gonna be content, so I... It's I, what I, a I think it's technically gonna be more efficient than the hammer never hitting, having the AGS, like, on average do 20 or 30 damage. Yeah. Overall, I would say I'm pretty happy that I decided to go with the Armadal God Sword. The thing is, the Dragon Warhammer is an absolute zero machine. And you if you've ever if you've ever taken a Dragon Warhammer to Bandos, you would know what I'm talking about. It just it just hits so many zeros. And so the AGS maybe isn't the better necessarily thing to use, but it definitely feels a lot better. I mean, I think my max hit is somewhere in the high 60s, so you know, when you average between hitting a 50 or a 60 and sometimes a 0, like we already said before, it's an average damage of like 30 a pop, and that just feels a lot better than hitting a 0 with a hammer like 75% of the time. Forfeit, you're fired. Oh, I would very much like a uh, super combat on this one. No, oh, got him. <laughs> How? You were so far you away, what the I heck? I tried to maintain my distance, but apparently that's too close. <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised that you don't know how to figure that out, Mr. Florida Man. Some guy in Falls Chat said I, I, I sound like a cowbow from Alabama. I don't even have a southern accent, what the hell? Actually, that sounded very southern just now. You that know, I think maybe I put it in my own mind. I just start, I, I convinced myself of the accent or something. You do sound quite Midwestern. Well, that's fair. And I always say, I think the Midwestern accent is very general in that, like, I will admit that I have an accent, but you couldn't pinpoint North Dakota from my accent. Like, I could be anywhere in the Midwest, really. If I had to pick anywhere in the country to go, though, based off what little I know, I probably would go to the Midwest, though. It would be my second choice behind New England. There's nothing there, bro. I've been. There's exactly. nothing there. <laughs> go to Oregon. I don't like things. I just like to be inside and not get killed by people. No, actually, the Midwest sounds good. It's a very good place for that, yeah. Yeah, and I feel like Florida is pretty much the worst place to be. Not where I am, but some places, sure. Okay, see, now that you've said that, I picture you living in this, like, 60 and up community where it's nothing but old people, and you're, like, the one really attractive young one and you like go out like i can picture you walking your garbage can to like the the curb and all the old ladies are fawning over you <laughs> i can picture this happening mammal i do live in a retirement community i knew it <laughs> i could just Excuse picture me this. young billy could you come mow my lawn please i baked you some cookies connor come on over I mean, if I wanted to develop relationships, I'm sure I could get, like, a casserole a day, but I haven't really met any neighbors.
No, because if I talk to anybody, I run the risk of them asking what I do, and that's yeah. just not yeah. going anywhere. Always opens up a can of worms, dude. Yeah, that's a tough convo. There was a uh, one conversation I had. I remember. I think I was getting a haircut, and it wasn't like the one I get. You know, my my regular barber it was just some random person, and I just really didn't feel like going through the convo. And uh, I told the person that I I worked at Menards, and I was a college student. And I lived in the dorms. Like, I created this entire, like, false persona just because I couldn't start digging. <laughs> Yo, hey. I literally just said I felt a minion god sword shard coming soon as we were killing that minion. You are a... a seer. You a can sage! Tell. Yeah. Well, we don't need that one, but... I don't, I don't even know what our shard count is up to these days. Yes. Wait, I got plate. I didn't even get it. He gave me a super restore instead of a super combat. What did I ask for? Did I ask I for a super restore? You asked I for think restore. you asked for a restore. What's yeah. wrong with me? What's wrong with me? I used the altar this kill. <laughs> okay, no, I'll, I'll I'll get to the combat this time. Can I blame you anyways? That way I don't have to be wrong. Yes. Feel free. Top I one of those. Uh, combat types of the super variant or did you already give it to me and did i just brew it down i gave it to you and you then you brewed it down do you need to restore then <laughs> can i have another one <laughs> i already restored oh damn it <laughs> 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 oh i'm not very good at this sorry i wasn't looking someone was oh, telling me they corrected you they said no it's pessimistic all right foe the type of kid to drop his ice cream cone immediately after being handed it <laughs> Well, that's the only way to get two ice cream cones, huh? Last time I was in a park, I was just... I, like, walked by these old people on a bench. One of them was like, Are you a bodybuilder? And I'm like... I mean, recreationally, I could tell from the legs. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then I left. Oh, no! <laughs> this man just told us a whole story to tell everyone that he has big legs. It's more... A critique of society that people think they can say anything to a bodybuilder and not have it be offensive. Well, that's because bodybuilders Next are all question. nice. I don't think I've ever met an angry bodybuilder. Like, the bigger you get, the friendlier you are. Yeah, that's my favorite. Like, when you see, who is it, Ronnie Coleman? He's just this gigantic Ronnie. guy, and his voice is, like, super high-pitched. Just imagine getting pulled like, over wait, by baby. Ronnie. <laughs> Back when he was a cop. Yes, sir. Anything you say. Yep. Yes, I was going. Yes, I, I was going on that video. That fifty-five. They said that he said they used to send him to domestic disputes because as soon as he showed up, it would always stop. Yes. What's going on here? <laughs> was that Mike Tyson? No, that was Ronnie. Does he have a lisp too? Yes, he does. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that was a Mike Tyson. Well, there's yet another Bandos trip done with, unfortunately, no real loot. But I gotta say, I really love editing these videos back, man. It's so fun to just go back and re-listen to these conversations. So to take a bit of a break from some group content on this video, I am going to start working on getting my quest cape. The main quests that I have left to do are Dragon Slayer 2 and Song of the Elves. Now, of course, I do still have some, you know, small, random quests to do, but those are going to be the big boys I got to get requirements for. Okay, so in order to get Song of the Elves, I need to get levels 70 Herblore, 70 Hunter, 70 Smithing, and 70 Woodcutting. So that is four Herblore levels. I'm about to level, so pretty much three. That is seven hunter levels, three smithing levels, and one woodcutting level. However, I'm actually going to get that last woodcutting level right now by questing. Well, if you can't tell by now, I'm going to finish off 70 woodcutting by doing the Grim Tales quest. It gives about 14,000 woodcutting XP, so should be good to go. Hello, am I lagging? Yeah, that was a lag spike. I'm gonna hop worlds. That's sketchy. Okay, fighting Glaude actually sucks pretty bad, I think. Yeah, he turns your prayer off. He turns your prayer off and drains it. Timber! 
You know, for some reason that beanstalk to me did not look like it was going to be limp like that. And there is the Grim Tales quest completed. Now, the XP you get from this is quite nice. That puts me actually going to be a Herblore level. So there's 67 Herblore, and there is also level 70 Woodcutting, which is one of the requirements for Song of the Elves checked off. Oh, and furthermore, the Dwarven Helmet is best in slot crush bonus, well, up until you get Inquisitor. So I can use that for my Dragon Warhammer specs on Corp. Okay, according to the Banked XP plugin, I do have level 70 Herblore banked, so let's make some potions. Alrighty, there is level 70 Herblore completed, without a doubt the most difficult requirement for Song of the Elves, so... That's a relief, there we go, that's... You know, with Roidy being our Herblore guy, that's pretty much all the higher Herblore I'll ever need to get, more or less. You know, honestly, I, I feel like I remember Morning's End Part 1 being really short. Maybe I was just thinking of Roving Elves, but that was actually a, uh, a girthier quest that I recall. But I think we go talk to Erinwyn, and that should be the end of Morning's End Part 1. Ooh, we get 25k Thieving XP. That does give you level 58 Thieving. And now, obviously, the bad quest is on its way. And there we go, there is level 70 smithing, I uh, used all the gold ore I had, and then used up some mithril bars, and there is 70 smithing. So that's a requirement for, I think, both Song of the Elves and Dragon Slayer 2 done. And there we go, there is level 60 thieving. That should be the very last stat requirement I have for Dragon Slayer 2, let me double check. Yep, there's all the stats done. I do need to go do a Tale of Two Cats, and then it is time. Alrighty, and time to wrap up the last prerequisite. This will be the uh, A Tale of Two Cats quest completed. A very good quest, lots of uh, good dialogue. What is in my present? A mouse toy and a couple of, uh, a couple of XP lamps. And so it is time for Dragon Slayer 2. I would say without a doubt the scariest quest that you can do on a hardcore Iron Man. The first little boss fight you have to do is with Robert the Strong. He's not too bad as long as you pray range and uh, make sure you hide behind a pillar for his biggish attack and you're good to go. You do also have to fight Vorkath but the quest variant of Vorkath is quite a bit easier than the regular one. I think it has like half the regular HP so that's really not a problem at all frankly. I honestly love this area of the game. It's, uh, it's very nostalgic to me. Whenever I'm in this area of the cave, I think of... Uh, oh, what the hell was the chick's name? In pre-EOC, there was a, a Slayer dungeon right here. And there was a master higher level than Duradel. And I, I'm drawing a blank on her name. Curadel, that's it. Very nostalgic. <laughs> And again, as far as I'm concerned, Galvec is definitely the most scary quest boss on a hardcore, simply because you can get one hit at any given time. If you don't dodge one of those fireballs, more times than not, you're dead instantly. This is really going to come down to it. My crossbow is going to hit so many zeros now. What? Are you fucking kidding me? 38 HP. All I had to do was dodge that stupid fucking rock.
So, looking back at it, I'm gonna guess my ping on this world wasn't exactly the greatest, because I did click away from that boulder, but it just reacted too slowly. And then he fireballed me right afterwards, so if I didn't tell you, I would've died. So, that was annoying. Didn't get it on my first try, but it went pretty smoothly otherwise, so, I mean, I was feeling fine about it. Now, this is absolutely shenanigans. I have no idea why, but apparently I didn't actually record my second attempt. And I can't find any Twitch clips of it now either. I, I, I don't know how that's possible as a content creator, but yeah, obviously it went just as well as the previous kill, except I didn't make any mistakes at the end, so... <laughs> There's Galvec down, which is a really, really big sigh of relief. I was obviously super scared of dying to a fireball, so thank god that's over with. Thumped him on the head, lad. Well, good, that. And there is Dragon Slayer 2 completed. We get some smithing, mining agility, and thieving XP. That does not get me any levels, but I, of course, now... So first and foremost, you can access... Uh, there's a bunch of blue dragon scales down here, and... A way of killing green dragons, not in the wilderness, so. If I need to grind some prayer, I can do that. We got a very convenient cooking range right next to a bank. And I am going to go buy myself a Myth's Cape, which I can use that when I Dragon Warhammer spec corp. Hello, Jack. Thank you for the Myth's Cape. Beautiful. Yes, I believe I talked to Ellen. Are you interested in honing your skills? Yes, please. I reckon I'll do magic. Nice 25k XP there. And another 25k. And another 25k. Why not make it four? Thanks, Ellen. Appreciate it. Oh, no. What's the drop rate on that? Oh, fuck me, dude. That's probably so rare. Dragon throwing axes from Drake's. Oh, God. I don't even want to know. Why does it still cost money to repair stuff in your house? Who are you paying? Yourself? I... These I... Sour Haribo gummy bears, which are nowhere near as sour as Sour Patch Kids, but that's kind of good, because they don't just burn your tongue off for two days. Yeah, sour stuff is good, but they have that horrible aftertaste you get that nasty kind of taste in the back of your mouth and then any water you drink just tastes weird afterward yeah yeah when i was a kid i was a sour skittle enthusiast but i always regretted it because my tongue would bleed you know skittles in my opinion have the highest discrepancy between um regular and stale stale skittles are awful but regular skittles are pretty good yeah I, I, I agree. They get, I think when they go stale, the worst thing is is that the, the texture of them change entirely. They taste off and they're just, like, difficult to chew. They kind of crumble when you bite into them. Right. Man, what a life lesson when they would do everything right and Swiper would still swipe. Just like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> Sometimes you can play by the rules and you still get fucked. God damn you, Swiper. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. We knocked out Dragon Slayer 2 on this episode. So that means next episode, I got to go do some Vorkath to get my backpack. If you guys did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave a like. And I will see you all soon.